the major. Oh my goodness, chat. Type one if you're excited. Yo, Special K, they made the tier one for 19 months. Guys, dude, it's early for me. It's early for me. Can anybody beat 5.13 in the morning? Anybody else also awake on the West Coast? I had an alarm set, didn't need it. Didn't need it. Exclamation point music, I think, should give you the playlist that I use. Should be able to find all the songs. 19 months of tier one. Thank you, thank you. 10 stream streaked for Buck Fitty. When did I go to bed? Uh, 10? 10 my time? 2.14 in Hawaii? Okay. Now the question is though, did you wake up or are you just still awake? Long day today, chat. I think we're running it the whole time. 30 stream streak. Mystic is a huge fan. But also is on Twitch a lot. I feel like Mystic is in every chat I check. Okay, chat. I'm going to come on screen, and when I do, you guys need to be like, wow, I fear you do not look tired. You look so awake, so ready to go, okay? That's, that's what I need from you guys. Beer looking ready. Yes. You look ready to conquer the day. That's right, Snowy. Thank you. Guys, there's a timer. There's a timer currently going on. Mainstream is live. Drops are enabled. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know if, um, I don't know if, uh, we can get like a command or something that explains how to do the drops. I, I set mine up so long ago, uh, but not every channel has drops chat. It is somewhat of an exclusive thing to have drops turned on for your stream, which they should be turned on. By the way, hello YouTube. I, I need to somehow modify the YouTube chat to make the text bigger. I have you guys pulled up over here on my right. We got YouTube over here on the right, Twitch over here on the left. Good to have you both here. Um, but yeah, I wish I could make the text bigger. It's so small. I have to like, oh, there we go. Wait, I think I, I think I, how did I, how did I get that to work? Wow, so awake. He looks so wow. Awake is fear. There wow, we go. Look him. I so bright. He's sleeping no longer. So, so awake him when not <laughs> bed stream. Wow. <laughs> Yo, Buffalo. Thank you for the 245 bits. And thank you for really uh, sending it home. How awake I am and how ready to go I am. Yeah, I know. I got up early. I got up early. What match are you going to watch first round? So here's what I'm thinking, chat. Here's what I'm thinking we're going to do. Here is what I'm thinking we will do. I think we'll jump around. I think we'll focus mostly on, you know, a certain series that we like to watch. But I think one of the benefits of watch parties is that you aren't, you know, like locked in to one series. If it gets boring, the other one's a little bit more interesting. We'll jump around. So I think there'll be two active series wow, the so whole time. Awake, he looks so wow, awake is fear. Wow, look him eye so bright. He's sleeping no longer. So, so awake him when not bed stream. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the 100 bits, Sherry Monster. Thank you. Your has so much Riz. Let it be known. I have Riz, chat. Why does it say drops here? Because drops are back, chat. Drops are back and drops are on on my stream. Can you believe it? I can, because the RLCS account tweeted about it. Uh, let me go see if I can find the tweet. He noticed? Of course I noticed you. I've never missed a chat in my whole entire life. Guys, here's the, here's the tweet. One day it's a RLCS, but that's not all. Fan rewards are back. And you know what? I don't think they said what the fan rewards are. Are they the same fan rewards they've always been? Are they like holding that back? Do you guys know? But we do have rewards. Rewards, 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 rewards. You guys remember the <laughs> You guys remember the good old days of the Twitch chat when it was just rewards, 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 rewards. I hope that's what it is right now. 
if we go and look at uh, the chat. Exclamation point rewards. I'm dropping my exclamation point rewards. <laughs> I'm trying to get my rewards. Exclamation point rewards. <laughs> Dropsies. Great, dude. Good old, good old fashioned Rocket League chat is back. Isn't that what we miss? Isn't that what we miss? Can you say hi to me? I have a heart surgery and I could have died when I was born. Please notice me. My brother actually also had a heart surgery. Same, same deal. But, <laughs> but in that same way, like he's been good for a very long time. So trying to continue to farm the heart surgery, if you're like him, I don't know if that's the right play. Uh, you think a region got exposed for being an absolute dog? <laughs> I like how the only default is trying to hide it. He's like, hey, Fear, you think a region is going to get exposed for being an absolute dog or being an absolute dog? Like, you're talking about North America, right? <laughs> is there any other region that could come out for being dog? I guess Sam could maybe, but like, uh, I don't think Mina is going to come out as being dog. I don't know. I feel like you're just, you're hiding North America. <laughs> I guess my answer is maybe North America. It feels like there's a chance they could become dog. I, I hate, I hate how the show match went that we had between BDS and, and G2. Or sorry, not BDS and uh, Gen G, because everybody just <laughs> everybody using that as fuel. But man, we're gonna know we're gonna know a ton. We are gonna know a ton today, chat. By the end of today, we will have a good idea, I think, of who's playing well and who isn't, because we're doing two rounds, two rounds of the Swiss today. Here, let me throw myself over here. So here's the major. We are doing the entirety of this first round. Um, all these matchups right here, and then all of the round two matchups. That's what's going on today. And then I think what we're gonna try and do, chat, is be live for a watch party, maybe for the whole, maybe for the whole event. We might be live. All we need is um, people to want to watch with me. What are your thoughts on the Middle Eastern region? You live in Dubai, and you're um, your favorite streamer YouTuber. Yo, I think uh, I think the Middle East could do really well. I think. This is the first time at a major that Middle Easters have two teams. And I think while people have been, you know, wanting more from Rue 1, uh, I think there's a chance that both of them could crush. I do think Falcons will do really well. I think there's a lot of pressure on the Falcons. I think there's a lot of pressure on G2. I think both of them are, like, expected are to carry the region. The most? Bold fear wouldn't be diplomatic. Who are you rooting for the most? Um, let's see. Not... I think I want... Falcons, G2. I think Falcons and G2. If I if I said, like, what's the premier grand final for me? It's probably Falcons, G2. Um, the EU continuing to win is just a little bit boring. But it's not the end of the world. Um, Falcons, G2, rule one. I want those guys to do well. And then Gen G. I mean, I like the, I like the 1v1ers. I want to see Chronic Jack first killer do well. Um, I guess just the NA teams. But since you made me pick two, because because the problem with this is I just keep going. I'm like, well, I want LG to do well. I want to see Rettles and Cheese and Magic Bear. That'd be cool if they did well. Furia, love Yan. But let's actually uh, let's take it. Let's let's roll it all the way back. Let's just do G2 Falcons and Furia, the number one seeds from their regions who aren't from EU. I want to see those teams do well. Um, Demius, thank you for the Prime, the three months of Prime. And uh, that's what uh, we just talked about. And then home arcade systems. Thank you for the brand new Prime. Prime until full time. Do you think that Limitless and or Elevate will pull off an upset? Um, I think people are saying Elevate probably will, right? <clears throat> APAC versus OCE2. Everyone's kind of targeting uh, OCE2 as the potential upset for the other regions. Why do you sound like Johnny Boy? <laughs> I, I don't, chat. But that's okay. Listen, we're here. We're ready to accept all Johnny fans. Anybody who wants to... Watch party with Johnny. Feel free to come here and, and just like glaze your eyes and you know, I can I can trash talk NA if that's what like you need. But I, I really don't feel like <laughs> I sound that much like Johnny. Wait, he isn't? <laughs> Fury, do you think comparing Mina versus Furia, who do you think's better? I think uh it goes Falcons Furia rule one. So I think uh Falcons is number one, Furia number two, and then rule one three, and then uh you just said Furia and, and Mina, right? You didn't say Sam. So, I don't have to tell you about complexity. Furia's on Johnny Edibles. What's the plan here? What match are we going to watch first? Okay, chat. We can discuss the plan a little bit. So, the first two matches are going to be... 
Um, are these? Oh, are they right here? Are they? Are they finally in order? Oh, okay. They they did change them and put them in order. Wait, Gentlemates Rule One is a first round. We're definitely watching that. I mean, we'll have KC Limitless uh, on the back, you know, burner to have an idea of whether or not Limitless is getting any goals. But for sure, Gentlemates Gentle Mates Rule One is a huge match to start with, right? I mean, that's just like. We could like run a poll, but why even do it? You know, <laughs> I hate when people say Benny boy. <laughs> we're not, it's not, we're not, I'm not Benny boy. I'm fear. It's different. Okay. Um, what do we watch? I mean, we'll watch kind of both of them, but I mean, just to give you an idea, are people more excited about, you know, seeing just how bad KC will beat limitless or we want to watch rule one versus gentlemates. And while you guys fill out this poll, while you fill out this poll, I'm going to go get my, uh, a little energy start the day the kick start so i'll be back in a second Yeah, yeah, this was pretty... <laughs> I feel like this is pretty straightforward, chat. A couple people voted too, but obviously we're going to have Rule 1 versus Gentlemates up um, for the majority of the time. I'll have them both available. The way I assume it works is that RL Esports is going to be running the other ones. Five-minute countdown, by the way, before we switch over to the um, main broadcast here. So twitch.tv slash RL Esports... Right? Chat, is there is there another channel that's doing the second? No, they're already live. They have a longer timer, but here is the uh, secondary stream, mainstream. Hey, if you're all the way from Sydney, yo, what up, what up? Are you okay in the head up there? Huh? Fear, don't do anything important. Hey, listen, I'm not in control. Congrats, I want to say congrats on the 80K. You've been enjoying your content for two years. You'll be at 100K in no time. Yo, thank you, chat. We're getting pretty close. To 100,000 in YouTube. I think, chat, I think we might get it this year. And I, I've i been dreaming about that plaque. It, it, you know, it's funny how once I get it, I'm sure my brain will just reorient and then, you know, pretend it was nothing and no big deal and I need to get more. But for the longest time, it was like people who have the check mark on Twitch are like, that's unreachable. I'll never get there. So that was probably one of my biggest, if not still, like my biggest hurdles that when I got it, I was pretty stoked about. But 100,000 on YouTube is, is the next one. Because getting a nice plaque seems crazy. Who's Baby Fear got in the tournament? I'll have to ask him. I'll have to ask him. Wait, you have YouTube? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Make sure you go check it out. What are the drops? You know, that's actually a great question, chat. Does anybody know if they've announced what the drops are? If they're just the same one as last time? Are you a full-time content creator? Not yet. Not yet. Got some downtime before work. Let's see Nupo. Yeah, for sure. We're definitely going to watch Nupo. No doubt about it. When are you going to do Madness Finals? Madness Finals are going to go live, by the way, chat. Especially if you're in the YouTube. It's going to go live after the Major today. Yo! Back in it. Thank you for the Tier time. 1. For 26 months. Who has the doctor diagnosed as the winner? Uh, I bet you should pick Daniel. She knows she knows Daniel a good amount from like my streams in the past. So I think she would pick Daniel if given the opportunity to pick a winner. Uh she might pick M80, but then only find out later that <laughs> M80 didn't qualify because she knows that I did the M80 streams. But yeah, I would guess she'd pick Daniel. I think she's asleep right now. So I don't think we're gonna get a chance to ask her. What does drops on mean? It means items are dropping or, or like items can be earned for Rocket League in-game by watching this stream. You're already so nervous? Yeah, chat, I'll be honest. I was like pretty darn excited for today. <laughs> and, and I, you know, I had to stream as well. So I, I can't say for sure which one it was. But like I woke up before my alarm at five. So <laughs> if that doesn't give you an idea. 
Your wife and I sat behind Reddle's grandmother at Worlds, and now your wife would die for Reddle's. She always predicts his team no matter what. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, meeting everybody in person is pretty crazy. Reddle's dad is also a guy that's really easy to get behind. How do you link your RL account? As soon as somebody knows, if there's a command somewhere else that we can just like steal that takes you to a link to figure it out. Actually, you know what? We have this link right here. You, you can go check this out. Um, and it, it says make sure to link your Epic account. And I'm assuming if you click that, it'll it'll show you how to link it. So I can do a... Do we have an exclamation point rewards? <laughs> or an exclamation point drops? Drops, we got them. <laughs> hey, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more true than that. Um, let's see. Edit com drops. We'll put that there for drops. Okay, 55 seconds chat. It's time to switch off of our great music, which I know you guys love, and into the mainstream music. Are you a software dev? Yeah, I'm still a software dev. You're gonna donate five hundred dollars? I wish I could, but I'm broke. Pretend like I donated it. <laughs> Oh, wow, 500, that's crazy. So much support. Um, yeah, go there and click the link that they have there for the drops. And I and I think I'll be able to figure it out, hopefully. I've done it a long time ago. Do you think rule one have the potential to reach top four? Not really. I wouldn't say rule one do. Um, they, they haven't looked good enough against the Falcons. All right, chat. I did go to UA. Thank you, Cozy Cuz. Ladies and gentlemen, the major in Copenhagen is about to begin. 16 teams have joined us in Copenhagen, all vying for that one spot on Championship Sunday. You can see the players all starting to get I like ready. The song. And the show is going to begin in just a few moments. I'll be sending you off the desk soon. But first, I wanted to introduce you to the player pit. Hello, I'm Leaf, and this is where we're going to be having all the fun. <laughs> I'm down here in the home where we're going to get into the minds of all the players and all the cool storylines as they unfold. I thank you guys so stash. much for joining all of us here as we celebrate Rocket League. So many cool storylines. Already fully together. invested. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> my heart. Jane Apps coming into this as Canada's last hope. Also coming in with the most land record at 12. That's incredible. Oh, and just behind him, Torsos as well, tying that record. And also saying OC is coming in looking the strongest they ever have. And we can forget what about the French. OCE? <laughs> They're still French. And one of my favorite storylines, of course, is Sub-Saharan Africa. And to talk Am about I didn't that, sleep well? Wait, did he not look good? That one spot, Snowy, you're joining me. How exciting is it to represent that one spot here at the Major? Uh, it's incredibly exciting. It's our first Major. Up. We've been waiting so many years for this. Um, obviously, we were included in RLCS the last two seasons, but no Majors. So the fact that we're here, it's just like, it's the most exciting moment ever. Yeah. Imagine uh, he disses YMC now, the crazy in thing this interview. Is we, we were just talking about your opponents, K Corp. You oh, I thought, the big dads I thought, I thought, across the board. Now, they right. tend to drop some matches early on. I thought early he was actually going to talk about YMC. <laughs> Um, potentially, uh, we know we got thrown into the deep end. We got given probably the strongest team at the major, uh, but we know we're confident in ourselves and anything can happen. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this match and hopefully we can just, you know, give them a good game. Yeah. Okay. I really don't want to take much of your time. I know you really got to get a practice up here. So being here representing Sub-Saharan Africa, I want to give you the honors of starting our Hollywood show. Hollywood fear only thinks about content. Off. Can you look in the camera and say, 
The RLCS Copenhagen Love Major starts here. now. Can RLCS, you briefly Copenhagen explain major what this major means for the right season now. and what remains for the RLCS I think the season? Qualifier, we, we didn't let our guard drop. We continued um, the whole split. Uh, we won all three regionals. Yes. I think quite comfortably. Yes, I can. Uh, so basically, there are two majors. Two majors and worlds. So during the majors and the worlds, you're collecting, or sorry, during the majors and the regionals, you're collecting points so that you qualify for worlds. So depending on how you finish here at this major, it will count towards points towards worlds and qualifying to the final tournament. So that's what it's big about. There's only two majors this time, so each major is humongous. You could probably qualify yourself for worlds with one good performance in a major, if I had to guess. And so yeah, after this one, there will be one more set of regionals and then a major, and then worlds. like have a, a pretty good chance of like getting games love you fear can you briefly teams. explain the relative <laughs> speeds of laden like and unladen african and european swallows and how they fit in with the larger bird population <laughs> i can listen i can but i'm i just don't want to we don't really add too much pressure on ourselves we just play the game and we know what we have to do 120 star record uses carpetless now bog sub 135 when yeah dude i mean dude it's had carpetless for a while sub 135 is whenever Ouija decides he wants to get it man but i watched simply get his pv yesterday say our name chad did you guys see did you guys see the g2 tweet i retweeted it it was so good i don't retweet a ton but uh, I definitely had to retweet that instantly because <laughs> it's just so good. I, I had to reward like really, really good content like that. Daniel cut his hair, did he, or did he just tuck it in in his hat or whatever? Oh, you're talking about maybe you saw him here. I was thinking about the G2 content piece. Yo, Yolga, thank you for the, the three months at Tier 1. Kick off our first major a little under 30 minutes till round one of the Swiss begins. Welcome back, folks. Get up again. Great to have teammates back, chat. Great to have teammates back. Can you explain what drops are and how to get them? I think that, that tweet probably does the best job of explaining it. But they're in-game items. Usually esports related. We are all here finally together as one international family. Teams from all over the world here. Sub-Saharan Africa in town for a major. For the first time. Can you give a science-based workout and nutrition program to build muscle? No. Do I look like I build muscle? He basically wants a talent right there. I got height. Just let him right now. Let's get into it. It's gonna be a crazy one, Gibbs. Since day one, mildly, I think the answer to that is G2. But it's been a long off season. It has been. everyone. 228 days is when the world champions were crowned. Vitality, and then rosters consolidated across every single region. We have the most talent here, lab at this major that we've ever had before so a lot of questions you know we say that like that i feel like we say that almost yes, every time but it's best. it's like true but almost every time <laughs> you know what i mean these regions like it really is playing getting person. insane it's different than playing online everybody having to find that new gear many players doing it for the first time here let's take a look was that an rlcs branded leather jacket by the way yes you can get rewards in the stream a great time to start we're right here based off individual skills nuko a top three player in this major first major here for probably not if i did a Today, March 28th, I feel like you're trying to modify the question, so I answer yes. <laughs> but I don't think I'd have him in like my top three if I did one of the brackets for like Johnny's stream. Super stacked, especially with Fury and Complexity representing Sam again. Yeah, that's true. Going back to going to be seeing us in the cover box as well. It's going to be. Is it a requirement that you be really tall or really short? Chat, you guys have never seen me standing up. What do you think it is? You think I'm really tall or really short? We've seen what the crowd can do at these massive events and the cough box it's a bit smaller mm -hmm. it's intimate it is loud you're loud. basically sitting inside a big drum you don't first even have we legs there, uh, <laughs> tall king the correct sport. second time we were there first time uh, correct non na versus eu or eu versus eu final i think you're really mid uh, Middle East wrong there, but, uh, wrong folks, tall king was correct the show, tall the af spot. tall great action coming down the pipe for you all through the rest of the week we got two broadcasts going on at the same time so all right chat, sure i'm gonna try and be live for all these broadcasts by the way that's currently the plan we'll see how it goes the b stream matches they're gonna be kicking off here i think in just a few minutes with their pre-show so you think 
Oh, they're doing the first Calvary touch pre-show on Sunday. Yeah, this is the... Oh, look! Look who it is! It's Shogun and uh, James over there doing the other... Super teams stream everywhere. Mm -hmm. K Corp, yes. obviously, everyone knows that they're the number one dogs here. But G2 and Gen G consolidated talent. In Please North support America. Khaled. He's been grinding and he's going to surprise you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm rooting Perfect for real one here for sure. Falcons against gentle mates the and eu has you have, have won enough man it's going to be really tough for me to feel like eu is not are we on a hype train wait let's go hog champ i didn't notice that level two hype train but um um yeah like i said eu wins all the time so they feel like they're always going to be the uh top dogs like the underdog is always the team that's playing against eu so i feel like it's pretty easy to to root for the non-EU teams. Oh, you can't flex your talking status? I'm six. I'm six foot. Almost six one. Almost six one, but we round it down to six foot. You are out. Your tournament is over. If you win three before you lose three, you'll be. No, don't drop cap. Boxes, it's true. The green boxes at the top. Eight teams will qualify out of this Swiss and into our. Six foot is average. Where are you from? <laughs> you from the Netherlands? Like where is six foot average, bro? All right, let me. Average height for a male in Netherlands. I think they're they're pretty tall. And even then, the kind of I don't think... All right, in inches. Don't give me the centimeter stuff. Come on. In a, in a freedom units. Okay. okay. You're, you might be from the Netherlands. Yeah, it says it says six foot is average in uh, the Netherlands. Such a huge title for whatever team is able to do it. But with it being the first major, the points are... So Netherlands is 6'2"? Uh, my Google says they're six foot. Uh, yeah, we could see like a cape but to be fair, it doesn't seem to... Uh, <laughs> tell me inches. It, it could, it could be. They're gonna go for the perfect season, but here, let me see. Points here. There's only two splits, so you want to get as many as you can right now. No, it's like six foot exactly, according to my Google. How are you awake right now? How are you awake? No, I, I woke up, dude. I was too excited, man. On land play here in Copenhagen, I'm excited about that. But before we do, let's Jesse might be the tallest person you've seen at land. Top ten of split one online. So many excellent plays from across the world and international top ten. Basically. All right, chat. International top ten, but of course we're gonna start off in North America. Squishing. Okay, <laughs> instantly, instantly, it's our team getting clipped on. Instantly, it's M80 getting scored on. Literally nowhere is safe. Let's move over to APAC. We got Sphinx, the 15 year old phenom, doing his best Zen impression, going oh, off the ceiling into the double. It's pretty Not nice. Signature shot, as CJ would say. <laughs> but Sphinx is here to play. He has put <laughs> Elevate on the map, and they can be an upset team to take down some of these guys if he's playing well and he looked good there moving on to number eight yeah miski i was we're gonna move into the middle <laughs> east funny. region and we're gonna get some twin synergy ah, here Roll twin energy baby killers the twin energy the team pinch it's just not fair how do you they have this? the same brain so of course <laughs> they're gonna pinch it's the look twin at energy. this and look at that it's so so beautiful moving on we're gonna move into the oc and amphis the beautiful corner double tap read he's not trying for power he's only trying for the angles tilts his car back a nice soft shot but it's exactly what he needed to put it in that bottom left corner oh and this one was nasty again on on, on the, the team that i was casting like <laughs> again i was commentating this team and they got this scored on them uh, it's, it's one of the two, but it Wait. made magic at the end. And then there's this top. Oh, pitch. We see that when you submit to social media all the time. You're like, oh, it happens in a ranked game. This is them against Gentile. How do you check your progress chat? Does anybody know? From his own post, the entire way down the pitch. And it's yet again, even more EU. This time, Drali, <laughs> another brand new player. The corner you watch some ass on Hoodie stream? That guy there, deserves a to top team. Yeah, I've, I've seen him playing some 1v1s. Everybody out. And the Check Sweden. Talking about Sweden height, is Sweden tall? I don't understand how you figure out where you're going. Yeah, two matches are gonna be played at the same time. <laughs> what up, Sydney? That's the first time chatter if I've ever seen one. Now it's their time to do the clip. It was from the backboard. Started off 
from Maseko over to Juicy, oh. redirects it, sweetly and perfectly finds Itachi, who then Yeah, the 14 redirect was pretty saucy. Outrageous. We all know Europe's pretty good, but they don't got the top two plays right here. We got Pam with the Psycho, the very quick... Save. Oh, did they give Daniel number one? Can we get a drops questions counter? <laughs> uh, I don't want to... Like, it'd be so much work to update that constantly. We'd have to be updating it all the time, so I'm not sure we can fun time, Chris. You heard it here first. The official stream says number one play, Daniel. That's like it was crazy, though. And Daniel just put it on, on the rest right there. Seen it like 20 times. It's still disgusting. <laughs> I don't understand. The I sauciest wanna, salamander? Never no, gonna happen, so folks. No, you're too old, wife. The split was incredible. Amazing stuff down the pipe. But Johnny picking a psycho over that? Game. Dude, <laughs> did anybody hear me talk to Johnny about it on Chalkcast, dude? I, ugh. On today's day. So like that guy is he's impossible to move though once he's three. found his spot you just you can't and, and you can't shove him off of it dude he, of he's just <laughs> rock solid to get i mean this this could go a lot of ways swiss can is, is very dynamic we have no idea what matches we're gonna see yeah my dream matchup uh, where can i find the match times for each teams uh Sam let's let's just do this for yeah, exclamation point bracket falcons i think everyone mm. wants to see the consolidation of talent happen in both regions i want to see him battle which which round you think it happens in Honestly, round two, Delusional? Why did we add that two, one? I think they're both favorites. Just feels like a failure of an emote, right? Matchup in the one -oh round, and honestly, like, that's what people want to see. They want to mm -hmm. see which region is better, Sam or me. Prediction? Any other matches you got here? Is it time? Yeah, I guess we can. Chat, do you guys want to do? Here, I'll let you decide. Double prediction. Double prediction. Yes. So, pick both winners in one prediction. Just do one series. All right, which which do you want, chat? Do you want to try and pick both? So, for example, the options in this stream or this uh, first round would be Casey and Rule One, Casey and Gentlemates, and Limitless and Rule One. Or do you want to just pick one of them? Okay, it looks like this first one you guys want to do the double. Which teams win? Casey and. Across the talent team, and Casey it's and mates, if we can match the Casey and the rule so one, a mystery talent sitting with a microphone somewhere out um, here. And, and then limitless, we're gonna see if we can discern who it and is. rule one, take a look at take number one, limitless, the, uh, what it is here, kickoff goals and will mates. crush at least Ooh, one team. That sounds like Johnny Boy. That's who screams Johnny Boy. Like Johnny's not here yet, though, but I think it might be a show. <laughs> should I wear a headset <laughs> while <laughs> the head is wearing? I wear the headset, or should the head? He might be here. He what? That's, 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 it's too early. It's, it's too early. Building, so it's not. So so you know North America does not care about their kickoff, so it's It's a little awkward how one means pick two okay, and two so means pick one. Well, we'll test them out. We'll test them out. This first round, this is what we'll do, chat. So and then um, so if we don't like it, we can move back and forth. Which is funny because this first round is like you're, you're basically just picking one game. Let's be honest, chat. You're basically just picking one game. Somebody did put a little bit of money on Limitless. 2,000 points even, which is like, so oh, like four different people. They're just trying to drop a little bit of money <laughs> into the into the off chance that they could go super rich. Did Johnny say that? I don't think I, he I think did. I'm going CJ. I think I'm going CJ. Going CJ? I, I, think I don't so. think Johnny had. I think Johnny's grand final was. Because you're saying it's not him. It's not him. No, he might have had the Falcons actually. No, I think he did have the Falcons, but he didn't. He did. He had. James could. I could see James point. What about like? Could it be like Herc or something potentially? Like she, she's been. She's been on the more, you know, looking for the multi-region. Okay, who, who are you going with? We gotta lock it in. I'm gonna go with Herc. I'm going CJ. CJ. James Bot. I think I also got CJ on this one. Who is it? Show it to us. Who's my the person? Goodness. Oh, oh, you my guys goodness. went with the meta play. Oh, Johnny's on the late shuttle. He's not here yet. I wasn't supposed to be here this morning. It should have been a dead giveaway. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was still asleep on the couch. In the <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you no one said stacks. I wasn't even thinking about you, buddy. All for four on the desk. Oh, Unreal. That was stacks. Incredible. What, what were we thinking about the kickoffs then? Chad, do you guys think that KC could 2v3 Limitless? Even though teams get burned by kickoffs all the time, 
they don't make any changes. They don't make any adjustments. Mm. You see teams like K-Corp, they don't get burned on kickoffs. Why? Because they actually pay attention to detail. Other teams need to do that. <laughs> it's, and if they don't, it's a toss-up. <laughs> it's a toss-up. Chat, chat does think, think mostly no, though. I wouldn't... You guys are, like, certain it's no? And, uh... I don't know, man. Actually... <laughs> Complexity even could if they can spring a big I, upset oh in round yeah. one. That it's probably relevant. yeah. But I think one of those teams absolutely gets into top eight. Okay. 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 And you believe Falcon yeah, Stacks is huge. Final. Oh, of course. Stacks, well, especially being like a, an arena host, is, is massive. That's the, that's the surest bet I've got. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just so upset that we were all wrong. And I he know. Was right. He's gonna hold on over our heads. Need to look at his face anymore. He's good. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Cheers, Stacks. Bye, Stacks. Bye. Can we get? Can we cut? Can we get rid of Stacks? Yeah, good. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Stacks, Stacks gets to take this one home. Congratulations. I think. I think all of it, Limitless is I SSL. I think if Limitless it, comes to like EU and right, plays there, they're probably SSL. That's also the first time I played that game. Fear body shaming? No, that's not. What did I say? Did I say he's huge? He's huge for esports or huge for stadiums? The teams here. Again, if you're watching for the first time here and you uh, don't know a lot of the teams, that's you. Like, that's you who thought of that, teams. not me. Who's good? Who's not? We did a power ranking from all the talent. All the talent ranked the teams one to sixteen on how strong <laughs> I, they thought that's... they were, and then we aggregated those results. Stop! I won't even. I won't even entertain this. By the analyst, we will adjust this every day, so we're going to see as teams go up and down as gameplay happens. Uh, Carmen Core, not a wow. single talent ranked them lower than first. They were, were the more first undefeated as well as. Uh, this pretty much just was, matches uh, Johnny. Uh, Exactly no, it doesn't. G2's last. higher. Johnny always puts G2 at five. Because they can only go mm -hmm. up. Can every, go up everybody is doubting them. That's exactly what they want here. Uh, but let's see. So we have yeah, this G2 is pretty straightforward. All right. You can I tell this is an aggregate because list, nothing is too crazy. People are going to hate us for having OG and Luminosity in 11th and 12th. Bear in mind, they're like the third and fourth best teams in North America going by the points. That is quite low down for They're only them, point I four behind it's very close. nine. Mm. On rule, rule one, what do you think, chat? I, I, yeah, like, I think there's a chance that the NA teams, the, the low NA teams, prove to not be as poor as. Uh, <laughs> you put them two. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I have them. I have them expected, them expected to go this low. I feel like it's gonna go exactly like this. That's why. That's why you have to get ready to actually watch the games. <laughs> OG Dark Horse. You mean to tell me that there's seven teams better than G2? Yeah, I think I think that when there's JNAPs, it's just like everybody who's been watching forever and Nolly. Nolly just kind of wins, man. He just kind of gets dubs. Not to say that Com doesn't, but it's really hard to predict against like JNAPs at lands. He's been there so many times. <laughs> Gen G, is it crazy? They beat G2 They're sleeping on the Falcons so at five. Having to fight these NARs and one team region like allegations right now. <laughs> yeah, for, so, so we'll with every day we will update that list. We'll come back and see how the mission should not be closed for the prediction. Should still be open. We are very close to kick off for the first match here on our stream. Again, two streams happening simultaneously. Yeah, what's going on Make over sure here on this one? Uh oh, pulled up if you want to uh oh, I'm gonna refresh it. Hopefully, it has something going on. Okay, it does. The we're first seeing four that they'll be playing for round number one. We'll see able. power taking on Gen G Mobile One. If Gen G wants to make sure that they are going up, drops are bugged. I'm unlocking 16 drops at one moment. Chat. Sure Sign up for the drops. You, the you heard it here first. You get 16 X drops elevated. here. They will kick things off with number one versus number 16, Carmen Core versus Limitless. Here, though, on the A stream, we will have the other four matches of round one to start things off before we get into round two. We will close out round one with Complexity versus Vitality. We'll see OG take on Falcon. I'm particularly excited about that matchup. We'll see LG take on Furia, but let's talk about the. It does seem like all the good matches are here on mainstream, obviously. Teams excited about them. So I mean, we'll probably mostly just watch mainstream it, today. If that match is great, but but real quick, yeah. I want to talk about. How would this one rank among all-time upsets? Wait, you're talking about Limitless over KC? Limitless over KC would be the biggest upset in Rocket League history. No question. Maybe that was the reason. I think I can. I think I can comfortably say that. Is the big question mark yeah. because if Limitless were to beat KC, it would be the biggest upset in the Royal CS ever. But they go back to Europe, 
and they've looked limitless one oh up oh no tuned into the world championship oh but you made me check gameplay online but you made me check are probably astonished we've gotten this far into a pre-show without talking about vitality well thing is that right now i didn't realize i had that emote there's always on a world championship who plays for kc when you've won the world championships rise patira and atto again you see it frequently even major wins can then bring it guys there's 12 drops you get progress for all of them at once when they should be one by one take advantage let's go it's bugged get in here get in here and get your drops chat but vitality they still have that to prove okay well we'll talk more about vitality when their match against complexity occurs later on today let's talk about the first match of the day to kick off our copenhagen major gentle mates in the purple rule one in the orange a beautiful blend will the og match be shown on this stream yeah i think so absolutely beautiful blend i don't know. just want to point out the purple versus the orange we'll watch all of them by the way on this stream the one you're watching right now but the main stream will also have og because they made all the way to the grand finals when they beat vitality but they haven't been playing as good since that qualifier one but still to get into those grand finals is a huge buff for them and with the amount of fans that if they then make it to that top eight that are going to be here to support them in Europe with Gentleman. It's one of the biggest orgs throughout Europe, especially with that French following. They're going to have a lot of support behind them. What does everyone think about Zen taking Rise's place in KC? I don't think they want to do that. The World Championship, the top four teams, all European. So, yes, they are the EU4 seed. But many could say Chat, I think we have to still yeah. it is so difficult hit a couple ads so that they don't region. happen when they this so series starts. One performance, they have How do you check drops again, progress? Really should I stop? I should stop reading those. <laughs> they, they, they should show up. When they do go up if we want to make like an exclamation point progress for the people who answered that, so, we so could. It's great to see Juicy. Like yeah. becoming from a team where previously they weren't making majors all the time and then joining two LAN regulars in Seiko and Is that Kevin from the Sunless video? Yes. Like this. And yes, it is. Thriving since then. It is Kevin like from the Sunless video. Atachi. What a turn up he's had. Yeah, and this gentleman made squad of listen, they haven't had their huge performance from qualifier one to qualifier two, qualifier three, but they were finally I'm only here for the ads. Yeah. Can we get drops from mobile? I think so, as long as you're so linked up. up a squad, because people who go to the land talk about pulling out their phones and putting on the stream so they can get drops, even though they're there in person. It's crazy to think that this is sort of a leftover style roster of players just kind of put together, and you have six. Seiko, one of the legends of the open era on that team. Such a strong roster. Keep your eye on them, folks. On the other side of things, though, let's talk about rule one. The, a lot of the hype this season. The drops will arrive all at the same time. You only need two hours of watch time. One, trying to change that Look at Nupo, Nupo dude. The aura. In case you're just in the aura the of Nupo. You been, but the Falcons in rule one, they had basically a trade. Kylan and Ahmed went and joined Naupo on rule one while the Twins went over to Falcons. And rule one, ever since, they've been playing solid. They have good offense but they haven't been able to match Falcons just yet. Wait, is that the Bismillah flick guy? It is. It is. Yo, they the Prime. Can't let these ads stop me. That's true, guys. You could just use your Twitch Prime to contribute to full time and you'll get no ads. Two of the players on Falcons who made it to the grand finals for the first ever time for a non eor That's crazy to kick TRK, yeah. He's going to Bismillah flick on mates. Wait, no, he's not on this team. Uh, now, Bo, Kevin is was Elevate is playing uh, BDS. Out, he joins actually Falcons for Gamers 8. They get third place, and then that trade happens mm -hmm. uh, at that point. So he's been look at Nupo. There he is ball. at LAN. Everybody was worried. Like, if there's Everybody was, was worried Swiss, that Nupo wasn't going to be able to him, play lands. But it is his first RLCS LAN. Let's see how he does. He's arguably the best player in mean. I know a lot of people tip their hat. L Twitch chat going to watch ads. YouTube is. Uh, <laughs> YouTube is dunking on you guys. How was Sunless feeling about Rule 1? I don't know. Did Sunless... Has Sunless posted another video since he posted the greatest comeback video? I don't think he has. They're going to have to perform, but I mean, Rule 1... You're talking about, talking about a region that puts perpetual pressure on themselves. Cresper! High expectations of themselves. Look at the new Rule 1 jersey. New Rule 1 jersey looks kind of fresh, dude. Top eight. We're here to win the whole thing, and you know it eats at all of them that they haven't done it yet. Nupo is fear height confirmed. No. Right away. And also, we talk about what you say about the regions with Mina. They were the only other region that was in a top four. At this That's why I'm so bad at Rocket League. I'm so tall. My brain connection to my hands is just too long. Nupo. 
and it was rule one. Yes, it was a different squad, but it's still sure. from that region. But also two of those members made top eight of worlds as a Falcon as yeah. well. <laughs> so they know how to perform when it matters. Only 18.2K viewers on mainstream. It's because everybody's here. Yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, I don't have my viewership up, but I'm sure if you added my viewership on top, we'd be at least at 100,000. So, did Vitality already play? Nobody's played yet. But with Mina, they can at least practice them a bit on higher pain. They do. They, but they do. do practice against them. Well, so and, and that rule, might help. Rule one gets to practice against Falcons, and they get to practice against Falcons under pressure. They make yep. the grand finals against Falcons all the time. I bet rule one scrims against EU. Against I would think that it's Mina it's guys, just guys just scrim against EU. Eight, and it's a good level up for your team. It's it's a, it is such a, such a different situation there. We'll see how that translates to on land play, in person play. These booths sitting right next to each other. The players right there next to each other. Chat. Let us know who you think's gonna win. Hashtag M8 for the. Mates, hashtag R1 for rule it's because one. mainstream we'll doesn't have drops on in the title. True. We already made the prediction. So the true. Stumpy, yep. you start us off. Who you got? I've got to start it off with how I'm probably going to be going for the rest of the event. Gentle mates here for me. Uh, I, I, I back them seeing as they've come out of what I Chat, who do you predict? Harder region, and it's against Mina's number two. Gentle mates should have it. Okay. I agree with you, Stumpy. I yeah. think with Europe, I, I think uh, them until they start losing to international competition. All four, I think I'd have to go gentle mates as well, but it's pretty close. Any, uh, international game, very likely. Did you see the belly goal versus LG? LG? I did. Mates, maybe uh -huh. I, go G2, I did see those. For the most part, Europe was top four reasons for north american fans to panic otherwise i'm gonna keep picking them so i'm going okay. gentle mates they, fix they fixed it they fixed up these on the board right there gibbs and y'all both have interesting thoughts okay you're gonna pick me yo are right they the prime no doubt no, but speaking of this match right here mina, like. mina, mina mina versus um eu i'm gonna go with this the floater from heaven squad give me gentle mates <laughs> i think they got a little bit of sauce in them but then they could be the rule one squad that plays too much defense so i also am going gentle mates in this situation and we have wow a special coin we got to see, do we actually know what's going on we're gonna flip the coin and see uh see if we can predict better than a coin across the entire event here so blue is uh, gentle mates okay. orange is the uh the rule one here we're just gonna flip it like this Whoa. And there that is go. that is a uh, rule one. All yes. right, rule one so the, the coin, coin could go in yeah. the lead here. So we'll see. We'll see. The coin would literally be winning. We'll also be uh, keeping track of chat throughout mm -hmm. the weekend too. Yeah. So. Also, he, needs, he, needs he, needs <laughs> he needs a harder spin next time, chat. He needs a harder spin next time. Yo, rule one. We'll Shout out to rule one we'll for getting yeah, the votes, we'll man. Wow. Uh, wait, how do you beat gentle mates? It's actually absurd. Rule one on this one. Gentle mates fans not in the mainstream. Predicted gentle mates, but the chat's got rule one. I was gonna ask him what rule one needs to do to win. Is this your usual stream? Time. It is not. The game, folks. I know you guys have been waiting for the start of this game. I've been waiting. All right, has this other one started? It's finally time for us to play in. It looks like they're starting at the same time. The championship series, Copenhagen Major, kicks it off with gentlemen versus Rule One. Two hundred and twenty-eight. Ooh, that CJ cast is the to open of it up. It's been since the World Championship, since we last saw international competition and we're kicking it all off with europe taking on mina we have gentle mates on one side cole we got rule one on the other uh oh audio uh oh <laughs> uh oh audio is just it's huge days and there's every cool single match will be broadcast there he is this stream and of course the secondary stream as well an absolute gargantuan amount of rocket league it's great to be here it has been a while how do you have drops in not official rocket league fun. the main channel doesn't have them you heard it here first so many questions throughout the offseason so we are currently getting all of the players in which will just i was going to say increase the nerves but Look at the gentlemates right now. They seem pretty chill about all this, you know? They're still enjoying themselves, still smiling, much more serious on the side of Rule 1. And I think that the tech issues, well, forget about that, because these guys are ready to go. We are getting underway. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first major of wow, the season. Wow, it's starting. Copenhagen, who will be the team to get the job done? I'm so excited. A beautiful city, beautiful country as well. Yeah, we'll follow second stream. For making us all feel welcome, but down here on the pitch, these players will not want their opponents to feel welcome at all. They will be you guys just let me know if Limitless is winning, okay? From the off to make that statement. And as for rule one, that's what they need to do. Being second all season, but that is not what they want. And this start from now, Bo could change that at the start. Here he goes. What an entrance. Look at go. Nupo go. From that man, Nupo, the best play, the MVP for rule one. Okay, that's yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> that's a ridiculous that start. That's actually filthy. Well, the, the opening goal of the major is that? 
coming out of Mina alongside him. Yeah, it seems that these guys have been playing together. Oh, don't get scored on the kickoff. <laughs> and and Alpo could well be the exact player they need. That spark, the young spark, just to bring them forwards, mechanically speaking. And Dude, I would love to see Rule 1 win. Six seconds in, you get a it became very clear. Oh, Nupo go to work, dude! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, W coin indeed. Dude, nothing would make me happier than Nupo popping off. Look out the rest of the world. Caller works that ball forward. Rule one. The best possible start. As you said, it wasn't quite the, the first split that they'd want, albeit they did get the major spot. They locked that in. But it, the Yikes. story in that region was all about Falcons. They could not get really near them. Couldn't Cola get Nupa, them, dude. That first event. And now they've oh, got a worry because cringe. they had a bump. world champ of his own right, gentlemen. Get there first of the major. Yeah, gotta remember there's some firepower down there on the EU side of things as well. It was Atachi doing what Atachi does best. Tough. Staring down O'Khaled. Khaled was in full Sega. reverse. Had to be done. So he, he did not realize that he needed to be playing defense. He was like trying to creep out and had he was reversing for a while before that shot. All the talk was about how impressive they looked. Really getting the job done over K Corp. Since then, they, well, they, they Bump him. Top four runs, but I feel like we never really Gold star! Gold star, OG, thank you for the prime. The, uh, the YouTube streams are, are interesting. When you watch YouTube streams, you have to, like, go in and intentionally set it to, uh, to, like, a higher quality. Otherwise, it does default super low. It's weird. Yeah, thank you for the prime, one Lee. Brand new prime. Prime until full time. Both of you guys. Vitality, one of the obvious ones who have stuck together in the long old off-season. Will it be an advantage? Will these players sync up instantly when now they're next to each other? You know, I guess a lot of them have had boot camps, which will help, should help. Situations like this one, but the stakes go higher. It gets even scarier than it's always been. Isn't YouTube stream slightly ahead? Usually YouTube stream is slightly behind. Again, O'Kallage shoots. Saved there by Juicy on the goal line. And Alpo's coming in now. I think this is important for Gentle Mates, just to make sure that when Rule 1 do come forwards, they're just staying steady because they will have their Yo, chances. Froggy, name of the Prime. Neither side really looking to overcommit that third Prime until full time. Seeing a little bit deeper, but you tend to get that in game one and at a major of all places. You have to expect it, but the demos are coming through. It's a phenomenal save there. Uh, just oh, what a save. Shots. Oh, this is the Rule 1 special from last season, but they don't. Hang on, Atachi gets the second, and Gentle Mates, they grab the lead. Okay, let this one bounce. Was that the correct oh, decision? Double commit. Got it before? Oh, he was stuck Dude, he's been reversed on be a couple different attempts. You can get an extension? All right, it's good to know. The smile on his face. Gentle mates, very quickly and pull. Oh, the, is the prediction still open? Yeah, all the talk has been about this European region. All right, yeah, we're ending submissions. Still People did dump more on Rule 1, I think, though. We so. always talk about them, but... They are looking pretty good right now. What can Rule 1 do? Two minutes left. It's actually just keeping that ball out. Trying to lock in at this first game. Perhaps more pressure though. Rule 1 certainly feels like they've had some more chances in General Mates. But that clear will see the end of the attack. General Mates very comfortable in a close, hard fought battle. Rewass is on the Falcons. They do have the offensive firepower to break through when it matters. Juicy thought about going for that touch. Off from Seiko's split preset. Decided against it in the end. Showing more patience, General Mates. Rule one punish them, not just yet, because Seiko's coming forward again. He's been a bit of a difference maker so far in game one. Him and Atachi, the two players who stood out for me, really. But here's the third. It's Juicy onto the backboard. He Ooh, gets what a save. Down, makes the save. Seiko's coming in. It's on target. And it's three. Phenomenal Dude, they've just been camped in net like the whole time. Yo, a Kepler. I think the nine, or not the 93. I think the new prime, but Kepler 93. But the top left was open. Khaled couldn't get back in time. Ruan has been camped, like, other than Nupo, who broke out, soloed literally the entire field for their only goal, they've just been pinned back. This is, this is to be honest, what I was potentially expecting, but obviously as soon as I saw Nupo score, I realized how much I wanted Ruan to win. But, what can you do? Yo, Haskin, they give it the prime. Boom, Shakalak, and they give it the tier one. Make something happen, but that will change quickly, especially if Seiko shoots. KC won game one, one three zero. Good. Forward if they can just get that second ball. Yeah, they hey, not bad. Not bad. I, was, I meant to ask you guys, offense. how many goals so do you think Limitless will score? And now you know they've scored zero in the first one. And I was going to ask over under. Oh my goodness, Seiko's going to work. I actually forgot to do it, but I was going to do a potential prediction that was just going to be how many goals over under. Does limit the score, and I 
I think I was maybe going to set the line at one or two and let chat <laughs> uh, let chat pick between those in the tournament or just the first just the first match against KC there we go interesting juicy got out 50 and Seiko well he's just completely <laughs> left the ball done a little bit of a drive by now Bo says that's the easiest goal I'll score 44 seconds is the dream alive yeah Seiko just wasn't expecting the ping pong mode there as the ball was flying all over the place on goal from kickoff could make things very interesting Khaled might have a chance on this ball instead it bounces away from him the bounce not favoring rule one on this occasion Seiko gets the fifth reset and falls to Juicy. This could no. kill it, and it does. It's 5-2. Gentle mates refusing to panic. No, yeah, Dream is Dream is no longer alive. On. There we go again, and it's Seiko just being that facilitator. Just forces a fantastic 50 in the middle. And there it is, Juicy doing the rest. Rocket League FX, we players. have a well, famous Gentleman, YouTube chatter in the chat. Champ, and you've got as well Can't see Nupo's face. You guys want to see Rule 1's face He's instead? Certainly fitting in like a glove. Had a phenomenal online split. We saw the, the highlight clips that Juicy was scoring. If you can bring that to land, this team can take down anyone. Yeah, juicy player. Yeah, mate's looking good. Tough Guys, this is not a good start for the for the non-EU fans. Let's put it that way. You know, we were hoping this would at least be close. So far, this is not close. This is just the gentle mates showing that this is this is the beginning of worst case scenario. <laughs> Three goals unless there's one this is the beginning of worst case scenario, which is that EU just dominates, gets top four, and nobody looks good against EU except for EU. EU are the villains. Yeah, it was a, it was a strong start for the gentle mates, albeit rule one getting that first goal on the board, but. As we said, they look comfortable. We saw the player cams there. They haven't All right, what's going on running. over here in Limitless? And they're looking really strong. KC up 2-0 again. First round of the Swiss, as we said. Just a couple minutes in. Stream, but there is a beast stream as well, an alternate stream, if you would. And that's K-Corp currently 1-0 up. And they're 2-0 in the second game against Limitless. Tune into that. This uh, game, 500 points plus for every single player on wow. Gentle Base Alpine. So all of them involved in every way. And it's, what's particularly impressive to me is that Rule 1 started... Who had the most goals for them less than we asked? But the next two minutes, they were in not control of Maybe the I could just do a poll. Equal, and then something we can't do a prediction on it, but yeah, I'll poll you guys. Defensively, Rule 1, where... Limitless goals in, in the first series. Oh, back in Mina. They just fell apart a couple of Zero. One or more. Two or more. One, two or more. What do you guys have? <laughs> Let's go to die for. There is the bucket. Wait, what happened? Oh, I thought we lost audio there for a second. We'll, we'll switch back over once that game starts. Okay, it sounds like the game did start. To die goat. <laughs> Where's the option 10? Uh, two or more, dude. Chat's got, chat's got them scoring again. I think that might have to be perfectly timed with uh, them scoring <laughs> the first time to get there to be believers. Oh my goodness. Look at this psycho. Look at this basically psycho. But unfortunately, it's a Nupo setup. Oh, team pinch setup. And then Itachi just... Oh. It's almost a, well, it's you made the stream a bit louder? You guys wanted a bit louder, chat? Nice see, I have this at max, but I can turn it up a little bit more. No. No. Yeah, okay. I, th I, think I, think we're, I think we're right here. If you want, if you want mainstream you know, audio and, and you don't want anything from fear, uh, believe it or not, there is a channel for that. <laughs> there is a channel to watch the stream without fear. I know it might not seem that way, but can you make the stream louder and give yourself a mouse voice? No. <laughs> Limitless scored. Did they score again? Did they score again? No, they didn't. Four <laughs> one. Four one. It hasn't been about for a while, but it's here. Well, that's true. Like, yeah, exactly. I know. My brain was like, wait a minute. What's what's one different, but two the same as what it used to be? I've got nightmares from this map. I miss one of the worst open nets I've ever seen, and that's all I can think about when I play <laughs> oh, in this no, moment. It's a phenomenal map, and Juicy has to get the touch. It does so. Can rule one. 
this time. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a turntable. Nice demo. Situation. Wait a second. That's, that's just a goal. Opening. And Seiko Huge demos. Again has gone walkabout Dude, because they're so, they're so the chill. Just not expecting the shot. Huge demo from Ahmad, but yeah, Seiko made Oh, he thought he had a, he, I think he had like, screen, who knows, but thankfully to be fair, Khaled shooting from that far out, that slow of a shot, he probably just thought, what? Are you really going to do that? But I think he, he must have thought he had help. Just making the most of opportunity. That's what Land's about. You just cannot give... 73% of you said two or more for Limitless. Oh, get in? Oh. Dude. Look at, look at this counterattack, man. Rule 1 is getting caught with their pants down a couple different times now. Such a fast counter. Yeah, it seemed like maybe he'd miss, but it's just it's Itachi, so he's going to find a way to double it. Quickest fully intentional counterattack. I think... I think the, it helps that there's no defender there. Like, if there's a defender around there, probably we don't say that. Because we just forget. Oh! Oh, so close. Finish it? Nice. All right. A little bit of offense for Rule 1. Look at... Oh, my goodness, dude. <laughs> they were more iconic duo than Nupo and 3v1ing. Like, or 1v3ing, I guess is a better way to put it. Time it feels like they get close. We saw it in that last game. Gentlemen, just find a response. Can rule one level it up and just start to put some doubt in? I feel like I feel like some people give Nupo crap and say that he doesn't like play with his team because of that. But like, can't blame him just because he has the ability to beat three defenders by himself. Sometimes he's gonna do that. <laughs> get it? Oh my goodness! Oh. Okay, that shot looked like maybe could have been better. I don't know. Khaled might have just placed it on the defender. Was the fourth defender there for the gentle mates that were trying to wedge it in rule one? They couldn't, it's still dangerous. Oof. Almost there, it's another phenomenal touch. Gentle mates working this time. The counter attack is an insta goal at least. Now, Po looking to turn this two in the corner, though. It's always awkward here. Rule one, have to work it out. That's a great bump. Nice bump. Look at Nupo go to work, baby. Release Callity takes it up, just throws it. Can Seiko get there? Just reaches, but still drop down. Love it. Look at now Nupo using his team, proving the haters wrong. Limitless 7 1. Limitless scored? Did they get a second? Oh, 7 2? Chat, you guys, you guys know ball. To die goat, second goal? Oh, what, what was I doing predicting against to, to die goat? Okay, rule one really need to get a game here. Because they played this game number two pretty well. They played early game one well. I'm sure the team is so upset he didn't pass. Yo, thank you for the $5 super chat. Yeah, I think they're okay when he 3v1s everyone. And actually, to be fair, he did end the 3v1 with a pass. Did you see the one Limitless tweets with the, with Puss in Boots? Yeah, that was actually really good. I would have that as like number two team tweet behind the G2 tweet. They put a limitless puts a lot of work into their socials. Shout out Koala Bra though. Huge support. Oh come on. Oh, that needs to be a bucket. This needs to be a bucket. But everybody's just camped back. Juicy off the corner, more awkward defense. It's been really a story of this series for both sides. What can Rule 1 do? It's a nice beat from now, Poe. We've coming through a few nervy moments here for General Mates as they're trying to hold on to this lead. Now, Poe working mm. forward. Rule 1, can they launch some sort of attack here in the last 30 seconds? Come on, to the ceiling. Oh, Nupo, go to work, baby. Uh, it doesn't matter, he's not around. That camper is, yeah, dude, so cringe. Let it be known, EU just camps in net. He takes one touch. He goes upwards. Attachi's watching him, waiting. Armad in the center. Can he get it towards him? He can, but it's so close to the wall. There we go. Oh. Everyone's missed it. It's fakes all round. And there's 10 seconds. Oh, look at this high level RLCS gameplay where everyone just fakes each other and no one touches the ball. Drops it down. Khaled can't 
quite attack it straight away. Just trying to pop it up. It's gonna be so tough. Well. All mates green. back, all so of them with boosts. Yeah. Okay, they, it doesn't seem like Ruan can get away with going down. They have to start out early. How is Limitless losing to KC? Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. How are they losing? Yeah, I think that the, the Swiss stage, look, you don't really know how the matchups are going to go. That's why this thing is so hard to predict. You just, there's so many Chat, by the way, you guys predicted rule one with your predictions. combinations, and I just said, oh, nice. I said a double I predicted wacky. mates. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, to be fair, I was like 50-50. I think I might have let you guys so pull me to rule one side. It's been, as we said, so long since we've had international competition. It's almost sending a message. Limitless is only using 0.1% of their power, and the good news is, they are limitless. They had some great shots there. Yeah, I think they looked good. They're just a little too late. And mates looked good from the very beginning. So much more as that game went on. Well, it is now up to rule one. The ball is in their court and not only... Yeah, I would, I would agree with what you're saying. Like, towards the end of the game, everything just became so predictable and so, like... Kind of desperate, maybe, that's the way to put it. And and when the whole of mates are back, like they're not going to get outplayed by anything that is like a quick touch desperation. Like you're going to have to do something special to outplay a couple defenders. Or you even need to like pull the ball out, pull them out a little bit, and then attack again. Dude, this is this is just an awkward. Get this out. So he just sends it anywhere except his own net. And it's worked out pretty well. Rule one, survivor, bit of an onslaught early doors here in game three. Yeah, is it nerves or skill difference? I don't think it's nerves. I think Khaled and I might have played on majors a ton. I think, if anything, you could say Nupo has nerves, but I think he proved he didn't really when he opened up the whole major with, <laughs> with like a 1v3 air dribble reset finish. I think they're all going to have a little bit of nerves, but... Dude, yeah, Rule 1 has been doubling up in defense a ton. It's about what they can do down the other end, not just in defense. Yeah, we haven't seen them take the lead since six seconds into game one, Rule 1. But now they're more confident. They're starting to grow into this one. If they can do it again, they'll be able to keep Gentlemates out for the next, you know, 30 seconds or so and give themselves that platform. You can get drops here. Against Armad, Seiko takes the touch. Khaled is charging him down. Khaled manages to send it to the side. So for now, Rule 1 dealing with this sustained gentleman's pressure and doing it very well. Their defending's improved a lot. Yeah, they're certainly pairing it off. Yeah, you have to... You play with nerves a ton, not just at, on land. Obviously, land's a little bit different. But these guys have played lands too. Especially uh, if there's anybody who has played lands before, it's the Saudi guys. The Saudi guys go to a ton of lands. So they're way more used to like playing on a stage or a semi stage with you know their teammates next to them. Come on, Nupo, go to work, baby. Go to work. Go to work. The Falcons' Rule 1 latest final was such high level, world class, even. At the Saudi E League. In the end, his old teammate Khaled can somewhat take it away, but right now it's turned into the latter. They can't clear their lines. Gentlemates moving forward. How do they calm on stage? They, they, their headsets. Yeah, they're dominating the midfield, and it honestly feels like their headsets calm. The grand final right now. Mates are just all over rule one who are just really just. They aren't just like yelling to each other over the head to phones. There we go. Oh. Just floating across with the pre-jump. More pressure here. Great dunk. 
This is what Ruan needed. I mean, they couldn't afford to go down, so they needed it to be even. And, you know, maybe one goal their way. Nice. Bang, bang. Look at that. How much do they pay the guy who sits in a dark room and controls the game camera? Probably full time. <laughs> Phenomenal shot and rule one. Well, they have done it. The counter attacks, general mates, just backed off a little bit. Rule one walks straight into it. Phenomenal start, and it's only 90 seconds left after all that defense. They've got reward down the other end. Now they just need to hang on. And now, if they can hang on, then gentle mates certainly will overcommit. Desperate for a goal now. They'll want to finish this one in three. Dude, everyone, uh, for some reason, when when mates are camped in net, I'm like, they'll never get broken down. And when rule one's fully camped in net, I'm like, this is scary. Get him out. Nice. Good speed. Can they hang on? 50 seconds. It's another poor touch rule one. Oh my goodness. They're playing with fire, baby. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Now, Poe, what a touch. Sent to the other side for it, but it was so worth it. But here comes Seiko. He fakes it again. Attachy shoots. Oh. Seiko onto the Let me go see what's up. He's too far forward. He has to do a three point turn just to get towards the ball. That's exactly what rule one wanted. Seiko stabs it forward. Now, Poe, more than even to that one. 25 left. They've just got zero boost, but they're hanging in there. Seiko trying to get involved. Khaled just get some sort of a skim touch no boost another pass across general mates off the corner um that has to go he's been 50s it is going to be the shot no another clear coming through rule one 10 seconds left they played the perfect game their game counter-attack and they might just be able to get their first game of the copenhagen major just needs to hit the ground now the ball Atachi no boost works it down juicy is it going to be a zero second match w no, there's that man the MVP of Rule 1. Daba you. And breathe. That was not Drake's the in chat. Defensive performance All right, BRB chat. Ever see by any means from Rule 1. They tempted gentlemates in with some uh, slightly awkward touches. But my goodness, a 1 0 win will do the world of good for their confidence and their belief in themselves. A massive, massive game there for Rule 1. Look at that. 10 shots to 2 as well. I mean, if this isn't just the rule one brand it's their style of rocket league and it just it feels like it's more effective on land as well defense on land is just just to add so much you if you can that though yeah but they do finally get the chance and there it is it's a great setup from Ahmad. now Poe has been that play to be beating plays but I, I think whoever is running this highlights package is on the rule one uh, payroll because there was a lot more chance the gentle mates had there that made it look like rule one had a, a clean comfortable game against gentle mates but that's not what i saw cj no it was complete and utter chaos but see there they had eight saves gentle mates only had one they fought Again, it's all about quality over quantity. That was the story of that game. I still think that Rule 1, I, I, I don't think it's a recipe they need, they, they can rely on. Uh, because, I mean, there were so many chances there for gentlemen to get one back. Let's see what happens here, though. Does this put a bit of pressure on the Europeans? Or will they be able to lock this one out in four? I feel like it depends on how long it takes gentlemates to get their next goal, because obviously they weren't able to do so in the last game. If they get an early goal, early doors here, happy days, it doesn't matter. But if this one starts to get to two minutes left, one minute left, and they still haven't got their next one, maybe they'll start getting a little bit angsty. We're about to find out here. Off to Utopia Dusk, and you're all about the This could reverse sweep. I mean, uh, the scary part about this is that the goals are still like, heavily in favor of gentlemen's like rule one's win when your only win is a 1-0 win it's not it doesn't feel great we go Khaled. how's this other one is this one already fully done yeah the 3-0 Placement. That's all he needed on that shot. That's a glorious play there from Juicy to get the assist, though, to land his car in such a way to be able to just dribble straight up. Do so much work with the ball from an awkward position. And that may well be the difference. These snippets of play from Juicy, they weren't quite there in the last game. And this one, though, 50 seconds in, managed to get it done for his team with Seiko getting the finish. Well, one coming forward again. They'll have to now. Khaled is bypassed in the center. So he comes towards Ahmad, who's 
some recovery action of his own to get that one towards the center. Now, now post coming in. This it's is two one, one in the best of five. Basically, been their best player so far in the uh, in the online split. Why is fear bias to rule one? Well, I was just explaining how rule one is actually as well. Not in a great space for only winning with a 1-0, but I, I'm just a fan of the Mina guys, probably. Beer is a bias caster. Where to watch KC? They've already won, so you can't see him anymore. Well, you'll see him again later in the 1-0 round. Let's go! Let's go. That's got to be a bucket. It's got to be. There's no way they can stop that. What a play, dude. Again, Nupo just... 1v3. Rejumping top ends for the shot. It was far down. A couple of defensive mistakes and a little bit of panic from the general manager. Vitality has not played, no. Yeah, the physics engine was put into overdrive there of all those subtle slight ball touches. And oh my goodness. Well. Imagine that pinned off the backboard in? and directly into the net. Assist. No, it's saved by Khaled. Yeah, the defensive or pinned off the ceiling so into the net. The meter reach, another flip reset. Seiko wants another one. General not happy with it, but they've overcommitted a touch. This can happen. Oh, that's just free? Wow, that was a huge mistake. Nice demo on the goal line. But... Wait, Ahmad se demoed Seiko. Oh, no, never mind. Seiko did get demoed by Ahmad. <laughs> I was like, I was like, it looked like it looked like the overlay said the other way. Has anyone Ru one player other than Nupo scored? Yes. Has anybody created an opportunity? Well, just there, right? That was a non-Nupo goal, wasn't it? Or whoever it was, anybody could have scored it. So it just feels like it didn't matter if it was Nupo. But also, he he's been assisting. His his one v threes have left the ball on the goal line. Someone else is the one who taps it in. Dude, the counter attacks from the mates have been insane. And he has just caught out the defense there, outpacing, faking underneath the pre jump from yeah. he just got Going for the bounce, actually Gentleman the only way to score it. If he had tried to take it through the, the air, it would have been a save. Out so well you saw the player predictions of Johnny and crew, they rated the Nupo so feet. less. Less than what? I, I, I didn't see where that he was at. I think the important thing to think about with, with the way that they do those predictions is they do them as player performance at the major, which is to say that they tie it to like how they expect that team's success to be. Really tough spot. They're so fortunate that was just wide. So if they think Ru1 is not going to finish that high, then they'll like basically they'll, they'll bring Nupo down because of it. So they're probably ne like Nupo's never going to get a top five or whatever because they don't expect Ru1 to do that well. Oh. This is looking like a good series now. It's just I feel like it took too long. If you're a Ru1 fan. What a 50. What a 50. Mina and their 50s. Did you also wake up at 5 a.m.? I did. I woke up a little bit before 5 a.m. Johnny says he thinks Nupo has the highest ceiling. Yeah, Nupo is a huge, huge ceiling. I think he has like best player in the world level ceiling. But you'll never get that title unless you're on a team that's winning RLCS. Did you see Limitless versus KC? We, we tuned in a couple times. It looks like three goals is what I heard from Limitless probably. Three total. You woke up at five and started stream when? Like, at five. <laughs> I started stream like right away after waking up pretty much. Get it out of here, Callan. Saw what they did in Europe. Now Poe now working at Ford. Are we going to get the first OT? 
of this series. Yes, we are. Game number four. Will we go the distance? Can Gentlemates close it out? So close now for Gentlemates for going 1-0 and in this Swiss. EU's number four. Three players that came together after being kicked. Have done so much good work up to this point. One more step is needed. Seiko, he sends it forward. The former world champion. To the side it goes. Now in comes Juicy. Up against Khaled. Can he win this one cleanly? Yes, he can. Armad is there. Nalpo was diving in as well. Nice Just demo. That composure and Khaled makes up for his miss of a demo. Oh, it's, that's really a really good spot for mates. Wow. Khaled. Just good composure. Player in the world that looks comfortable in that spot. Seiko keeping in another 50. Khaled this time backboard. Just trying to have a little bit of time, grab a little boost for his Dude, everybody, everybody seems to be having to modify. They're setting up a net like without the correct orientation. But that boom. Gentlemen, certainly with all the composure, they're looking good right now. Rule one, sitting in net. Praying for that overcommit, but we do know this is exactly what rule one can play like more than if you'll miss one game. What do you skip? In the end, yes to, uh, I don't know. In the last game, <laughs> the mainstream has pretty much all the good games spread out pretty evenly. So it's probably up to you which teams you don't care about. They're just locked in now in overtime. Game number four. There's another touch coming through, General Mates. They want to end this one in four. They certainly don't want to go five on the brink of a potential reverse sweep. In the first round of the Swiss, here we go, Khaled working it Okay, we won on offense for the first time. A little demo. Get things going. Ahmed's going to keep that pressure on for rule one. Does get out 50 by Juicy. Khaled can only send it high, though. There's a chance mm, in for Atachi. Now nice, he has to get Nupo. this touch right. He does. Atachi doesn't quite get the second touch either. I wondered for a second if the ball was going to fall on him and cause some more chaos. But not to be. So, gentlemen, have to come forwards again. Juicy nice. Good free jump, Ahmad. Rule one's defensive fortress wow. holding out for now. Khaled has to get another touch. Atachi can't send this one goalwards. A demo will open things up in the center for gentlemen to try and string together another attack. Look how deep. Rule one of defending. It's ridiculous right now. It's all there's always a player in net, but that fifty. I'm on. I'm on. Kenny sent a five fifty. Great defense coming through. Yeah, by juicy. So many demos. The demos are so important right now. It's a huge touch right now. Oh, oh look at him go! Oh, no finish. <laughs> look at him go. At this first event, there's more pressure coming through. Gentlemen, not out of trouble just yet. They might have just found a way there. Oh, Nampo's missed that one, though. Armad up against two of them. He gets it to the side, does well enough. Now Khaled's yeah, coming Khaled's in. Khaled, slow play. Yeah, yeah, don't boom scoring it. Scoring that goal, the first real chance of this overtime, has to get it out of his head. Yeah, they almost... Assist of the year? Yeah, that was going to be a filthy assist. It was a bit close to the net in defense of whoever was the shooter. So it can be hard to get around the defender who's, like, really close to you when you have to shoot it from pretty close in, but... second man importance for the gentlemen. Khaled, well, he's not a second man. He just sits very deep in there. More demos coming through for both sides. Three minutes of overtime. Has elapsed here. Juicy with a beat over the top. Nice to recovery. Fake <laughs> out. Shot on net. More touches, but rule one hanging in there. Now Poe has a touchy in his way. Juicy sends it into the center, but because of the double commit slash fake out earlier, they had to head backwards. They had to get some boost. Seiko's missed that one. Seiko pre-jumped so Seiko early. Was in the right place to deal with it. But it does put pressure back on gentlemates. Rule one. Here we go, Close chance. Moment, Ooh, it's it. tough. Oh, I think he kind of wanted the fake. Have to come again. Khaled, but he didn't really have time for that. The ball would have gone past. I'm at, wow, that was really scary. <laughs> Last back commit. Dunk. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They have, been, they have been able to work it out here. Attachi, no boost, just throws it forward. A little double commit coming through from rule one. I'm starting to see the pressure, the fatigue setting in. Four minutes of overtime. There's the shot. Juicy fires. Gentlemen, <laughs> take down rule one in the first round of the Swiss. There it is. It hey, that was a good that was a good run for rule one. In the end, but gentlemen, when they had their chance in overtime, no mistake was made. 14 shots to 13 in that final game. Watch well, out. Matters is that gentlemen take series one. That is kind of how we thought it would go. KC and mates, EU believers. Congrats on your points. It was gentlemen able to ice out. Look at that, the 50 central and juicy. As we said, he's been that link up man that entire series. So impressive. Talk about the other members of his team, but is it Juicy's land to really announce himself as one of the best players in the world? Well, yeah, I think Juicy's probably underrated for sure. I feel like Juicy's really good.
It's really good for the game diff as well. We talk about how important seeding is in the Swiss stage. Yeah, juicy. Huge moment for him, as you say, CJ. Announcing Nupo, himself Nupo did go crazy. Level. He has struggled at lands previously, but now he is starting to look like the complete. That was a clear open net off Nupo's be. pass. Do we want to go look at that chat? I'm sure yeah, we can find so the far, replays. That's what they Let me go really see like just how open it was. I mean, in those moments as well, in those overtimes, you look at it. You look for your experienced players to show up. Seiko MVP performance, five saves. In you guys want to see? Game as well, and well, don't they mean just everything? Nine saves on the side of Rule One. All right. You know that they're going to be playing that defensive style of game, and they looked impressive. Now Po as well. Got to give a shout out to him. He looked phenomenal at times. Yeah, I'm booting the game, game up. Just those highlight clips. He was just close. He was close, but just not quite there on that finishing touch. Yeah, when you're at this sort of stage, you have to be able to get there. Not quite able to be done on this. Might have been a clopen net. Clopen clearly open. As they've been doing so oh, there it is right season. there. They made it through, and now uh, it looks pretty covered. I don't know touchy. if it's. I, I don't know if it was clopen, guys. Congratulations, first win. There's lots more to go, but it looked like that celebration at the end was a lot of stress releasing itself there. Yeah, for sure. Like it was a big overtime. Chavez is the first series uh, we didn't play. A I think uh, Itachi long, long time. in an so, interview right now, chat. It, it was an intense match. Uh, Did you hack, sure hack RLCS? Yes. Nah, man. Shout out Clover. Well, Helped me out that because I wanted to, find to get out, the know, drops. Together, uh, Here, we'll to check it out in a second. We'll, we'll listen to the interview time, first. Coming to LAN, you're together, but it's a different vibe. You said it's, it's been a while you've been here, and it, it, it showed that, okay, maybe there's some shakiness. Yeah, it's clearly true. Like, um, when we play together, we're in the room, uh, we know people, but here, like, it's a different environment. We play against our opponents, they're in front of us. Uh, we have different headsets, and it's, we're playing a big uh, tournament, it's a major. So, of course, it's different, and uh, it was our, our first match, so we had a little bit of uh, nerves, right. but, uh, but yeah, it was all good. For, for you specifically, what is it? Is it just, you know, who missed the pass like, of the well, century? Like, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll like, go pull it, it up. For you, it kind of makes things change. Uh, no, not the lights. I think it's just the whole. Uh, we'll all 12 in less than an hour. Tournament, and especially because it was a long time as well. Don't need to see the interview. Okay. Get in, and all right. Now I think we're we ready. Find the... We did some mistakes, of course, all of us, but uh, it was our first match, and we're only going to get better. Hey, you got the win. Now, t talk to me about those uh, mistakes, maybe, because it looked like it might have started as a 3 0 at the beginning. So, we can look at. Changed. Was it you guys where do we think the. Game sound is so loud, we need to turn the it down. First matches, like the true first ones, but after maybe we, we were a bit scared to, to end it up. We didn't want to take risks, and it was. I'm assuming it's around wherever there are blue saves. We do, and, uh, yeah, we just got a little bit of nerves. We, we lost game is Am still in rule one? Close. But, uh, probably, yeah, it's probably more right, right and, uh, here. We managed to, to close it up. Now, just the last one before you let go here. Is it helpful then that a lot of the eyes are on teams like K Corp in this? Does that help you guys relax a little bit? Is this it? This is the the potential wonder pass. Attention on, or you guys got a lot of fans cheering. Is that so? And there's the there's Mr. Khaled. Honest, there's Mr. Khaled. Uh, we'll watch it from Khaled's perspective. One in the world. Yo, thank you for the prime. Uh, we didn't qualify seed one Europe, but seed four. Like to be honest, those kind of things don't really matter for us we're just coming to play rocket league oh dude yeah he, he definitely just focused on putting power on it's so tough about, uh, it's so tough to make that read quick i mean obviously it's very easy for us in retrospect to say like yeah i mean he put it in the worst spot keep it up that's not it though. He, he put it in the worst possible spot. Coming your way. This is just the beginning. Of Swiss. As I said, the excitement continues as day one of our Swiss round carries forward. We've only just begun the journey to championship. What is this ad? Ad should be done. So I've been trying to. Versus Sam. Luminosity versus Fury. Ads auto ran, but I want to make sure that we stay on this long enough. So there's the Nupa Wonder Pass. We can uh, beat the stream now, I think. Okay. We'll even get some game audio back. All right, here is the wonder. Wasn't there a couple different assists? A couple different assists from that last game that were interesting. Oh, okay, never mind. It was a second save. Yeah, this one. Here's the triple to drop this off to Khaled Atachi pre jumping the save. And it does seem like there you could put it just about anywhere else and you'd be better off. Oh, yeah. I mean, he put it straight into the pre-jump. 
which is pretty tough. Let's see from Itachi's perspective how how worried he was in this moment when he sees Nupo double. Oh, dude, he just yeah, it's tough. I think I think Khaled from where he was at was in a, like gonna have a tough time getting a better shot. But like, let's see. I think if Khaled got there later. Yeah, the, the other part of the net does seem pretty open. Obviously, you, you give yourself a few more tries and uh, it's going to go a bit, bit, bit better. You know what I want to see too, though, chat? I want to see um, game number one. Game number one, Nupo actually popped off the very first goal. You guys remember that one? I feel like it was crazy and we were just like so excited and so ready for the major that we maybe didn't focus on it as much as we should. Let me see if it's here. The opening goal of the major was a pretty nice one. Here's Nupo's welcome to the RLCS moment. Little reset over the top of the pre-jump Seiko. Nice demo to finish, I guess. The demo is huge, is the reason why it works so well. Dude, Seiko is such, that's insane. It's insane that Seiko is so passive on his pre-jump. And it's also insane that Nupo reads the passivity and is able to get over the top of it. That's dirty. I'm going to watch from Seiko POV. Dude, he thought no way. He thought no way. He pre-jumped it and said, there's no way it gets fully around me. There's just no way. And yet, there it was. Getting around him. Okay, chat. Do we check out? Okay, this one's gonna be back first. And the other one's on a five minute break. Do we listen to these guys for a bit? All right, for you hopping off. Try to come tomorrow. Wait, is the audio messed up here? Does anybody only hear it in their right side? Has it been that way the whole time? Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, there we go. To the <laughs> there we go. Now it's on both sides. James, ready to go back again. We're hoping that the players will actually be a little bit more. What is the? Uh, we don't want 360p. We want source. Yeah, they, they look and we were, were able to catch the end of that rule one game. An incredible overtime. Almost, it looked like that play from Nupo where he was able to get what almost looked like a triple tap. Where can I see the bracket? Uh, Exclamation point bracket. Five, we'll we'll give it, it to you. Happen. And Al uh, gentle mate Alpine was able to take that one. That's a mouthful. Yes, uh, we're just going to read it once. Yeah, is that really how you say it? Alpine? All right. uh, but not Alpine? Furia going up very, very soon over on the A stream. I feel like, uh, I feel like the only way he says it Alpine is if that's actually correct. Otherwise, everyone would just say Alpine. Looking to try and yeah. take down. Uh, the APAC representative, Elevate, this time moving forwards. Oh, yeah, and the Elevate's good. This you can say it works any way you want. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually excited for this because they have... <laughs> I'll stick to Alpine. Of, uh, APAC Phenom Sphinx. Who, it's pronounced uh, Nupo. Oh, he, he oh like okay. A, a I get Justin it. Of the region I get it. Emerging. And so I'm really excited to see Elevate play. So this is it's Elevate BDS. BDS. This is Kevin as you can notice, by the way, from on me because it to melt in my pocket. So Sunless's oh, videos. Yeah, I'm you do that again. All right. So our <laughs> predictions on this one both can BDS. <laughs> You're gonna okay. let me flip this? I am. What color okay. are we saying for what on this one? So I think uh, we need so the higher seeds always another be blue, prediction. Right? So uh, we, I'm gonna get shoes based on like what is. Uh, so Chat. Do we like the 14 prediction? I'd agree. BDS. We go with that again. And Elevate Orange. Yes. All right. What are we going for? All right. Here the coin is currently well not doing great. At least on the That was a better throw than mine. Furia. I think it's Furia. Uh, the other one. Coins, coins. BDS. Does the coin lie? LG. Maybe, you know, I'm gonna let you hold on to that for. No, I'm no, because this will melt in my hands. So no, Elevate. Oh, I'm disappearing learned? real quick. What? There we go. And what we've learned is the coin likes the under. It, 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 it's, it's, like, it's a wave punk pick. Right? <laughs> Elevate. <laughs> What has everyone else gone for? I'm going to go for the opposite. LG. Right here. Uh, we do have BDS and Elevate. Uh, um, we to jump on over. We didn't actually talk too much about Elevate uh, during our pre-show. We did. Like was, there you go. Towards every other region. But APAC was competitive. It was. The dude from yeah, the Sunless video made a land. Uh, yeah, can you believe that? A pretty entertaining culmination. What do you think Rocket League community lies on the spectrum of toxic communities? Probably pretty low, actually. Was expecting Obviously, there's some toxicity to in game, and, but and I feel like, like from what I hear from other games, like they, I, you know, COD... You know, they were has to be higher, I would think. Close, and it all came down and uh, to the 
finals. The grand All the shooter finals. games, I feel like, are just going to be higher for some yeah, reason. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Make it here to I only really know the Rocket League scene. Finals. And it was a one-sided series. Like, Elevate, they're taking too long between series. Is today going to be like nine to ten hours? It's going to be pretty long. <laughs> it's going to be pretty long. Yeah, League of Legends is one of the worst. Yes, Counter-Strike 2, I would imagine. Bonjour. Bonjour now. And uh, elevate those. Some people did have the the fourteen on that one. I think like I COD is so toxic that no one takes it seriously. I can see how that could work. Yes. Yeah, so I actually did put elevate over pioneers. Valorant is so toxic. I feel like just looking. Uh, Jomar, they made a two one for thirty three months. Specifically, elevate and pioneers. Appreciate you, my man. I was most impressed with Sphinx. Like I think Sphinx is a player that I'm excited to see how he does in a faster paced lobby hmm. because in the grand Tetris Prime, he did, like, two incredible clips. He did, like, a Believe it or not guys, Tetris is actually crazy toxic. Was unbelievable. And, and you cannot play a competitive so, Tetris game a few goals that, without getting uh, 16 slurs thrown at you. The, the European Green we were just like if he is from another region and hits this, it's considered one of the greatest goals of all time. How many games will be streamed? They're all be streamed. There's maybe fewer eyes over there. Like it maybe well, it, you quite get the credit it deserves. Well, it's, and it's also I think, you know, there's All I know is that our chat is the most Toxic out of Rightfully everything so, that in those regions, <laughs> depends. Those it depends. Is it NA versus Jinx EU match happening? If so, if then yes. Internationally, mm. I think that is going to blow some minds. I think if Sphinx can do what I know he's capable of from what we've already seen him pull off in his own region, if he pulls that off here, especially against JNAP's tweeted out his yeah, setup, that would be impressive. We did see okay, let's see some JNAP's setup. Second. I think they're sick and tired of second. <laughs> they they want to be anywhere else but in that position. <laughs> All right, is mainstream back on? No. Not that I don't love these guys. Loving my RLCS warm up. Look at those frames. Frames, baby. Look at those frames. <laughs> then it was BDS, then KC. <laughs> oh my goodness. JNAP's gonna be ready to go. That's pretty bad. Oh my goodness. That's not good. Alright. We're gonna jump mainstream. <laughs> Raspberry Pi RL. And we're gonna rip some ads in between series. You can sub to not get them. Did you guys know that? Prime till full time, plus no ads. The gentle mates thwart a late rally from rule one to stay clean. They forgot to put the GPU in that thing. Wait to see who they play as we continue on through this round one gameplay. On the B stream, Carmen Court made quick work of Limitless. Limitless finding out just how strong Carmen Court is there. So, something about how they're doing the team audio sounds a little bit weird. Welcome back to Copenhagen. Great gameplay to start things off. Great overtime in game four. Almost. I think the switch runs the game better than that. I thought we were going to get uh, reverse swept on the desk and the coin in chat. Gonna, uh, <laughs> have one on us. But no, we pulled out the desk sweep actually worked. Worked, so maybe things are changing. Maybe Ooh. things are changing. I mean, it wasn't a death sweep because the, the the coins on the desk. The roost beast, save the prime. Yeah, that coin is one of us, which is yes. quite nice. Exactly. We can always count it. If no one got me, I know coin got me, folks. So <laughs> the Swiss continues on. I think the coin is obviously going to get better later in the day. Talk to us about what we've seen from the teams now so far. Rule one. Do you just say no ads? Yeah. Well, you, I said if you sub. If you sub, you get no ads. But we gift all the ads to the non-subs. It's really it's it's lucky for them. Pass, All the subs are always begging. The they wish they could still watch the ads. Coin just needs to warm up. Looked fantastic throughout. They shared the offensive load. And honestly, it looked comfortable at times, Stumpy. Yeah, man, I feel like with them, uh, gentle mates, they were, like you said, they were sharing that load between them. Nobody seemed to be that offensive character in particular, or at least if they were. Please they turn were ads on for subs. Sorry, guys. You just have to deal with it. Every single time. Like, we, we kept seeing it. And Bates, at times it was frustrating to then see our model Dude, even likes EU has to go to nerf NA team. So yeah, scared. you expect them, uh, players of their caliber, to be way, I mean, way more clinical in those situations. I know there's a time that wasn't in the highlights where Nalpo went for a triple touch basically yeah. off the backboard. Khaled, he had the, he had a net. It mm -hmm. wasn't open. There was somebody in the net. That, uh, I think Seiko did ultimately end up saving it. But if he had put some precision, put some accuracy, some heat on the ball too, mm -hmm. it would have went in the back end. Yeah. And then rule one, I think would have won a 3-1 at that point in the series. So 
or at that point in that game. So you really expect them to be that much better. Now, Poe, he balled out. You expect the two mm -hmm. vets to really come help the young gun and help him really come over and be better for the rest of the Swiss. Yeah, Chad, you guys got to remind me to tweet first still. First round of nerves, or, or, or is, are you more concerned with what you saw here, Stubby? I'm not concerned at all. I think it comes down to one team was better. Like, they, they, oh, that, that was us. <laughs> no, no, it was just gentle mates. <laughs> were two solid teams. The better team in that. <laughs> they were two very good teams, but it was a 3-1 ultimately. It's the best of five. It went to five. Fair enough. We were one if you remember to tweet. Oh, to thanks. Chat, that thanks. It was, it was close, but was, it just happens. It's a three-one. I was, I was with you, Gibbs. I didn't want, I didn't want Chat and the coin to beat us through the first round, but I did kind of want game five to That's start true. things off. It would have been fun, fun, you know. That would yeah. be kind of fun. So, uh, that is the Let's first game of Swiss completed here on the A stream. We have three more to go before we are done with round one. We can take a look at the Swiss uh, or at the schedule rather here, folks. Again, two streams going on at the same time here: Twitch.tv/RL Esports. You can find these matches going down. That first match already concluded: Carmen Core three zero over at Limitless. They are now moving on to BDS versus Elevate. Lots of questions, oh. lots of excitement around that Elevate roster. If you want to see Sphinx play mm, live yeah. against BDS there, folks, head over to RL Esports on Twitch. So um, meanwhile, here on the A stream, make sure you tweet high and pure with our matches. Got it. Again, three more to go before we're done with round one. Are you Falcons kidding? Another five ads? There, we should be good. Should be good till the end of, of this next, next series, match. I would think. Let's get into it. Luminosity on the stage. Excited to see them here. Take what do you guys have? Luminosity from Furia Bates. You guys have BDS and Furia big time. Seed. I know a lot of people that got some question marks about this Luminosity squad. Saying they had a Mickey run and Quavar number Wait, two. Did really what, is that how the Luminosity decal is supposed to look? I feel like that decal looks really nice. Wait, they all have the same shoes. Back of the land stage, you know what he brings to the table. Nothing but demos, nothing but poison and cheese, making his land day. Do you have to work? Yeah, I'm just gonna be working later. Of phenomenal over in an A. And then you feed the bear. Magic feed bear, the bear coming in. And these guys were here at the spring major, obviously. With I hate AJ that they still show the decals. Yeah, they show how they're meant to be. They got a ninth place finish, but Cheese had to fill those to try and bait even more people. Yeah. Not only did he fill those shoes, he easily did it. The number Fear commentating of while uploading 1v1s. Did North I upload a 1v1 right now? I definitely didn't set up a 1v1 to uh, <laughs> to so upload right now. I think we upload the 1v1, the grand final from the madness later today. Day. Compete and then make a major. One exciting time. And we talk about new players. When are you gonna quit your job so you can spend all your time with us? The more primes, like it's we talked about, guys. Prime to full time. Here again with two young guns under his we just aren't. They we just don't have enough primes. You look like you work in construction. <laughs> you hear that, chat? You guys can't take that back. You guys can't take that back. I work in construction. What the most manly job you could possibly work? Let it be known that that's the job that I work. Certified, thank you for the prime. Did you guys see the ma the response that Reddles made to my tweet? Because whenever I see Yan, I'm just like, dude, Yan, he just has aura, man. You got just so sick, dude. He's got to be the coolest player in RLCS. And then Rettle's response, <laughs> Rettle's response was just a Magic Bear gif. <laughs> Say he's got more, more aura. They talk about consolidating talent. You got to talk about Drufino coming over. That Sam and oh, that's your boy too. Oh, he's my boy. I love him. He's coming over, joining uh, this squad. Glaze, dude. Whatever. Number one team. I'm a I'm a RLCS fan. They lost to complexity in qualifier one finals. After that, some players, one two, one you know, three. they're the gonna get hyped up by me. Are off the charts for Furia. Number one offense in Sam. Number one defense as well. And all three players, when they're positioned on the offensive side of the field, they're the ball clears two, everybody in aura. They're always on offense all the time. Didn't Yan play Xbox? Look at him go, dude. That is competitive with them is complexity. No look at to play defense. Look at the no aura. So I think the main question coming out of Fury is if they have to play defense. They all got the Sam the eyebrow slit. And the secondary question outside of because they ball, dude. Have they got their swagger back? Because when they came over to NA, it looked like they kind of similar. Doctor Efino. And that's not something that they really did that well when they. Remember when Yan beat Moist? We'll never forget. When they showed up. Never mind if you might be right. Exactly, dude. <laughs> exactly. And it took people by surprise. That's what I'm saying. Made his name known, and then you have Lost join the squad. Efino. This might be their end game. Okay, did this one start? They could do here. But is the next factor. Number one in Wait, BDS jerseys? What the heck? What, why, why is it like... <laughs> what's on those BDS jerseys? Sometimes of his teammates as well. He wants to play fast, wants to be aggressive, but it does confuse everyone on the field at times. I mean, so, this is just a battle of aggression.
Why don't you make your background the game like it's not there? And let him pick off as many Fury players as they can. And it's Fury trying to dodge that and then take chunks out of Luminosity themselves. This is going to be incredibly fast. All right, Chad, do we want to watch BDS Elevate? You guys let me know if uh, this other round starts, but it looks like they're having tech issues. So we go here. Just a little bit too early for the early for the shot. And one thing I did notice as well, and I'm, I'm going to be looking to, is that invisible boost meta. I, we start from uh, I can do or this. Is he, is he going for the grass boost, has he? Well, look at Kevin right now. Oh, Kevin, I, has he got the... Well, I'll have you know right now, uh, in the... Kevin can do no wrong. I spoke to yesterday, cringe. <laughs> well, Kevin can do I no wrong. I asked about the, the, green, uh, the grass boost. They were not happy about it. Well, well, honestly, talking to Kevin, I don't think he cares. <laughs> <laughs> So I think he said it's the Black Manhattan is is the boost that he uses. Okay. But uh, Sphinx is using the grass boost. Everybody is saying that BDS so will pop there, off because they won my two show match. Therefore, on those two players cars, it's because there's no way they can lose. What's wrong with the BDS jersey? Oh, oh there's like two. I just, I just, I just, I just didn't expect it. There's like two uh, silhouettes of like ladies back to back, um, which is just not what I would expect to be on a BDS jersey. <laughs> I, I don't know, or on an esports jersey at all. That you're gonna have to have all series long. Genji is a light pack. Okay. So is Elevate a light pack or no? That's the logo for their brand? BDS's BDS's logo for their brand is two ladies sitting back to back, or is it a brand for the people who make the jersey? My question is, will BDS the last three months, I did believe that you and Johnny are the same man. <laughs> First time chatter. Oh, it's Kappa, a clothing brand. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Got it. Sphinx now, bit of time again, heavy first touch. Run out of boost as well. Yeah, me and Johnny, not the same person. Believe it or not. Not even close. Sphinx, Sphinx saves those. What am I predicting? I'd have BDS and uh, Furia. What you guys predicted in the Twitch chat. It's a brand called Kappa. And see, it's easier to understand on the YouTube chat because they don't have emotes. So it doesn't get replaced by the Twitch emote. Here are no Falcons. Uh, Falcons aren't playing yet. We'll watch them for sure. Sphinx will upset. Kevin gets those saves. I can't believe Kevin is... <laughs> Do you think he's going to hit Abismala? I can't believe he's... Okay, there we go. How's this other series going? Still not starting? Oh, Kevin. Kevin dove. Thinking that he had to get that stop, but... Didn't see that pass coming from the outside. Is it the same Kevin from your videos? Wait, am I both Sunless Khan and Johnny now? <laughs> Have I become Sunless Khan and Johnny? Okay. Hey, Elevate was doing well for a bit. The Bismillah dive. That was so lovely. Pushing the ball off the ceiling, catching it with a flip reset, almost scoring, but did enough. Did enough to get that prediction should BDS, stop even though he didn't get credit for the score good call so what they had a good we'll end submissions but bds have figured this one out and it's up to elevate now to just to not that people watching bds win probably CT change their votes at all but really want to take the sunless johnny and fear are all twins separated at birth have to open up to can you imagine triplets because... oh, wow okay, okay. Yeah, it's not is... it's not going so great but so we take no another fun. take another look at this one. I'm trying Kevin I'm trying to tab away so I don't have to watch my boy Kevin oh, and Sphinx didn't get, the read. And Kevin get scored on, but this is the only game live. On the and that's really where you where you get in trouble. Having no boost to make those adjustments. So things started off looking pretty good for Elevate, but now we see BDS in full control. Which teams uh, seems to be a lot of BDS matches that we see. Give you the hopium for the opening minute and a half and then 
take it away from you. As I mentioned, when this team is going, one of the most difficult Wait, chat, ones to does, stop. They steamroll past teams. That they does beat. Elevate have those... Um, and, and BDS has, has are the Elevate names, the name cards team. correct? Oh, <laughs> EU defense, chat. EU defense. They're very happy about it. EU LCT defense. On the board. Beautiful goal. Whoops. And yeah, you're not really predicting that one. Well, they were wrong originally. Gets the, uh, the assist. <laughs> I don't think Swings would have less to do with that goal if he tried. <laughs> Every little bit helps. <laughs> we are at the oh, backboard yet again. Remember. Elevate has one of the best decals, and the team's not even using well. it, dude. What are they doing? Gonna keep going. Zero boost now, so he does call him Monkey Moon. That is a pretty good option to call on in. Now left for the teammate. Uh -oh. In they come, making up for the last goal. Four one. Remember Zen's own goal? The, yeah, that uh, was definitely crazier than that one. On the goal line that we've seen a couple times now. Sphinx trying to get that hit over. Had the boost to make the play, just narrowly missing. Did you see the G2 hype video? I did. That, the G2 hype video was crazy. Really that was such a good video. That's why I retweeted it. Events. I, do like the change up on the I don't retweet a ton, I feel like. But, dude, if something's that good, everybody, all my followers need to see it. Is mainstream live? It's not. It's game isn't live. I'm trusting you guys, chat, to tell me when Luminosity and Furia start playing. Because we'll switch to that. Is LG Furia? It hasn't started yet. LCT trying to demo out at the midfield. Do you have a favorite pro decal? I really like the dig ones. Wait, you saw eight? They are on eight overall. The dig ones are oh, always good, I feel like. I didn't even notice that. We could have that additional insight. But yeah, this game getting a little more aggressive near the end. A chance to put one more in, but nicely defended. You think Falcons Exotic. will meet Vitality? Exotic, one of the most consistent Maybe. players out there. In the past, people have described his play style as a robot. Yeah, see, now you guys can see the, the women back to back. The Kappa brand, is. I guess. And, uh, they do look like sick jerseys. Nice flip reset from Drawley. I think, uh, you know, Exotic also a hat trick this game. All right, is this, is this match going to start or are they just so are throwing to break? To as soon as we get some predictions, some picks on the board, Gibbs. Who you got? Ooh. So Furio is my eighth ranked power for any team. So okay. I, I have them probably lower than most, but I'm still confident in them versus what many considered the fourth best North American team here. So I'm going to go Furio. Okay, Furia, Stumpy, Gibbs again, mate. I know, I know. Go it's Furia. So I feel like you, you can't really argue with a Fury that dominated a team that was doing decently well in North America and has been on top of South America this entire season so far for this first split. So yeah, Furia for sure. I think I can't make that argument though, Stumpy. I'll tell you why because complexity. They dropped their, they dropped the defensive rock. They dropped AJG. They picked up Dorito. There's question marks there. That's not the same complexity team. I'm gonna go with LG. I think that okay. they're just gonna muck it up on the field or gonna make it real rough out there and fear yet they've been playing that fast thank goodness team base is on the desk dude if it wasn't for him LG, everyone would just be picking furia i really want to go with lg but i do believe in drew i do believe in the energy oh, yeah. that yeah. Bring, i got furia on this one let's see what the coin thinks we're gonna have uh orange will be furia blue will be lg and it's furia furia Ooh, for the furia coin for the coin so. I we'll knew that see. coin was smart. I yeah, knew clever I coin. Good job, coin. Was clever it? bit of plastic. <laughs> coin, coin, you're good. How, how does Chap feel about it, though? I'm curious how Chap... I'm not, uh, guys, does anyone have any issue with not enough spins from right down, Wave Punk? On this one, LG building a lot of fans throughout the course of this season. And Furia continuing to build momentum down there in Brazil. This could be... It's tough. It, it could yeah. be a 3-0 either way. I guess it could go 5 if we bounce back and forth. It's yeah. very hard to tell. Look, this is a great moment for both these squads. Rettles and Luminosity have a huge fan base. Play. Now is the time to show it on the field. South Low effort America spins, yeah, just not North enough, dude. It feels like he can. He's, he feels like he's controlling the results, you know. I'm, using the, I'm probably the wrong word yeah, there, probably. folks. It's not. The hemisphere is just <laughs> this North way. What's, what's, what, you know, across the pond, they're on the same side of the pond, there, folks. We're ready for the game. <laughs> I know you guys are as well. Let's get the second match of round one here for the A stream going. Luminosity versus Furia. Game one begins now. Furious recent North American forays may have come to a premature end, but this season, back home, they have been cooking, CJ. I mean, there's just something about Furia when they're back at home. That when they do get back to a land, they just... I was going to say, this is at home? <laughs> Copenhagen? What it is. We can talk all we want about last season, about 
furious move to North America, to the bigger region to try and test themselves, to try and improve. But they went back home now and I mean, it just feels like Fury of two seasons ago. They feel back, but they do have a Luminosity Gaming on the other side, who is a very solid team. We talk about, you know, these the North American teams. You know, there's a lot of mention about... G this isn't Magic Bear's land debut, right? Testy early, but even Sathew comments about Luminosity, Cole. He says they're just such a different is team it? to play. They counter strat. They do more I know it's cheeses. than anyone else. Let's see what they've got on Fury here as Yank gets Dude, a that spring. Here, lost. And Fury get the first on the board. It is a huge start for Fury. Yan wants Dude, look at Yan go. Yan the man. Gets it down to his teammate Lost. It was mentioned on the desk. Yan the man. Fury. It was a tough beginning. He was a bit too chaotic for them, but they've been building, and now here they are. Well, we I forgot Optic. Fury. I know that there's a there's make it. polarizing in the predictions in the power rankings. Well, that was fun. Nice three up for Fury. <laughs> region that we feel is, is quite competitive in South America. They went down there, they wiped the floor with everyone, barring that first event against Complexity. I don't think it's over for but Luminosity, but... There's still that last season in the back of everyone's minds in North America. Rettles yeah, said he'll be surprised if they lost to Fury. Forward. That's because Rettles is a great well, talker. <laughs> Rettles is a great talker. And I think he should have that level of confidence. I've talked about it before, but I think that the players need to have that level of confidence. And when you're a guy like Rettles and your opinions become public because you're a content creator you can get some some flack for it but yeah if you're if you're luminosity and you aren't telling yourselves that you're gonna win this match then just don't come to the major <laughs> you just just don't come like you, you should absolutely be telling yourself you're gonna win this match oh but but us pundits who don't have to be biased <laughs> we're gonna tell you that you're gonna lose it but hey Look at Trofino go. Like what what at what point is it cockiness, not confidence? Such a good end to last season for when you don't, uh, when you don't Fury, work hard to back it up, which I don't think really is an issue with Rettles either. Cockiness is probably saying you're Fury. saying you're gonna win, and I mean, I guess going crazy and saying like, yeah, the other team is trash could be cockiness but I think also having that level of confidence and not preparing on your own end because you think you're so good that's probably cockiness I need your hat it's from odd job so they make big hats ex exclusively they do not have they have only like XL and XXL so you need to have a big head accepting a loss respectfully yeah and I think Reynolds does that. Seriously, there's something about this side. They've had nine shots in half a game of Rocket League in the first series. Profuse big old melon. I mean, how do I... Where am I going to keep all that Rocket League knowledge in my head, you know? And it's... should be no surprise that I have a big one. I mean, the Panther is back. They look like a Cheshire cat when they moved to North America, Cole. They lost that element of the unknown. That... Just that... that I don't know, the killer mentality. Is lost from Brazil. The whole Furious squad is from Brazil. Here in Copenhagen. So to Illuminosity as it stands right now, but they have managed to at least work their way into Orange territory once or twice. When the ball comes back, they're struggling to deal with it. Here nice dunk. What a huge dunk! It's three. This is ridiculous. Dead set clipping first game. And there you go again. Oh, early frustrations from the player camps. You can see it on Luminosity, but Furia. Every single member getting involved, lost with a brace already. Three minutes. They're getting the clapped. Yeah, it's not looking yeah. so great. <laughs> it's not looking so great for this is an offensive NA3. Looks like they're still back in their own region. Here we go again. This time the bomb's coming through. That is what Luminosity probably done better than any other. But again, side. this is technically an upset. I think according to the seeding on the of like the major based on previous like worlds and ho however they see the major technically luminosity is a higher seed nobody would say that i think like furia is definitely favored so luminosity beating furia oh my goodness would be an upset and it's not looking like they're going to look at this squad go dude <laughs> it's filthy dude yeah dude 
This is a stacked major. This is a stacked major. Like everybody in S and A tier is so good. The fact that KC might go through and just like farm the most stacked major of all time is pretty wild. To get things going, his cheese can he do that almost over Drafinio? A goal could be massive for them just to give them something magic. The flip he gets oh, it down. Nice, there we go. And cheese follows up. Luminosity on the board, Luminosity on the board. I've seen that man do it it's the bear. It's the bear yeah, the bear. And maybe some momentum. There's still cheese gets his opening on. land goal. But we need to see the bear start cooking cheese as well. He has cheese is melting. <laughs> Cheese is fine. Throughout the North American online split, and really that player that is really just—he's—he's he's come onto the scene in a big way for this lineup. He's so impressive, and I mean, there's a lot of talk. Or is melting a good thing? Players list. There was some disappointment. Is is melting a good thing when you're when you're cheese because you're on fire? Let him melt. <laughs> Wait, am I actually? I take it back. I, I thought at first you guys were saying it was a bad thing, but. Melted cheese is the best cheese. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. I prefer my cheese melted. Okay. This game number one. Well, it's not just their attack fury right now. The defending has been good as well, as good as it's needed to be. Clean clearances, sending it into space, not allowing luminosity to put the pressure back on them. Beating their opponents to the ball as well. Rettles gets half a touch there, but Magic Man can't do anything with it. And then another bump comes in. Look at the space it leaves for Drufinio, and he sneaks it in again. All right, how's uh, how's Elevate doing? Goals for Furia. Did they did they do well in the previous game? Opinion on Rettles? I think Rettles has been getting a lot better. I've actually been impressed with Rettles' improvement um, in a way that like veterans who've been in it as long as Rettles sometimes don't. So I'll give him that. I do think his team Luminosity is not favored to win against Furia, and I do think his team Luminosity is not favored to make top eight. But his team is here, and there's a lot of competition in North America that he beat to be here. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, really? He doesn't think they're a chance. Here at the first major of the year, doesn't quite back the South American form. Oh, I, I think, I think what he means by that is winning the whole, winning the whole major. Because there's no way that he's saying that that Furia couldn't win this round. Well, did they really have a hand in actually beating SSG to be here? I mean, you can't blame them for winning the games in front of them. OG at least did, but Falcons versus OG is that next? Chat. Has Elevate scored any uh, more goals? series. They need to show it here, however, as Furia. I mean, they basically dominated that. How does this affect the Mickey undeserved LG major spot allegations? It doesn't affect it yet. Uh, maybe it does actually. SSG in their spot. Does SSG win? You know, I guess we'll never know. The, uh, the Kanye meme. Everybody wanted to know what would happen if SSG made the major. Well, I guess we'll never know. Look at this own goal. <laughs> I'm glad I tuned in. Look at this epic own goal. Uh, how, why is BDS doing so many own goals? That was the last time that an orange player touched it. Sphinx, Monkey Moon, back pass, Drowley, <laughs> half flip, the dunk. <laughs> That's actually an insane own goal. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. That squad is out here popping off <laughs> against themselves. Monkey Moon own gold. <laughs> They're... Drally on gold? Okay. Not a great sign for LG. Passing play own goal. Yeah, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy that the last touch was on the back wall. 
again. And if there's anything Raw Grid should have been telling them, is it how crucial this first did, two minutes is? Did you guys get a Steam message? I didn't get a Steam message. That's what that was, right? Oh, was that an in-game invite? Wait, that might have been someone might have been inviting me to play in Rocket League. I think that was me. I'm assuming if I go check Rocket League, there's gonna be a invite to play. LCT scored? Wait, wait, wait. Elevate's leading? Dude! Elevate! Look at them go! Here, we'll keep audio on from the Furia Luminosity series in case uh, something crazy happens. But we gotta see if Elevate can win a game. It's easy to say Luminosity just need to get the ball in the front half, but that has been the question mark about Furia. I mean, they're so offensive, so quick, so good up front. You can't play the counter-attack game against them. That's what Complexity did, and it did not work in South America. You have to be pushing the yeah, Kevin. for demos. Perhaps position Elevate might be OCE2. Well, so, I mean, it's interesting because <laughs> Elevate's only winning this game because of literally one of the most own goaliest own goals. Wait a second. Jorfino. Let's watch this goal. Just as Luminosity begins to get a bit of control, one uh, into not, the that's yeah. That's just not the best play from Luminosity. It's not a Drafino pop off. Just defensive rotations from Luminosity, not great. It is a bullet. True, true, true. And Fury are making them look decidedly average. That will change. There will be a step up from LG. The main question. You feel bad for LG? Don't feel bad. They're RLCS competitors. Okay, another goal happened. Did Yan pop off? Nope. <laughs> nope. Did somebody choke on defense? I don't know why that went in. Come on, Elevate. Come on, Elevate. Nobody had you winning a game. And to be fair, it's because nobody had BDS own going as much as they did. Okay. On this stage. Do we stay here, chat? Do we stay here because there's maybe still a chance? Do we wait until Elevate are losing? Because it's uh, it's 3-0 over here. I think we stay here. I think we do the same thing we're doing right now. Audio, audio from the mainstream in case something crazy happens. All right, this looks like sounds like a cool goal. Ooh. Nice pre-flip touch. That's a good play. I actually think this might be like the best. Anybody watch WoW? I want to start using the phrase BIS because I think it works. I think it's a great phrase, but nobody in Rocket League I think would understand. But I think having the mainstream audio on and watching this one is BIS. Fury has number one, Sam. How many hours do you have on WoW? I used to play WoW. I haven't played WoW since I was like in high school. Oh! <gasps> Kevin! Kevin! He broke it! Kevin, our sunless con, Kevin, didn't want to play 2v2 against BDS. Does Fear mostly respond to Twitch chat? I also respond to YouTube chat. I mostly just watch WoW now. Yeah, it's, it stands for best in slot. It, I mean, the, the phrase would basically just be... Dude, maybe we save Luminosity and we don't go watch the whiff. Because we're going to overtime here. <laughs> oh, wait. LG, LG got the goal? Oh, okay, okay. I just heard whiff. But we got overtime. In fact, we're even going to get audio for this one. Double audio. Double the fun. But can they bring themselves to do it? When the game is on the line, when it's next goal, phase three saw is out next week. New raid is Sunken Temple. I uh, I just watched Zaryu, my high school buddy. 
I don't really play anymore. Yeah, right. Sphinx doesn't let you score those. Get out of there, LCT. Actually, you should have controlled. Take that back. But BDS saw it coming. However, BDS on the back foot. A chance for LCT going for the double. Doesn't make contact on that. Does go for a back pass. But ball bouncing all around. Ooh, that's that not good. Open. What? How did BDS? Redirect from that was just open. Wait, why did that BDS player just boom it to the absolute moon when it was a wide open net? Of course, Drally does that. <laughs> Of course. Exciting game three. All right, I think we're in between games. We have to, we have to watch this one again. Oh, it's a full sweep. Are they gonna show us that goal again, though? Here we'll switch back to uh, audio from this one, but. You were raiding the other day and somebody was watching one of your show matches? Could hear it over Discord? Yo, that's cool. That's crazy. <laughs> it looks like they're not going to show us the Drally goal. Why don't you watch on YouTube? It's usually a little bit farther behind. LG comeback? <laughs> I mean, not in this game. Luminosity are squandering down the other end. 25 seconds left. And this has been two of the most dominant games. I mean, it feels like we're... I don't know. It, it's ridiculous to say that we're watching an NA versus Sam team because they're making them look second rate right here. She's into the center. Magic Bear desperate to get something going. The angles aren't quite working out for them. She's trying to come back round. I think priority one is, as I said, not to concede the seventh. Keep it six. Keep it... I was gonna say relative respect. NA is sham? No, no, no. Let let G2 and Gen G do the talking for NA. What was that pull? I don't know. Mainstream pull. Alright, might have an ad in between this game. I'll always make sure they're running not during stuff. Don't worry, chat. I know some pros slash high-ranked players don't go in workshop because they think it will ruin their game sense. But the human nature starts to come in, you know, oh, we're so much better than these guys. Can it ever start to do that? I mean, Power have the chance to do the funniest thing ever against Gen G? Yeah, dude, that's scary. Power are a bunch of winners, too. Like, anytime a bunch of winners show up at LAN, which Furia is, by the way, a bunch of winners, they just, they're, they're scary, man. FK is not losing to OCE. How much do you think uh, percentage of a team winning the major drops after losing the first round? Not that much, actually. I think what's a, what's worse for them is like how they look, and less about the fact that they lost the a round. I think I think somebody could lose. <sighs> the first round is pretty bad because the matchups should be winnable for people who are trying to win the major. So it's tough. I think you can lose in the Swiss. That's what I'm trying to say. But if you lose in the very first round, all of the teams have a good chance of winning. Should have very easy matchups in the first round. So yeah. It's a really bad sign to lose in the first round. But you can lose at some point in the Swiss. Losing in the Swiss is not the end of the world. The touch from Loss, the demos come through. He was the last man. And look at the breach up Loss throwing it forward. Doesn't quite get the shot. But we are seeing a little bit of a change up. Luminosity Subscribe with Prime. Prime is the only true secure way to make sure no ads. LG almost got Brazil. Yeah. Hey, here we go. This is LG's first lead. To be fair, this is what Rule 1 did. Right? They got their game, first game in game three, and then they looked, they looked like a great team. I would say they lost, but they competed with Gentlemates. So that's still possible for LG. Reverse sweep. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Alright, there goes the lead. Mickey lead. 
Yeah, there goes the lead. Turning to his team, offering the fist bumps, keeping the spirits up. All of his experience will be needed. He has. Is Rettles their center chair guy? Or is Magic Bear there? Rettles looks like their center chair guy. How much thought do you think goes into who's center chair? I know that SSG with Rettles, Arsenal, Daniel put Daniel in the center. Do all teams have a captain? I think they might have to, actually. Mental leader? Well, they put Daniel in the middle, so it's not always the captain and mental leader. You know, I think they put Daniel in the middle intentionally to, like, hype him up. Right, give him confidence, maybe make him feel comfortable, I don't know. I feel like center chair has like negative 5% in all stats. Yeah, I think I think Daniel being accessible by both teammates and being like surrounded by both teammates to hype him up makes a lot of sense. Sam 3 is better than LG. Sam 3 against LG, who's Sam 3 crew? Uh, Sam 3 and LG would probably be close, I would say. Ninjas in pajamas? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it'd probably be close. Jack probably mid-chair. Yeah, I think, I think it's not necessarily the person you always think it is. Sam is a strong region. Sam is incredibly strong, especially after they got back Complexity and Furia. Like, Sam and Mina are both really strong, and their 1-2s are better than NA's 3-4. Ooh, that's so unfortunate. Would you be mid-chair in a team of Johnny and Sunless? No, I think Johnny would be mid-chair. He'd be our mental leader. He's uh he's very unshakable. This is the same Fury that lost to Rule 1 and 2s. Yeah, chat, I think that... Oh my goodness, what a save. I think that uh, the, the top two from Sam, Mina, and North America are all really strong and all pretty... Uh, uh, Sam 2 is maybe a little bit weaker than... than Sam 2 and Mina 2 might be a little bit weaker than NA 2, but, but they're pretty comparable. Look at him go, dude. Look at the man do it. They call him Yan the man for a reason. You've been following the madness on YouTube so you know when the games happen? Has the final happen? It is. It's going to upload later today. After all CS ends today, madness will go up. Can we see the LG face cams? Can. We can bounce back and forth during series. Do Falcons play next? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe. Exclamation point bracket if you want to know. Yes, they do? All right, sick. I'm excited for some Falcons. Who do Falcons have in round one? Complexity? OG? Oh, OG. Falcons OG. Yeah, that, I mean, that should be Falcons for sure, but you never know, I guess. Calm is like, Calm is a bit of a wild card that I feel like he can just, he can make a series be played how people are uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Like, he can force everyone to be uncomfortable and then maybe get, like, a different result than you should. Uh, but the most likely result is Falcons just 
Crush. 12 drops claimed. Yeah, it's it's insane that they just <laughs> that they just choked the drops that way. They're trying to get you to watch like the entire major run instead. You could just get it all instantly. Alright. 12 minutes. It might, it might be a big break, chat. If you did not believe in that online split, what Furia did to their own region back home after being in North America. How do you claim multiple drops? I think you do it on the drops page. Absolutely dismantled Luminosity. They have made them. I mean, it. The goats. The doctor. Into contention now is one of the The doctor is in session, chat. Dr. Ufino. We got the blue wall up there, but Furia. They have shot up the rankings. But I mean, okay. where are we at right now? Right so far, no upsets. In fact, pretty boring series. That series was supposed to be a good one. Gentlemen's Rule 1, easily best series. Easily best series of the day so far. And that's because they got one game. Um, we should have some better series to finish. Zoom in. A lot. That, 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 the in them. We've Falcons OG. This one, oh, dude. First round. Wasn't quite theirs. NA needs the ball, this game to be boring win. so bad. NA needs this game against OCE2 to be a boring match so bad. Now this one, this one could be interesting. Buttery hotness plus prep time. Is Buttery working with Furia? What is the glitch with the drops? You can earn them all at the same time instead of one by one. Maybe if I stop rooting for NA teams, I might jinx it or stop jinxing it. I used to follow exclusively G2. And then once they lost Rizzo and then once they lost Strees, I was finally like, ah, I guess I'm not really a G2 fan necessarily anymore. And uh, then they won. <laughs> then then they won that uh, LA Major. So maybe detaching yourself will help us to victory. How would you wrap it up? I think confidence. Yeah, yeah, we were confident. In English this interview series. from the doctor. I, I was gonna say confidence for you guys. <laughs> uh, coming into that, did you did you expect it to be quite a blow? I mean, what was it? it was five one, then six one, and then that? Did, did you expect maybe a little bit closer? Yeah, we really expected to be a little bit closer. <laughs> they are a good team, you know. Rados, Cheese, and Magic Beard. They were going good on an A, so we thought they were harder, you know, but. We played good, confidence on top, so we managed to win 3-0. That you did. Uh, speaking of confidence, I mean, just through scrims, I've heard a lot of people saying that you guys were looking good. I'm, I'm going to assume that you're going to agree with that. Yeah, we were 50-50, you know? Okay. Yeah, we were 50-50, but the confidence is always on top because screens is screen, so the RLCS is RLCS, so. It's another Dr. Efinio, true. RLCS is RLCS, you know, scrims different. is scrims. Well, what what is giving you guys the confidence? Like, cause I, I, you know, we've talked to some other players that lose confidence once they get in the live environment. What, what's making sure you guys keep that confidence? I think. Thank uh, you, Gonzalo. On land gives you a little more confidence. Yeah, I think for us, we play better playing on land than playing online. So it hypes us a lot more. So we scream and oh that's it's that's so cute <laughs> look at that dude this right now uh, look at Yen. tell me about your team we saw him on screen for a second too tell me about your, <laughs> oh. your team joining the team what the journey's been like for you getting to this point yeah, at first i thought they zoomed in on Drafino's necklace me. i was like wait why does Drafino yeah, have a yan yeah, and his girlfriend <laughs> necklace goats of sand you know so it was incredible they run always they were friendly with me always i like, could you know match with them so it was amazing the run to here we are just a to, w uh, teammate dude you know, to, to <laughs> repping his now, so teammates we are happy with our love necklace now if, if you had joined the team while they were still in north america where do you think you guys would be positioned would you be, would you be number one i think we would fight for number one you know with g2 and gng but i think we will we were going to be like one two or three one of them yeah one of the three spots i think we were going to be there 
Well, you'd be above luminosity, at least for now. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations on the win and good luck in the rest of your matches. Speaking nice of, interview. we got a lot more coming your way. You thought we were done with Rocket League? You're absolutely silly. Swiss has just Can you get begun. drops watching Fear Stream? Yes, chat, you better believe it's it. It's going to be OG facing it down the Falcons. As I said, Canada's last hope against Mita's best. Ooh, wait a second. We got some breakdowns going on over here. Come on, Kobe. This last part, I mean, that's why you only got four likes on the tweet. If you tweet it, they only need one game. You might have had more than four. You might have got five. <laughs> Everyone is sleeping on OG this major. Oh, of course he says that, Jay Nels. Okay, okay. They have the. I like how I like how he's doing that. This is we'll obviously in uh, inspired so by Stephen A. Boomer, because Jay Nels is a ripe age of 24. If that is Boomer energy, then I don't know what to tell you. Because that means I'm ancient. I'm interpreted as they have the power of just true synergy and land experience. But Seb. I'm having fun with this. Let's see what else we got on T base debates. This tweet comes from Martian RL. Martian. Limitless elevate make top eight over vitality. You don't even believe that. <laughs> Next tweet, man. I don't even want to read that. that that's true. <laughs> okay, I love a good profile image. About time. By the way, we need more profile images like that from Mr. Patel. Let's see. At Patel NA52276189. This isn't even a real account. Man. We got, we got, man, I had to verify it. <laughs> KC's will go 03 and Swiss. <laughs> another one of these. Like, what do you mean KC will go 03 Swiss? You don't even believe that. If you're going to tweet at the Rocket League Esports handle, at least tweet something that you actually believe in. This is just nonsense. They're probably going to go 3 0 and Swiss, and you know that. All right, y'all. This is the end of T Base Debates. I appreciate the tweets. I got to get out of here. They're kicking me out. See y'all later. Oh, no! <laughs> Thank you for catching me. Oh, <laughs> They uh they didn't read Danger Tacos. Get owned, dude. Alright, back to timer. Less timer on the mainstream. You know what it means? It's ads time for us. He said the thing. There's no way people actually hold those opinions. They just want to clout. True. And they got it. And they got it. They were shown on the mainstream. What's up, y'all? It's your boy T Bates. You guys ready to see it again? It's debates time. You know, I've been on Twitter. I've seen a lot of yapping from a lot of people so far this season. So, you know, I want to see where y'all's hottest takes are, and I want to see if they're actually good. Or do we want to go back and look at some replays? All right, we got Why have I never received Fury. ads on Twitch? Because you're unlucky, man. Elevate beat KCP in the O2 round, and then reverse sweep OG. Oh, you want to see the beginning? Okay. That's a, that's, a take, that's a take. I mean, Elevate beating KCP, that's not saying much. I mean, KCP. That's actually like a... Eh, I mean, it's a slightly ridiculous, down, you know, but and, not know, that here. ridiculous take. I mean, of course, Elevate, they got Spain. They got Kevin. They're not bad. I can see them beating them. But then OG, you know, you just stop it right there. That definitely won't be happening, period. I understand you got an interesting take. It's okay. It's interesting, but it's just flat out wrong. Colby at Alt Colby. Appreciate the tweet, Colby. Limitless actually has a chance of upsetting Carmine Corp. Okay, talk to me about that, Colby. They are in an, an underrated squad with a lot of talent. Okay. And I think the blue wall may not take them seriously, giving them a chance. Oh, wow. Not them seriously. The blue wall might crumble right here. They only need three games. Okay. I think that last part is very important. They only need three games. You have to win, you gotta get three games! You act like that's just a piece of cake! Come on, Kobe. <laughs> this last part, I mean, that's why you only got four likes on the tweet. tweet Alright, there it is. Game. We've seen the full thing again. Do you guys want to look at some Yan highlights from Furia? I feel like there's some good ones, but I don't know if there's anything that crazy. Brace talking like he hasn't had some questionable takes. They, they found some really, really questionable takes, I feel like. They, they maybe could have gotten not quite as questionable. We have Falcons. Let's end predict. Did we end the previous prediction? So far, it's been BDS, Furia. That one was, you know, you guys predicted that heavy, and you were right. That your teams did not drop a single game. Okay. Next, we have... Falcons. 
and G2. Falcons and QTPG. Uh, what the heck? It's like QT Pioneers, something like that. Okay, or OG and G2 and OG and QTPG. New prediction. New prediction. Quick Trip Pioneers Gaming. Quick Trip Pioneers Gaming. Thank you for catching me. Easiest 12 drops of my worthless life? Okay. <laughs> chill, chill on the negativity. You're a fear sub. You know your life is not worthless if you're smart enough to be a fear sub. See, Spun to Beast knows. Thank you for the prime. What up, Major Camel Joe? Hope you're doing well. Exclamation point rewards. If that isn't a W first time chatter, then I don't know what is. You're finally done with the 10 ads? I'm sorry, I, I'd give you another 10 if I could. Chat, did I get the drops? I've been watching the mainstream. I have to go to, uh, teach me how to claim them, chat. I go to my account settings or something. I don't know, chat. I feel like I can do it when I don't need to. Oh, I'm not eligible, here we go. Oh, claiming, baby. You guys you guys want to look at the drops? Chat, this is what you guys can get. I'm claiming so hard right now. Bam. Fully claimed. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we got here. Here's what you can get by watching the stream today, chat. Wait, when do they show up? Do I need to reboot the game? Do I need to go to training and come back? I have to reboot the game, chat, to get him. Chat saying reboot, reboot. Okay. Reboot it is. We will reboot the game and claim our drops. Do you guys Daichi's? I got them from before they were cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, they were still kind of cool, but I got them way before they were like really expensive. And then, of course, now they're worthless because you can't trade. But yes. I do have them. Lucky Ducky. I, I went and bought them, but it was like, I might have bought them for keys, chat. That's how old I am. You guys understand that I've been playing this game for a very long time. I almost certainly got that item with keys. An upset in this round could be a huge points wealth transfer. Okay. You guys ready to see what we got here? Pinwheel? Pinwheel Gray? Can you believe it? Okay. Fandemonium Burnt Sienna? No way! <laughs> Benchwarmer Cobalt? Okay. Okay. Another Burnt Sienna. If there's one thing that I want, chat, it's burnt sienna items. Burnt sienna items. Pinwheel saffron? The fennec aloha gray playmaker? Wait, that one actually might be sick. I have to go see. I've never, I don't know if I've seen aloha. Yo, IOP, thank you. I can't even know how to say your name, but thank you for the brand new prime. Priming actually does increase your chance of getting drops. Bench warmer pink. Okay, okay. What else we got? Fandemodium titanium white tactician. Chat, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Pink pinwheel. You love it? A little lime fandemonium. Orange bench warmer and black. Wait, painted black is not terrible. Okay, chat. Let's head to the garage here. What was the Fennec decal called? Aloha? Where's decals? I never changed my car. Aloha. What do we think of our Aloha Gray? We gotta we gotta modify 
You know what? Actually, I really like this preset. <laughs> so one second. Let me just uh, save it off. Okay. Before we change it. Aloha. Okay, chat, I double typed the L. Okay, what are we looking with uh, color-wise? We got gray, so we got to, wait a second. The blue car is actually looking pretty fresh already here. Wait, you guys can't see. Whoa, that's not the part that I wanted to move. Um, in fact, I should even lock that in. What do we think of this, chat? You guys have a, a smaller view. What if we gave you full view? There you go. There you go. What do we need to... Oh, I like the dark blue better that I actually already had it on. Where did I have it before? Uh, we said it would be one-sided, but man, I don't think any of us expected it to be that bad. Furia, utterly We're going to have to workshop this. I feel like there's potential. We said it would be a, a sweep. We did? I feel like there's potential, <laughs> chat. Seems like a new category. <laughs> it was painful. I'll tell you that much. We're just going to have to work on it a little bit. We're just going to have to work on it a little bit. Uh, after seeing Illuminati, a lot of people thought, you know, Illuminati make you run qualifier two. Didn't look good here. There's still time, though. It's Swiss. You have to lose three times. Yep. Luminosity, yes. That was a bad first loss, but that was really we'll see bad. That was really Pinwheel bad. Antenna? If you're a Luminosity fan, that was a Change the paint class. finish? Point blank simple. No Pinwheel Pink? About it. I we gotta, to we gotta make sure to put that back on. Whole entire series. 14 goals to four goals whole entire time. Try some retro really wave style like colors. I think you're probably right. Player, all online, Gibb, you say he was yeah. what? Number one uh, number in goal, one goal, per, goal game. per game. And yeah. in North America, right there, he had sex. What the shots? Uh, he had three shots the entire series. You can't win a series like that, man. The bear, he's doing his damage, but you gotta have cheese it's... be the catalyst. And Furia, honestly, they ended up with less demos, 16 to 12. Two Luminosity 16, but it didn't feel like the Luminosity really had the impact yeah. And yeah. like it should have. It just felt like this whole series was for just tons of offensive pressure. We talked about that going into dude, the series. Dude, Fury is just. Fury likes to do. If they can I mean, play they're offense, just a step ahead, dude. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to it's, tell you, chat. They're just the a step court. ahead. They could not do it. A lot of times, Magic Bear was trying to move a field to get those midfield. They're really phasing goal, Johnny out of RLCS. It, right it sounds like he's getting there late. Talk about lost. I think Somebody said Johnny like wasn't there yet. So I wonder he if he had like fire. flight issues or something. Yeah, you, I mean, listen, you score in buckets like that and you're going to beat a lot of teams certainly. He's there. Oh, he's there now. Come ready to play defense. And Maybe he was just on the late bus to, to the venue. The they have him working later. They have to 100%. be a lot more involved in the offense as well. And here's the thing. We look at these highlights. A lot of these goals Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's there there, but maybe he was late to the goals to the office. Part. Right here like that's a basic double tap, but no one's in net. No one's in net for that. This pass. one's still on. Uh... Pressure, pressure, oh, pressure. look! Look at the boy himself. Uh, he didn't go to a three or sweep. Um, so yeah, so far. Herc and Johnny. The Carmen duo we always Ellis. knew we wanted. Over I've got to say though, I was actually quite impressed. Oh, the duo we with, we with didn't Elevate. know you know, we always wanted, goals. but Elevate we do. Actually, you know, played BDS just about as close as Luminosity played Furia. So yep. not a bad look for their, you know, the the new regions in their first match at the Copenhagen Major. No, it's your middle chair. <laughs> for them at all. I was also extremely impressed with Elevate. There were moments in time, right, where you're kind of like, oh man, is this, is, are they going to take a game off of BDS? They had a lead, I think. Yeah, they had a lead at one point in time. Then BDS was able to come back. I did all right, chat. up 2-2 two, two at one point. Do we want Herc and Johnny or do we want the main went desk? Down the way most people expected. <laughs> yes, yes. So, I mean, that, that's kind of what we, we probably want main desk, stream, right? It's good to see you know, that uh, Johnny and Herc are here but I think we want main desk. With the offensive pressure, you want to see Yan doing it on land like he used to back in the day, and he's doing it. Law stepped up significantly oh, in yeah. my estimation. Okay, not only was he playing good on offense, Gibbs, but it was the defensive touches. He would jump up. So Johnny early main. For great defensive reach. Okay, chat. Alleviate any pressure that LG wanted. I mean, we're gonna watch both of them. Want to get some of the best, of the best. That's kind of the fury. Who do we watch? To, yeah. Maybe a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, where every time someone's on the ball, Johnny and Herc main desk. Going, oh, is this another? Who's highlight? yapping? Do we want more, chat? In that series, it was. I feel like Furious challenge for round two is going to be not like a sl uh, this is not a good warm up for them in round number one. Like, I feel like we want to watch main desk, like, right, right chat? To, like, to, like, to, yeah, they're, okay, they're okay, okay. Keep free nets and say whoever yeah. they're facing off in the one. The, jo the Johnny so, supporters so, we'll were uh, were loud. Move forward. We have uh, many more matches to go here for round number one. Again, two streams going on. Make sure you got them both pulled up. You want to catch up all the actions. The matches are going pretty quickly over there on the alt stream. There's been sweeps all day. BDS versus Elevate. Elevate nearly with a game against. They had BDS. overtime. They had overtime they in game three. It was possible, but Europe now they're three and zero so far in round one.
They are. What we is your guys' prediction? Over there on twitch.tv slash RL East. Oh my goodness. We are set for round number two. Same story here on the main broadcast. We got complexity versus vitality waiting in the wings. They are on deck. They are getting warmed up right now. Dude, there could there, that, somebody though, could get VIP off this game, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like we could see a VIP with one upset, just like just like only Ray said, a single upset, we could have a VIP here in chat. Made it to the major EU nine and one so far. They went and three in Swiss EU nine and one. Who they played? Rule one. Rule one looked good in, in game four. Rule one made it close wow. late. Wow. Um, but I don't think that these two really count. I think I think saying nine and one. You're 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 pushing a narrative only, Ray. So hats off to him, but but this is their reward. Exactly. your round one matchups. 12 more drops just started? Wait a second, chat. Can we get some more burnt Sienna items? Are you kidding me? Let's go! Chat, we can farm so many drops. Wait a second, chat. Oh, Rawas mode? Chat, should we watch party this one in Rawas mode? And TRK. First of all, we knew Wait, this says clears. <laughs> no, no, you know it's Ravas because he's leading forward. <laughs> Wait, that's how you know. That's how you know. If he's inside his monitor, it's Ravas. <laughs> Wait, they're both doing it. Wait a second. <laughs> oh gosh, maybe I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that was Ravas. And the chemistry around him. Oh no, maybe I maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure that was Ross. Fake twins fan. Well, I don't remember Killers. Chowie, I don't know now. <laughs> Wait, they look so much more similar than they used to. <laughs> this is Killers. I, I thought it was too. I thought it was too. But I, I okay. I, I have a lot of faith in the main production. I guess. No, you got it wrong. This is TRK. <laughs> Old Fear, newest twins. Wait, I, I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure, but it just. I'm surprised the mainstream got that wrong. It's almost like. <laughs> it's almost like they're twins. They got it right. They got the text wrong. I think they got it wrong. More of us seem to agree that they got it wrong. The leftovers of NA, we talked about gentle mates, the leftovers of Europe, where three players just coming from three different teams that were top. Knapsack gonna whip their heinies. Comms looking good, dude. You guys have been seeing that comms lifting. They had to bounce back, sweep Calm has been putting in the work in the gym, dude. Back back top fours. They might, so might use better. some of that. Like Nolly. And the look best at thing Nolly. Got going for them is that perseverance. I think a lot of teams, when you look at the mentality of a lot of North Did he cut his hair? I feel like he used to have even longer hair. The first event. When I got to chat with Nolly at the airport um, teams after yeah. Gamers 8. In, like, All right, well, first killer, Johnny Nolly. It's, it's fun to be able to no, catch got right back to it, people like that. Found a way Talk to, to him on a personal level. Nolly's a cool guy. The, the, the first event, they go out it's too bad that the Falcons are going to have to the second event, they start out stomp him. Nolly looks like your average blue-collar dad. Kama actually know really well too. Calm, I know from Turf Wars. Would you say that Nolly drinks more Red Bull than the average person? No, no the reason why Nolly has the Red Bull hat is because OG is like Red Bull and he's a Red Bull sponsored athlete. He did not have any Red Bull. I've never seen him with a Red Bull. <laughs> Which I'm sure Red Bull doesn't want me to say, but... We know what we put together. We trust in one another. Qualifier one yet. Did not go their way. Rawas is in the monitor. He's like a, I mean, the FPS players, they do that, right? Just doesn't, I just don't think you really gain much from doing that in Rocket League, but. Youngest team versus oldest team. This team has to start winning now. And I think, I think it, it tends to go youngest team. You missed the Rizzo watch parties? Yeah, those were sick. Those were really cool. Also, shout out to Kam. He said he was working out uh, between during the off season trying to be in the best shape of his life at this major yep. it's looking great there you were talking about trk you know we we're talking about veterans yep. of this roster you're going back to 2020 i know you hate this question but when is your 1v1 showmanship against johnny i always like when people say showmanship uh, it, it'll happen one day probably on land if i had to guess now here he is as a star my guess is if it were to happen it's going to happen at a one's land a one's land will happen someday 
hopefully and it'll be like a bds style event um and i'm guessing that that would probably have a fear versus johnny match or if the, if it were to happen it happened there it may never may never happen Abjack would be there presumably if it were a 1v1 event so right here right now gets og yeah trk his goals per game uh, over 1.3 and the defensive falcons only give up 1.44 so nearly he's outscoring every other team they play by himself can you make a dark versus zen probably is. not falcons the one question mark is they're not really tested in mina right now rule one they have their number so when you come to this international play when they do get tested how will they fare we said that about fury as we well did. and fury just never got tested. old fear so wouldn't be afraid to play johnny boy listen chat do we have to set the record straight again i have already tried to set up a format in which i played johnny but he dodged me by the way johnny and g2 have started so we'll switch here as they can against a team like G2 this early on. It's been an immense that was old fear. pressure from G2. Here comes Beast Mode. Lost that one just for a quick second here, but it's right back to him. Down, pass, over. Here comes the Ooh. shot. It's crossbar and out for them, but that's the G2. Oh, oh counterattack. Oh, what a pass down the middle. Fiber's already making the run, trusting Amphis to get the ball down the middle of the pitch there. I mean, that could very easily have been 2 0 to G2. And it is they done. <laughs> with the full team passing play. Both these games are good. Tie the game the counter Both these they games are good. G2. We're going to be doing a lot more jumping Just back and forth. Well, sorry. That's this game exactly shouldn't be good, and hopefully it's not. But if it is, we'll be doing a lot of jumping G2 back and forth. Close predictions. Yeah, okay. Consistent. Good call. But you can't let any late non-believers join. In the corner. Oh, what fake. You came here after New Fear, so you're happy? Thanks, man. Goes, the reality is most oh, people have. Old Fear did not have a lot of viewers. The, the Pioneers starting to really get some more midfield control. Fiber has been monumental to yeah they have the names so wrong i think they had elevates names wrong as well because right they uh, definitely had the names wrong the, for uh, pioneers home, to get a that is scrub that is, scrub is, is correct scrub, but they have uh, amphis screen, so like and fiber mixed up did me and Joy just say oh good save pioneers hanging it just a bit longer holding it to one one New Fear let the viewers get it's to his head. Old Fear appreciated his viewers more. I appreciate every viewer as much as I always have, chat. Let it be known. One. I mean, you love to see it. It's, it's not unheard of Ooh. for G2 to lose to an OCE team historically. This could be fun here. Oh, oh here comes Beast Big dunk. Mode. This match still hasn't started. That's a big goal by Beast Mode. Turns around, Rob Scrub. Old the fear ball. viewers would never say bad things. A lot of old fear viewers say bad things. New fear covered up the allegations. Ahead again by that one goal. So Wait till New Fear hits 100k. Yeah, dude, it's really gonna go to his head then. They just got right back to it. They do still look quite comfortable in the match. You know, they, they definitely look comfortable. So does Pioneer. Whoa. Double on the <laughs> backboard. That one didn't quite find its way through. But Old oh Fear, gosh, shout it out, follows. Still do. From the shout out, Rocket Star RL. Air Jordan 2069. Beatbox. Thanks for the follows. G2, they're trying to ramp up the pace of play at this point against Pioneer. Show them who's boss headed in these last two minutes. Yep, G2 have had two crossbar shots. Both of them were completely undefendable. Had they just got the shots to go a little bit lower. Now here come Pioneers. That's a shot across the box, and it's going to be picked up by Fiber at the far side. Look at it, pinched it back into the middle. A bit too much sauce on that one. But again, Amphis from the receiving end, and now Scrub. They're getting shots, at least. They are getting opportunities, yeah. Pioneers. This is a promising start for them. But after they've gone this close to G2 in game one, I think they'll feel like they want some more. Can they stop Daniel with the air dribble? Yes, they can, but it's no got to be a finish. Tommy Ooh. drops it middle. No go for beast mode. Oh, man. And here they go. It's not going to stop. It's not going to be that easy to push G2 off your side. Here comes Atomic. Scrub, nice touch. Tried to take this one out mid, but Daniel's already ready. And now the demos are going to start to come through. And that's what I was waiting for from G2 is when they were going to start ramping up. But as soon as that starts, you're going to have to hold on. This one off the nice. board. Clear that's clear. Quarter one minute left on the clock here. G2 only in the lead by one. Trying to turn it into two. Daniel's shot saved.
been sent off. Yeah, will G2 push for a third goal here? I think I think they need to. <laughs> I think they need to. Probably shouldn't be in too close of a game with OCE2. Come on, Beast Mode. Very interesting situation. It's Beast Mode. Hard right on the fake. It's now Fiber the other way, but G2 are prioritizing those defensive rotations for now. Playing it safe, making sure that they've got bodies back to defend the counters. 25 left on the clock here. Clear out into the mid. Pass. Shot's going to go towards that corner there. Great save. It's come out from Beast Mode on that one. Keep G2 in the lead. Two nice shot. Ooh. The there we go. go There's a little bit. Two. Oh, everyone Falcons and Coin OG. Everyone Falcons, Coin OG. It started. It hasn't fully started, but we'll keep it. We'll keep it in our radar. Coin is washed. Coin has actually gone against the desk a ton. I think the Coin's gonna have the worst time in the first round, and the Coin's gonna get pretty good. And it's going to be game one to the North American champions. All right. I had to give so much props to the Falcon to the Pioneers for having so much chat. Not believing in OG, but you know. Can we ban coin? We cannot. They're turning up to the major. Expect the unexpected. I know, right? But we'll see what happens. Right now, Falcons have looked incredible leading up to major one. Their first round match against OG begins. Here we go. Falcons gotta make up for me now. Roll one. Not looking you're so behind good. by a lot. Falcons. North America starting to take the stage. But right now, already, we're seeing a little bit of pressure coming out for Team Falcons. Noli's on the back wall. Has to Not anymore. He hits it straight to him. And Clears tries to play that off the back wall. But Com's there to carry that straight into the midfield. Good challenge here. OG been able to hold on defensively. And Noli is going to is OG NA's hope? Yo, Apache, thank you for the Prime. Definitely a good start there. I like that play that from OG Noli in a perfect spot and lands the shot. Gonna be very important for OG to come out with a strong start here against Falcons. We know they can definitely bring themselves back into series. Spam this marble to bring back marbles. We're not RLCS major is going on. Confidence coming out of OG, but there's still time here for Falcons to get back in it. Yes, OG have been confident facing one of the scariest looking teams coming into this major. They had a plan, and it's I'm the demo. To see that goal. to goal here in the Swiss as Nully goes up the wall, waits, delays against TRK, gets OG in a position to ramp up this offense. This back wall isn't landing towards OG in the right way, and now that Calm is demoed, Team Falcons want to counterattack, but Nully's positioning in the midfield will slow this down. Kalir's up high, chain just tips it away from JNAPS, but Calm's positioning in the midfield gives a chance for OG to start off plays like this as JNAPS couldn't connect on the pass. I do like the light touch, though, from Kalir's to get the clear out. Gives it straight to Roas, who's able to Get that one all the way downfield. Now you're starting to see TRK really get OG kind of cramped up there in the midfield. Chance for Rawas. No, it's off the post. Could have been a chance for Falcons to get on the board. Now there's going to be a couple of demos in the back end. Lots of space here as Nolly picks this one up. But Falcons halfway through game one, not able to get on the scoring board. Yes, OG connecting well in the midfield. Those has been tough for Falcons to keep up the momentum. When do marbles play? <laughs> well, that's a crazy first time chat. <laughs> that's a crazy first time chat. Wait a second. Yeah. Dude, Nolly's popping off. Nolly is popping off. Nolly just wins, dude. OG absolutely cooking. And G2 takes the lead. Over on the other side. That should be a goal. Ooh, maybe maybe I had a misread on Killier's. OG play a good back defense, and that's maybe what's different between these two defenses. Dunk. Great dunk. Great dunk. There's the twins. There's the twins. They're not out. Great dunk. Ruas looks so good in his 1v1s that he played before the major. 
have been able to find some success on offense. Is Rawas the best defender you know, in the world? He doesn't... He kind of plays defensive in threes, I guess. Something they haven't really experienced yet. But Team Falcons are... Ooh, awesome. nice, Killiers. Back to back here out of Killiers. This one right off the kickoff. Look at this. He recognizes he has space and control and just plays that... Sheesh, a little help from Calm. Calm help to the double. Can you maximize the quality of the stream? This should be max. Yeah, it should, it's it's uh it's forced max. They are the redemption kings of North America. So this lead slips by them, but Falcons, they're just warming up. They just actually had a Saudi E League final. So land, they're no strangers to land. I mean, along with a lot of players in this. This is true. See Falcons, these passes are starting to become deadly. Not fear looks maxing. No. <laughs> Jnaps. Gentlemates were good. Gentlemates played it really well. Real one took a little bit to get going. If anyone can beat KC, who is it? It's it's going to be somebody in the A tier. Falcons, G2, Furia, BDS, Vitality. Elevate, yeah, right. Of course, elevate. I don't know how I missed that. Towards middle, but OG now. Tom will bring this one up, and he'll try to see if he can set something up. Right now, just a lot of players just taking their time, trying to make sure they don't make a mistake. And Calm has been helping OG transition um, to the offensive end, but Falcons are recognizing that and going for earlier challenges, and OG couldn't find those nice rebounds and those nice passes that they did in the first two minutes of the game. But now OG with control. Falcons await the approach, and it goes maybe to TRK, the 50 to the corner. Calm picks up the corner. 20 seconds remain with space for Calm. Nully fakes the pass, and now Roas gets to fight for this in the corner. And this is where Falcons can ramp up. Killers wins the 50. Needs someone to pass, but he's overwhelmed by J Naps. It's a long send away. As the last couple of seconds drain by Nully. Looking like OT. No right Looking like OT. Lands on the ground. Game one goes to OT. Copenhagen OT. major drops. They shouldn't have stopped. Good kickoff here for facing OG. Chat, when does the goal go in and who scores it? For the shot, but blocked out by Rawaz. Could have been a chance there. Good defense from Falcons, but you can see a little bit of the depth. Killiers at a minute 30. End up letting this game slip away in regulation. Now a minute 31. Close it out here. Falcons staying composed even after an early fumble. But look at them fire right back. Killiers setting us up towards the net. Nully sends it away, and TRK almost caught it. But now Jane Apps can help them transition, but it's an awkward bounce off the ceiling. But Nully's going to back pass to Calm, and they'd rather keep control. Give up a little space. It's a fake above one defender, but Falcons are stacked. They're ready to fight back. But Nully, with not a lot of boost to work with, needs that second man of Jane Apps to help out. But the ball goes Red Marble at 212. Falcons, demos, control of the ball. Three on two. Not a lot of boost Is it me or Killiers and Rawas very similar? Struggling to maintain that pressure. Does he not know, chat? Falcons, 10 shots to seven here. They have been a force offensive. They are twin brothers. The on the off chance you didn't know. They've really tested defensively. All right, here we go. 131, Killiers. It's coming up. They're childhood friends. In a way. <laughs> In a way, they're childhood friends. Ooh. And then counterattack, Killiers scores. 131. Here it is. Right here, this ball goes out to Kaliers, and they didn't score it. 1235 TRK. Yeah, okay. That easy record, right? Childhood friends by force. Kaliers at 154. Who had it? Who had it, chat? I had Killiers correct. Nobody. Nobody had it. In fact, nobody else even knew ball, dude. I feel like I'm the only one who said Killiers. Where are you guys at, chat?
All right, what's going on here? All right, G2 working on their sweep. Working on their sweep. Ooh, wait, that kit is sick. Pioneers, that's that's a sick jersey setup. I'm back. What did you miss? Nothing so far. Everything has actually gone according to plan. Which is uh, a bit of a bummer. If G2 sweep and Falcons sweep or just win, then everything's going according to plan. Yo, nobody. Thank you for the prime. Oh, Nolly feels backflipped. And I, love to see I feel like they need to give both of these people a box the or they need to turn the camera down. Free two hour drops frozen? What? What? The question is going to be, can OG start to... Heard 15-hour drop gives you alpha boost? Like the Falcons are not afraid to play back. And That's what I've heard. If you get the... The, ceiling like that, the drops the 15 times, the last one is alpha boost. boost. And can take it up high, can go long. And Kalirus even steps up to put a surprising and deadly shot in, but blocked away by OG. TRK gets demoed, wanted the challenge, and OG can step up, but great control out of Roas. You didn't miss anything. Everything's going according to plan. TRK? Ooh, that's just free, right? Oh, it actually wasn't free. Pretty good placement. And the tricky part is changing up the pace of that shot. Lean Kalir is looking he's killing that back wall. Maybe threatening a double tap. And you position it beautifully. It was not free. Our drops broken. I think there's two chances. There's two things that could be happening. One, it could be that. Oh no, I'm getting drops still. I don't know what you guys talking about. Oh, it looks like they they reset them, and now they're working how they're supposed to work. Maybe. Yeah, I think they reset them, and now they're working how they're supposed to work. Where you have to watch for a really long time to get them all. The two-hour drops are frozen. Assesses how we can challenge this. Nully steps up from the back to the front, pushed away. T Falcons have barely any boost to work with, so the clear is nice, but it'll be all up to Killiers to get something done. Yeah, now he's able to keep that one into the corner. It was good though, Falcons were able to get that out, especially how as low boost as they were. If OG would have kept that in play, could have started a lot of consistent offensive pressure. But again, that's why you gotta get here early, chat. If you want all the drops. Okay, this one looked like it was gonna be spicy. Nice touch there. But I feel like it has around. been CTRK all backwards, but still makes a challenge. Just making sure they don't Falcons. give anything here for free. No ever since the back wall. they won. And Roaz both went up. TRK trying to keep this one back into the middle. And since they came here. back, since they started Falcons out behind. And OG are trying to get a little bit more creative, but they've been very slow here. Both teams in the shot apartment as we push that halfway mark. OG only have one shot, and Falcons only have two. That would be follow up one there that just got recorded. Team Falcons have had their backs against the wall and able to break I love how the, the camera just never works with Rawas because he's <laughs> he's always so low. Off guard in game one as Kaleers has so many defenders to break through when JNAP sends it all the way back. Nolly versus TRK in the 1v1 with that demo. Falcons relieve that offense from their backs and this goes to the back. Ooh, Kaleers big whiff. Big whiff. It starts with TRK. He gets that first touch. JNF tries to cut it. Calm wants to go for it. Noli again, just a misread off the back wall, and Kaleers is able to get the goal home. Falcons defense. Did anybody actually get the first round drops? Yes. We did. In fact, we checked out all my drops on stream. Got some nice ones. NA airport any percent? Listen, for those of you who need NA hope it wait a second. That's a good shot. Disgusting. Mr. Killiers. 
is clear. Clears is clear. You heard it here first. Uh, the good news, G2 is holding it down for the Hopium for NA right now. They're not doing as well as you maybe would have hoped, but... What are Kalir's stats? Yeah, I don't know. He's popping off. When I asked to rank the Mina players, I had I had Kalir's number one. Again, in order for people to know that you know ball, it's very important that you only bring up your correct picks and only when it's convenient. The Johnny Boy and method. <laughs> it's just, a, it's just. If you're a top tier analyst, you know how it works. Why don't casters just say killers? Is it to stay PG? It's not. It's because it's spelled K I I L E E R Z. So if you hit, if you handed that to uh, English speakers with no context and said, say this name, the vast majority of them would say. Killers, so that's why. Um, even though his name, as said by the Saudi Arabian casters, is Killers. So it, yeah, he, it is Killers. He, he intends his name to be Killers, and there goes the Killers again. But yeah, I mean he spells it Killers. So. Okay, this. Oh, all right. Sweep. Look at look at the man. Look at Dan the man. Move your cam. You guys want some uh, twins cam? It seems like they're just taking as much time as possible to figure things out here as they are on the verge of getting swept. Final few seconds count down. Ball will hit the ground. Are the two hour drops still in progress? No, it sounds like they're they're messed up. They look mad chill. <laughs> they are so locked in. But you know that OG uh, just they actually release videos of their comms during matches and they could get scored on and they're like the, the first thing they say is unlucky and then they just focus on the game plan forward OG look at the man killers go Ramos with 100 points whether it's in regional one even in was it regional two or regional three where they were like, move camp to center ah uh, okay sorry guys yet. i wasn't that wasn't connecting with me yet. i didn't realize that's what you wanted so many times it is the players on OG, JNABs, Noli, and Com. They've all been in high pressure situations on a live environment. Let's take another look at the mobile and high performance replay. It should be the big face cam bigger. High performance replay from the way they were playing. Ross, AFK, I mean, it doesn't matter, dude, if your team's winning. At this point, but OG, they did have a strong game one contention. Just felt like that one got away from them. Now they've got to really lock in. Otherwise, this series is 50% transparency. Falcons. It's going to end very, very soon. Make myself massive. I wonder if I can make myself transparent. People that came here to the event to support OG. That um, you know, we got to talk to Com's dad and Com's mom yesterday. Yeah, yeah, lots, lots um, of uh, parental support there on the side of OG. Big ah, there we go. Dad and everybody else who's been supporting uh, either at home for, for the there we go, chat. But now. How do we like this? There's definitely going to be nerves on the side of the OG fan club here as Falcons mm -hmm. right now. Oh, Rawas! Oh, <laughs> a great goal here off the jump. <laughs> OG got to be awake and ready with how Falcons. This is perfect. You hate it? <laughs> what, what about it is not perfect? The 50 goes up. J-Naps is there. Support coming out of OG who have to play a little closer together. They want to uh, execute these passes that worked out for them so well in game one. But Falcons, their defense hasn't been tested quite yet. It's really interesting though. Falcons on defense. I've fear from Christmas pick. past. <laughs> Is that the ghost of old fear? Okay. <laughs> it's 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 new fear, and we love new fear. 
Actually, what if, chat, we just dropped the whole old and new fear and we just talked about fear? TRK pass one, bump on two, couldn't get three. Who are you rooting for? Um, I guess I'm rooting for, I, I don't know if I'm rooting for one team or the other, but I guess I want the Falcons to do well. But like I said, I, I, I know Nolly and Calm, and so... I wouldn't mind them playing well as well. Falcons know how to fire back. And OG have had to put up a layered defense because that's a new fear thing to say. Rebounds. Old fear wouldn't Catching be cringe. Okay. Long, clear Ooh, what an own goal. I mean, that was a, that was in that anyways. Wow. OG simply looked outclassed. That's an unlucky first time chat, dude. That's an unlucky first time, unlucky first time chat. <laughs> Nothing like dropping the OG looks outclassed as the goal goes in for OG. That's just unlucky, man. in and out of game and that's where OG just needed one to fire up those engines again at least metaphorically Falcons though their defense it just creeps by them Nolly look at Nolly go problem is they did the same thing in game one and then lost dude TRK was turning away from it TRK just like juked himself and now two goals here from OG can they maintain is the big question yeah, he brought up those double commits from Team Falcons. Well, maybe that one, they would have went for That was an interesting kickoff from Falcons. Now Mina, not afraid to run new kickoff strats. Goal, OG, I think they had a cheat up and let the guy on the, the corners go back. And then Calm tried to chip it over them, and Rawash just dunked. So, OG, want to move forward, make that space. Jane apps almost to the ceiling, running out of boost, and there's no one there to back him up. So possession back to Falcons. It's a pass maybe too quick for TRK, maybe a home run for Roas, but with how slowed up all was going, OG had time to set up and react as TRK towards the wall. Kalir saw the challenge come out, or at least a prevention from the back wall as Falcons want to do everything they can to keep going. Something looks a little strange here, though, for Falcons. They look uncomfortable. Lots of challenges where cars are facing backwards. First touch is not necessarily really amounting to anything. Thing. And the shot possession here from offense, they haven't really Ooh. yielded too many shot opportunities there. TRK, they could have killed that a little so bit Rogers softer. Take the challenge. Now TRK, he Look at Calm go. Look at Calm so in his natural really habitat, just the off the play getting one. demos. And you're seeing TRK again, right after coming off the demo, trying to get the clearance back in. It just doesn't show any real sign of control of oh. the ball. I think it's because of OG just oh. kind of eliminating the space. It's only trying to take a shot, back. but Kalia's got there quickly. Oh, I'm glad Kalia's got there because that was looking like a, an OG 3-0 at this point. Minute 38. Here's TRK with space. Double commit from OG, but it's a long send back, and Falcons need to make sure that third man. Well, Falcons made up the two goal third, lead last time, but. We ever get commentary with Leth? That's uh, that's a crazy shout. Uh, I, w I would not say that's super likely. I don't know. Leth does a ton of commentary. Ooh, TRK just slotted it. He threaded the needle here on this play. You see, Ruas here starting to play. You get the playoff calm. Not necessarily the best touch. Jnaps is just Ruas a little bump. They're just kind of getting in their way a little bit. Because he had to dodge two demos at TRK. Perfect placement here. Falcons with a chance to equalize. They got a minute, 16 seconds to do it. Falcons have been in that shadow even when OG. Oh, Yikes. No I'm trying to hype up Falcons kickoffs. That ain't it. What'd they do here? Oh, Killers tried to lose it. Dude, I think they tried to lose it to the back wall, maybe? Or they tried to lose it to TRK. I'm thinking they tried to lose it to TRK, actually. Killers went super far wide, left of the ball. And I think, and TRK che cheated. I think they tried to lose it directly into TRK. But man, that did not go how they wanted. That was default kickoff? No, look at Killeers' run to the ball, and you would not call it a default kickoff. I mean, or Killeers just choked. But he did not take a regular play on the ball. He went super wide and tried to, like, guide it back to the blue half. Yeah, they, they end up getting demoed. He's going to be in the back end here. But also, 
you have to think OG just well I think OG are on the board here. they know how to do that very well Nats keeps this one close Killiers on top of the ball Ooh, no we got a piece of it now this one goes into the corner and Roas, wow that would be a bang a that was gonna be a tough OG. shot Ruas put some heat on that pass. Chat, I think OG's on the board. Stealing away game three, keeping themselves alive in this series. The brooms of the reverse sweep will stay in the closet for now, but you can see that there's hope. There's Copenhagen after all, the ideally cope for OG as his clock winds down to zero, and OG will be taking game three. OG get a win here in second channel's got nothing going on continue on as they try to survive here in this best of five with Falcons initially off the start of the game you had that error there from Rawas chat go easy chat chill right. I think they're doing a fine job and OG took that continue to apply more and more pressure I would say they're even doing a good job everybody on OG able to get into involved scoring wise and you guys are being haters there's a chance here for him if they can continue to build off of this. The question always was Kiwi is a peak hype chatter or a hype commentator. You start to see Falcons getting get going. Like so you just say, you just pair it with an analyst. It's, really it's that easy. Uncomfortable for Team Falcons here all over the field on offense and on defense. I wonder if that continues on or if they're going to be able to use this time to get things together. And uh, Kalir has had a quiet game, surprisingly, after what a hat trick in, in game one. So OG starting to understand, stop letting Falcons have space when they have the ball and stop the feed going to <laughs> Kalir's. And that did the whole, did the whole message get leaked? And <laughs> Kalir's, that first and second man, have worked out so beautifully together throughout this region. They're going for the perfect split, the perfect season. They haven't lost a regional. So Falcons, uh, not used to Charles DMs. Like Showing up on screen. Here we go. Game four. Will OG send us to game five today? I don't think we've gone there yet. But will Falcons be able to close this one out already? Saw TRK off with a great start trying to get a little solo effort. OG was good defensively. Here's where I So almost. Who wins in a 1v1? Yeah, Old Fear or Fearless? Really well. Fearless. OG for sure. A little bit slower here. Giving up a little bit of space to the midfield, but they don't really feel too threatened initially. Rawash tries to push that one up, and TRK gets it over one. Calm. No boost in the tank, really, for him and or OG, but he was able to get that ball, get a little piece of it, buy some time. Already, though, Falcons, the pressure pays off. No one able to stop Kalir's from scoring the first one. Dude, yeah, is Falcons Kalir just going to score every single goal? OG were shaken and made sure they were stirred at the end. Everyone jumping up for this ball. No OG uncomfortable off the start. One sec, chat. Falcons having to play closer because in their region they could go for these long free jump passes and that was something that you had to take a note of as Falcons wanting to pass through go into the orange half but it's mixed up there by OG through the corner few demos weakens that OG offense as Khan maintains possession as long as he can to buy time for Jane to step up and throws a shot Clears forced to make the save off the post, and Nully is not even going to let them clear it out. Maybe faking that oh. pass to Chain has got everyone jumping, but doesn't decide to commit to the shot. He wanted the flip reset to Nabs, but you can see he got a one extra touch more than he needed to. The ball got sent the other way. Kyle I'm honestly really early. impressed with OG, except for Nolly. Wait, doesn't Nolly's been playing great? Am I am I crazy? Am I not watching the same series? Did, did Nolly not play well? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like if, you, if you, in fact, if you had to pick who was their MVP, I would say Nolly so far. Ooh, that's, that's not it. That is not it if you are OG. Nolly made two bad mistakes. Oh, the mistake that got the goal. Well, I mean, if you're also the one who's scoring for your team, you get a slight break for it, I think. Chat, we might not end up seeing anything too crazy here. What do we have left in the last round? We need some chaos. Being perfectly right in our predictions is boring. 
What is OG going to do here playing from behind? Looking for clearance. He's trying to pass it to each other, but you can see Falcons cutting off the space. That was a good challenge there from clears. Yeah, Team Falcons winning the 50s, but letting JNAPS go for clears. No, it's shut down again. Midfield presses by Falcons. Now JNAPS can work the right side. Roas will climb up the wall to help. Now that you've demoed someone from OG, Falcons, the counterattack. Something you have to worry about. 2 on one Wow, what a save. Killers didn't do half this good last year. Do got the update. Yo, thank you for the five dollar super chat, YouTube. YouTube chat, my favorite as always. So Killers didn't do half this good last year. Killers is pretty good last year. I mean, he's he's doing even better. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I have him as the number one player from Mina. Uh, but yeah, he's popping off. I mean, I, this is a great series for him, no question. Today is round one and two. Yeah. Tries to drop that down, but there's no one there from OG. Com's actually across here. Roas trying to take his time. Falcons got the midfield, but OG trying to fight for it. TRK wins that challenge now into the orange corner. Clears. Picks this one up, trying to play it off the back wall, but it's getting sent straight to JNAP. TRK got a demo on Noli in the back end, but here's Com now. Good control, good first touch, gonna play a 50 out. No one able to get the follow ups here, so Noli will get a free shot. Played the ball high, follow up from Naps. He gets a light touch to try to keep this control here. As Noli to Com, but Com moved a little bit wow. too fast. Wow. Yeah, that that's to be a goal way. if you're an OG fan. Man, of OG if you should bet chat is your favorite, why don't you show it on stream? Ooh, touche. Touche. Right I don't see anybody $5 super chatting in Twitch Still chat, though. Down, TRK, manning, manning to don't hit me with the it's not possible to super chat. Because that that's just an excuse. Ooh, that was a good shot, but TRK on one. TRK steps up, grabs the ball. JNAPS on the back wall manages to stabilize OG. Last minute of play for OG's match one of Swiss on the line. And OG had a great opportunity there. They had two four, but no one was able to get a piece of the ball. So now Falcons are in a perfect spot. This one though, TRK has That's true. Here, does get up quick, Bacchinus gets does gift his millions of subs on Twitch chat. There, so you have a great point there. Chat, I think we're seeing a 3-1 Falcons. I think we're seeing a 3-1 Falcons. I think we're seeing premium boring results. This one was pretty interesting. Chat, who was closer to winning? Rule 1 or OG? I have my take. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We all agree. Rule one was closer to winning against mates. Falcons handled this pretty well. Have we had like almost exclusively sweeps? They have two game, two game fours so far, right? Two game fours, and it was this one, and OG really didn't look close despite getting a game. And then rule ones looked pretty good. We get RLCS all day and March Madness tonight. What a great weekend. I know it's it's peak, dude. That's why I got my U of A on. Falcons will be disappointed they lost the game. Yeah, to be fair, that hurts you a lot. Especially when everyone else is sweeping. When everyone else is sweeping, it hurts you a lot. But it actually might be good for us fans because we might get a pretty spicy matchup. Because all the 3-1 players might have to play against some of the best 3-0 players. So... Or 3-0 teams. Team All right. So next, to finish out, we have Vitality, Complexity, and Genji Power. In theory, that should also be boring. It's crazy how, like, it's kind of just boring across the board so far. I mean, it's fun to see the, the good teams perform. And this is setting us up for, like, a really hype top eight uh, and future Swiss, but... Strong seeding, yeah. Well, to be fair, technically, this was an upset. Furia over LG was a seeding upset, which is why you see him on the right. But but we knew <laughs> we knew who was winning that. All right, Falcons G2. You guys get your points. I'm assuming this is on an away screen. But again, OG also being able to take, I believe it was game three. But Falcons, I mean, they set the tone, they set the temperature. Will we see row one again? Yeah, all the teams will play twice today. We'll see every team twice. Complexity will upset Vitality. Is that our best chance? I guess we'll start the prediction. That'll, that'll 
be your guys' way of letting me know which team wins. Vitality. And what's the other match? Genji Power. So Vitality Genji, probably the number one pick. Vitality Power. Teams with different play styles and then levels of uh, complexity and, OG, and sure. Gen G started with the lead or complexity and defensive fumbles by power OG that cost them an overtime and some early goals and Falcons. There was no signs of all right, chat. From them. No, yeah, no Who you guys got? A little bit of uh, uncomfortableness that we saw out of them. How long will this watch party be? I think we're gonna do the whole thing today, chat. I think we're gonna rip the whole day. That's the plan. The Swiss stage continues. We're talking about multiple rounds of Swiss being played over multiple days, and of course the crowd. So when you look at teams, how like old is this, CRK? You need to Probably be like able to 17, if I guess. At the highest level, and Falcons. Maybe 18. They can do just that. Maybe 18. This was such a fun match to watch, though, seeing everyone... Genji playing next on B-Stream? Yeah, I think they probably have Genji on B-Stream because they're expecting Genji versus Power to be a sweep. Did LG play that bad? Uh, LG kind of got crushed. Twitch chat, YouTube chat is asking how LG did. You can tell them right here. Team Falcons lighten it up. I'm now down here with whom coach of the squad. Uh, I'm hoping to get some some insight. I, I want all the secrets. Uh, first off, I want to talk about the, the qualifiers coming into this. Absolutely phenomenal, sweeping the entire thing. Uh, I mean, I guess, does that set expectations coming into this? Is, is there a, a wait to continue to perform? أول شيء بنحب نرحب بالكوتش دحوم مدرب فريق فالكونز في البطولة أول شيء مبروك على الفوز وحابين نأخذ رأيك أول شيء مبدئيا تصفيات الميناء قدرتوا تطلعوا من غير ما تخسروا أي سيريز فهل هذا زاد الضغط عليكم خلال أو خلينا في دخولكم بهاي البطولة ولا كيف كان تجهيزكم؟ الله يبارك فيك يا حبيبنا وطبعا هذا الشيء إن فزنا سويبات أغلب الأيام تعطينا دافع وثقة I've listened to a lot of the main streams. I still don't understand Arabic. So performing as well as we did in the qualifiers really boosts our confidence and gives us the ability that we feel like we can do everything that we uh, every, everything that we want in this tournament and hopefully take the title at the end. Well, it's certainly looking like they can do whatever they want to do. Out here. He's saying old uh, fear was better. What makes you guys better? I, I know you can't probably give me the insight. <laughs> okay. so I'll try to tell, get them up. But what makes you better? than the rest of the region in, in MENA right now. What is it that separates you? LG looked like an open qualifier team. All of these teams are open qualifier teams because they all played in the open qualifier. We work hard every single day and we try to practice as much as we can and we take every single game that we play as seriously as possible. That's great. That is a winner's attitude for sure. Now, talk to me about the other team in, uh, that's currently here at the Major as well. Rule one. There's two spots for Mina now. Very exciting. Do you think they're going to make it out of Swiss, though? Do you think they're going to make it out of Swiss, though? Do you think they're going to make it out of Swiss, though? Do you think they're going to make it out of Swiss, though? Do you think they're going to make it out of Swiss, though? I hope they're going to make it out of Swiss. As long as Genji and Vitality win in four, Falcons face KC in round two. That would be huge. But I also don't know if we can say like 3-1-3-1 is pretty lucky. Wait, do we get double drops if we redeem the first batch? I think so. Uh, we respect every single one of the teams that made it here. They made it here because they deserve to be here, and we are giving them all their due respect, and we'll see what they can do in the tournament. That was a fantastic answer, by the way. Congratulations on it. Thank you guys for joining me. But we do have more Rocket League that we're going to need to get to. Coming up next, it's going to be Complexity versus Vitality. This is a big one. You don't want to miss it. Swiss is carrying its way on into... Give it a flip. Let's see where the coin lines. All right, chat. Yeah, I need to we got blue. We got blue use the restroom, the but you've got Johnny to entertain you. Loves. The coin loves OCE. OCE. I need to put that. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk away with that. I need to put it down. I don't want to take it away uh, from this area. They're going to need that later. So, yeah, the coin likes OCE. Didn't work last time. Mm -hmm. This time, it's OCE's number one. Power are the top team in OCE. They've mm -hmm. actually gone undefeated this entire uh, uh, event so far, the entire uh, season so far. And... Obviously their biggest test, but they might be the strongest OCE team 
coming into an international event that we've ever seen. Which honestly, if I was an OCE fan, I would not be upset with sending them towards Gen G, especially after the performance we saw in our last series it, from the Pioneers going up against uh, G2, excuse me, but Power versus Gen G Mobile One. And of course, Gen G, I think this might be first appearance on land with First Killer. Yes, yeah, this is uh, their their new look, Gen G with First Killer in the roster. The, the, the other, you know, super team coming out of NA, we got two of them. Um, G2 looked uh, pretty good. I don't think they, they were really tested too much against Pioneers, but Pioneers earlier on, will, I, don't, I don't think they'll be too upset with how they played. But I think Power are coming in with more pressure on them. They have higher expectations um, on themselves. And they've got a new look roster as well with Banana Head coming in mm -hmm. uh, this season uh, in replacement for Amphis, who's now on Pioneers. We still, of course, do have Torsos and Fever hiding away at the back there, um, giving, uh, giving his nose a little itch and reclining, looking very <laughs> comfortable and relaxed. Um, but Torsos is one of the He's one of the, the true OGs. Yep. Um, the the longest standing player in OCE, and actually the second longest standing player in this event after J Naps, going mm -hmm. all the way back to season three uh, <laughs> when he first took place. And First Killer is <laughs> sleepy <laughs> for this match. He needs to wake it up. First Killer, wake up, shake it you off. You got this. And uh, yeah, hopefully we, he can perform <laughs> his debut. Oh man! And speaking of speaking, uh, people that could do incredibly on a debut team like this jack the captain to carry everybody through this one if there's somebody to listen to and to guide you through things i think it's him i think chronic had an incredible debut with him as well i wouldn't expect anything less on this roster with fk but it is herc herc and johnny have been so fun to watch mm -hmm. in north america really the only team that has been hard messing with them was g2 for a, for yep. a little while there so but I don't know. You, you're going up against number one in OCE, and I wouldn't take that lightly if I was you, Genji. You know, they, Genji, of course, did have their couple of hiccups in. Mm -hmm. the, I forgot to give uh, out homework. The stage online, they lost a couple. Why does Chronic suddenly one, look uh, older? First event, one of the Listen, second event to, uh, I think he might be uh, growing America, older. So they're not perfect when it comes to Swiss stage. I know it, it could be a crazy times, take, but uh, overall, much like G2, they are very strong against teams. I feel like he's also really within the age range in which from the rest of the pack, you. you know, G2, you are G2, growing G2, very G2, quickly. Of course, being the, the champions of the most recent event, beating mm -hmm. G2 twice. So they, they are uh, peaking at the right time. Their, their trajectory is phenomenal, and they should come away with a win here if all goes according to plan. What do you think G2. we're getting away with decals? I'm honestly not sure. huge favorites in this series and even in the entire event. But for now, you got to start out with round number one. We've we have a big Power timer over here. Okay, we do. This is Gen G Mobile One Racing going up against each other. North America's number one versus... OCEs. To Manfield Night we go for game one. Can power produce the result that OCE have been looking for for many years now? Will it just be another sad day at the office? But it's a tough start against Gen G. All right, NA need this win. Champions. Bad chat. First killer collects the ball in defense. Looks to stall some time here. We also need to end the prediction. Moving things forward. We do have Torsos in. The Dominus today, one of his uh, favorite cars all time to use, and uh, I think Torsos might be the one who really popped. Chat it. thinks it's more likely that Vitality lose than Gen G. It's probably true. Okay. Well, I hope. I, you know what? It should I be true. Do what makes you most comfortable, especially going up We get KC Falcons as long as either team doesn't drop two games. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's more likely. That's huge. KC Falcons today would be huge. Yeah, a couple of intentional low 50s there, delayed 50s from apparently Jack. I think that, you know, could clearly be a power is using their decals. This. They're trying to lose. Nice to touch. The They're not losing them here though. As Jack makes it one nil, low pass middle from first killer, and a very easy finish for apparently Jack. That's a huge dunk. Yeah, that that has blue trail. That came off of a powered That's car. Unfortunate bounce off of someone's car there. That kind of just went perfectly center. So Genji up by one in the early stages of game number one here. Can they turn it into two? Fever. Don't the Falcons have a higher seed than Gentlemates? Torsos trying to send himself forward for a shot here. Here comes Banana Head. Do they? Okay. Power already tying things up. Immediate response. Uh, I don't know. That's not we'll ordered by seeding anymore. Banana Head up uncontested. As the ball bounces back into the middle. And there was a bit of a gap there from Genji. You know, maybe the left side of the goal, the right side covered, but not the middle where Banana Head's goal has gone. So just over a minute in. 
And now we've got a chance for power to get back into attack as it's chip middle. It's easy for first killer though. Actually, Jack gonna say, no, thank you. That's my ball. And look for Chronic on the transition. I, I, I'm very curious to see if Gen G will try and do what G2 did. You know, just sitting that is quite the name, first time chatter. I think I you are on very team thin team ice. If not, we might not have to just you ban you immediately. <laughs> against teams like this. Yeah, I, I think definitely playing the, the bait and wait game if you're Gen G. I, I think it's just like an instant. I think that's just a ban on site. I mean, I might be crazy, but I don't know how that name and exists. Well, it's not aggressive with no chance of an opportunity. <laughs> it's aggressive with shots on target that are threatening, forcing these saves out of Gen G. OCE, they've I'm, I'm worried about what message number two is going to be. No, message number one was fine. Yeah, and you know, we, we had a chance to chat to Pioneers after the game that just finished. 0-3 uh, in favor of G2. And they weren't too upset. They, you know, they, they're looking at it as a promising start where they didn't get you know, completely outmatched. They looked like they were supposed to be there. And that's what Power are doing as well. It's actually, they're going to take the lead here. What <laughs> shot by Banana Head to completely catch NG sleeping. I what a oh, shot. That's by Banana Head. Chronic had no idea. That's a, that it's a good pre-flip, but... He had no idea. Oh my goodness, Power have officially taken a lead on Gen G oh, in game chat. number one. Do you extend it? I, so far, all the picks have gone here. how I've said. When oh, I was asked on Shotcast the biggest Gen upset chance, and I did go with well Power done. because Power is just, they're a bunch of winners. And winners have a way of winning. Winners have a way of winning. I'm not saying that it's gonna it's gonna be a power winning for sure, but winners win, man, and they won a ton in OCE. Single time that you can't can out. It's honestly, it, it's these OCE squads, but power after the performance that they had in their own region throughout all three qualifiers, undefeated, looking to keep the streak alive here in game number one at least against Gen G. But huge props to Banana Head, man. He has been all over the place. I think he's you wanted CJ of the three goals. Yeah, might be cast his power, I homies. Like that was his hat trick. <laughs> Well, I mean, what a start for Banana Head <laughs> in his first ever LAN match for Power. That's an incredible opening. He's going for a fourth here. Oh, Banana, Banana Head! Head. <laughs> Banana Head is him, chat. It's unfortunate for Gen G Mobile One Racing, but... Oh! They should put me in the RLCS. Must be completely shocked at what just happened to them because they are not being given any respect. That's a half point by him <laughs> to set up a passing play. I mean, they're bringing everything to the table. Let here. us see their expressions. In. Okay, you guys want you guys want Gen G Genji losing expressions? Okay, there you go. Now you get happy Gen G. To bring it back to two. Chronic said, everybody sit down. Let me show you who I am. I can still do what I do and on low boost. Still managed to get that angle on them, Genji. Wait, I just tuned in. Yeah, it, Banana Head has four goals. Game one, but Banana Head has four in goals. Specifics, Banana Head, the one yes. to try and beat. Look at OCE Again, mixing up the kickoffs to too. Play has a priority here, but it does end up in the back corner. You know, that's really the key there for that strategy. Is you need to stay calm. The ball will end up in your back corner a lot, but you're fine. <laughs> Banana Head. <laughs> He's got the golden boot. Banana Head. You just can't miss. <laughs> He just can't miss. What a bounce. It just goes straight in. He Chronic just can't miss. He boost, but he didn't think he was going to need to do any defending anytime soon. <laughs> Banana, Banana Head. Banana Head. Who predicted that? <laughs> CJ, maybe. I don't, think, I don't even think CJ did it. <laughs> we, need, we need to check those. Look at the confidence of Banana Head oh with a free God. jump challenge. Banana Head again going forward. I mean, it's all go, go, go for power. They have not sat back. There we go. In the midfield, but they've conceded here. I mean... It's a it's a super high scoring game. A five three game is a huge for three v three. You are gonna give give openings, and that was a great fake actually by Gen G. Fever didn't read it, and Torsos couldn't cover it. A minute six to go. Power ahead by two. You know, was Falcons OG close? No, not really. The only semi close match that was the very first one. Mates real one felt kinda close. Uh, but yeah, you, even. Even that one was pretty heavy mates. 
from the side wall. Pass center, nothing prevails as Power are able to keep Gen G at bay. 42 seconds left. Torsos. Of course, oh, James. What up? This one's gonna go in. Beaver's gonna <laughs> steal it for himself. Beaver, how could he do that? Was it was it Banana Head who shot it? Oh no, it's Torsos. <laughs> It's Torsos, you know, so Fever had to secure it. He was the one who got that in field pass there to Torsos. I mean, Fever obviously wants to get on the score sheet as well. But what a game by Power. This is an unbelievable result. Can they hold on to it, though? Because now here comes Genji again. And Power, if one thing you know you can't criticize them for, they're giving away a lot of chances when they've got comfortable leads. It seems like they've you know got one game plan today, and that is to attack, attack, attack. And uh, you know that is definitely going to give Genji opportunities. Oh yeah, Genji definitely. Chat NA number two being the only team to get upset. Anything for themselves right now. This well, technically, actually, NA three was also an upset killer, a double, a against Furia. Towards that net, but it's not even on target. But it's all right. We're not playing twenty minute and there is just best of ones. So the fact that they're down three power. doesn't matter. Take down Genji. Dominus Take with a topper. Wait, is Torsos using a topper? Oh, he is. He's got he's got the deal with it glasses. 2018 fear would be playing twos right now. Chat James. James actually knows old fear. Chat. You guys talk about old fear a lot. James has been following since 2018, and it's not someone that I know IRL. And so I don't know how to tell you, but like that's someone who actually knows old fear. So if you have any questions about Old Fear, James can answer them. We know Old Fear as well, not like not like James does. James was here when there were five viewers, like he said. You and Ryan Lacey, the thing is, Ryan Lacey's my brother, so he doesn't count. <laughs> Was curious, you know, if this roster move was a good one, if he, if he was going to slot in, because this is kind of like a, a first killer uh -oh. roster move for OC, right? I don't know if he ran ever, ever if he ran marbles it, as as back far as James incredibly. used to. I mean, they're, yeah, they're all smiles right now, of course. And Gen G, meanwhile, I mean, okay, what? what's going on over here? Nothing yet. I've ever seen I mean, they, they, they've got to be a bit confused right now. I mean, they've obviously not looked past power. They, Fear would play twos with his viewers. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> James, you're really you're really throwing me in a hole, man. <laughs> you're really throwing me in a hole. Yo, Daz Transit. Transunt. Thank you for the prime. The prime till full time. difficult for Gen G to get comfortable. Can power keep it up, though? One game on the board. Here we are in game two, and it's Banana Head again with the air dribble bump. Great save by Chronic. All right, do we see the bounce back chat, or do we not? They are just going for it every time. Power are no Is it just going to be a full bounce back, and everyone forgets about game one, and Genji wins 3-1? The description I gave uh, Pioneers in their earlier series, it's OCE showing up to Copenhagen with the most respectful amount of disrespect you could give the top teams in the North American region, right? Yeah. It's it's no question that they're coming into here ready to fight for their lives, and that's exactly what they're doing. The fact that they've caught Genji off guard though is massive. Yeah, Banana Head is actually tied. Um, apparently, Jack's all-time one-game goal record for um, an RLCS LAN game. So that's not a bad time to five to pop off. Does how many he had? had chances to make it six even. So it's, it's, it really is an incredible one game there. But to get it against it Jack too. They are still in offense. Banana head corner double doesn't go on target, doesn't get the contact. And it looks That's like just free. it is going to be Gen G opening the scoring as power overset the mark. Where was the defense on this one? Yeah, they committed yeah I don't know. Sending everything again. That's, that's what OC's been doing, though. They've just been going all in. So it's going to happen. You're going to concede if you, do, if you do this against a team like Gen G. But Power's game plan obviously is just this. Banana won't goal. score another goal this series, unfortunately. We'll, we'll watch Vitality as well. Obviously, this one is is upset potential right now. Unless, you know, if Genji get another goal. I don't know if this one's started yet. The other one hasn't started, so. Imagine if Rocket League had offsides. I bet you there's a YouTube video. I bet you that's a left video. What do you think, chat? If it's not a left video, somebody tell him. Have him go implement offsides. And he'll make one. 
looking a little bit more like the Genji we expected here. Able to control. You think it's a sunless video? Control power for the most part so far. D but so I think I, I'm thinking of a sunless video in which they had refs, but he. Uh, I don't think he like set up the actual game to follow the rules. Okay, there's the 2-0. Still, vitality complexity hasn't started. Again, it's Jack with the ground game. Flick on target. Fever didn't have enough uh, uh, boost really there at the end to get the necessary adjustment. Saves the initial shot, but didn't get the ball clear. Alias! Save the prime for seven months, my man. Seven months of contributing to the prime till full time movement. You predict any Radosin own goals? It'd be insane to predict against a Radosin own goal. So you won't be catching me doing that. BDS had some crazy own goals, though. I don't think they'll be able to beat BDS. BDS were straight up team playing on their own net. It was actually unbelievable. Yeah, in this in this first round of like almost all sweeps, letting another team get a single game is a uh, is is not what you want to do. Which is why you know, of course, power should not be letting up a single game to Genji like they're doing right now. They're gonna have such a hard second round if they do that. Fear should is give you my prime. Sounds like you figured out the answer yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the prime. Alright, is Vitality started? No, dude, that, that, that round refuses to start. That's real proper healthy posture. Does anybody watch Melee? There's a guy in Melee that has like unreal posture it's like so good that it almost feels like maybe it's bad because it's so good and you know it's, it's all about that win loss in swiss as we always say genji are fixing theirs as we speak if you watch melee you know what i'm talking about pretty, pretty happy with one game i think if you if you told them today you're gonna get a game i don't think they'd be too jay mook that's like right dude jay mook just sits I'm sure they so more. elite they get more? It's just go. next level it's actually pre jump there more like a you know double commit that they improvise very well, but they have overextended. Okay, Again, this game is now going how we thought it would. Yep, Genji just kind of letting power push forward. Drink wire today, it's actually so true. Starting those transitions, it's just one long clear on target. Genji, they find themselves an open net three nil on this one, three goals unanswered to by power, which kind of comes in as a little bit of a shock compared to game number one. They felt like they were able to answer. FK gave Abjack the look. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you're trying to imply that you're saying FK gave Abjack the look. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't even say it. <laughs> I think I know what you're trying to imply. You ready to bear down? Yes, Zebo. You better believe I'm ready to bear down today. <laughs> That's not the kind of look. <laughs> I, I think Oli Ray was trying to say he was giving the, I'm going to, uh, hey, bud. I don't think this uh, will bother power too much. They're all smiles. As you can see, the fifth goal, Tarsos, they're backboarding it. Um, very creative back pass there by Tarsos. It doesn't materialize. Baby Fear is on his way. Uh, this is exactly what Genji to ECE. Is after game one. I'm sure they were a little bit confused. As dog on stream. <laughs> it was not It was not the dog, chat. It was Baby Fear. I feel like the safe answer is yes, but you never know. They're going to try and turn it into six. They All right. <laughs> That's a good bounce back. If you if you're if you're Gen G, that's a good bounce back. You have lab during the zona game? Rip. Looking at complexity here against Vitality. Team Vitality have not lost an RLCS land yet since the iteration of this roster. But we will see they struggled in their online regionals leading up to this major. And complexity. I've talked to them before getting into the series. They felt confident. All eyes on Dorito as this series kicks off. All eyes on Dorito. So far, both these teams gotta feel each other out. Here comes the best round one matchup. Could be. I think we'll probably stay here unless you guys tell me that Power is doing it again. 
Zen, but this is still a Super Saiyan team when it comes to How do you feel about Dorito on this team? But this has been uh, I, haven't, I haven't watched enough of them with Dorito, I would say. So I'm not going to go uh, out on the limb and say too much. Can you give us a recap of the day so far? Great news, man. You've missed almost nothing. Because every match has gone at least how I predicted it. Some people could say that a match went the way they didn't predict it. Like, for example, some people predicted LG over Furia. I think that was a big mistake. But yeah, it's just been... It's not even been close. No game fives. And everybody who was supposed to win just winning. So... So this is the biggest question mark. Well, the biggest question mark was Gen G and Power, and uh, Gen G seemed like they were maybe choking, but then they bounced back super strong. And now we don't know how this one's gonna go. Fury getting disrespected. Yeah, a lot of people did not have Fury playing well. I probably even had Fury, I bet, a little bit lower than I should have. I can't remember. I think I had him in top eight. Uh, but I don't know who they lost to in top eight. I mean, round one is supposed to go, you know, according to plan, but I feel like it often doesn't. There's usually at least one or two rounds that don't go to plan, and we're on our last two chances for that to happen. It seemed like for a moment it was going to be power Gen G, but... The streets want Furia Falcons. I think there's going to be a multiple really good 1-0 rounds because that's the top eight. <laughs> the top eight are just going to play each other, right? Do we know what round two is looking like? Some people are saying Falcons could be playing KC over on the YouTube chat. I haven't done the math for it yet. When does Cloud9 play? Very soon. Oh, the double save. Actually, interesting decision from Alpha to just go demo. Instead of trying to force it through a defender, just take the defender out and let a teammate come back through. I missed it. Pays off big for vitality. You see the initial challenge coming through. CR trying to control the ball, but it's a big old dunk. There's a big old dunk that goes in with blue trail. Into the net. Vitality with the first it's okay, Milo. It's about time for shot one goal execution. I was not ready for that. I'm, I'm just, I was not ready for that. I know. You did a little perfect. wiggle and everything. I know. I do my little dance. No one gets to see it on camera. It's okay, though. You thought that was your cat? <laughs> No, that was Doggo. What breed is your dog? I'm actually, I actually don't know. This, it's a long story, but that dog is actually <laughs> my neighbor's dog. I don't think we need to get into the dog lore. But the neighbor's dog comes over sometimes. <laughs> You stole a dog? No. <laughs> no, the neighbor's dog comes over when the neighbor's uh the neighbor's dog's owner, the neighbor, leaves. <laughs> Finally, the allegations. No. no, the dog jumps the wall and comes over. I don't know how else to to explain it to you guys. Sometimes the neighbor dog jumps the wall and comes over. Is that not a thing that happens to you guys all the time? The dog rings the doorbell? No, the dog uses the dog door like all dogs do. If you for sure grabs his neighbor's dog and jumps the fence. Listen, we can address the allegations later. 
right while you stand on the other side with treats. <laughs> and I'm just trying to, he's whining to get back, and I'm just, it's okay, bud. <laughs> You're, you're here with us now. This is your forever home. Being able to see how they would look there on the offensive front was really, really solid. Not necessarily too much, though. You can All right. Is Genji handling business? They are. In a while here for both teams. And you start to get the land jitters out of the way here a little bit by a little bit. But the one person who's always been... Milo, can you come over here and explain to everybody how you're the neighbor's dog and how it's not weird that you're here? Take a look at the number one high-performance replay. And lots of close chances. That one here was close, especially good. Touch there from Rays, but clear it out. How can I get a drop? You got to register. Exclamation point drops will help you register if you haven't already. But then you got to watch this stream. What a fun match we've had so far. I mean, this one is a tough one to predict. Everyone kind of said game fives. Everyone has a lot You thought Milo was your wife? No, my wife is Dr. Fear. Because they proved just how talented they were in North America before they made the move. And you think, oh, well, is there less competition? And, they, you know, they struggle against Fury. And that's the level of talent that you're going to see at a major like this. But complexity, I feel like they're, they're the ace in this tournament. I think you could expect the unexpected. And... Vitality are still a strong team, but only by one goal. Never seen Dr. Fear and Fear in the same frame. And there's definitely room here for adjustments for complexity. Okay, we'll chat. End up seeing that here as we get for Ben Temple loaded up. Will they be able to make I'm going to have to pull out the receipts. I'm going to have to pull out the receipts. You guys ready to see the most beautiful family there is? Something that doesn't really happen too often. Didn't really show any real weakness on the side of complexity. Look who it is. And it's Baby Fear. Oh, so good. So we get game so good. And we'll see if there's any adjustments that are made. Old Fear didn't steer, didn't steal dogs. Ooh, okay. Complexity on the board right away. A stolen baby. <laughs> Talk about adjustments. Yeah, give Dorito the ball. That's a great start. A lot of eyes. Uh, he's, he's not stolen. He's not stolen. He's he's not stolen. I promise. Everyone's running into each other now. Alpha's in the picture. There's a big old sandwich off a kickoff, but CR tries to lead that charge. Ray's Ray's ball. Ball. Oh, look at the bull. What else would you... No, no, no. It's not Magic Bear. It's the Bull. Got him. When the neighbor comes back, does the dog go know to go back? Yeah, he does. He can hear the cars pull up. So he goes back over. He comes over to hang out when he doesn't have any humans in his house. He likes to hang out with the humans. What rank is Baby Fear in twos? Higher than you guys, chat. Got him. Now we haven't got him on the sticks yet. We'll see how things change here for Vitality. Are they going to get things going? Rodosin, I mean, that first touch, the ball got so far away from him, so he had to play a 50 out. So ball now still in complexity's position. Alpha had to play from inside the net, and now he's trying to get a flick downfield. Doesn't work out. Chad, this Rainbow is definitely our best chance at a good series. We'll control this one. Has Alpha in the wing. Is Genji, is Genji cleaning up over in their round? Imagine Zen and Vitality being the only team to get upset in the first round going for demos to not let vitality generate too much momentum and especially see a speed what if he's a kbm player true we could get him on the kbm what team is baby fear predicting baby fear knows ball so baby fear would have predicted vitality break out of their own half zen to alpha the shot off the post the follow up from rodosin all of vitality but we don't know for sure haven't asked him <laughs> Baby Fear had a U.S. West spawn. Unfortunately, it's all over. <laughs> you know, me and my wife did go to France within the past, like, year and a half, I think. I don't know what we were thinking. Why we didn't birth the baby over in France. Complexity looking good. You threw, to be honest? Yeah, I did. I did. Vitality, uncharacteristically behind, but we knew this was going to be a good series. Yeah, I don't think anyone expected this. 
Such dominance here from Just change the servers, haven't played EU servers from US West. It doesn't really feel like they've had the ball on that blue side that often. Rodosa trying to get this one to Alpha to set it up. But when they when Vitaly are on their own end defensively, it just looks really rough from them. Too far forward though. And oh no, CR! Could have been a chance there to make it four. It was a tough angle. They're still up by three, but again, the more insurance they have against Vitality, the better. Chicago started that US West. There's a lot of US West players that had success. Ooh, what a save. The bull. The Bull is also a guy I met at Turf Wars, so i like to see him succeed. Oh, I just heard, I just heard them yelling from their mics. Or maybe that was the other stream. Was that the other stream? Did you guys hear that? Somebody yelled from their commentator mics. And it doesn't look like this is going to be a goal, so I'm assuming it's going to be... Having over on uh, Genji scored. Okay, Vitality on the board. Alright, Genji. Genji doesn't seem like a team to yell, though. Who yells on Genji? That was a Genji nice. Jack? <laughs> yeah, it does seem like Jack is probably most likely to yell. Chronic yells. I just don't see first killer like he doesn't seem to react very much at all. And all of a sudden that three goal lead may not be safe. A minute thirty, less than a minute thirty now. Vitality trying to see if they can come back here and game. What's going on there? <laughs> that would have been one of the more epic Redos and own goals. But it probably wasn't as close as it seemed like for a moment. That seems like an open net, right? After the demo. Wait a second. Wait just one second. Now you're starting to see that pressure. And then again, that lead there from Complexity looking very, very fragile. Great turnaround there for Vitality Zen. Do you speak any other language? I actually know a ton of languages. Chat. No way Complexity let this slip through there. I, uh, certainly one of the more linguistic humans there are. I know C++, I know C, I know Python, I know some Java, I know some Perl, some PHP, some SQL. <laughs> Thinking we might have a win here. I speak the language of love. <laughs> speak some pearl to us. All right, dollar sign. <laughs> you just call SQL language. That you know what the first thing I thought was when I when I mentioned SQL, I was like, uh oh, people are gonna. That's not a language. People are gonna hate. <laughs> Listen, chill, chill, chat. I do not speak rust. Oh, is it called? Is it called language? There you go. Never mind. I take it all back. That chatter was wrong. It is a language, just not a programming language. Well, there you go. That's what we're talking about. All right, one one. How's it going over here? Looks like we're gonna see a dub. Do you speak baby fear? I do. Baby Fear speaks in contextual clues, though. <laughs> Baby Fear speaks in the contextual, which is he gets sad, and then you read the context to understand why. Not having a hard time stopping these attacks. That's a great recovery off the ceiling by first killer to then push the ball to a teammate. Patience on the challenge by first killer as well. Dispossesses banana head, allows Jack to come into the play. Gen G are just passing the ball beautifully in defense. Really hope we get a G2 Gen G second round. I cannot agree with you there. There's nothing I want less than a region to play itself. At the major. One minute left on the clock. Here comes first killer. Pass over to Chronic. This one doesn't find its way through. Power still alive in this. Torsos up next.
next. Can you get over Jack? When you had your baby, you just cry way more. To one, two touches off the backboard. Banana had to follow up as the third. And power cannot get past Gen G. Yeah, better attack there by Power. You need it in Swiss to help NA for top four. Uh, I'm willing to sacrifice it just so I get to see more matchups. All of their time in this game in the last two combined, 30 seconds left. And they continue to trail by two. What do you think if a new game similar to Rocket League launches? Oh, I'm sure we'll check it out, but I think I don't think there's really a chance that anything comes out and really competes. Looks like Genji's going to finish off their reverse sweep, right? Or is that just to go up to one? No, that's a reverse sweep. Yeah. So Genji did exactly what we said, which is after choking game one, just came back and won. Oh, you! Oh, don't. Sorry, Doshan. Sorry, you're right. I completely agree with you. My bad. Turbo golf racing. All of you know what a reverse sweep is. You know what? I made that mistake earlier. I called it a reverse sweep. I meant to say gentleman sweep. Uh, where you give the first one and then you win the rest. Yo, Sleazebury, thank you for gifting a sub to Deshaun, who, who you, I assume, were wanting to, uh, you know, console after I read their message wrong. Your two-hour drops are frozen? Yeah, I've heard that they're just going to be frozen forever. Does Dr. Fear enjoy RL? Uh, she enjoys a happy fear. Ooh, wow. Wow, the fact they didn't score that is crazy. That's money. That's a bucket. If that's true, she must hate Rocket League. <laughs> no, she hate she did hate Rocket League when I was playing it a bunch and it would make me mad. She does she doesn't really like me playing it a bunch. But she's a big supporter of the stream. That might be the worst open net miss I've seen from Zen. It's tough. He's close, so like you have to play quick. I don't know, open net is, is overused a little bit. That's a great save because that's a good shot for Vitality. Clopin? It was, I, uh, yeah, it was not Clopin, I wouldn't say. Ooh! I'll tell you what, that net wasn't Clopin. But Zen just put it on the spot. The double whiff. What's your next color? I don't know. What are you at? 1.5? Ooh. That's filthy. That's filthy. Not playing it into CRR. Absolutely. Slowing it down, reset, land, back up. Play it around the goal line. The demise of Zen was much over-exaggerated. The, the demise of Vitality might be over-exaggerated as well. Turbo Golf Racing is fun for a few hours. What specialty is Dr. Fear? She's emergency medicine. Sorry, YouTube chat. I'm not sure when you last sent that. But you're still around. Yeah, she's she's emergency med. And she's in residency still, so it's pretty tough. Pretty tough. The first day is the first two rounds. So the first round's about to end. And then they'll probably have two more um, sets of matches. Right? No. 
Three more sets of matches. Four more sets of matches. Four more sets of matches. Four more sets of matches. So it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a while. She's got a lazy, lazy husband that just plays Rocket League all day. Yeah, you know, we might have a sugar mama. Okay, not yet though. They don't pay residents very much. Milo, Milo, instead of howling, can you come explain to the stream how you're free to go whenever you want, and you don't have to stay here? <laughs> Like, can, you, can you please explain that to them? Uh, CR running out of boost. Dorito has to head back and Ray's bull steps up. And if she becomes a radiologist. Yeah, but she's like I said, she's emergency medicine. Zen, is he about to pop off? Denied. You still in software? Yeah, I still do software. Ten seconds. It's it's established. Vitality slow it down and keep complexity trapped in their own end. As Vitality will be picking up a game three. Hey brother, you should come and say RCS one day. Thanks, man. Vitality win game three, like you said. All right, chat. I'm just gonna go check real quick to make sure that I'm not lying about the fact that Milo is free to leave whenever he wants. It reminds you of the Vitality of old. Zan again, being able to carry the ball up field really well. Radosin just all around. I mean, the bumps there, very physical out of him. Not necessarily in the demo department, but that's where Alpha really does, did kind of shine there. Of course, Zen and Alpha getting two demos there. But also Alpha, again, that one almost triple tap play that we ended up seeing in the highlights there. And complexity, it just felt like the team that they ended up playing in game two was not there. It was a different vitality. It was, it was world championship level vitality. We did see end up seeing that mistake that led to the first goal, but it was... Okay, chat, let me explain. The dog door might have had the cover on. But I promise that I wasn't kidnapping him. <laughs> and he could leave at any moment now. Okay. Listen, I can't get into all the explanation. The neighbor was over earlier this morning. Milo came over. The neighbor left from here. <laughs> I thought the dog door was open. Listen, I promise that it's now open and Milo can now leave whenever he wants. And now Vitality has been better at slowing them down and getting reestablished on their half. Game four. Vitality. You do software engineering as a career. You imagine that it's fun as long as you enjoy torturing yourself with abstract lines of words that you can't figure out how to solve as you repeatedly cry about being useless and how your dad said you would never do anything in your life. No, I mean, I, I think software is fun. <laughs> he was not howling for help. He does that whenever his, uh, when, whenever our neighbor is gone. Dorito to CRR needing everything they can to play close What field of software? Um, do embedded software. Okay. Alright. First game five? Listen, we can hope. We can hope. Great off ball play from CRR. Again, they start things off here with the first goal. Just so many passes out of complexity in that moment. And the physicality that they really threatened Vitality with at the start, but Vitality respond with their own demos usually. But on that moment, not when their backs were against the wall. So an early lead. As this comes out to no CR, Ray's Bull, they communicate. Now, second touch, no, drops it. Are you still in college? I appreciate Vitality that you think I look young and handsome. For everyone on this field is alpha. But no. <laughs> Air dribble across. Now bumping complexity Three. back to their corner. It is Zen. Wait, it actually, wait, it actually is so free. Did Zen just, did Zen just pass up like a clearly open net, a clopen net, one might say, in order to go for a double tap? College doesn't mean handsome. Okay. 
from Alpha and the Friends of Vitality. Rodosin with the win against Dorito wants to drop this off and gets kind of mixed up, but has complexity against the wall as they hope to transition this. And these counterattacks haven't been as fast as Ray's Bowl just sends it down. Right now, complexity is our only hope for any sort of mix up in the first round. And uh, nor does it mean young. I guess it doesn't mean either. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry. But no, I'm not in college. And that's Vitality's game plan. They get the space and they get the cleanest shot possible. They've done that back to back now. As once again, they started the game off from behind and then they've taken the lead without letting... You going 12 and 2? Dosen and Zen working together and hopefully not getting in each other's way. But Again, I think that's slightly inflated. I think a lot of people who got to play against Limitless and Elevate would have gone 3-0. But 6-2 is pretty good. If Vitality win 3-1, we have KC Falcons. Yeah, KC Falcons is pretty, pretty hype. I think that oh, there's going to be a lot of upper rounds that are going to be pretty hype. How many games do we have left? A lot. A lot of games. Tons of time to farm drops. It's going to 1 to 10. How are, are you annoyed with the Zen versus Dark match suggestions? Match suggestions don't annoy me too much. I understand why people want it. And it helps to know what, what people... Uh, would be interested in seeing. Now. now, Zen versus Dark is not one that I needed any help with, but I just assume that people don't fully understand how you get the matches and how, like, how what what would be a necessarily a good match. So I, I forgive everybody who asks. The Madness Finals have already been played. They're going to go live after our RLCS is over. Zen. Zen almost had a free play there, but Dorito, good touch. Now ball is getting back to CRR, who booms it downfield. No real control there. Redosa this is not the last match. There's another round to be played, and I think another four matches, basically. Well, eight matches will be played, but four at the same time. Or four at different times. I don't know how. Two at a time for four hours, basically. Do you forgive the fear versus Johnny Chatters? Yeah. I don't really get mad, I don't think, at anybody suggesting players. I do, I do try and help chat to understand that I can't just get Daniel versus Zen every stream, you know, trying to help explain why that's not what we're doing every time we go live. Because it does seem like some people think, well, why doesn't he just do the best games every time? But, uh, no, it doesn't. I don't get mad if people want good matches. Makes sense. But you can steal dogs. I can forgive them, but I can steal dogs. The dog, listen, it's not looking good for me because the dog did maybe go back after I opened the dog door. But his neighbor is not home. Alpha gets a nice little touch high. Raise ball has to be careful. Take his time. Doesn't need to force anything. But they have to make sure they take the most out of this. Dorito tries to pick this one up. Gets it past one. Rodosa though sends it downfield. Zin All right, chat. Raise ball can't make contact. It is. Zen in a block in the shot. Zen blocking goals it's for his team, three, but his line. team is in the lead. Wait, <laughs> wait a second. It, down, a commit, it is just chaos, dude. Uh, people want me versus Johnny. I think that's what he was referring to. Asking for me to play Johnny, not comparing us. But I also don't mind... Ooh, I also don't mind comparisons either. Because getting compared to the GOAT, or what a lot of people call the GOAT caster, is uh, not a diss. Even, even if they're saying that Johnny's better. My goodness. Maximum Ordem. Not a single game five. And everybody who we thought could get a game got a game. 
With maybe power getting one game could have been a bit of a surprise. Complexity, everybody said they could have gotten a game. OG, everyone said they could have gotten a game. Rule one, everyone said they could have gotten a game. And uh, they all did, but none of them got two. LG not beating the allegations. Um, Fury is really good. So if I refresh this, is it going to show me the next matchups here soon? This is a confidence setter match, especially for a team like Vitality. Okay, Maybe so people are saying KC Falcons. Interesting. Mates, BDS, Snooze Fest. Gen G, G2, Snooze Fest. Vitality, Furia. That one's good. That one's good. Come on, show us, show us the matchups. Okay, what, what about the lower matchups? Looks like OG limitless. Okay, free trip to the second round for OG. Rule one elevates. Rule one will win that. Power. Oh, OCE having to play each other is actually brutal. Luminosity, complexity. That is a, a you know that's when Luminosity has a chance to beat the allegations, but I do think complexity is favored in that. So. And they have shown that they still play at a world caliber level. You don't know if SSG is getting a better result than OG or LG. So far. Yeah, I think I think SSG could struggle against Fury as well. Yo, Devin, thank you for the prime. Contributing to the prime until full time. Movements. Let's take a chat with Fairy Peak. We'll go send it over to Leaf. Fairy Peak? It's the one's goat. I am down here with Fairy Peak from Vitality. It looked like you guys had a, a lot of emotion came out at the at the very end once you finally finished that series. Uh, yeah, because we started a bit low, like we didn't play our game at the start, right. and we got better and better and better, and at the end we were playing our game. So, like all the frustration of the start, like get. <laughs> Got out like at the end of the game. So. The rest of yeah. today is going to be what both. Was it? was it simply just that you guys? You've got your bracket up? running now. Or Wait a second. About in Wait a second. Uh, I think You're doing like a live prediction bracket play, but it's just the first game of the from your AI. I need to, to get used to, to the setup, Where do I find to, it? Like to the, the whole land of environment. So I think it was a bit of that. Do you have a bit of, we need to, the link? Like, step up a bit because at the start we weren't playing bad, but not. I don't know if you're going to get. Oh, on Twitter. Okay. <laughs> True. The uh, talk to me about complexity then. I mean, uh, you get you're saying that it was you guys that kind of needed to warm up, but complexity, way. of course, is a team that I think a lot of has. I, I'm assuming the AI picked all these correct. Were they doing well that kind of kept you on your toes and made it sure that it wasn't an easy one? Yeah, I mean, complexity is a very like rushing team. So I've been busy at work, so not even on the homepage yet. No worries, no worries. So uh, so when you're not playing good, and we'll we'll, we'll, game, we'll let like they just go this interview end, but. You're just gonna get smashed. I'm so assuming your game, AI was 100% right we in the first round. Would that be true? Yeah, only you didn't predict the one game for OG and power. So, oh, yeah, so you're 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 saying you saying you got the series it, correct? Uh, uh, so it had yeah, I, it had the gentle mates rule one as a three one. Is there anything specific you you said? That's to impressive to get it exactly down to that game. Started really lock in specifically on that. Was there something said, or did it just kind of happen that he found his foot in? Uh, I'm rooting I mean, for yeah, we said something, but good matches, I think. Part of the secrets, you know. No, I can't. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, he, he stepped up a lot. Uh, looking just at you guys, then I don't know if you're looking this far forward. Obviously, the big bads is is K Corp. Everyone's looking to K Corp right now. Do you guys feel you're ready yet? Do you feel like you're going to get there? And okay, still chat. Up? Where do you feel? Did you guys hear that one? Is fitting. It's only day one right now. Are you, are you still? The little, neighbor little is little now game? over at getting yeah, a dog. I mean, we didn't play at our full Trust me. Uh, it stage, all makes sense. It all makes sense. Getting, getting <laughs> and better and better after every matches. So I think right now. <laughs> Playing not like the perfect game we want, but switch to CSGO. Enough to, I think, have a good game. So, yeah, but at the end of the major, of course, we're gonna get like 200% vitality. All right. <laughs> Uh, and for the squad, can you give me a, a look maybe in at least... We'll to keep the, listening the to the interview. But have you guys seen the anything has, has from any, Mr. Halfway Dead? Uh, I guess vision of, of weight, of expectation. I Wait, mean, they're coming when I off scroll down, okay, there we go. Right? And now they come into a season where they're So he does AI predictions. Have I'm sure you guys have seen his rankings before. In, on a personal level? And uh, I think at the start, a bit this is what he has for uh, the next round. 3-1 KC. 
First off, he has the next round filled out, which is is the NA teams playing the NA teams. EU, EU, Jury of Vitality. Ooh, that one's close. Wait, 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 wait. Why does it say odds 54% for Furia, but then it has Vitality winning? My, my time of shine uh, has been gone a bit, yeah. and now I need to, to step up again to win so next major or next world champion. And then it also has... Now they just want to win everything <laughs> again. Sorry for K-Cop to beat us three times, but now you unleash the monster. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's uh, phenomenal. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys playing forward. Either way. Is there uh, any... Else, OG Limitless? Uh, Wait, actually has Limitless getting a game? Final thoughts for, for fans that... And has Elevate getting a game against Rule 1? What to expect through Power crushing Swiss pioneers? Uh, oh, it has yeah, luminosity. Any, any words to the fans Chat the AI has luminosity over complexity. But apparently the AI got everything right in the first round. I like the look of this bracket. Isn't this so much better? Like, I think we'll just watch, like, instead of this, like, this is fine, right? Again, as you said, but lots more to go. Shout out to Fairy Peak. This has the schedule at least. We have a lot more coming your way. Up what, next what are we gonna get first? Round. We don't know what's coming up. All we know is it's going to be exciting Rocket League. So please hang out Wait, with us. Shouldn't, shouldn't the next tuned. one be at 10? Okay, we're gonna get OG Limitless and Rule One Elevate. Oh, it looks like both the lower rounds, then the upper rounds. Okay, okay, lower rounds and upper rounds. Makes sense. Chat, we're gonna have to run ads, by the way in between these games. But isn't this like a way better way to look at the bracket? Isn't this so much more visually appealing? That's the conservative winner estimation. So it's less sure about Furious rating and therefore picks Vitality because it's close. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to explain that more to me. Yeah, because this one also picked Luminosity, even though... So... Yeah, that the odds don't make sense to me, I'll be honest. Alright, at least 10 minutes. Why is it best of five? But you want to be best of three? Did I say that? You guess it's there because there might be another parameter like favorite or something that outweighs the odds. You wish Nupo teaming with SMW or Nush or FBI is going to be the best Rocket League player, you're pretty sure. Two's gameplay. Chat. Does somebody want a sub? Let's let's put the timer on here. Are we really gonna wait? It's eight minutes. I think it's gonna get going faster. We've seen so many sweeps, we're probably gonna get ahead of schedule. What are the KC Falcons odds? Let's see. It has the KC, this AI bracket has the KC Falcons odds. As it as it a three one, I think looking at the score is probably the best way to look at it. It's not that easy to explain the math behind it, but there's a conservative rating that is based, that is biased, and a raw rating that is unbiased. Biased odds aren't good for percentages, but the biased one is right more often. Yep. I'm gonna pretend like I'm a smart person who understands that. All right, what 7TV emote do you want? <laughs> that's not, <laughs> that's not how it works. I don't know how long I'm gonna let you guys have marbles time, but <laughs> marbles time does not take the viewers from 13 to 7,000. <laughs> Oh, that is not how it works, chat. That being said, I think it's maybe updating or something. Because I, I did go try and start it, and it's not starting. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to tell you guys. I swear it's it's trying to start. 
Casey, of course, looks unstoppable, but Falcons. Old Fear would do it. Chat, look. It's I'm trying to get it to go. But it's just not going. Is Fear that big marble streamer? Yeah. Apparently not. Because apparently marbles doesn't even load. Here, I'm gonna I'll try and cancel it. Restart it. See what happens. Old Fear was a Marbles cha channel? No, it was never a Marbles channel. We could also try and rip... Uh, first off, let me double check where I am at in my drops. Chat, where are you guys all at? Showing my drops page doesn't leak anything, right? Where are we at in our drops, chat? A little claim? A little claim action? A little boom? A little bang? Maybe claim my WoW pet. Boom. Got it. Don't even have WoW anymore, but why not? We don't discriminate here in terms of where we're getting those drops. Whoa, chat. Marbles is super upgraded. Can you see this? What is going on here? Tilted? Wait, Tilted actually looks kind of like sick. Is it still a... Uh... Is it still a race? Let me do race. <laughs> it's not. We're not gonna do it a Grand Prix. Average time? No, no, no. What's most played? A leap to remember? Gurg's Splash Tactic C Venture. I feel like we just gotta go there, right, chat? <laughs> We've got to go to Splurg's Fantastic Sea Venture. All right, chat, exclamation point play. Exclamation point play, chats. Where is... Um... You guys have four minutes. I'm going to keep this up over on the side so that I know in case it starts up again. Exclamation point play, chats. If you win, you get a sub. If you lose and you get last place, we won't see you for a while. Two weeks. And guaranteed to get drops. Guys, this looks fun, dude. <laughs> like, if you're going to pass up going on the water slide here, let me move my camera. You guys got to get into this water slide. Exclamation point play. If a mod loses, they do get their mod taken from them and then banned. Quick chat, win a sub. It says it takes about a minute for this one to finish. So we'll start it at two minutes, 30 seconds, which means you have 40 seconds. 40 seconds. Well, now you have 30 seconds to type exclamation point play. Yeah, hopefully Halfway Dead explains it like a five-year-old so I can understand it. After claiming the reward on Switch, how do I find it in-game? Boot up the game. You might have to reboot it. All right, chat. 20 seconds. I'm going to hit start at right now. 10 seconds to join. Quick. Six, five, three. Did I join? I forgot to join myself. Shoot, I forgot if I joined, everyone has to give a Twitch Prime. All right, let's see if I remember the marbles controls. All right, which slide is everyone going down? Oh my goodness, dude. This is a sick level. What a splash-tastic adventure. How do you go down? Oh, Q. Interesting, Q goes down. Which is the fastest slide though, is the question. Wait, some people fell in the water down below. Is that good or bad? Yo, Rocket Brawler, thank you for the Prime. Wait, wait. Purple is clearly the... Oh, no, it's not the fastest. It doesn't go to the, the very top. It feels pretty good. Wait, the purple people feel like they're definitely going to win. Oh, wait, this is not even the end. Oh, that's the end right there. Okay. 
Dude, purple, purple is so much faster. If you didn't take purple, wait, everyone's just stopping though. Why are they, why are they all like, look like they're in glue. Wait, purple's choking. Wait, all of a sudden, all of a sudden they're pretty equal. Why did all the purple balls choke? Wait, it's gonna be boom shakalaka, I think. <gasps> wait, where's the finish? Oh, it's a finished line. Oh, but boom shakalaka still got it. And boom shakalaka has a sub. I forget what we do, dude. I think we, you get to gift the sub to somebody else. Dude, look at everybody go. What a fun one. All right, now if the fire kills you, you're good. But if you finish last, if you cross this finish line last, that is how you lose. Also, by the way, Nakoto, I don't think Nakoto has finished. She's stuck on that little orb thing. It could definitely be Nakoto, but Nakoto actually might get killed by the fire and might be saved because of that. It looks like Y6 will probably be banned. But I don't know. It's it's a question of whether or not Nakoto has hit the finish line. I think Nakoto's going to get killed by the fire, which I think means Y6 is gone. X boom shakalaka. You never win anything until now. All right, chat. What do we give boom shakalaka? The ability to sub, to give the sub to somebody else. Or like a, a VIP. A VIP is pretty tough to get. Say goodbye to Y6 chat. A coin flip for VIP? You guys want to do coin flip for VIP? For Boom Shakalaka if you're a sub and you win? I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Let's do coin flip. And how about, how about it's a coin flip where you can't get banned? I think that's that's fair. Um, let's see. I want to get out of this game. Are now getting seated, getting ready, and getting all of their how, do, how do I bail on this game? For round two as the matches continue here. Hit the big X sure, probably. Right. And listen, it's going to be an absolute barn burner doozy of a round two of Swiss. We're doing the math <laughs> prior to. We're saying if a complex goes to game five, because by time this happens, this happens. And those matchups in that one-o stage, whoo, would it go be hot? And this is where the coaches make all right. the big bucks, right? They got Point a flip game chat. plan immediately for... Like a few of these teams have heads to do it or in 10 tails minutes, right? or, or 15 yeah. minutes. Boom, shakalaka. Ready to go. So we'll see how it all pans out. Here's what we're going to do. At the end so of try to make sure one, honestly, keep watching the stream. I think every same time. favorite one at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, so I was looking at the seeding, and the one sort of on paper outlier was Furia destroying Luminosity. But as you mentioned to me, that was eighth versus ninth seed. So it was sort of the, the middle teams. But the way that Furia beat yeah. Luminosity, that was the shock of the round because that was dominance. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we can take a look at the Swiss and kind of talk about all the matches. We saw four of them here on our stream. We saw four of mm. them on twitch.tv slash RL Esports here. We'll talk about the round okay, two chat. matchups here in a little bit. But let's focus on that left-hand column here, gentlemen. Gibbs. I mean, we saw each of these matches go down heads on one of those two streams. Yeah, or tails. Very important in that first I didn't round, see. Okay, oh, Boom Shakalaka wants tails. Game. It's going to change completely. We got to uh, give him the full experience too. Yep. He's also safe the because he won the marbles. Power versus the pioneers, where uh, power with uh, banana heads. Where five if we see tails, we have a new VIP chat. Close. So close. But no cigar. Sorry, Boom Shakalaka. The first round, what in particular did surprise me, of course, was the Luminosity gameplay. I did expect them to be significantly better. So no head. <laughs> so, don't say that. No ban, though. No, I think because he won the marbles, no ban. Right, chat? Doesn't that sound fair? And the question is, Reigns, can they bounce back from that? But as for Fury, I mean... Can you get the playlist? Exclamation point suitors, music should get you the playlist. Looks over at them so far, this event. I mean, you guys were chatting with Vitality. I nah, ban him. The desk, yeah. and you coin flip's a coin flip. They were again, so they went, oh. Let's <laughs> chat be the judge. Match. Was it Rado who says, oh yes, we lose. Do we <laughs> ban him? Does he get the two-week ban? <laughs> as most coin flippers normally get? Or because he won the marbles, he's safe. Here are the matches that went down on Keep in mind, chat, you may win the marbles. Except for power, you may win the marbles one day. Against Gen -G I think it, I think it's fair to say that he's safe because he won the marbles. 
So honestly, I would say that's very... Yeah, chat, chat seems pretty in unison. Winning the marbles does mean he does not get to face the ban. And... You expected them to at least put up a little It's too late, chat. It's too, you guys voted too? He's safe. He's safe. Boom, Shakalaka is safe. It's K Corp, BDS, and G2. You expect three O's out of them. As you mentioned, you get your Ask if he wants a ban, I'd want it. And they have got in the lower bracket a match against Pioneers, which considering they've beaten them time after time online, they'll be pretty tough. Old chat would have banned. True, dude. Old chat wouldn't have been so easy on them. All right, that one's taking 10 minutes to get back. It's probably best to run ads now, chat, before stuff. Also, get your snacks, get your water, so get your everything that you need. Nearly managing to take a game off of them. Looking over here at the mainstream, though, these are the matches we watched in person, and we can kind of walk through these and replay. Oh, well. sorry, Doctor Fear. Doctor Fear was getting up anyways. Chat, let's be the, honest. The kind of large storyline implications here, Bates, as we've looked at each of these matches. But like, kind of going back to the start of the day, Gentlemates versus Rule One. I mean, was there a player? Was there moments that that you remember from that match that were impressive to you? I mean, Naupo impressed me the most out of anybody on oh, the yeah. field because he just came out first ever all CS LAN game and absolutely performed. He definitely was the standout, but then in terms of team versus team, gentlemen, they just seemed and appeared and ultimately ended up being a well-oiled machine. Rule one, they had a little couple cracks in the armor, a couple chinks, and they just simply weren't enough in order to beat a gentleman squad. But the way everyone was playing, trying to defend all the way at the back for two or three minutes at a time against gentlemen, that is an incredible play style. And I would say that if if you do that, you have to take the chances that you get, and that is where Rule 1 disappointed me. They had opportunities, Gibbs, that they just didn't take. But well, we talk about Juicy, probably that pickup that was most questioned on the Mates squad, but... Yo! Thank you for the gifted sub to Dr. Fear. Here. He goes for the low yeah, Dr. Fear, can you tell everybody... I don't know if Dr. Fear's still here. Can you tell everybody how I did not kidnap the neighbor's dog, and how the neighbor's dog just comes over sometimes? He's doing it again here. Moving on to the next match here, Luminosity versus Fear. We talked about it a little bit earlier on. Uh, very much a one-sided affair here. How do you claim drops? I, I it's on like a Twitch. How many highlights are actually on the Luminosity? It's on a Twitch page, it Twitch settings awesome. page somewhere. I think. We talked about. It's like in your notifications on Sam, Twitch. Is how I got to it. All they do is just offensive pressure. They were ranked two, three, and four of being on the other side of the field, and basically throughout the series they controlled everything. Luminosity. There was a lot of question marks about that. Yes, Milo just comes Should to hang sometimes. See? Space station here. E -chat? See, 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 I'm not lying. Right now, but I think doctors legally can't lie. I'm pretty sure that's true. Dr. Fear dog was stolen for like experimentation. No, 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 Dr. Fear is colluding with Fear. I mean, I guess that could be one of the things. She could just be my partner in crime. All right, chat, I got restroom. Make sure you guys get your restrooms as well. We also got some wheat thins to chomp on. Keep our energy. Squad, that was really, really great, but I do expect him to bounce back. Looking at this Falcons versus OG, we talked about it on the desk. That Furia matchup was kind of like a precursor. You saw the new addition, Furia, who had consolidated talent. They looked really great against the North American squad. Falcons, they've consolidated talent as well. And OG, even though they played better than LG in the series, definitely yeah. had more pressure, definitely had more opportunities. Falcons were just so clinical on their, on their chances, and it ultimately was enough for OG. Yeah, small mistakes by OG in game one. They should have honestly probably won that and this one could have been our game five series so i think they should hold their heads pretty high because falcons are considered they could easily win this major so a uh, falcons coming out they showed their offensive prowess uh, in game four but og had their moments and i think that is a good sign going forward but for falcons they look great. Yeah, they do. We knew they would, and they didn't Clinical. disappoint. But OG, yeah. you know, they, they used to be in the comeback kings, I suppose, so far of this split. So one loss in the Swiss. They've had a few of those That's that they've true. had to fight through. I think they've gone to five in every single Swiss. So, yeah, they'll be ready to move on. And then the match we watched most recently, Complexity versus Vitality. Maybe the most competitive of the matches we've seen so far on the A stream here. Complexity did their best, but Vitality able to put it away at the end. Yeah, and I honestly think the reigning world champion started off a little slow here. Even in the game one, the offense wasn't clicking. Complexity took game two, and you're like, okay, hold on now. Complexity they might have their number. And I think even they went up in this game. They sure yeah. did. Went up, in, went up in game number three. Like, okay, Complexity, here's the play. But then the best player in the world until proven otherwise woke up. Top corner, slaughter, slaughter, right between two. Here comes the big double touch, I believe, after that. 
There was a moment though. I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but uh, oh, the what's Doctor Fear saying? Is she saying nice things? And I was wondering, uh, hmm, is is oh. this the raise ball open net miss? But was it raise ball? Doctor Fear is your alt account? No. Bye, Doctor Fear. She's so great. Thankfully for Vitality and their fans, that's not how it came out to be. They had so much pressure. Here we go. She's so nice and wholesome. Complexity had their last second scares Vitality. Rado, he's just so relieved. He is relieved that they got away with that win. But maybe they were like half joking, but I don't know if they're that confident of going into that Fury matchup. They expected better out of themselves. They didn't look their best, but again, hey, it's day one. That Fury matchup is going to be fun, though. I think that one has some upset potential. I, I feel like they've probably just seen confidence come back to bite good teams. Oh, that's fair. So many times you you underestimate your opponents and then, and then you fall down from this. They're not taking the they're not making the mistake of underestimating Fury in this situation. Oh, yeah. They're going to continue for there. So we do have matches for who is Doctor Fear. So folks, we'll be able to show them to you here in just a moment. It'll be an important Listen, to see. Where say less. If your team is on one of these streams, you're going to make sure give you me that stream less excuse up. to show you Doctor Fear. We got, we got both I showed it earlier, but I'll show it again. There's me. There's Dr. Fear. And there's little baby Fear. And there he is again. Smiling. Yo, Iogo gone. Think of the prime. The whole crime family in one picture? <laughs> Look, the question of whether, like, how good Fury is doesn't feel like it really is. Is Doctor Fear yeah, married? Yeah, exactly. What? So yes. And then we got Doctor Fear is married to me. Because like yeah. Falcons were tested a bit, and that's always good to come. S tier baby, thank you, thank you, chat. They kind of just walked over them, but that was so much earlier, like in the day. So not as much practice there. So Falcons can uh, open that up early in games one and two, and maybe surprise K Corp. It's possible. Whenever I show uh, Baby Fear on stream, I'm curious about your thoughts on this. Too, my wife goes I'm through I'm and sees what like, and reads yeah. what everybody says. Gen so just so you know, if she if she did genuinely leave earlier, and I tell her that I showed Baby Fear on stream, she will be wanting to know what you guys said. Come up with why that was just like a one-time thing. If they beat them here, is Gen G better than G2? In round two of the Swiss. Uh, it's be, it'll be the same analysis I said about seven minutes ago. Even even if Gen G beats G2 right here, they half of chat unsubbing when they find out Fear is not on the market. Am I like the? Isn't that how like K-pop stars are handled? If you're a K-pop star, you have to like keep your relationship completely under wraps. As soon as it's found out, you get in like massive trouble. On the B stream, we've seen that match plenty of times. We've got more fascinating matches to watch over here on the A stream. You'll also catch Limitless um, versus their opponent there. Here's what's going to be happening on the main stream: twitch.tv slash Rocket League. We'll be having Elevate versus Rule One as our next match. We'll see Luminosity take on Complexity, Furia versus Vitality, and then K Corp versus the Falcons. There, Cole. I've got my eye right now. You're such a cool dad. Epic Prince, Prince Gaming, you're too nice. You're too nice. Every single Swiss. So they used yeah. to having. I think my kid will like all kids think I'm lame. Well, I think they think you're cool for a bit, but then eventually you become lame. I'm just so excited. Like first, I don't even know what the you know what the skibbity phantom. Tax. I'm very excited you know, because I'm not. I'm already not hit. Yeah. Yeah. He loves On a lower game. tier than G2, yeah. and I am gonna be very happy after that match if a certain result. <laughs> It'll be a big one, folks. We got excellent Rocket League coming down the pipe. We're gonna take a quick break. When we a break. come back, the players will be in their seats, and we'll be ready to get round two of the Swiss. A break. Don't go anywhere. What do you think about RLE Gasser? RLE Gasser. RLE Gasser. It sounds like it's Marvel's time. <laughs> what about a little RLE Gasser? We just hit him with Nolly. A little Nolly start. Always. One day, Nolly will be right. Okay, we got a European player been to Less Lands, kind of old. European player, Less Lands, been kind of old. I doubt Speed has been. Oh, Speed's never been to any land. Sorry. Um. Um, Fruity. Did Fruity go to five lands, though? We probably want a French player. Probably want a French player. Older than Nolly means they're, they used to play. They used to play. I'll let you guys help. We want a French player. Farah has probably been to five lands. Has Blake's been to a land? No, he has a chat. 
Hashi is like crazy old. Fairy Peak has been to more than five lands, chat. Fairy Peak has been to like every single land. Um, Cassio is maybe a good rip. Okay, not French, but is EU? Oh, Cassio is not quite old enough. <clears throat> okay, what do we go? Spain next? We don't want England. It's not England. Violent Panda has been to way more than five lands. He's been to like every single land in the early areas. Toxic hasn't been to a land. CRR, Spain, been to a land. He played in EU uh, at the time of this early guesser. Oh, no, he didn't. He was already in NA. Duh. It was Sam that he was. Yeah, no, CRR was a bad guess. That's my bad. That's my bad chat. I need to be filtering your guys' guesses. But we're not Spain. We at least got Spain out of the way. And we know it's more than two lands. So it's three lands. Three lands. But we're old. CRR's young. Chat, we're forgetting about the old part. We need old. Only too young. We need someone who's retired. Scrub killer is... Ooh, Scottish. But he's been to way more than five lands, right? Chat, right? Scrub? Has to have been more than... Right? Jack English. Jorias, too young. Though, too young. Over zero, not European. Remco? Remco might fit everything. He might have been more than three lands, though. I ignite probably less than three lands, I would think. Where is I ignite from? Is I ignite English? It's not Dries. Razier's? Is Razier's that old? Razier's isn't 22. He's also not been to a land. A lot? What about a lot? He's probably been to about three lands. He's older than 22. We do need someone who's old. Okay, it is someone who's retired older than 20. The person's ancient, chat. The person is ancient. Three lands. Marky? Wait, could it be Marky? They're on they're they're in EU. They were they were were they're from EU, I guess, but they were on no team at the time of Worlds. Wasn't Marky coaching somebody? Hasn't Marky been coaching? Wasn't he coaching um the APAC team? Cooks here maybe? Three lands? Did Cooks only go to three lands? It's not turbo. Scrub's not even that old. Marky is Scottish, so I think that that would not... I think that would fit. I might be Cooks because it's only counting RLCS lands. Well, Cooks went to the first, second, and third lands at least, right? And he went to... He was at season six. He's been to more. No, Cooks has been to way more than three lands. Mike Rules went to, like, no lands. Or he went to the first land. Might be one for him. Marky, better guess. Are we thinking Marky? Marky is ancient. And Marky did retire pretty quickly. He could have gone to only three lands. But I thought he was a coach for somebody. Cooks went to one, two, and six. Sorry, I said three. Wait, he, he only went to one, two, and six? Really? Wait, could it actually be Cooks here? Through, maybe even less than halfway through because the matches he coached sure gaming gladiators get more competitive which means we might see game five so seen then it's cooks no somebody someone said i'm so ready i wanted champions field for every single game today every game. eight match the championship Come field on. it'd be lovely champions field yeah, cooks here is italian in one day, but we, we have, no way it counts coaching it does it, it does count coaches as being on a team that's true 17 matches tomorrow. that's it 
That's it. Crazy. Oh yeah, Cooksier. <laughs> Cooksier has a team though. Sure he keeps playing. Here, both monitors, make it your, I think you should try Marky. Okay, it is a Scottish player, but see, he did have a team, <laughs> which is why we shouldn't have guessed him. <laughs> Who's 27 and went to three lands? Wait, chat. Uh, oh, is it Mystic? Right is Mystic Scottish? Round one is yeah, it's got to be Mystic. If Mystic is Scottish. Coming down here and Has we'll to be. Two team, we'll four teams, excuse me. Two Some people in chat were saying that already. Today. Credit to them. Right Credit to them. Jesse is uh, right from the Netherlands. On the matches for the next two matches on A and B. Shout out we'll the chatters who knew. Matches. Then we will close the day with two matches. New ball. Rounds on both oh, and whoops. B. And here we can see the alternate stream. We got Limitless versus OG mm -hmm. and Quick Trip. Pioneers versus Power and OCE battle. Yes. Oh, is this one starting? Like, oh, Wait, is this one dropping in right now? Oh, he was happy about it. They are getting a win. Stat. No, 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 no. I'll oh, save it. I'll save it for tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Gonna... Looked it up. Cooks did make season three. Uh, the flip side, they just got knocked out early. Do you like yeah, Mystic? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> are you asking if I like 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 Mystic? What are you asking me? <laughs> um, I'm taken, man. We talked about. It. We we're just talking to Doctor Fear. Right before it, we will get to see Luminosity play against Jesse has been to every RLCS land in our hearts. From their respective losses, but to kick things off, why do I feel like Jesse has probably two, been like a sub or something? Elevate coming in from APAC, taking on Rule One. And elevate coming out of the APAC region. I do not remember Mystic. He's pretty. Uh, he's, he's from. He's from the old days. People didn't see. Everyone's saying Gaming Gladiators are going to yep. be that team because on paper they even said that on paper they are the better team. But Elevate, they say they have the rat playstyle is yep. how they term it. Um, and they came out on top. I actually met Kevin, Mystic. I think Space Mystic is the one that's um, dating Karma, right? Daniel's record. I met Karma so, and Mystic some big shoes to at fill Boston. Him, but we have seen him perform exceptionally through the APAC region. Now it's time to do it on the big stage. More new exciting things as well with this team is that you can see Kevin there, the, uh, the flag in the top left of your screen is Ty. He's the first Ty player to ever make mm. it to an RLCS major. So another new region. Chat, they slept through and missed the Vitality series. Was it close? Was Vitality the closest and, series, chat? And, uh, he was saying to us I think the closest series the was region, maybe still Mates Rule 1. So but second was probably team. Vitality like, Complexity. On, just trying to sort of take in what he's doing. I wonder what they learn from that BDS match. And then LCT sitting in that middle chair. He was uh, at the World Championship with Game and Gladiators. He was mm -hmm. kicked before the World Championship even happened. So he shows up and Isn't knows Karma that a doctor? Was I don't his think last so. tournament. And then Vitality was closer. A new team together, OG Falcons was kind of close. Was it? And then obviously Sphinx, the rookie, the phenom. OG got a game, right? He's a great player, but in that finals to qualify here, they won that match 4 1 versus Game and Gladiators. And this man put up 1.4 goals per game in the most important match of his career, in his short career so far. So a lot more important games coming up for him. He's been playing the game since he was seven. I believe he said he's been he learned oh, so old. He grew up he grew up, Gibbs, watching yeah. Cronovi videos. Uh, smart That's that a was smart man. videos concept. that were recorded. You're on the YouTube chat? Graduated college. He grew up watching those to learn how to play Rocket League. You notice he watched Cronovi videos, but you were making videos back uh, then. Yeah, yeah, right? He could have watched you, Gibbs, but he wasn't. He grew up watching what not to do with Gibbs and what to do with Cronovi. <laughs> That's why he's here. That's why he's here. Well, on the other side, folks, another team trying to make an impact here. Tr trying to come back from a loss there in round one. Rule one again trying to change the narrative that this is the region owned by falcons they opened up a stream earlier it was a competitive match but they unfortunately fell two gentlemen's a very good team three one they're gonna open up round two again on the a stream and we know that these guys are hungry for a title and they have the experience to back it up yeah i mean they should be favorites here. um uh, i don't know if i'm gonna go to saudi or not clearly, i'd have to be sponsored uh, to do it player that i want to see improve his finishing was who do you think would perform the best needed. on falcons so going in you see killers going Insane, you know, name on the like eight of ten goals. Times. Yeah, I had Kaleers as number one. Uh, Chalkscast asked me when I was on. And I think I had Killiers, yeah, Ross. On the end um, of the field this time around, and you, you already mentioned Cole. Kyle needs to improve his shooting. Maybe, maybe TRK well. then Nupo. The only reason I had Nupo below is because I think they were asking the now, context of the major. About it, comma. Keep I think that was the young man. He had a great he first brilliant. series going up against Gentle Mage, but the two veterans, the two people who have been proven on land to make top eights at Worlds. Ahmad's pretty tall. I wouldn't say he's built like a tight end. I feel like you have to be pretty uh 
So you want to see pretty them beefy to be a tight end. That synergy, so then they can move on, hopefully for them. But he is pretty tall. One, one, and, uh, one, one, and then make it a <laughs> good run tomorrow. Yeah, I guess if you don't know what a tight end is in American football, you're just like, what did you just say? <laughs> I can see how that's a big question mark message if you don't know what a tight end is. Has already broken all yes, drops work here. Even being here. So, like Elevate, playing with house money. They're here to have some fun. And who knows? Maybe get that upset. I mean, again, we talked about how they nearly took a game off of a team we would consider top three yeah. in the world right now. So, uh, obviously, quality loss at that point, how much you actually weigh that is going to vary from person to person, analyst to analyst here. But you hope that it means that there's a way, there's a chance they could take some games off of Rule 1. You talk about Rule 1 trying to get a 3-0 sweep to set up a good seed. Elevate trying to get any wins they can to get the best of chances they stop have. dusting crumbs off onto the floor you have to vacuum that up no i do maybe even get a win here this will be i'm the house husband win of the house oh yeah i think i got the sugar mama i think that'd be the mass on especially for young things him and himself since he's been playing from seven now he's 15 that's absolutely crazy any hour yeah more than half his life yeah crazy but but in saying but in saying that though that will be a big win for them but i do think it means something the fact that they did push bds arguably a top two team top three team solidified in the world right now to overtime that means something that means something in terms of how good apac's getting especially with monkey moon on that pitch as well the player that a lot of them do idolize looks like you limitless og is starting game three but the overtime, so they grew into the series i guess we can watch well. it if the rocket sure, league folks. starts well, let us know before who you think is going to win the other at home series with the hashtags it was elv and r1 there switch we'll flip the coin to start things off Full-time streamer confirmed? No, uh, not yet. So Need more primes. Like a second one. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, let's go for it, shall we? I can see why Wave Park just wants, yeah, to, yeah. wants to do them. That's, uh, Go get you like the whole... Please the whole quit your job. Going on. I'm sure stacks We're just a few primes away. Yeah, I'll, I'll yes. taking you from one more calm, Twitch prime for now. Plenty of might time put us over the edge. You never know. Sell down. At least with the possession that they've got, although Combs put himself in an awkward position. Snow How long have you had the 69th chase. month subscriber badge? I, I think it's for. just been 69 months since I started the channel, really or though, since I could have a sub button. He's the player that, if he does get the space and the boost, cause an awful lot of issues for OG. Yeah, certainly was the player, I guess, a, a couple of seasons ago as the, the up and comer, and now joining. Everyone's picking Rule 1. That makes sense. For a couple of seasons. Can we watch Certainly a different game? We have this one four. and we have Rule 1. Yeah, Snowy, he's just, uh, he's a veteran now. He's, rule uh, 1, he's Elevates. On. I mean, he, he's clearly, he's definitely been to more events than anyone else. Without me having how many events he's been to, he's, he's a land boy. Absolutely. He's been the, the full run up for his region. Very much comes across to me as a SSA's realized. Yeah, he's and well, unfortunately, yeah, well, I don't know, maybe, maybe for this event, <laughs> not quite the greatest example to go <laughs> for. You Run out of water, chat. Uh, okay, Casey Falcons, not yet. We'll it, that's later today. The They're saving the good ones for later. To the next major, however, which is do we do we do this chat? Do we go chat? audio yeah. still yeah. from the mainstream? All have rule one behind this one, but elevates definitely got themselves. We'll see if they can do it here, folks. Big upset energy hanging. We'll probably just switch to mainstream in a second here when it starts. Happen, folks. Elevate. Versus rule one to kick off round two. Round two of the Swiss, and suddenly we have rule one versus elevate. It's the naught on one matches, James. Whoever loses here isn't we will, going to be home. This one hadn't started yet, though. You will have to head through and reverse sweep the entire major Swiss. That's yeah, going to be a long road ahead for both of these teams, whichever way they go. But uh, elevate. They mentioned on the desk, played BDS before, actually were leading briefly in game three, forced overtime, which they eventually lost. But rule one, I think you could tell from the desk, the heavy favorite in this matchup. Yeah, and I feel like realistically as well, even if you look at what You're gonna be real audio for different video splits your brain in half? Mina, I like it. I think it's BIS, as we talked about earlier. I think it's BIS for certain else, situations. Right now, though, just fully on the Rule 1 stream is, is BIS. From it, but a free jump from Khaled. It's on target. Again, LCT defensively sends it away. And LCT was the star player in that series versus BDS, even though they did get swept. LCT, the clear leader out there on the field. And don't we just have is so BIS? About Listen, chat. I, do I have to continue to... I'll, I'll teach you guys every time. We need to make BIS a thing, even though it makes no sense in Rocket League. It stands for best in slot. It's a wow term. But it fits so perfectly here. What, what, what would, what's a, a kid's term? You know, what are the kids saying nowadays that would replace BIS? BIS is for like the 30-year-old people who 15 years ago played wow. Uh, what about the current 15-year-olds? What would they say? 
<laughs> wasn't able to catch all of their first round matchup, but I did see some plays from Nupo. Some excellent wow, gamer. Yeah, I don't even play WoW anymore. From him. I played a little bit of hardcore really when it came back, but but I watch I mean, WoW. It, it, Riz? It's not Riz. Riz is not a, a, a perfect replacement for Biss. No way. Is it, do they really use Riz? Wait, chat. Someone who understands what... Like, I've, no way it's Riz, right? It's actually a D&D &D term? Okay. We got an Omega nerd in chat. Get him. Get him, chat. All I did was play WoW. And you can see Ahmad taking that space. And a little oh, a tip touch. here going towards net. LCT gets back just in time to clear that off the goal line. And a good tip from Sphinx gets it past the midfield, but Khaled there to get a nice 50 over LCT. Lovely first touch mm -hmm. to take that airborne. Straight to the ceiling too with the reset, but Ahmad reading that. They've seen that a thousand times in Nina, and they'll defend it a thousand times. Just played Baldur's Gate. I did play Baldur's Gate. Chat, any guesses what my class was in Baldur's Gate? No one central for him. LCT from the backboard again. Halfway through the game, and elevate defensively, looking excellent. And they stopped that. Saw Kevin. Oh, and that's Ahmad. First opening perfectly at the halfway point of the game as well the late shot it was deflected by kevin nobody's getting Sphinx. it maybe guess you guys don't know me like you think you do getting out of position not really ready for that shot mm. and rule one nope. take the lead i think all players in the flarbo starts to be boost off. flarbo got LCD it he had to go for boost at some point when i was a paladin in Baldur's gate lc had 100 boost but then concedes a goal not particularly worth it i don't know what you played in wow to be fair it's not what i played in wow i was a warlock in wow that's why my name is fear I have been impressed with Elevate's defense so far, but you need to make sure that you're also... But I was Warlock in WoW, team that is as good as Rule exclusively one because well. that's now what my team needed. Okay, Nupo. Okay. Every single we see you, Nupo. We see you. I mean, he gets the flip reset, forces the defender high, recognizes that he won That's like, it's just the meta right now. Back down to the ground, is being able to do anything in the air, faking it though, right. as everyone pre-jumps you, and then play slower playing... I mean, you see and finding a way to the net. Well, right? From rule one from Mina, where even if Nalpo doesn't score that, you're going to have Ahmad and Khaled pushing up behind him, and they're going to make sure that they can then get that tap in. I was if not a destruction warlock. Our, as as can, so our comp far, rule one, um, has been their mantra. needed me to be demonology, which was a bummer Very because I, demonology was my least favorite. start here from rule one. They've looked firmly in control. And forcing Elevate back on defense the entirety of this game. Haven't really seen much... Of an offensive opportunity. Did you PvP? So yeah, I was a I did I was a gladiator. I was a fives gladiator. CT, low on boost. And our comp needed me to be a demo lock. Not able to get their I had to be really tanky. How are all the Rocket League fans the loving this and wow talk? The offense we've seen come from Elevate was in that Sphinx? Sphinx like bottom corner. Khaled knows it's wide and can then wait patiently and then shepherd the Limitless OG? Wait, 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 wait. And that little shade okay. of the offense wait a second, chat. is good. <laughs> But to that well, I, I'm, I'm going to do the split thing. Again, I'm going to do a split thing. Rule 1 are actually up 3 0. We might even do a not even split. We're just going to go audio. Game one over audio here. The mistakes from OG. It's a conventional kickoff. We'll go to the side of JNAPS with 100 boots. Limitless. Get upstairs. It's a pre jump from to die for. 50 out by Natman. Snowy Please collab with Zaryu. Like I said, Zaryu is my homie, but we have no reason to ever collab because we do not play the same game. Limitless, sweaty. It's a nice touch. 50 out again. Snowy just trying to get a hand on it. He's got a great 50, and there's a lot of space in this midfield. This is so bad for NA, though. He's handed it straight to Sweaty. NA is definitely not beating the allegations. Try to follow up and wasn't too far away. If they lose to Limitless. Sweaty has got to do well. He's got to buy his team some time to get back in rotation. It's to die for. Narrowly avoids being bumped. Limitless do now have the players back. Now do they have a way of getting out of this position? As OG have woken up. Who did you romance? I didn't do time. any romance and arc. Pinch has now given Limitless some breathing room. Yeah, the demo. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. They're coming through from both sides now, and Limitless look really settled into this game. And I'm gonna say I'm not cast a cursing. That I need to put that, that out that's there. That's on me. Um, that's that's all you gotta do is there's the touch. That's oh, a great oh. Read, but Com's gonna be able to catch these. Or he pops it forward. I saw a demo. A Actually, I think it was Snowy that got demo. Is Doctor Fear watching? Probably not anymore. Position, but neither team looking to keep this ball. Might be a free infield pass. Oh, oh, stop it. No way. The pass or the shot could have come through, but couldn't find either. That 
Wait, is that Leaf? If he just decided to shoot or pass, oh. he went in between and sweaty again. Limitless with two chances. Can Leaf to in off? the caster's booth? In. More pressure for Limitless. Demos. But I'm hearing that correct, right? A few chances gone begging. Yeah, they'll think about those. If oh, no, that's Shogun. Them. I don't know why I thought it was Leaf. Still doing well. Still have OG on the ropes. It's a good challenge. Chase between Sweaty and Jane Apps. So go across the face of the middle stream of the Baldur's I'm begging and that one miss actually is really I was thinking about if I did variety streams I probably would not do it on the main channel I might make it like a YouTube member stream get rid of the I don't think you can do sub only streams on Twitch again. but you can do member only streams can't win the challenge yeah they're doing well on these 50s oh, but here yeah. we go the demos are coming through snowy again doing so well just to make it awkward there we go there's the follow-up 50 that's what we like seeing from the Sam Oh, I was going to say number one seed, but just from the Sam boys. It's, oh, the SSA. SSA. Yeah, yeah, SSA. Yeah, SSA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did. I went again, and uh, I was wrong again. Sweaty downfield. Snowy. Can he do? As I said, he's been instrumental. That's going to be over Sweaty. But I'm monitoring the YouTube the chat. Oh, you got control. Really nice. Off the sidewall, though, for Nats. That's a great pass play shot on it. It can it be so Thank you for the love, Ryan. There from Snowy, working that one out. And they do they get the clear downfield. Hang on a minute. Did I fall? Can he get a pass across? Blocked out this time by Jane Apps. Limitless. With some really good attacking opportunities. But they've got to make it count. So often we've seen games like this, and then you don't get these positions again for the rest of the series. Limitless have got to make this one count. For the time being, though, boosters start to come at a premium. Snowy's the only one really much of anything. You know what would be even worse Sweaty's than Limitless 20. being at the Major? Is if Young Money That's Clan the was there, now and if Young Money Clan got a single win, Against NA, and to die for, make sure NA it. would be. And it would be hurt. There we go. There we Jane go. Apps, Never the... worry. Jamina is five and zero oh, series against APAC, nineteen and zero oh in games, and that just improved to twenty. And oh, so they've never lost a game versus APAC. YMC a, wins a those. <laughs> And the Elevate, Elevate are definitely going to want to change that round as well. As that color has to be pushed back on defense after a shot coming in from Elevate. Forbidden Temple here. You miss Realize on Elevate? That team just traded orgs, right? That, that team's on Gaiman now? Of the pose, unfortunate for Elevate. But now in that halfway Which caster said this is Rocket League? That was Shogun. His teammate wasn't going to be able to read it. Right hand wing is going to be seeing Sphinx now trying to push Khaled. Uh, shot his way from it, but, but with enough boost, can work around again the offensive player. Naupo is going to dive in, guessing from this. A solo or a pass? Uh, uh, he babies. goes high, goes low. It is Naupo. Uh, of course, the low 50. What else? You know, be? you know, if you do go with Naupo instead of Nupo, the fact, you can see there's definitely some plays to be made to on saying like and now and using that. It. He, re he respects the play because he knows what like he's can do. We all know what Naupo can do. I felt myself no. pre-jumping that save, and I wasn't even in the match. There's definitely some some plays to be made there, linguistically. That's the Ooh, that, new ball that was a good play. Is the block Khaled, that last line of defense for Rule One, keeping this clean sheet going. Elevate still looking for that first goal of the series, and feel pass stepped into Kevin looking downfield to Sphinx. Oh. Sphinx was mid flip. Nupo, I out. guess you could, you could still play a little bit. Probably not as much as Naupo, though. Yeah, hook shot attempted, but relatively Old Po? So nah. Nupo. Naupo makes your ears bleed. I mean, I obviously prefer shot. Nupo as well. I think, it, I think it just works a lot better, but... Now, midfield, LCT loses out to Armad. A 50 high off the backboard. Naupo versus LCT. Who was partner of Shogun in Season 5 Finals because it was not Johnny? I don't I don't know. Was it... I can't remember because all I remember is the whole Mino Shogun call. Was it Carpet? Oh. Carpet is the legend. Now Poe versus angle. then Poe. Of course he did. Excellent fake there. New Poe versus old Poe. I mean, as a defender, as Sphinx, he Chan's gonna be in here like old Poe so used to hit those. And rule one with a two nil lead now. What do you think about NA level in these first games today? I was never worried for a second that they were gonna drop a game to Limitless. I mean, honestly, that's the Rocket League I love to see. Uh, no, the, the, I mean, NA has looked like how NA and then looked in the past events so far. So, if you're going to sit here and say they've taken over space, EU, like, obviously not. There, but. With the fake from Ahmad. Rule 1 has been so in control of this series. 
as we go past the halfway point this is uh i mean by all means this round should be the biggest stinker round Ooh, sphinx on the board he doesn't care about the patience. He just wants to get Somebody was asking target. earlier if they had to miss Make something sure today. Like, I think this round Cyborg should be the round to miss. So I think both series are like, should be guaranteed. You see Khaled only had about 14 boost on that back wall. I didn't Wait, is that Kevin? Yeah, that's the Kevin. Power. Khaled getting a piece of it. Bismillah flick. But couldn't keep it out. So Sphinx scored his first land goal last series. But had quite a bit of help from BDS if you see the replay. And that's also the first goal. He only LA loves us when we put out series. Koala Bro. <laughs> Koala Bro. Stop. Stop Big it with that. I tried to get uh, Chatterino. I tried to like combine the YouTube and the Twitch chats on my view. But it's not easy to do. So instead I have him flanking the monitor. And another bump as well. Tell you what, I love the aggression. I love the idea for going the aggression here because rule one, look comfortable. They ended up putting the wrong series on mainstream. Wait, is this series still good? No, certainly, certainly it won't continue to be good. Looking over their shoulder a bit more, that they are hesitant going for a ball. All to make them more susceptible to fakes and to go. You got AZ winning March Madness. Thank you. Appreciate that. A great fake out from Kevin leads the ball to Sphinx for a low and weak shot. Forces Khaled into a relatively routine save yet again. Minute 10, elevate. One more goal is needed to really push rule one. LCT, send long. That's Congrats on 80K. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the YouTubers. Instead, it's a double miss. Sphinx and Khaled. Nobody can get there. <laughs> oh my God. Chat, I, Twitch chat, I know you guys can't see the YouTube chat, but it did take the guy three consecutive attempts to not autocorrect type feet, which is, of course, a classic. <laughs> Get some help from Ahmad, but that is a big whiff. Sphinx not able to make contact, fortunately for him. And elevate LCT there to pick up the pieces. That bat ball now with Ahmad sending it to the corner. The All right, certainly this other game isn't good, right? Okay, OG just scored. In fact, we'll, we'll watch how did Nolly score. Ahmad and a pinch past Kevin. Demoed with the 30 seconds oh, Kong just making sweaty go high. One. It's full push for rule one. And it's rule one scoring over here. They were after. And that demo was so Where are you going to hang your YouTube play button? If I get demo, it, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe people stop subscribing. Demo, I'll put it behind me if I ever don't have my green screen open. It'll be in my office somewhere. Wear it on a chain. No. <laughs> we'll not be wearing it on a chain. 20 seconds left now, and the job is doubled. Nay, it is tripled. All right, that game's secure. Certainly, OG is going to secure their game, right? In that player, he's had low boost a lot of the game, but he's always looking to keep that ball close, get some 50s, as is Snowy. Can't quite get that one. Can't be able to work that one. And look at the demos coming through. It's just going to be wide open. Courtesy there we go. of Nolly on that demo. Two on the board for OG, just isolating that last man. I think what's quite important to mention here as well is both of OG's goals have come from Limitless having to scramble back from attack. Limitless have not been all scored right. on when they have gone back. This series should be uninteresting by all means. So we'll go back like, here. If you're caught in the final 20 seconds, but you're down a goal, you're good. Like, you, what happens you if you message on YouTube score, chat? I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, message goes in the chat. The there, fair enough. At least you went for it. There, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Carmen Core or Falcons? However, I have Carmen Core. Chat, who do you guys have? Make sure that a bit more clinical early you guys were Falcons game. believers. Make sure they don't just when I did, when I did the uh, predictions, which I think I did with both chats, chat was a big Falcons believer. That is what really stretched them. And what made Rule 1 look good? Still a demo machine, yeah. And we'll take a look at the Mobile One high performance replay here. Things got started with that low 50 from Nupo again. Another 50, the fake from Ahmad. Can you move the face cam in the middle so we can see the players' faces? We we went through this. I was a bit surprised that Cal wasn't able to hit that out, but still low boost situation for him. This is great from Ahmad. Oh yeah, and it wasn't even shown on the replay. But Ahmad getting that demo. Bring back Ghost midfield. Fear. Those midfield demos, if they're perfectly timed, they're devastating. Can you make the face cam the whole the screen time, and have Rocket League in the corner? Uh, and just just invert them. The and honestly, that is maybe one of the most annoying things. OG actually looked like the worst team. Well, just to be clear, Limitless are losing to OG. 
So if we were going to get really like technical <laughs> here, it, it's, it's I would have to, to say that Limitless looks like the worst team. The team yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. I mean, this is also Elevate finding... But I think I know what you're trying to say. Tough to deal with. And the aggression immediately from LCT, Elevate has the best logo. Well Chat, who has the best logo? Three is be going I don't know if I'm biased, to make sure that they are but... Because I was part of Rule 1, but I like the Rule 1 one. It's pretty cool. Because I'm sure that Elevate are now out for blood. But you just witnessed the layer defense. Khaled jumps up. BDS. I feel like the old BDS one was cooler, right? Furious is pretty cool. OG. Yeah. It's not bad. Falcons? No. I actually disagree there. I don't really like the Falcons one. Especially how it was before. You used like some empty space. KCP. Vitality. Honestly, they're all kind of good. There's a lot of good ones. But Furious is pretty sick, to be fair. This version of the Rule 1 one, I don't necessarily love but the one with the three stripes and the, the colors young money clan is no. well. i don't really like k corpse necessarily that much either i don't think it's that cool complexity you're just a dallas fan m80s is okay pretty good space stations is a little bit too detailed it's a little bit too detailed, but I, 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 it's a good one too. Close. Offensively, though, they're going to need somebody to step up. Sphinx, is that player you Isn't the one the only Ruin decal we've got? Shut down. But this is the pressure yeah, I think so. There's only one Ruin decal. On the back line, but Sphinx NRG, nah. NRG's was cool, and their new one is just—I don't know. You can't, you can't give it a shout as like the coolest logo. It's just their letters. LCD forced into orc position, gives the ball out to the midfield. Kevin dives in from now pose underneath, out of his blind spot, and keeps the old NRG one was pretty neat. LCT completely outspelled. I'm trying to remember what Ninjas in Pajamas one looks like. Continuing to struggle with the finite resource. Just keep your eye on those corners. Oh yeah, it's like a ninja star. That's pretty cool. It's a little bit too much going on. Is there a P and an N in there? I don't know. See, like a little bit too much going on. TSM's is like classic, I feel like. Did not want to at all. And halfway through How about over game, here? Okay, OG are finishing the sweep. Took a little bit longer, and you no worries, chat. No worries. Causing the first one to be conceded. But it does happen. Yeah, I think I think these two series. I mean, I think it's the reason why they put them in first. I think they're trying to save the best for last. Not a single upset series. Yeah, it's actually. <laughs> Like, either we're getting better at analyzing games, or this is just the most straightforward day of Rocket League that's ever been played. Went straight over the top of that final defender, well, you and Sphinx know, couldn't deal with it. Well, you know what he's trying to do? Sphinx is trying to get that perfect hit to blast it off his own backward to yeah, clear it out. It back. It's not Worst logo has to be Gentlemates. Yeah, Gentlemates logo yeah, is that's trash. That's a good point. Rebound. I do not like their logo. And it's crazy how much that like matters to me in terms of liking the team, you know? It's like, ah, dude, I don't like it. Kevin! Hit him with the baseball! <laughs> like, this is just the funniest RLCS goal I've ever seen, I think. Look at him go! <laughs> just roll it on in, baby. <laughs> the Bismillah hold down drive. <laughs> The Bismillah gas button. Demos. Let's go. I mean, Kevin, he was he was alone out there, home alone on the field. Just walk that ball right in. Elevate now. He did give him the look, dude. Hope. He gave him the look back, A like small oh. Glimmer, <laughs> but rule one. Stay he off. Looks so comfortable in control, but the demos are open. The game for Elevate. Continuing. Elevate with their bloodlust. Ooh, now Nupo. What a demo from Kevin. Comes in and says good night. A drawn game in game number three. Yeah, Kevin is pretty funny. About the midfield demo effectiveness when Ahmad was able to land a demo. I might have even been on Kevin. Regardless, Elevate do the exact same thing and have tied up this game. 
And rule one must be shaking. You said 19 and 0 on Mina against APAC. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought he missed it for a second on the open net. That's that's huge. Sphinx. Oh my goodness, Sphinx. Go easy on him. Sheesh. Okay, this series came alive, chat. This series came alive. And I did not see this coming. Elevate playing completely unleashed, unhinged Rocket League. A minute ten and a lead for Elevate so far. And missing that back corner. But now Kevin, right hand side, opportunity to push it further and further down the pitch. Midfield again. Kevin Central. LCT low boost takes a bit of a snapshot towards the net. They need to maintain this game. Oh. To be LCT shoot. It's a okay. Elevate. Clear by two. And the panic started to set in. Their you play style has really elevated. Chat, is it time to bring back our favorite game? To get jumped on. Smiles abound on Elevate side. They have for metal. A little in full full VIP or ban. <laughs> and one thing I will say about <laughs> Elevate is even in the games that they were losing to BDS, it was clear from the player cams that it was not. <laughs> he says, wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not talking about marbles. I'm talking about when somebody goes for a bad joke. This is the game of demos for Elevate. Look at Sphinx go. This is scores you got the demo and touch the ball too to get the credit. Predator mode activated. Sphinx removing rule one players from the pitch. What are we witnessing? And when we talk about visual adjustments being apparent from game to game or even within a game, this game will have to be studied. And that one might well, that was tough. <laughs> does, so it's but they're all smiles. You better believe it. <laughs> the only thing that could take those smiles away now would be three straight kickoff goals or maybe even two kickoff goals would probably take the smiles away but now you start to worry rule one has their foot in the door rule one it is theirs to lose did kevin say that did kevin say that when he was playing with sunless that he looked at his phone he looked at girls on his phone <laughs> oh kevin oh kevin they take your phones away they take your phones away. You, you can't have your phone. He said it during an RLCS interview. Sphinx? Dude, they're just laughing it up, dude. They're loving it. They're loving it. Look at how much they're laughing, dude. <laughs> they're loving it. He spent from a news because he said he gets motivation from looking at hot girls. Kevin, dude. What a legend. <laughs> They're loving their win so much. That's a cool finish, but... Fear and I went to high school together. He's never read one of my messages. What? That's not true. That is also the first time APAC have ever won a game against the Middle East region. Wow. Welcome to the Copenhagen Major. OG1, 5-1, by the way. If, if Please show that clip. That if somebody can send it to me, I'll listen to, to it. Through. Well, they demoed the ceiling. They did. They demoed the Printed ceiling. out a they flip book. <laughs> they sure, he looks down. down. And then they demoed that. <laughs> and then they demoed all those goals. But that's oh, what we were saying. We said they need all of that aggression because they clearly made rule one Oh, you got timed out. Sorry. But you did give me the link. The it so we will watch it. <laughs> I do have the link now. He went up for the ball and we literally saw him toggle ball come Wait, off. is this the same game? Same There's game. two minutes left? Two minutes And there were two left? goals? And we finished with a 10 goal game? <laughs> we got eight goals in two minutes. I don't know. And six <laughs> of them <laughs> were well, elevate. Oh, yeah. This was an anomaly of a game, truly one of a kind. And it was fun to watch. There's that demo from Sphinx. Do you hate YouTube chat? No, I don't hate YouTube chat, that guys. Just insane. I mean, the a wild vibes, ride. The vibes on Elevate. That Look. is unmatched. You, you need Look at that, YouTube chat. Sure that, like, on the screen. Before, if you're coming in as an APAC team, you know that Look at you guys. rivals are going to be SSA. Teams like that. Quick, say something. Regions. As soon as then you get a scout versus rule one, you get a game, you're thinking, boys, this is wide open. Yes, <laughs> we are now 19 you hate and Twitch chat? No. Bina. But with but Swiss, that, what, that from somewhere. And, and with Swiss as well, Stumpy, every game helps with that. Season. It's their time to shine. It's YouTube chat. It's time to shine for the next minute or so. You win one game, you're then going to be avoiding a load of those 3 and 0 teams. X 
excellent work from Elevate. What a yeah, every round. every win is pretty important. Has to continue. Their backs are against the wall, and Armada Rule One are going to be pulling them away from a victory here. Is there sustainability in that strategy? Will we see those demos continue? I have a drink of YouTube chat is gold. All right, everybody, see what rank they are, and we'll look. If they can keep their composure, hey, I was gonna say one thing that I hope is that we don't now see <laughs> SSL okay, Kappa. Got some GC3s, wins, champ yeah, one, plats, retired, like maniacs, <laughs> like you just diamond two, three. champ one, diamond one, probably, probably on an average high diamond, low champ. And YouTube is grand champ, grand champ three, grand champ one. Diamond? Ooh, I don't know the average on YouTube chat. Might be slightly higher, guys. I hate to say it. If the people who are lower rated are just not chiming in. We've still got, what, about 30 goals left in this game if we're going by those numbers. If we're going by those metrics. But now all eyes are on rule one. They are off kilter now. They lost the last game in a, a pretty stunning fashion. They oh, baby. Okay, that's a response. But you can tell they're not nearly as excited about scoring goals. That's, that's a team play. <laughs> that's a team play. They're saying we can lose one game, lads. We are not gonna go, gonna be Remember to watch the clip after five. the game? Okay, you can remind me. You can remind me. And look at the differences in the boost oh, it's no, if we can't tell, sorry. I'll just tell you. I'll just copy whatever they're doing. I think the Elevate face cams are more interesting right now, anyways. Elevate play on a much more level playing field. Ahmad trying to find his teammate middle, but there's a pass to shot. It's going to be a little bit wide. Ama down to Khaled. Khaled up Nupo. To Nupo. Nupo. He'll find a way. Oh! James Bot's a Nupo stand. James Bot says Nupo. Demo from behind. You'd love to hear it. Rule one starting to stabilize. Great read though from Kevin. Making sure the pressure. Ooh, which is tough because I bet Stumpy's an Alpo guy. So a Nupo and an Alpo guy in the same cast. We've seen that happen a few times. Ama, our position has to reverse. Look at the pressure elevator building. A real multilingual like me says Nobo. Okay. <laughs> You're flexing on the chat. Greetings from Lebanon. What up, Lebanon? Finally cleared out by Sphinx. Khaled hoping to pass to a teammate, but it results in a 50. You can see a little bit of a mix up there from Rule 1. I mean, elevate. What's their main goal here? Why is YouTube chat still here? They get to stay until the end of the series. We've now put from the pitch on that chance, but with no ball coming towards that orange side of the pitch, it's going to unfortunately for them be for now. Khaled, bad ball. Khaled? Is he back? Bang. Lupo doesn't miss those. Brilliant marketing idea for your of age fans. Fears beer. For rule one, it didn't result in an immediate goal off that pass out, but the rebound did him in. Sphinx zero boost, trying to take that up the corner, and maybe could have played that a little bit safer. Is the other rounds? Oh, they're, dude, it's a, they're both just saying different names. Ooh, Sphinx! Wait a second, chat. We are level pegging again, James. And it was a foot race. You see a big boom, and Khaled. Oh yeah, he didn't. He just wasn't a believer, man. He thought he he thought he had it free, so he turned it as if no one else was gonna touch it. I think the amount of of age fans. I think you'd be. I think you'd be surprised. Chat, you don't have to. But if anybody wants to type their age, they can. And uh, I think my demographics suggest that the prime age is like 25. To 30 even or like 24 to 27 don't you worry about it we are here to play they are swinging for the proverbial see a lot of 20s a lot of 20s a lot of over 21s very very rare message that isn't at least 21 so a lot of drinkers in uh the u.s maybe the prime do a pull with ranges 
All right, you guys want to pull? Beer, beer, when? I'm trying to get too distracted, though. Um, let me see what the ranges use on YouTube. I guess we'll start at the youngest age you can uh, have a Twitch account, which I believe is 13. And I think 13 to 18 is actually a pretty decent size. 19 to 24 feels fine. And then 25 to 30, is that is that good? Ooh, Ahmad, nice double. 31 to 36. And then 37 plus. That feels pretty good. Right? I don't know if I missed any numbers or choked. But we'll give you guys five minutes. No, three minutes. Three minutes on the pool. Make it show drinking age. You're right. I definitely should have done that. But the, a lot of people are going to fall in the 19 to 24 range. So it's not the best poll of all time. But I also don't think the fear beer thing was ever actually like, uh, you know, <laughs> thing we were actually going to do. You'll have to go to the Twitch chat, by the way, if you want to participate. YouTube chatters, unfortunately. Don't know how to do a YouTube poll. Oh my goodness, this ball will not hit the ground. It will not hit the ground. There it is. There it is. All right. Okay, unfortunately, everyone did answer 19 to 24, which I should have realized was like obviously going to be the number one. Could have broken that up a little bit, but hey. I do think based on what we saw across the screen, there's actually not a lot of teenagers. It is mostly right in the range, right around drinking age. Okay. He's just saying that we're already in talks. Okay, are you guys ready for Kevin interview? Or do we wait? Let's let's wait until... This is going to have to go to a break, right? I feel like that's the best time. With a result like this, even though they pull not working on mobile win, here, what if I can? I wonder if I can pop it out. And really, maybe if I pop out the chat real quick, and their international show you guys careers, think, the pull. Uh, playing on land for the first time, quick chat. Here's your opportunity to be on screen twice. It was, it was a great series to witness, yes. incredible series. And Kevin King, Kevin getting a couple of goals <laughs> himself, too, and making their presence known on the pitch. I think when a lot of people might here's the poll results I'm 31, so I'll vote 31. But yeah, probably wasn't the best ranges of all time. But you can see a lot of 25 to 30 is like next up. And you know, not not a ton of teenagers. We could just do another poll after this where we just do drinking age versus non-drinking age. And I do think the majority will be in uh, drinking age. Also, how are your drops going, chat? Twitch drops? I'm getting them. Dismiss this message. People love to see how a new region comes through. How a new team comes through. New players in... Wait, are we on hype train? What is their history? What is their future? Are they going to look what, how do those hype uh, Is this broken? No, this is from earlier. This is the start of the season. That was only round two for them as well. They're still on if you're not getting the two hour drops, and they got rip. The first game. You're married at 18. Can't have alcohol at the wedding. Devastating. But on the other side of the coin, Mina improves to 24 hour stream. You know what? You know, I got you. You know I got you. Rule one, even though it was close in the first game, the first couple. All right, the pool is ending. 19 to 24, one. We'll do another one real quick. Yes, they did. They looked rock solid. Of course, you can drink even earlier in places in Europe, right? What age are you? Overall, I think rule one going to be happy with their performance as well. 20 and under. 21 and over. Yeah, round three is going to be very interesting. I'm so excited to see just just what teams Would you be able to drink the fear beer if you were in the US? In the that is what this next three. poll is. Rule one there is a one on one. But we fear was around when the drinking age was 18. Okay, chill YouTube chat. I was not. <laughs> 19 in Canada? 
All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna go Almost with very close. We got Ahmed this time, uh, but we the are, U.S. Uh, we're drinking age. To so we're gonna get information regardless. Uh, I gotta ask right off the bat. I can see it in your face. You might not be too happy with how close that got at the end there, are you? I'm actually not super into uh, alcoholic drinks. Margarita. Ooh, a, a sour, actually. A sour beer. But I, I, I like, I find myself often in situations where everyone else is getting a drink and I just don't. Uh, we, we tried our best. We were hoping that we would get a clean sweep and go for right. a trio. But they managed to take one game off, but they couldn't take any more than that. And at the end of the day, we got the series. Right. Uh, for me, and I'm wondering if this was the pivotal point. I, I did see you guys laughing, having fun in game two. And then it kind of switched around. Is that the moment where maybe you guys kind of let your foot off the gas? يعني الاحظ احنا في المباراه الثانيه انه مبين عليكم كنتوا بتمزحوا وبتضحكوا ومبسوطين دخلنا على الجيم الثالث وشفنا ان الامور بدات تختلف فهل فكركم انه بهاي اللحظه انتم يمكن يعني هديتوا شوي ما ركزتوا كثير ولا هل بهاي اللحظه يمكن صارت المشاكل معكم من يوم كنا نفوز كنا صراحه نضحك لان الجيم سهل وقت ما فاز الجيم صار اكثر جاهم الحماس انهم يفوزون زياده فعشان كذا صرنا جدين اكثر so after game two when we got to game three and we started to see that the momentum was shifting in their favor and they were starting to play a lot better but we tried to stay calm and that's when we tried to focus just a little bit more and we realized that uh, in that moment we have to be a little bit more chill yeah and uh, how much does coach Cresper play into this to be able to as you can see chat you guys back in is majority player, of is it the coach that the stream says, is actually of drinking age uh, full view is brilliant you can even call it new fear beer a little play on the old new fear economy the problem with that is no one would get it if it's new fear beer it'd have to be old fear beer <laughs> Yeah, the translator guy's good. That's good to, to hear. Kind of just bring us back to uh, reality and make sure that we're focused. We're looking at the series the way that we want to and focus on the target and just take it home. Right. And and for after this now, because obviously there's still a lot of work to be put in. What does the team do? Are you going back to watch this VOD or is it straight back to just scrims looking forward? طب هلا بعد انتهاء هذا السيريز هل حتكونوا متابعين مثلا للفوت لهي المباريات وتشوفوا يمكن ايش الاغلاط اللي كانت عندكم ولا هل حضركم مركزين على السكريمات والتدريبات للمباريات الجايه؟ كلها بنسويها بنشوف الفيديوز ونشوف اغلاطنا وبنلعب سكريمات كلها. We're going to try and go for both. We're going to look at the VOD, see what kind of mistakes that we made and we're also going to try and focus on the next series ahead. Keep them busy, keep them busy. Either way, you got the win there. So you did it. Oh, he's gonna leave me hanging. Oh, oh, okay. And it's not—it's not a clear <laughs> fist bump when you have the card in your hand. We got a lot more Rocket League to get to, so why don't we go to the break real quick so we can get you? We have to a that break over here. Bit of Rocket League coming up next. All right, chat. After this break, it's going to be Luminosity. It's time. It's time for the interview of legends. I have not seen this interview. Apparently, it's very funny, and Kevin is a riot. You've been grinding this off season, putting in that nine hours a day, and I feel like a lot of pros struggle with this, and that's the burner. How do you personally keep yourself interested in the game and keep up with the top level of play? Okay, well, if you want me to be serious, it's a bit weird, but I have my, I always have my phone next to me, and I always look at hot girls on my phone after my games. I'm not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> Like I'm being serious. It's demon it gives you so much. <laughs> demon it gives you so much motivation, man. You can ask my whole, all my teammates. I always look at girls after my games, and it actually works. I'm being That's serious. what you're doing it for. Keep uh, the goals. Keep you motivated. Right <laughs> You've been grinding this. That's season. pretty good. That, that is pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, Kevin. All right, chat, time. <laughs> you do that between sets? Wait, why did Monkey Moon look like so much younger? I think we have the lower rounds again. So I think it's these two. 
Complexity LG is probably mainstream. Yo, endless. Save the tier one for Stop two months. Old fear. Listen, as long as you originally sub to old fear and you just keep it going, it's all the same. What's that website? This is a uh, halfway dead's website. It's uh, such a nicer way to review the bracket. I would say than Liquipedia. All right, looks like we're gonna get talked to over here. Maybe we listen to these people. Welcome back, everybody, to the Copenhagen Major. Now we have an OC. Thanks for the shoutouts. No, no worries, man. Thanks for so making back stuff. As a region, OCE versus OCE, a guaranteed win. I know there's a lot of Australians. This is the, the most cope I've ever heard. Actually, I was going to say there's a lot of Australians. I think it's like 4 a.m. So I don't think there's many. <laughs> not not here, all of them have got your sleep schedule. Can I get a point. one in chat if you're an Australian? We need, we need some support. But OCE versus OCE. I'm not one. The fam, uh, CJ, the CJ gets the OCE game. game. Shout out to the parents. Shout out to... Well, I was going to say... Do a YouTube video with Kevin. All the parents. So shout out to all of you guys. Uh, as we said, power taking on Pioneers. Uh, we just had a, f a, a little bit of a matchup. Uh, of OG we'll switch back to mainstream in a bit. But chat, CJ, CJ, we'll keep you entertained. Matches. I have Absolutely. a restroom break. So got for our first one over here. I've been drinking my water, staying hydrated like you should. Yep, the ultimate stream, ready to go, limitless. Ended up, uh, not yeah, anyone who has a mustache is repping the channel. The Good call, Gold Star. Was Elevate getting a, a game which, you know, we definitely heard from Stumpy. The rest of the matches though that we've got over here. Quick Trip Pioneers versus Power. G2 Stride against Gen G Mobile 1. And Gentle Mates taking on Team BDS. That's everything that's going to be over here. If you do not see a match that you're Expecting, then that'll probably be elsewhere, won't it? But we now have a coin to flip. And see, do you want to explain the We've incredible way that we want to do this? Well, like flipping it's a bit boring. So it is. It could also is, break at any moment. What I'd like to do is, I want Shogun to close his eyes. Close your eyes mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hand him the coin in one sort of, is it going to be orange? Tell me you want me to like hand, put my hands out. Put your hands out. Okay. And the question is, will he flip the coin or will he keep it? Mm. So I'm going to hand it. So orange for this will be power. <laughs> orange is on top, yeah. <laughs> Blue will be pioneers. I'm going to give him the coin. And maybe, Chad, you can tell him, mm. should he flip or should he keep? I'm feeling that. I'm feeling yeah. it. I, I feel the is stickiness on to top. I, I, you know what? This is the blue side right here, which means I'm going to flip it. It's that one. He's actually really he's good actually at this. Really he's good. actually he's really good. He's got power. He's got the favorites. The yeah. coin. The coin never lies. Uh, it, it, the coin had a really rough round one, but it seems to be as a coin it back. would. A uh, 50 50 yeah. coin will it's just eventually bounce out. Absolutely is. So let's have a look over towards the A stream as well and what has been going on over there. And uh, quite a surprise, Elevate, really, they were close to send that to game five from what I heard. They were at one stage in the lead uh, in that game number four, but rule one, they clutched up, almost scoring on zero seconds, Elevate as well. So again, that one game though could be all the difference when we look at these matchups tomorrow. We could have Elevate Lumen, uh, Luminous, could have Elevate Limitless as the zero two matchup in round three. But as you can see there, We've got Luminosity taking on Complexity, Fury of Vitality, that'll oh, be wow. exciting. And K Corp taking a... on Falcons, another belter of a year. I mean, that K Corp Falcons, people were thinking that might be the final, the grand final yeah. of the event. <laughs> Still could be. And we're yeah. getting it round two of this. <laughs> so yeah, maybe, maybe a little bit of a sneaky peek. It doesn't matter what I mean, color it was, chat. On Sunday, but also Does Luminosity have a chance? Peak. We're going to see who. But uh, yeah, a lot of for sure. Against Complexity? That Fury of Vitality match. Yes. In fact, uh, the AI like, even has I mean, Complexity Gen winning. Gen GG2, I think that's a 50 50 Me, you and Stumpy have got like a trifecta of different. I've gone Fury up over Vitality. Um, that's that's probably an upset pick. I just think that was so impressive. They look really good, but we do have to worry about and and for good reason as All well. Right, I'm gonna go the get, most you better check my last one. Not gonna lie, I do the same as Kevin, to be but with your ex. Okay. No. The match that we will no. Look back at no. No, you don't want to hear that. Broke up because of her mum. And we're still talking behind her parents' back. Oh, okay. It's that's not as bad, but still. <laughs> Uh, but now, this could very well be a milestone for the esports. Yeah, look, and, and I'm going to say that although... Falcons Carmine is later. Excited, as a player, you watch it here. You watch it by <laughs> following the channel. 30 plus hours to get over to Europe and playing your region. Well, we were discussing this actually before we, yep. we got on here because obviously Power are the team that have dominated so far during the online portion of all of this. Yep. However, you were also in a very similar position back in Sweden where you were, yep. we were the, the team that everyone dominant. was expecting. Yeah, we were. And honestly, it's a bit of, we were, we were pretty flat that we had to play Ground Zero, which turned into Team Power. And we lost that match. So that was an upset. 
they got the win. So this could be a chance for Pioneers. It's all about who's really uh, in the zone and focused because it's easy to sort of lapse a little bit. You know, you want to play the best teams in the world. You're playing your own region. And if you take the foot off the gas, uh, certainly could be an upset. And then you look at Amphis, obviously formerly power last season. There's always that little grudge match. You Wouldn't he love to beat power for the first time and do it on land at the major? That feels wild that you mm. use. I like Amphis has been like the player to watch, yep. I feel, for a very long time now. Kind of felt like got replaced by Fever, at least from what we were hearing from uh, Yummy for quite a while. But this is the player that has been the, the forever. Torsos. Yep, not Fever, as you can see. Oh, uh, oh. Torsos, there. there it is. As uh, He has been the veteran. He's been to uh, him and JNAPS, just the most lands ever. I mean, he's since season three, his first world Falcons upset potential? They definitely have upset potential. Torsos got introduced as well. I and think he Torsos has been to more lands than I have. He, For sure. He might have. He actually, no, I, I, I think it's always different too. when you go from online to land, the, uh, but the problem is the away. guys who they're playing like against are pretty good land players, but so are the Falcons. They're winning their lands. Individual OCE player rankings. People are putting him outside the top 10 in the region. Well, hasn't he shown up? He has been phenomenal easily. What I update mean, had your favorite music? You really enjoyed the Radical Summer? I stopped listening to the Rocket League updates when I started streaming because I had to turn off their music to play my own. Uh, and, uh, my favorite song for Rocket League so, I mean, is when Rumble was released, power. Infinite Power. He loves, oh, Infinite he loves Power. Chat, you guys remember when you're booting up Rocket League and you hear this? Yeah, that yeah, whatsoever. As that was we the peak the Rocket League times. Too far away from being able to join into this, so we should put our predictions out there as well. I know I asked you before we went to break previously, but let's. And just then there's another. Game. Yeah, I'm, I've got power. Um, you have to back power. I think. Um, honestly, you could go anywhere. I, never I think this one is one as well. Uh, look, I, I can see you making a case for the upset. Booting but, up the game, getting ready to play some bots in season mode. <laughs> That one's sick as well. <laughs> here we go. OCE That's the Rocket League theme. OCE, round two of the Swiss here in Copenhagen. We've waited 200 All right, we'll stay on this till the other one uh, starts playing Rocket League. <clears throat> and you guys get the privilege of watching these two, the top two seeds, the two teams from OCE battle it out. Will Pioneers break be the first team to get close to power? What a time it could be to do it. Amphis against his former side. He couldn't do it online in OCE, but can he do it on land when it matters most? Uh, demo is certainly going to help Yeah, out. I definitely played when Love You Need You was so in the game cool. as well. I like Love You Need You. A lot of people don't, but I do. That's good angles. Now for his team to predictions? Did we not get predictions going? Would have preferred to take it over himself, now the rotation is in all sorts oh, no, we did. Yeah, uh, I thought I saw the mods do it. They did. Mods working overtime today. All right, so this this match should maybe be like the most boring because it should just be power crushing the pioneers. QT pioneers is kind of a it's, a it's a funny way to put it. It just looks like yeah, pioneers are cuties. Yeah. Ah. So cute. Hollywood principal fireworks. Yeah, fireworks actually up there. Probably says yes. They're pretty excited to be playing pioneers. Cutie pies. Shoosh! Just like that, Power have put little brother in their place. Yeah, this is, uh, and you can see it on the play cams as well. Power looking like they want to send a message. They, they you can, go can you guys see it on the player cams as well? Your own region. You can think, which is probably what we did bad on, on Renegades. We were pretty disappointed and thinking, oh, we have to play these guys. Whereas right now, Power are going, let's show everyone. 
it, why we're the number one team. It did feel like the example that we gave. So many extra predictions. Oh, do you want me to stop the predictions? Wait, why? Everyone should have been guessing uh, power. Power have like never lost in their whole region. Why would why would all of a sudden that change? But yeah, I did, I did close it. I did close it. Used to losing to. I think we had it in the same. I think. Bro doesn't like Gamba? No, I love a good Gamba. Is that Scrub Killer? No, that's Scrub from OCE. It is pretty crazy to make your name Scrub when one of the most famous Rocket League players of all time is also named Scrub. Once that match happens, it doesn't quite work out. Nothing so far working out for Pioneers. They have been stuck in this side of the field. That demo might provide something for them, but... Instead, there's just more and more players. Fibers hit, hits the ceiling. That is not what you want from a clear. More and more as oh boy, that board is open for everybody. It's an orange card that gets their first, looking for an unbelievable redirect off the sides. The pioneers are just stuck here. Yeah, I think Fever was looking for party time. Uh, for You've memorized only a hundred digits of pi. I tell you what, that first 20, 30 seconds, what a way to just almost deflate the Pioneers lineup. Who maybe have what is a recursive function? Like I can't tell uh, you know, can they do it on land? why you're it's asking me this. Right now. Team Power looking really strong. See, uh, it's when a function has a big recurve, well. you know, like a and recurve they, they bow. In that first game against Gen G. We were thinking, hang on a minute. Is this uh, finally OCE's time to step up? Didn't quite occur in the next couple of games. However, power against their own region feels like they're a safe bet. That really is for that right or prove OCE's place. That is kind of on the line here. When a function keeps OCE cursing. Wants to just reestablish themselves. <laughs> say that we are it just curses over and over again. Runs in these events. Yeah, the, the, the thing that I guh oh, has yeah, the water pump. Oh, okay. okay. The is, uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna switch over as soon as the other one's on. He wasn't too happy. This could still be a goal. But we're just gonna stay here until up, then. Do you guys wanna? Do you guys wanna do this? Do we wanna do? This seems like it might be might be bis, like we talked about a little mainstream audio, but watching the. They played them close. It was two one goal losses. They won a game as well, four two, and we saw Dorito on the offensive side doing some work, and that's what you're gonna need. We know about complexity and. How do you watch the Genji game? It's coming up later. Stay right here. You're in the right spot. Genji coming up on your screen. If you keep my screen open. Offensive side, we saw. I have a I don't have a computer science degree. I have a engineering computer engineering degree. Vitality, you know, back to back land champs. You expect probably to lose that series, but they did keep it close. So like if you're looking on paper based on round one, Yahoo! See now that's huge. We get to hear that goal happen before it happens. Three separate regions getting the EU one back in the RCSX days, and now back here again in person after doing so in North America. We get to hear the in person audio. He's really been quietly going about his business, but he keeps Popping up here and raise ball teammates. I mean, what can you Double. say? I mean, El Toro is just that great of a player. And when he's set in the physicality on the field, there's not much you can do. They had a moment in that. You unironically use BIS and IRL combos. Nice to see if you're trying to make it happen. Like it, happen. it won't happen because CR people don't know what it is. I use Oom, though. I was talking to my brother about how whenever I calm in Rocket League and I'm out of boost, uh, I would say that I'm Oom. And people were just like, what are you saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, who do you guys think is win? Let us know in chat. Hashtag LG. Hashtag <laughs> COL. Yeah, going into today, I think the cash power rankings, I believe Clumsy was 9, I think, 9 or 10. They were close. While LG was 12, but they were all within 0.5 of one another. That 9 through you 12. You use Oom at work out of memory? So incredibly close. So Your brother would get it, mad? Curse it. Yeah, Oom is out of I mana. Five, it's now. But I guess it'd be Oob. <laughs> okay, they're just, like, do we even watch that game? It's just such a... Do we just do we just look at the? Is this just better? Because power is obviously going to win. Many consider them NA number four, and honestly, they show that in round one. But it's a new round. We'll see what the coach has drawn. I'll hack into your computer and run a restart until loop until crashes. Please don't. We're going back and forth on who to predict for this match. It feels very very close. Please watch the other one. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. As soon as this one starts, we're not gonna be watching much of the OCE playing themselves matchup. I mean, put a culture baby. If you watched, if you watched the match with Luminosity earlier, if you were awake in NA, this one's about to go to. Break here in a second, anyways. 
like it doesn't feel very close. That was scary. I don't know what to do. Like, what is. Oh, wait, you could hear it. See, this, this is definitely Biss because you get to hear what's going on. I don't know why they went. Maybe they said let's go because the ball hit the ground. Oh, no, he scored it. Did he score again? No, ball hit the ground, I guess. You gotta believe that's just not gonna happen again. He's gonna be much more offensive, much more of a focal point when he's on offense. Gibson, once again, I need this stat. What was he? Number one goals per game in NA? Yep. Number, number one, one goals per game in NA. If he's on offense, that's when Luminosity is playing the best. You expect that to happen here. Well, folks, again, let us know who you think is going to win. Chat, you guys right ready now. to Power eat a factor today? Definitely having a factor for lunch. On the other side of things, we'll make our predictions up here on the desk. Start with you, Cole. Although, unfortunately, my code uh, is I'm not live anymore. I, I think that what we saw from Luminosity so, was point not factor will not work. Enough. I'd love to be proven wrong, and I'm sure they'll improve, but Complexity played well. I don't know. Like, Luminosity, it's part of their game plan, right, to go 3-2 in Swiss. So they probably are going to have a trade. They already did the coin. When they do it. But I got to go Complexity as well. I think they were favorites anyway, but after that round one performance, Slightly bigger favorites for me, but I do hope it goes five. I'm going complexity. I'm going complexity. Can, we, can a coin go first? We have the coin go first. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, the coin already uh, said. In the blue, complexity in the orange here. Nice. And it's going to be complexity for the coin. Once again, the coin is going to be wrong. Guys, give me luminosity. Wow. <laughs> I do believe that they are going to play better this time around. I know they look real fraudulent earlier, chat. Don't get too freaked they out now. But I just do think that with the I... culture that they have, I'm talking about the <laughs> Guys, I care too much about it, it but I just, I really want to see more rotations on that coin flip from Wave. On office more, be better. For the, for the, for the I don't know why it matters to me fans, so much. What do you mean by the culture? For the culture what, what is this? Listen, just but he's not flipping it hard enough to a point where I can't believe that he's controlling it. Picking up cheese or steaking a ruddle, sticking with the bear. Teammates are ready to die on the NA hill. He, <laughs> this tourney, halfway dead? Oh. No. No. Not just this tourney. I do believe in the culture. I do not just this tourney. Well, and I do believe complexity is gonna win. Tweet at him about it. That's a good that's a good point. That's a that's that's a great tweet. To be able to turn it around that quickly against a team this strong. I am gonna go with complexity on this one, but I would love to see him. They have shown in chat. Luminosity gonna be the favorites here. Can they turn it around? This would be a big one for him. So let's get into the game. The players are ready. They are on the pitch, ready for kickoff. And I know you all, all at home are as well. A battle of the blue. The winner gets to improve to one and one. Luminosity versus complexity to continue here in Copenhagen. Stumpy, we have seen Luminosity Tweet is out. already go up against one Sam team. Mm. Quick and chat. Gas it up. They Make me look cool. The better Sam team earlier <laughs> in Furia, who are the number one seed coming out of South America, and Complexity have played second fiddle to them so far, but it has been a very close race with one win in favor of Complexity early on in the season. Why do I feel like all of a sudden this it's mainstream is like quieter? They were not playing to the level that we've expected to come from them. Then, especially considering they made it to this the major place on a second place finish in North America, it's time for them to prove that they should not be going down Norton two. It feels like this is a great opportunity for Luminosity to silence the haters. Mm -hmm. and with 30 seconds in, it's going to be a very awkward little taps of play as Complexity get a decent amount of pressure. Now it's a tap central again from Ray's All right, what did you guys have? Did you guys have... I would imagine... Dude, you guys had Complexity hard. Holy cow. The way down the pitch will be going wide of the net. The AI has when Luminosity, chat. On, they played them close. Dude, you guys went and, and all in on Complexity so power. Complexity as the favorite in this matchup is just going off that eye test. I think I, I think I did predict complexity winning in my bracket or in my predictions that we did early on. Really but Furia, Cheese, who is that not as heavy as you guys did. I, I thought at least half of it would be split yeah, between power and the two winners. The star player absolutely for Luminosity and it's been an absolute pleasure to watch him. But unfortunately, he wasn't able to perform to that level. Sounds like power is continuing to score. Kind of story. Did well online, a few iffy series, but not able to perform to the level that has brought them to this major complexity. However, as we said, first vitality, they played them so close. They made it a scary series for one of the best teams in the world. I, We've seen how the, well I don't think I have any more than one vitality, of the ones one that you. Of beating them historically. And they have made a switch. Chat, if that doesn't make sense to you, then you're just not on me and Tony's level. And now Dorito has come in because to it's take clear as day what that means to me. See if he can help <laughs> propel complexity to even more success. So far, this game has been a stalemate on either side, a battle for possession. Not too many daring chances on either end. A lot more midfield play than we're seeing here. The drop down I still hear the power series. Come on! From it's interesting how I think it works both ways. I think when you listen away. to the alt stream, you hear 
Sometimes you hear the mainstream comms. Nothing particularly crazy from any of these players coming on so far. A couple of shots, a couple of saves. But as I said, James, nothing particularly convincing. I think it's still that grace. Complexity and orange, yeah, but Luminosity is a blue team too. Feeling each other out. You just got back. Have there been any upsets? I, I hate to uh, inform you that there have been no upsets. Kevin almost. Kevin and Sphinx were looking like they'd maybe upset Ruan, but ultimately they did not. Halfway through the game in complexity, securing that lead. And you have to think, Fluminosity, how are they going to receive a goal coming against the Crazy that, like, the your land run could basically come down to just Thursday. We if you go 0 2 in Thursday, when, when you have and I guess you can come side, back from that. But that team. He's make sure that he is one, of those one of these two teams is going 0 2, which is get his head down. rough. And they released comms videos as well to Luminosity. And of course, we have that Luminosity stream with Space Man. Have you made a mock Corelli. draft yet for the next RL Esports right season? And I know for a fact they mock are going to be going crazy. I mean, it's got to be tough to sit through that. Luminosity, a slow start here. Flip reset, almost beats the defense. Good save from Stacked Magic major, it is what it is, yeah. Just in the nick of time, and now Rettles with the boost steal. It is what it is. Sometimes they think it don't be like it is, but it do. Something like that. <laughs> 90 seconds remaining. Seconds ticking down for Luminosity to secure a chance just to earn that overtime. Rettles wanting to move it down pitch. Hands off the ball to Magic Bear, but Dorito sniping a boost from underneath his feet. Cheese to receive one, but CRR bumps him out of the way. So when is no Falcons KC? Right so now. Very soon. Shot. Just stick right here. From Dorito. Big play from Dorito. Now chance for CRR. Uh, I think it's like a couple, a maybe a couple tip. rounds from now. Cheese trying to wrap it around. Uh, is that just power popping off, or is uh, KC yelling a bit through. as through. well when they score? Luminosity work their way out. Nothing touched from Cheese, just hands the pressure. I'm like guessing they're going to finish the day with Falcons KC. So it's probably a couple rounds from now. Yeah, it is. Another good bump as well from Dorito. Dorito's been diving in successfully, getting that ball past the midfield. G2 Gen G will actually be pretty, you know, it's pretty important, but it sucks that we have to already have, and BDS mates. Sucks that we already have to have rematches. But has to bail out. There's the lead bump play. But CRR and Dorito bounce off each other. Time continuing to take down. And these seconds far fly away. Saw Jane up about going one and one. Took my brain like 30 seconds to remember he's not on G2. Yeah. That makes sense. Clear from Cheese. Who can receive? It's Magic Bear. A pass to Rettles, perhaps. Instead, it falls straight back to the defense of complexity. You're mixed up QT with KC. Magic Bear. Hoping to keep this ball in, but running on fumes. It's a pass up. No redirect coming. Can see a raised bolt. Jump the lane. And CRR will launch that off the backboard. Interesting that he didn't just put that at the ground. Bear, no boost from cheese, He's going to be fine. Like, I don't think Luminosity's going to score. Catch. And now off the backboard, Rettles. There was a really clear moment in which CRR could have just aimed at the ground instead of the back wall. Or faked it even, just flown past and he would have probably hit the ground. Who's screaming? Everybody in this game is screaming. No one Every time power scores, very, they're yelling. Exciting or crazy. You hear, ah, yeah! right, we're going to see it go in. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're screaming. We didn't see as many fireworks in game. True. I think it was, it was a very quiet game. There was a lot more form to that game where it was, okay, we've taken a shot. Okay, now that opportunity has passed us by. Now we move into defense. And I think for Luminosity, you need to try and break up what complexity are doing because they are playing that much more defensive style and then they will push to try and go for an aggressive play. The ball, the ball with the only goal. Play, James? They're full aggression. Yeah, and, and I think uh, what T-Bait said on the desk, if you're Luminosity and you experience what you experienced against Fury with Cheese only registering three shots. Yeah. You know, what, what What do you do for them? Well, you just got to believe that's not going to happen again. Well, it, it happened again in game one. Yeah. Cheese only a single shot when a lot of the offense is going to rely on his prowess and on his ability to make plays. And so far, Complexity has not given Luminosity any opportunities to do so. Yeah, Luminosity, I think, need to always earn those opportunities because you're not going to get anything. Like, Complexity, yeah, will be a bit more defensive, but when you talk about play styles, offense and defense, it really is split by a hair because, realistically, you need to have both in your arsenal. You might just trend more defensively or trend more offensively. But we do you see think Luminosity wins? Tactics early to be fair, they've only lost Luminosity a single goal, a so it, it could be worse. 
but they weren't able to make it work. And now that shot's going to go on target. Cheese does well to get that ball up into the corner. Wave Punk responded to me, by the way, chat. Maybe his teammates weren't very convinced of what's going to happen. Ooh, shot. Look at that. Little nasty on the board. Perfect place, perfect time, perfect placement. And you can see Ray Believers. Goes for the hit into the corner, and Magic Bear is right there. Look at the shot. A smart play. Opinion on whether they should rig it a bit. <laughs> out of your zone, so you the same region matchups are avoided are whenever possible. I think I know what you mean. You for some reason, it was very funny the way I read it. Job of uh. Should they just rig the RLCS? But I know what you mean. I think I think you're saying like one of the rules in terms of determining Swiss matchups should be to not play against the same region. And I think the answer is no, probably not. Can't do that. It would just lead to somebody. It would lead to first off, it lead to like NA having to play EU a ton. It'd be very favorable for EU because they wouldn't have to play each other. Um, it was close though. Another so probably not. Shot that narrowly misses. Luminosity. And what did Wave say? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys. Complexity. They well, I'll tell you, I guess. Wave said. It wasn't flashy, but it was he said it's so big, hard to overcome the inertia under pressure. <laughs> so he said it's it's a heavy coin. Everything so far been somewhat routine. Definitely hoping that we see a bit more flashiness with the incredible players that they have on both these sides. Cheese especially. I want to see him activated. It's a touch coming in central. A touch again from Ray's ball as it is passed towards him from his teammate. But a minute and a half elapsed. Cheese in the back, waiting and lurking. A Ray's ball to clear. Right hand side. Sees the ball bounce awkwardly again. Uh -oh. Ray's ball completely lets the control of the ball go. Goes awkwardly in his own half. Dorito has to The coin to kind of looks 3D printed. It, it's definitely, it, it probably is. Touches, but Luminosity, it seems pretty big. To be honest, my take, which is just whatever, who cares, is I thought he was just trying to make sure like he could for sure catch it above the screen so you can see it. Um, but it's fine, even if it doesn't rotate more. Just saying. Just seems rigged. Much better game here from Luminosity. Complexity. Forced to play more defense than they did in game one, that's for certain. Poke to the corner from Dorito, looking for a 50, but ends up pinching it all the way back to his own half. But we're seeing a lot more aggression from Complexity than we have done during the season. <laughs> Ray's Bull said, go get him. Say, go get him, CRR. Luminosity really struggling to work out of their own half despite their lead. Manjibar trying to go for a double. Instead, it falls back down towards Rettel. Central, no. Ray's Bull, an interception. Complexity are chasing here, bear in mind. Luminosity's Dorito. Rettel's the angle. Very firm and a lovely shot from Rettel's. And even Not quite as strong as it would need to be. Luminosity continue. Do nice I don't know if the coin leaves the screen, then it's definitely rigged. <laughs> True. Rettles almost had that redirect, but you could see the save come out for complexity. But Luminosity, the one setting the pace in game two. CRR oh, off that double. The angle is there. It's just a little bit too wide. Luminosity with the skin of their teeth. A shot wide again. At high levels, is Fennec or Octane usually used? Um, well, this lobby would suggest Fennec. With a block. It's good I, do we, is there even an octane in it? Power as it away. Uh, it's looking like six, unless cheese is in an octane. No, I think we're in six, six Phoenix. <laughs> Chad just responds yes, which is also true. Game as we approach this final minute, minute and a half. Complexity though, they haven't had many chances. We've seen CRR have a couple looks, but not be able to get the shot on target. Low boost again. Dorito and CR are both on zero. Finally, Dorito getting some. EU CRR is all Fennec. Bina is all Fennec, pretty much. much but that oh. 50 goes uh, I think Monkey Moon still uses Octane. 60 seconds and one goal Probably just the people who are attached to the past the most. With 80 boost towards our side wall. Gets that ball very far. Bumps one. Now it's CRR. A double commit from the defense luminosity. Rise might also use Octane. To work their way in until Rays ball comes out. Magic Bear can clear it away. A very ambitious play coming in for a pre jump from Complexity. Magic Bear. Magic Bear. Ooh, Complexity is bummed about that. Lead. What a turnaround after being pushed on defense. And you love the improvising from Reynolds. As soon as yeah, he doesn't brilliant. make contact on that play, he immediately locks in for the bump. Chronic yeah. uses Octane. He goes back and forth, doesn't he? That Reynolds says, I'm going to put myself in the best position 
to where my bump Dark most does play a bit of that Octane. Play, was it? Didn't connect with the bump, but still if not majority Octane. For the defense. But I think he does a bit of both as well. Have that insurance goal for these final 30 seconds, but we might see a goal here. That's a nice save, a double commit forced out of Luminosity. Magic Bear, zero boost. No one's in. Go for it. Magic Bear just left. Yes, he had zero boost, but mate, you're still a body on the line. No one's there at all. Magic Bear goes for a walk. I, you know, I, 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 <laughs> it just... He did, he did just leave the net open. In the land of Rocket League's grace, there's a new player, small of space, baby fear, with eyes so wide and tiny dreams. Rocket League doth ride. What a beautiful poem. I'm in tears, chat. Is it Archie, an Octane guy? Beast mode, Aqua, true, true. Final play here, raise a lot of players dabble in both, but certainly Fennec, I think, has become majority. Ooh. Wait, we got ourselves a tie series, chat. doesn't make it to the corner, and Luminosity barely eke out that game win. That was a really nice pass. That was a beautiful pass. It was also preceded by the fact that Raze Ball goes up and completely fakes out the player coming for a pre-jump against Your points saved. Down. What but tiers are you in? They what do you mean done. what tiers am I in? At the end, much better than what Magiwear put up about 10 seconds earlier. AJ Regardless is mostly Luminosity, Octane still. They secure that win. LG and Power. Wait a second. OT. Of course, it's not going that way. Look at him yell, dude. He's so loud. Banana Head is mad, dude. My goodness. What phenomenal communication. To call that early, you are out of boost. You've got Looking like Power has got the win. Power didn't even go to the kickoff. Down to one. Have they got and this? they no, win. They my goodness. It has not been a pretty fight. I will say it hasn't been yeah. a, pre a, a pretty fight. This has but been the most been fight, straightforward so first couple rounds you could ever hope for. Yeah, Luminosity makes sure I think the only reason why it might change now is because like you could argue that it's not clear which one of these two teams is supposed to win. You look at Sam number two and then you look at e uh, then you look at NA number four or number three rather. I think but I would say complexity winning would be less be of a shock. Like I said, the AI for some reason has luminosity, yeah, I mean, like but I do five. think luminosity yeah, winning would be like, be ooh, ooh that's like a little upset. In the seeds. Uh, and complexity winning would just be like, yeah. Both these teams have it. What is the second stream? RL Esports. Guys, what can you get out of the Twitch drops? Should we go check in? I showed some of the stuff I got. It's all painted, dude. Got a couple sick items. What AI? It's Halfway Dead's AI. Basically, a uh, ELO type. Oh, I can't explain it well. I'm sure, if Halfway Dead here, he doesn't. I, I can't. Can't say it. I think he's actually here. So I'll, so I'll say it wrong. And he'll have to correct me. A smart AI is predicting or giving a percent chance to win. Which is pretty standard in sports. I feel like there's always percent chances to win by models. Can you get the splash painted? I don't know. I didn't. Big demos in favor of Luminosity here. It looks like they might be finally hitting their stride. Another demo. Red I think Elo is technically CRR. a system, though, that is but not so exactly far, what he's really using. Because every time he talks about it, it it's always something different. He mentions, Perhaps but why male models? Stay boosted up and keep complexity away from the offensive side of the ball. But now we see him finally break through. CRR trying to take that to the corner. And What'd you get? Demo. CRR I got a Fennec himself. decal. Seems like a Painted gray. In the in Got some series, titanium white wheels, chat. After this major, the Atto disrespect will stop. He's a top five player. I think player. I think uh, if you go look at the rankings that they did, the analysts did, he probably showed up in a ton of people's top five. And I think saying he didn't show up in uh, teammates' top five doesn't count, in case he didn't. All the way back in the European Open qualifiers. We approach half time in the game. Still in one nil, sentence, nil, an advanced Glico inspired rating system Jeez. with roster and region inference. You hear that, chat? That's why you don't say Elo. 
CRR trying to win that 50 forward. Dorito back to CRR. CRR out of boost. And really out of the play for a little bit. As Magic Bear goes for a musty. The one who's actually underrated is Rise. Wait, chat, you guys want to know who's actually Rhino's underrated? For real, for real? We'll see if Luminosity will keep this um, but they're all so low on boost. Is this YouTube channel that I saw? I was actually very close to just tweeting about it. But for whatever reason, I decided it wasn't worth a tweet. Um, what's that YouTube channel called? The Rocket League School? Something like that? Yeah, the School of Rocket League. Hashtag ad? This is not a hashtag ad. They did not pay me. It's just good videos. And a bit of a gamble. Magic Bear stuck in reverse. And, and that is a sign of being out of position. When you are in reverse, you are not. The School of Rocket League did a video on Rise. I actually haven't watched all of them. I've watched his Daniel, Rise, Nupo, and Zen one, it looks like. But he also has a Fatira and Jack one. You saw him on your recommended and didn't click? I would recommend clicking. Typically. Typically, you don't if you're here watching RL Esports, I, I would agree with that statement. And enough oh, of a deep cut to not even be watching it on the main channel, but instead on a uh, watch party channel, you'll like it. To slow down any counter attack from Luminosity, the counter attack now goes cheese with a 50 to bear. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at Reynolds yelling. Oh, let me show you. I didn't show you in time. But Rettles was, he was heated. A minute 15, here, we'll switch to here. Punch. Complexity dead in the chest. And we finally see Cheese playing a big part in the offense for Luminosity in this series. And that was a lovely pass as well for Magic Bear. <laughs> I thought it was a clever to segue to my up. channel. Jeez, I should have done that. That would have been funnier. But no, it's actually this other guy. He, he has like a thousand subs. Does feel like a uh, and that's why I'm and like, he's definitely underrated. 1.89k, come on. He's got to pump those numbers up. He's at the very least deserving of 2,000. Oh, you don't want you don't want me to cover the screen, guys. When I watch watch parties, I think I prefer full screen with the with the watcher overlaid over it as opposed to segmented complexity back rather luminosity trying to play so i'm just doing it the way that i like to watch it kicks it up dorito out of boost again we've seen six videos for 1.9 8.9k yeah that is pretty good well his videos are that good so it makes sense cuts the pass off cheese another tip Riddles needs to get this to the ground. Oh, oh they just Riddles combined. Just Imagine they combine own goal at, on the goal line. Touch from Ray's ball, and smartly, Luminosity mm -hmm. will let that ball hit the ground. Riddles letting it roll. Good game management from Luminosity. And a fake kick off sees Magic Bear with control and 100 boost. Ball going central. He does not pick up that corner. All right, this is a huge overtime. Huge overtime. Demos attempted. Time to lock CR in here. A shot attempted. This could be a decider. For some reason, I feel like if Complexity scores it, it is a decider. They'll win. And if Luminosity score it, then it feels like we have our best chance at a game five all day. You saw Cheese try to tip that to the corner. Wasn't able to get the follow-up. Perhaps those nerves starting to affect. The what a save. What a save. What a save by the bear. It's bear versus the bull, dude. Have we not pointed that out yet? work his way around it. 40 seconds elapsed. Rays ball back corner. 50 boost, an opportunity to challenge Cheese, but Cheese will be there first. Central Magic. Someone said that earlier. They probably did. I probably just missed it. Goal. But Dorito can deny the dreams of Luminosity for now. He's got his jump. CRR didn't use it in time. Good challenge from Cheese and a lovely power clear from Reddles. Timing that hit off the bounce wonderfully. Reddles now has to get back to help out. Cheese though on the back line. Does get the stop. Chief moving proactively there, making sure that he is going to be a player back if the shot does come in from the hook. Minute 20 elapsed. Magic Bear midfield challenge with Dorito. Razel has time. He has boost and he has. You're bullish, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't even think about it that way. Magic Bear staying up in the play on zero. Until complexity doesn't want to commit too much. Razel, oh baby, you should be bullish. 
You absolutely should be bullish. That was pretty nice. Decider. It is that much sweeter. The bowl with a goal. Bull, how are you not more hyped than that? He's normally screaming. <laughs> He's going crazy, but he knows there is a job to be done. Luminosity put up a great fight in that game. Complexity did, but sometimes all it takes is a spark of magic to blow everything wide open. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty <laughs> sick call to say you're bullish like before moments before he hits that. Well, the good news is getting all these drops is you can share some with your friends. <laughs> oh, no one tell Chig. No one tell Chig. Nobody tell him. Complexity getting that early lead as well. Quite a chill vamos from them. And then it was Mess with the bull, get the horns. The the By the way, Eric Prince, no, no worries. I so said thanks for hanging out today. I'm having a great time. Oh Thank you guys for showing up. G2 versus Genji so on B stream. Oh, really? It's going to get going soon? Not only to get uh, because they. Uh, so, what I thought they were going to do is they're going to put all the high matches on the A stream and the low matches on the B stream. But what they did instead is they worked them through. And so now there's going to be two, like, Good matches going on at the same time at their highest. on opposite streams. What a play from Ray's Bull. I, I wonder if we'll look back at complexity. British people shouldn't, shouldn't say vamos. To to what do they maybe, say? How do they the, say it? The <laughs> point in which complexity comes to life. Vamos. Play to remember. It's now going to be on luminosity to look at Dorito go. He just instantly low 50s two seconds instead. into the game. Dorito takes us to five seconds in game at number four and securing one for complexity. Dude, Jesus, like, why? Is he playing that? He's playing it so passive. If you're up there, low 50. He's letting him bring it all the way to the goal line and then trying to low 50 him. Incorporate something in your rank games. Low 50 is invaluable. Yeah. Dorito now going for a bump, no chance, or rather doesn't actually get any contact on it. Two shots coming out from CRR. Moss, look, Moss. Do they really say Moss? Oh my goodness, Dorito. It is two in 20 seconds. Oh, chat, we should have seen this coming. Of course, we're not getting game five. Reset, perfect pass to Dorito. And we're not even 20 seconds. And cheese versus Dorito. Wait, that's actually a great call by YouTube chat. <laughs> the bear versus the bull. Cheese versus Dorito. Unfortunately, Rettles and CRR doesn't uh, work. You said that? Oh, gosh, chat. You guys are so smart. Yeah, low scoring I've always the said that about so you guys. That we've seen from both of these teams that so have two so early on, it's going to be confidence inspiring for one side and somewhat frustrating for the other. Luminosity going to be unfortunate. Or they're going to be the frustrating. You called that 10 minutes ago? In both games previously, or at least well, games one and two. YouTube one chat stole it from you. Classic. And then obviously that overtime Hello. as well. And now Hello. Okay. The third goal. Hello. Please. Complexity thing starting Please. To get out of hand Complexity. Something. You used to be in North America. Like, can you just take it easy? Can you just take it easy? Please. Three nil complexity. Already, this th this is the joint most number of goals we've seen in a game after bearish on luminosity seconds. and bullish and on complexity is, all the is exactly the perfect well. take. This is a big test here for luminosity. If you're going to give up three, it's, I guess it's better to give it up in that first minute. Give yourself the most time. Is NA a minor region? Comeback, but so far, the the allegations have not been beaten. Well. Thinking, oh, we have four more minutes of this, boys. Uh, well, that's where we'll see what kind of mentality that Luminosity mm. has. I mean, Rettles, I said it before. Uh -oh. He's an wow. astounding leader, but leadership will only get you so far okay. when you face the quality of Sam's number two seed. Yeah, you get the pass. They're just farming the, him. The They're just farming him. Look at him go. And then the shot. That is doing work. <laughs> Off ball and on ball from CRR. And Complexity are putting the pedal to the metal and leaving Luminosity in the dust. Whenever a team in Can we undo the vote? Four goals up, it I is looking a little bit Jover. You think Rettles underestimated it, Sam? Four, it almost seems impossible. Yeah, I think, I think four goals is 99% tie, uh, 9 out of 100 times. The team with four, they are going to be winning it. Luminosity, it's time for you guys to make it a little bit more likely. This is when you call Trill, oh, the coach of Elevate. It's going to be limitless. <laughs> 
elevates Pioneers and Luminosity in the 0-2 round. Maybe we'll see one here. We do. Reynolds camping on the back line. So hopefully Luminosity get out of that. And where did all the complexity go? Is a rough touch. Should I just lock it in? <laughs> uh, not necessarily. Three minutes is a pretty long time, but. Just play that nuisance, and nuisance earns them a goal. One four. They're a quarter of the way to earning an overtime. Otherwise, they're going to be going down. Nor and two, and they will have to reverse sweep the Swiss to make top eight. For Luminosity, that is one step towards making the comeback a reality. That was pretty but filthy shot. You just couldn't finish it with the bump. For them to get back into it as we NA, don't give me hope like this. If, if this Luminosity is all NA has to do, is score a singular goal when down four, <laughs> uh, then you are ready to huff the hopium. I don't even think T-Base has this copium. Yeah. Majibet, not nearly enough boost to get that ball panicking somewhat. Cheese from his own back line. Past Best watch party in NA. There, standing strong again. Appreciate that. A miss from CRR. Two right to Dactyl. Has to fly in. Rettles works around him. Again, You're Scottish and I feel bad for NA. For Literally Blitz. everything can be erased if G2 just get a couple wins against the best. It could, it could be a scary situation if Gen G beat G2. Look at this pull. This is BM. I'm sorry, but this is just BM. The admin from <laughs> the main Rocket League channel is absolutely BMing the chat. They owe an apology. Raiseville fakes one. Hey, owe an apology to Luminosity. Sends it in. The Rocket League equivalent of a crossover. Just completely dukes him. Magibet again leaving the ball. Goes straight for a boost. But again, we find that four goal difference. And Luminosity have even less time than they did previously, James. And Stumpy, I, I know What's you going on in the other stream right now? An EU, Five minute timer. Imagine what NA would have been like if Furia and Complexity stayed oh. in NA. How crazy it would have been. A bloodbath. It, yes, it would have, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Well, complexity and Fury, Fury and Complexity might have just Sam, replaced OG now. and they Luminosity. Complexity going up against Luminosity. And it was a close game in the first ones, but this yeah. game for Complexity, they, they went into a different gear. Did we potentially think that NA was only so strong because we were being bolstered up by player. Sam? And a minute remaining. Reckon a roster change? I don't think a roster a change fixes it. <laughs> For, uh, I mean, I don't know. I think that the problem right now is that everybody consolidated onto the two top teams in NA. G2 and Gen G. They collected everybody there. So they're, unless you're going to steal one of them. I guess you could say, Stumpy, that it was faded. The coin knows. I mean, it it's not the, the team, it's how we play. It's wrong on the, on the alt stream, so I don't know The coin that. sometimes knows. Yeah, it's sometimes. a different coin, they have different personalities. It's what happens. And with 20 seconds left, complexity, they will be securing game number four. All right, chat, board, it's it factor time and it's ads time. Luminosity, naught and two. It is not the position that any of these teams want to be in. It is not where you want to find Do you guys want to... the first major of the 2024 season, but complexity, one and one, and they prove themselves to be a terrifying opponent for anybody that stands in their way. And Ray's Bull finishing this series strong for complexity as they get this series win in round two. Big win from them as well. A lot of people on the fence as to which way this would go, but I don't think there's any doubts left that complexity is the better team. They ramped it up raiseable hitting that overtime double tap off the corner still to me the play of the oh. series and then the marbles time chat you could tell that the killer instinct for complexity do we go on there. the splash zone yeah. again or do we go to cosmic chaos is there this team they're winners mm -hmm. but what a job it Look is at the now cosmic chaos to dude. work their way through the bracket they need this all right chat you know what time it is x point play way. We'll obviously be finding out who their round three matches are going to be when all of our round two matches conclude. But they've got a lot of work ahead of them. I think we all right. need to see. I'm going to have this up in the meantime, in but just know that the X-Mission one play is behind the scenes. And I'm going to go set up my, uh, but talking my, to my little lunch. And Magic Bear, because we know what Magic Bear can do. So far today, he has not performed to that level. That does not mean that he won't perform to that level. He just needs help to get there. And, and there were... Uh, 
moments of brilliance, brief flashes. We saw yes. the, the play between Cheese and Magic Bear. That passing play worked out wonderfully. Uh, but I think for, for Luminosity, they really do need to figure out how to amp up that offense mm -hmm. to the next level. We saw what Complexity was able to do was have Ray's Bull electrify yeah. that offense and, and be able to make an impact on those solo plays. We saw even CRR getting some really critical plays with some bumps. Being, uh, making the space, getting open, putting those shots on target. The flip reset pass from Ray's Bull as well. They were able to get to that higher gear, whereas Luminosity just could not find that, that high-level offensive consistency. Luminosity, a lot of work ahead of them, but complexity. Their work has very much just begun. One and one going through our Swiss. The next challenges are going to be even scarier than the last. And it's an opportunity for them to prove themselves. Luminosity, gonna have to go back to the drawing board. But you have to have faith. They've done it before, can they do it again? And we're gonna go have an interview with Lee. We are down here with CRR after they get off of victory there. Uh, putting yourselves at to one and one now. I wanna know uh, about the mentality, I guess, in this one. You guys look locked in. Is there some fatigue coming in with uh, some of these longer days, or was it just being locked in? We were really locked in. I think we, we knew that we have to win that, this match because we lost against Vitality, so we were so focused. And t talk to me about the Vitality matchup then, you know, coming off of that. It felt like the game was relatively close. It wasn't a blowout in terms of score. If you play that again... CRR now, doing the English interview? A more warm-up throughout the day. Do you feel like you could take that match against Vitality? How do I play? Great yeah, question. Think, yeah, Exclamation point play. Really 136 a, people in chat. For us, but I think now we could have won then. We will... Um, now, uh, talking about winner gets LG a sub. Specifically, if you're already a sub, you get a VIP coin flip chance. Now. First off, we know LG, especially if he lasts, middle, to be a very we'll see you in two weeks. Player. Were you guys aware of that going into this and had a game plan specifically for them? Yeah, of course we know it, and we were trying to bump them too because we can let them bump us. So I think that was the, the point, bump them and try to connect between each other. How do you make sure that you don't go overboard there and start committing players to those bumps and demos when you shouldn't be? Is it easy to lose yourself in those moments? Yeah, it's really easy because sometimes you can try demos and you get lost in the field, so you leave your teammates a, bit, a little bit alone, but I think it really worked. It did, you guys won. <laughs> and speaking of LG, again, their play style. There was a couple interesting kickoffs maybe we saw near the end in that last game, Magic Bear just leaving the ball for you guys. Were you uh, privy to those? Were you aware that those were happening and adjusting accordingly? No, not really, because we already worked on our kickoffs, so we were focused on doing our, our kickoffs and didn't really focus on, on their kickoffs. So. I, I find that a lot of times teams say that, that they are just focused on their own game. Is that kind of the best thing to do rather than looking at VODs of your opponents, just making sure your gameplay is solid? Or is there a little bit of looking at your opponents? Yeah, just a little bit, just like the main things of their playstyle, but you just have to focus on your thing. That's very true. And speaking of your thing, one of your players, Dorito, bringing Dorito onto to the roster. How was that adjustment period for you guys? Do you feel like you're at peak now? And how long did it take to, to get to that? I don't think we are at peak yet, but I think we are playing very much better right now, and we are going to improve a lot between the next matches. The next matches. I, I hope so. I was going to say, how long is it going to take before you guys get to peak? I don't know. I hope it is going to get soon, but probably for the next match. <laughs> right. Hopefully for the next one. Either way, you got the dub right now, and you guys stay in Swiss. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And there it is, CRR and Complexity getting a dub on the board. So much more. Rocket League coming your way. Look at that. It's by How many rounds of Swiss? A ton, Korea. a ton. We're only in the second up round. Next, the World Champs versus Sam's at best. Both fighting to go 2 0. Nice matches kind of lined up tomorrow. I believe Luminosity Limitless might be a match uh, tomorrow, which is exciting. So that's your that's your main I'm joining as well, chat. Coming up, Fury of Vitality. Carmen Corp Falcons are here. We've got Gen GG2 and then Gentlemates BDS. I know I come from North America, but we got Luminosity OG having some some wobbly starts. But if there's two teams that we can depend on, even some teams saying North America is a two-team region, whatever, now it's no longer a one-team region. And I'm really excited to see these guys go at it because it, it was just a week ago. Time is a concept, but these, these guys it, faced yeah. off recently. <laughs> it was very recent. And yeah, they're, they're both 
locked in. They're, they're in the practice lobby right now. The score is 49 to 38. Not joking. I think the admins might have had something to do with that one. But yeah, as soon as they're ready to go, we're going to jump straight into this and we'll finish talk at league and actually get into the gameplay. Uh, but yeah, first killer, Chronic, Jack, getting it together. They've got the upper trajectory uh, coming into this event. And G2, they're the team who kind of just Shoot, Jack, we need to start. At the top and stay We need there. to start. So I, we need to start think, quick you know, join. Coming into this event, it sounds like this uh this round is going to play no, quick. I'm saying, I'm saying Genji and yeah, we also oh. need to know what is the What is the printer thing? As well. So Here we go. Flip this. Oh, that wasn't a flip. That was that was, does it count? I I failed miserably. That's fraudulent. I failed miserably. I'll try again. That's also fraudulent, but uh Wait, Johan is failing to flip the coin too? <laughs> Just go with, which one is orange? Coin says orange, which is Gen G. So Gen, yeah. Sorry, the first one is a, a complete failed flip on my part. We might need to let you do the uh, next one, because that was embarrassing. <laughs> Bye me. Alright, chat. Purpose. But who have you got on uh, Gen G or G2? Swag Frog? Kinda went with Gen I don't know why I say kind of. I am committed to Gen G because they Gen beat G. them in Swiss, they beat them in the final, and these two teams are a lot closer, and I know we're all waiting to see the the Laniel. I've been hearing. Mm -hmm. I know everyone has these weird land names, but Laniel, is he coming alive today? It's been a good start for both these teams, obviously. Yeah, the, you know, G2, they haven't lost a game. So I think they looked a bit cautious against Pioneers. They were trying not to lose, and they didn't lose. They, they won every game, so they got the job done. But this will be the real test of G2's level um, at this event. I think Gen G got a, they got a tougher test out of the gate, losing a game to Power, who really showed up confidently for that series. And Gen G were able to answer that challenge. Um, and now they're going to lay down one of their own for G2, the number one seed, Atomic, on the screen. Um, he is, you know, the most successful North American player in left. the open era. And now he's uh, got his most talented lineup that he's, he's ever had with uh, Beast Mode and Daniel alongside him. Yeah, G2 are very, very good mechanically, and that's how they try to outplay other teams. You can't deny Daniel and Beast Mode their duo ship, except they look a little tired. Slouch move. Yeah, Got to posture been, up. Been a bit sleepy. Yeah, he's, uh, he's looking a bit sleepy. Look at One Punch can't, Legend, go! He can't start slowing this matchup. It's uh, Gen G are right now looking to be in fine form. And uh, they know what to do here. They, both these teams know each other very well. They've obviously practiced against each other a lot. They've competed against each other a lot. And uh, they may not have expected to play each other this early in the competition. But I don't think they mind it. I think that G2 will want to get that dub back. You know, their head-to-head -head record so far is two and two. Um, so they're going to want to get that back. They, they started oh, the stronger, nice. the two teams, and now they want to finish stronger as well. Genji going for three straight wins on G2, uh, and it needs to be a peak performance from everybody if you're going to do that. And I'm looking towards Abjack to be that guy that makes the space, goes for the demos, chasing everyone around. Averages, a, what, almost like three demos a game. And then you can't deny, first killer, the star of the show, at least the demon on the field that we all got to watch. When he puts on a performance, you better watch out. And then he's got to go up against Daniel, who solo plays. And all around, this is going to be a really high-quality match and a rematch of the final of the most recent regional North American showdown. It's about to take off. Is G2 and Gen G. Boss? One NA team's going 2 0 in the day. Mace One, 3 2 2 3. Get him. In round two. And it all starts now. Manfield Knight, game one. NA's best two teams have separated themselves from the rest of the pack. And now one of them will go perfect on the day. And lower stakes here in the Swiss, but still these two teams have gone at it time and time again in their region. And it's about G2 closing it out because Gen G beat them last time recently. I know you talked about the record, but recently mm -hmm. it was Gen G finally besting them. When everyone said G2 couldn't be touched, Gen G broke that armor and broke their perfect split. Yeah, it's a nice infield pass attempt there by Gen G, but Jack wasn't quite ready to make a move onto it. Beast Mode more than ready to collect that lob pass. It went into the backboard. A bit too high for him to double downwards. End-to-end -end stuff as we kick things off. And now Kronik and, uh, and First Killer getting extremely tangled there. That's the kind of mistake that Genji can't afford to be making. They have made a, you know, quite a few mistakes against G2 in their losses against them this season. They need to be so careful not to let those double commits happen. It's Ooh. a free shot for G2. That was off the crossbar. Yeah, first killer almost setting up the opponent for success, but here's Gen G moving forward, not letting G2 break out of their own half. 
but Atomic can lead that charge, but Jack reads it off the wall. But with that demo, it's a three on two for G2 as Beastmo wants to drop it off and the demo, yeah, clears up the ball. Daniel recovers. G2 put on the press. Gen G, their backs are against the wall. Off the ceiling too, Beastmo's just like that. But Jack making the space, being physical. Oh. Little backflip there. G2 turns Whoa. the play on his head and that's an open net. That's far too easy from Gen G's POV, but G2 will take it. Atomic with the backflip to pop the ball over the last player. It looks like two minutes. Looking for boost. He didn't stay back two minutes to predict, even though you see that G2 is up 1-0. And G2 get a goal. I guess a bit of a careless Gen G, but a Gen G who were boost starved, so it's somewhat understandable. I think would panic and look for boost. Oh, a pass. Almost the first killer broken up by G2. Counterattack, but Kronika missed that touch. Jack is there in the back. Collects the corner, shoves Atomic out of the picture. Now Genji can pass. Transition, G2 playing back. And Beastmo with the challenge. Oh, even gets oh. the second touch. Versus Kronika to make the save. Atomic off the cross. Beast mode whips it to the corner as Atomic is going to deny this clear from Genji. And up top, G2 really putting on the pressure as Daniel up high to the backboard. This comes out to oh Atomic. First killer saves. This is insane. Oh, that was a counterattack opportunity for Genji off the back of that constant G2 pressure. They weren't able to make it land. Genji have been the team under the most pressure by far in this first game. It seems like that opening goal for G2. Gave them all the confidence to continue attacking, but Genji has survived it, still only trailing by one. Now looking to get going the other way with Chronic. Ceiling double tap. It's on, but saved by Beast Mode. Oof. Oh, and the follow-up. Yeah, that's that's the key. Genji need to not just survive, they need to thrive. And they've showed us that they can play up to their potential and play up to a team like G2 as Jack. Forced off by Daniel. Beast Mode playing close to his friend, his duo, and G2. Their offense can't seem to get going on this right side. He got to go up high, but Genji oh. counterattacking, beats the defender, and it's in. Oh, well, play by first killer. Last man dives as Atomic gets dispossessed by first killer. Daniel we got a little taco killer. bowl take thing to get back to that ball. First just got underneath it, flipped it up and over him before he could get the, the challenge in. Two minutes and six seconds to go. And Genji tie the game. This is close. This is close. How is this North American standoff going to end in Swiss? For now, it is a demo that favors Genji, I believe. So now just needing to rob Daniel with this ball. And Kronik's doing his best, carving through the left. Genji with midfield presence, but Daniel can't seem to break through. First killer drops off the ball, didn't have any boost. So at Jack steps up and Beast Mode. Not having much boost either. Had the reset off the ceiling, drops it off to the opponent, and it's just a mix up between the two. Well, just chronic a little bit of space here. Pops yeah, factor's over good. The top of Atomic's challenge. Daniel just about got there in time. You can see him really. I don't even have the uh, that code anymore. As he tries to all right, get as I'm much back. movement as possible. I'm sure you guys have all done that in your own games. <laughs> Leaning into the corner. Ball's trickled wide here for Gen G. We're going to be a lot happier with the tail end of this game. They were really up against it when they were down 1-0. They survived that brief 30 seconds to a minute where G2 were all over them. Now they seem like they're back under control. Safe defensive 50s by Gen G when called upon. Last minute. You heard oh, it. Oh, oh, wow, that was close. <laughs> Salvages the moment as Gen G back pass, trying to stabilize themselves. Daniel now caught him in a weak moment with that demo, but the ball is up high. And G2. Where did you guys go with the predictions? Really had that offense going for a second. The next goal. Oh, you would, you, I missed a 7 TV suggestion. I can find it. Game one is Atomic off the back wall as Gen G scrambling. Oh, oh my goodness. And somehow this is not in for G2. Oh my goodness. Beast mode and Atomic. Gen G managed to cover their bases now. Striking and puncturing through that midfield. It's sent right back to the orange half as Atomic wanted to redirect. And he's still oh, you want, that mm -hmm. back line of I think Gen you, I think you linked G, it wrong, but barely able to get to that I can try and add it. Daniel with an attempted pass, double coming from Gen G. This will be recovered by G2 easily. Going forward is Beast Mode with the reset against Jack. Falls to Chronic's lap. Atomic up next. Pass to the box. No. It's overtime. Of course, it is going to be I don't see it. to E game one between NA's two top teams. Both teams have laid scares in that regulation. Who's going to get the strong start in OT? Looks like G2 have got the first opportunity, but 
Find me a better 7 TV league. Go at it. I couldn't find it. I can't add it from the direct image link you gave. Ooh, B mode. Beast mode center chair, by the way, for G2. We know what that means. Oh, wow, his first killer, he just missed the read. First killer was getting to that ball first, but he just missed the read off the sidewall. And Beast head up, red head up, miss, buddy. Which is head up. huge, because when you, you see first killer jumping for any kind of read on a bounce like that, most players are going to assume that he's hitting it. But Beast Mode knew this is missable. He looks a bit awkward there. I'm just going to go. And if he does miss, we're scoring. If he doesn't, I've got my teammates back anyway. Great play by Beast Mode. As G2 yeah, there it is. I, I put one too many M's in it. And take game one by doubling their shots, but being pushed to their limit. For G2, their offense really testing out Gen G. And being able to recognize those weak or just awkward moments, as you said, is such a skill to have out of a team like G2 who really demand perfection when you play against them. And Gen G know that they have to PQ hey, the was same he, way that Was they he did double holding onto the water? <laughs> and for Gen G, also, this message was denied, but I'm going to allow it. Uh, on today. They lost game one. I might um, regret it. <laughs> They were really able to turn things around, even without a timeout. So I'm expecting that they will regain here and uh, get right back to it. You know, first killer can't be thinking too much about that miss. You know, it's a tough Daniel is trash and always has been. See you later, buddy. The ball. So See you later, buddy. Himself there. Go the think about that scored, for 60 seconds. You know, a great goal and played a great game. So I think Genji should be okay here. This being a best of five means they've got to get back into this as soon as possible. What's nice about this match for both teams is they faced each other so much, so they know what to expect. I wonder how much preparation <laughs> you do. It's the same prep you I went easy on him this time, but if he comes back but with G2 the same the with the same attitude, going into game two, I saw you only had five messages. Out of Gen G, you got to have a better back backlog to keep yourself Daniel safe. Holds his own Ooh, imagine the team pinch. <laughs> Okay. All right, yeah. Is the other one going? Well, so All right, it hasn't started G2 yet. To even spot the Vitality Furia hasn't there, started yet. Otherwise, we'll, we're probably going to be... And, you know, speaking of double fisting, we'll be double fisting the matchup. And it's off the post. Jack wasn't there in time. Well, that should have been 1-0 for Gen G. We will absolutely through, be grabbing both Back to the side. There of first, the matches with our fists. Surely is the, the key and going at it double style. Surely that goes in. Daniel harasses wins against two defenders jack's attention is summoned and g2 really know how to shake up gen g a nice half flip catch there by atomic keeps perfect control beast mode has been we milk in both games for gen g today he's been the most aggressive player <laughs> pretty much final third when beast mode's called any way to side by side you know, it it's gonna be a good maybe but i'm not sure that that's on. the play so i'm not sure that that's the play i think contextual reads on moments in the game is the play one. At the event, that could be an but we probably actually will prioritize uh, Vitality Furia once it's going. The clears are not really putting too much and this one we'll just be double checking to see if Gen G's making waves. Oh, look at that. That is not Biss? Wait, what's not Biss? Yeah, I think I think double screen is not Biss. It's just too small. This is probably mainly watching Fury of Fury of Vitality because that's Sam versus EU, and then double checking that nothing crazy is going on in the in the NA versus NA matchup. Yeah, split screen is not Biss for sure. You're invested in Gen G, but we all know they're going to win this. You think Gen G's going to win this? You mean G2 is going to win this? I want Vitality to lose in every game. I never root for them. Oh, you mean like not just Rocket League? You mean like all games? Audio for this game, video. No, I think we're going to double switch. I think we're going to double switch. And then I think what we'll do is we'll have audio, video, Furia, Vitality. And then we'll do tab ins. Tab in checks without audio. For the G2 Gen G matchup. I think that's Biss, personally. Oh, G2 have had chances as well. I mean, this is a dangerous game for both teams. Daniel <laughs> needs to haircut Max. What's Biss? It just means like the best possible solution. How about that? 
his third man. Best twice about how he wants to move intentional solution. That's what we'll call it for now, this. <laughs> I don't know. It, it stands for best in slot. Atomic has a setup. Seems like G2 have all Best the intelligent the solution. Passing, yeah, there you go. Chronic tries to break it up as much as he can. Yeah, so far, G2 have managed to keep Genji in this kind of position, but Genji haven't made any crucial mistakes. That is, uh, you know, for me, the defensive key for Genji is not to make any big blunders, <laughs> but they, at some point they do have to score one of these open nets. They've got to take one of these chances. It's G2 again. Push Best in show by Genji, but keeping perfect control. And they're looking at Johnny not featuring Clopin in RLCS. Leaving the ball actually, letting Genji get a hit so that his team. How is he not saying Clopin? Let it be known. By the NA Wonder Kid. Once oh, I'm in the RLCS, the I'll be using Clopin left and right. I think if Genji play a bit closer, these passes are going to become deadlier. Atomic to be oh on the my Wow. I know, I FK's got zero, before. so. <laughs> How, does this, how, does it, how is this still 0-0? Zero, zero? Surely someone can score. Surely is the key word. 45 seconds. Genji harassing. That'll be new fear then. Off the back wall though. First killer waits. Jack sets up. Sets up. And G2 transition across. Chronic holds the ball. Has to take it up the wall too. First killer. Second man beside <laughs> him. Genji. Red carpet down to the blue end. Now being able to take that corner boost, Genji. Let me know when Vitality Furia quick, starts, but obviously this one's getting pretty tense right here. And that's a Genji that could score. No atomic stops it. Well, that was another good chance for Genji, but Klopin stands for clearly open. For when a net was clearly open, it was Klopin. Derived from the Latin root open. G2 are lining up to attack them. Solid challenge by Chronic. First killer gonna get on the end of this, and he does let the OT. Ball bounce. It's into All right, they're still predicting the over there. Game in a row. Oh my god! And off of some, well, just the pace of play has really picked up from game one, so I can see that accuracy. Can, oh, the in-game crowd. Daniel? Oh, Daniel, Dan the man, it down to the corner. just to rub it into that guy who said that he's never been good. Helps out Daniel in that moment. Oh my. Midfield. 4G2 after that demo. And you see Atomic chasing in the back line and Gen G. They will not be flustered, but they don't have the ball to really counterattack with until first killer. His 50 almost went to a fellow teammate of Gen G. Now it may be up to these demos to create these gaps, to look for an opening to end this overtime once and for all. Oh, Atomic's head of this. Decides to pop out high. Must have not have lined up for the shot, possibly. He's now Beast Mode gets involved in the attack. Not a lot of boost to his name. Dispossessed by Jack. You thought it meant closed open? Oh, it might. Play for G2. They're not afraid to back pass in these midfield exchanges, which is great to see. I thought we were using it earlier as clearly open. Solo players closed open. Still opting for the team play when it's available. Interesting. Starting to get I say clearly open. Back and they seem okay, but Chronic open is closed open, according to CJ. Oh. oh. It all makes sense. Genji, their offense hasn't been kicking too hard in this overtime. Daniel gets slowed down there right to the corner. G2. Oh, want to kick off a better offense than that, but maybe a chance for Jack to set up Chronic, but the bounce he couldn't read it. So first killer steps up. Wow, that's got to be free. No way. Shot saved by Atomic. And G2, they will not stop How did that not end the game? the corner. Chronic tries to stabilize the team. Well, I just, I have no idea how we haven't had a goal yet. This is ridiculous. A incredible last ditch save by Atomic. How did that I not know, end G the game? G taking these shots earlier before the save is even possible. How did that not end himself. the game? I just don't understand. It off with the irritable bump pass and double tap deny Daniel with a great read on his own backboard. Oh, great job. And I think Daniel at 347. Somebody said Gen G at 211. Wow, they're pretty dangerous. close. Really touched, though, by Daniel. Imagine this goes in. Sorry. At least you got a shot at 211. And we're over two minutes in overtime. Oh, a little cheat up. As G2 Jack just own. never even Genji thinking about bringing it. Oh, that's Genji certainly in. Surely Genji. this one's going in. Genji, tie it up. Well, Jack took off. It looked like he was air dribbling towards the back corner, but he turns it around, gets it back on target. I think a demo is the reason why that's a goal. Now, they may have expected Jack to be air dribbling that away from their goal, based on the fact that no one's actually defending the no i think there's a demo but you know after some oh here we go furious up one here, here comes zen with a shot of his 
Stone. Another save to come through. Furia keeping up the battle against the former world champs. Wave Fung mentioned it on the desk. It'll be a battle for Who scored first in Furia? Was it Yan? Was it Yan the man? Was it Drufino? Not much behind it. Yan going to work. Lob it up for loss. Now Drufino with the follow. Throws to the backboard trying to draw the defense out. Has done so and still Zen. Should I eat my smart food popcorn right now or save it for later? Screw later. You want the popcorn now. And a missed opportunity for Fury to double their lead. It's just another example of the Vitality world-class defense that we've seen for so, so long. But the offense, what happened here with Fury? Legendary to the name of Zen comes through. Vitality type. Yan went ceiling. And Drafino just awkward. Interesting. When Yan can't stop Zen and we're all tied up. Three minutes and 12 seconds left to go. A tied game between these two squads. Off the kickoff. Potential goal here does come through. Wow. Dosin to give Vitality another lead. Ratto with just his second goal. A little wave dash catch. That's pretty nice, Ratto. Is there a stream so only on the Gen G match? You want to watch it all? The yeah, the RL Esports the would watch the, the NA1. We'll probably jump back and forth as games end if I had to guess. Or if this one if this one gets ridiculous, then we'll just move over. But it shouldn't get ridiculous. Furia should be as the seconds go on, Vitality just seem to get stronger. Jack just scored an OT. Yeah, we saw the OT score. What did chat say as far as the prediction? G2 Vitality, pretty heavy. Next up, G2 Furia. I'm jinx maxing for Furia. Refresh the other stream. It's further along. Oh, do I need to refresh this one? Is this one even further along? Oh, I heard, I heard a goal. See, we, we can know when to look over because we can just hear the goals when we're listening to the mainstream. Oh, that's actually pretty nasty. Little beast mode reset double. Dude, okay, Furia, this game's over, I think. Back over here. Their defense. Now turns into offense. Daniel versus Chronic. Early challenge. Early 50 is good. And with the demo, Genji have the ball. Goes to first killer. But good protection off the back wall. As Genji from the left, from the right, have great coverage. Beast mode just cooked. Field. Yeah, that was that was pretty filthy. Refresh? All right, we'll refresh on both. Double refresh. As, as recent as possible. Double audio. Is that the play? Was a world class flick to Beast Mode to double tap. And Genji are not doing too badly, setting each other up as well. Air double oh. bump pass, air double bump for the goalie as well. The third is back. G2 stacking the box. It's so hard to get all three of them out of the way. Yeah, everyone is playing so close. They're kind of getting each other's way sometimes, but Tomic with a ball in the corner. Double, double audio is, is definitely not BIS. No way. With. Genji don't seem too flustered off the ceiling though. It's Daniel up to. He's always trying to surprise you. Beast mode leaves it to Atomic. Double audio, no video. Position to make a play. But with Genji having their third man back, it's not been easy to score on a team like Genji. I mean, especially when the last two games went to overtime, the last game went to 0 0. G2 definitely not comfortable with a 1 0 lead. Yeah, it's been close games. Genji. Looking to come back in this one. That was a failed pitch from G2. Has it been Genji super low scoring? Fast -paced game Has there been one goal in each game so far? Was the first game 1 0 as well? I'm thinking of a different series. An atomic beast mode connection. Those two have been synergizing brilliantly today. Unless if I'm not mistaken, it's been three assists for atomic, three goals for beast mode. And that's uh, all the goals G2 have scored. Not the most high scoring series here. But it's been enough to put them ahead as we go past halftime in this game. Daniel taking his time again. Just perfect play. Now, can he get on the score sheet as well? Flippery set drops down. Didn't really get up and under that one. 
still gonna I feel like I can hear the other stream right now. I'm sure they would love to add to it. Are they in game two? Okay, that shot's not on target. No, they're still in game one. Furia got a goal, though. Now backpassing, drawing out that defense. Genji will not be baited. They'll even fight for possession. It's beast mode. Back wall there. That's just so free. It's because John is commentating. It's no fair, dude. Johnny just gives a humongous debuff to NA. I can't believe that was missed. Do these guys have an agreement not to score any open nets? Is there something? Did I miss something? Did, I was waiting for you I to say that? something. Yeah, they really do be like me for real. I could do that. <laughs> I could be an RLCS. Unaku, the chronic, it's the easiest one. Right to G2. I think if the women casters are jarring to you, it's probably just because you haven't heard the women like in in Rocket League yet. Beast mode buying time. Reset off the ceiling. I think they both do a good job. G2 just can't get and I think combining Kiwi with Genji Johnny is a good a good duo. Kiwi's a very good Genji hype caster, swinging, out short. and Three she's like newer to Rocket League, I'm pretty sure. So just pair her with a top tier analyst like the boy, and you got yourself a good duo. Arriving inside. No 10 seconds left. Four All right, this is looking like a game win a for G2 Stride. Can they actually oh. take it? It's going the other way, though. They need to work pretty hard to get a goal from this position. Jack has boost to work with, so his first killer. Chronic's a little bit behind. All right. Of a potential this one's not going. That's what you get. They have a they have a tech pause. Why well, how is this why is this not in game two yet? You've got these teams that. Get, they win their first match. Here we go. Perfect timing. And then from there, Watch party maxing. Let it be known. Crazy like this one and what, we're gonna see. what is Stride? It's like a tournament, esports tournament platform or something like that. Comes Vitality trying to put some pressure in the early stages of game number two on a Fury here. Lost has other plans. Yan? Ooh. Yan gets a touch off this one. Jafino up next. Shot floating towards that net there. Great save from Alpha. No stride is when you take a big step. Okay. Yeah, G2 got sponsored by Big Steps. Game one, where the goals are flying in quickly and furiously. Now Yan bringing it right back in. Good communication you see out of Vitality. Do they drug test in the RLCS? No. Again, this is how Vitality they do not. Does a lot of their work. They were kind of Which I know there's like a lot of talk about uh, Adderall, right? In, in esports. They do play a very but style, whereas Furia, they, like to kind they do of not. The issue. Rufino and Zen getting introduced to each other. As Yano will bring it deep Would you say Rado has the best there. defense right now? Uh, I haven't been watching Rado closely enough. I've only seen a couple of Vitality games, I feel like. Look at Zen go, dude. The average player has to get off the ball there, but no. Wait, so all my favorite players are taking Adderall for their matches? They they might be. I don't think so. I, I haven't heard of any rampant Adderall use. But I know in esports, it's uh, been talked about. Genji scored. So Genji's up 1-0. Genji instant goal over against G2. I think this is a little bit more interesting right now. It can Furia turn it around? Can they keep it close, or are they just going to get farmed? I have not played any Balatro. But it's sent off by Redosin. Who's going to be the first one to touch this one? It's Yan, but you can touch that ball, but you're going to get so sent home by Vitality. Top 8 records from Swiss get placed in the bracket? Yeah. Starts to pop out here in game number two. Completely Top 8 come out of the Swiss. Way, with two minutes left to go. So at what point 
Is that just a goal? Look at that. G2 up 2-1. Genji up 1-0. But Furia! Looking like they're bringing it back. But can they hold the lead? They gave up a, an equalizer very quickly to Zen and Vitality in the first game. Forbidden Temple have a different storyline. Lost for Drafinho! Drafinho! Chat, chill it with the chill it with the counting. Confident. Two touches from the corner into a center for Drafinho. Just absolute slot in front of the defense there. And Furia extend their lead. And gives you gives you some confidence headed in these next two minutes. You think this is gonna be a gentleman's sweep? Let's see. Still 1-0. That one might go to game five. Genji G2 looking like a maybe a game five. Our first game five, of course, of course comes NA versus NA with both sides just absolutely whiffing open nets. Old Fury would let us count. Okay. If you're the Fury of Defense. Yeah, definitely. Anytime you get the opportunity to, to catch Vitality off guard, you gotta run with it there. Be prepared for any Who's the best player in the world? I think everyone had Vitura as number one. Approaching Fury is still leading by two. Vitality. Just counting all the dogs you've stolen. Ooh. All right. Genji still up 1-0. Vitality. Maybe, 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 maybe has a chance here to not go down. Nine ads is crazy. No way. They, they auto-played, it looks like, but it shouldn't be nine ads. You're, you guys are exaggerating. He's let that one go, and Furia almost took possession away. A little nervous there for Furia. Lost was caught off backwards on this one. This ball trying to get cleared out into the mid. Lost sends it back. Pass over to Jafinho. Shot goes crossbar and out, but you're still up by one. You play time at this point. 25 seconds left on the clock here. Demos starting to come through from Furia. Nobody can get past them. Vitality still stuck in their own half. 15 left to go. Alpha one they survived this. Looking like we got a 1-1. How is our game? Oh, no. oh, Yan, what a save. Huge. Huge save by Yan. Oh, is it not going to matter? Jofinho dunk. Lost. W speed. Yan. Yan. There's so much ground to hit it on. Yan, there's so much ground. Okay, it's going to be okay. <laughs> He could have hit that on the ground so much earlier. No way. This is, certainly they hit the ground. All right, we got game five over here. Like we said, we could see the first non-sweep of the B stream. It's not a sweep. Not only that, we are going. It's the first game five. For me, a perfect way to split the difference between these two teams who have beaten each other twice so far this season. The early challenges from Genji. To me is so I guess I guess we gotta watch game five. We'll keep an eye on uh Furia. In the air. That's one of the keys to victory against this team. And honestly, against all, all the top teams these days, you cannot give these guys time on the uh, on the ball in the air. They're gonna get their foot back. They're gonna outplay. When did Luminosity it, play? Oh five. bummer. Berto games. I have some bad news for your Luminosity so going by brothers. The of the game wins. G2 surely Why NA versus NA? Because this is huge. This is this is huge for uh, the context of the major. Opportunities going astray from them. And this is huge. We'll, we'll keep we'll keep. Uh, well, first off, there's no gameplay going on over here. So I don't know why there's no gameplay going on, but we will prioritize gameplay. 
wants to break out. Try to run up the score. You're gonna find that very difficult against the defense of Vitality. I'll pull this one over here so, so I can see when it switches to gameplay. Game three here from Furia, which honestly you'd love to see if you are a fan of this squad coming in here with an answer to that Please explain why NANA is huge. I think if G2 don't win, they could be in big trouble. Um, I think if G2 win, it's, it's a question whether or not who, who's going to represent NA in the higher seeded bracket, which will likely lead to, you know, the, whoever goes 3-0, if an NA team does go 3-0 or gets close, they'll be the higher seed on the correct side of the bracket. I think this is pretty big. Ready to go to start that comeback up by one goal, but you would think that's not enough. And not enough insurance. You're not comfortable with this, but with how these games have been ending, that could just be <laughs> That could be it. That might just be I'll, uh, the one nil. Nice I'll keep early. Fury of Vitality open here on the side. You know, a lot of time here, and so I'll make sure we switch back to it whenever something interesting it's happens, chat. Don't you worry. At the moment at least. And they're being patient to kick things off, as usual. Daniel. Just to this solid air dribble 50 50, something he's been really using. A Actually, lot pretty smart from NA to snipe NA. And 50s. The threat of the flip reset and the outplay just usually lets everybody um, misread him and try to cover high when he's actually just going straight through you. Jack and maybe have a, some time to set up his Pip team for second stream. Maybe I can do it. Get oh, Furia just scored. He was that setup guy in game two and a star to watch. Such a selfless oh, player, oh, but he's got more to think about. After we could drop it over here in the corner. <laughs> what do we think about this? A 1-1 one, one score. It was Daniel center. Jack was inches away from clearing it. When Daniel comes and takes him out of the way. And of course, as always, G2 second man trusting the play. We can also Off put it up finish. here at the top. Just inside the first Would that minute, be better? We have a is that the better game? play? I think this is already the highest spring game of the series. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's better up there. Like is all not Biss, not Biss. No, no. Oh. <laughs> Chat doesn't like it. Chat doesn't like it. Furia is up 1-0. I'll pull it in whenever something interesting happens. The Top is Biss. Wait, chat's the using Biss. They know how to play by heartstrings. Can we get Subway Surfers in the other? Wait, chat, here we go. Look at, look at this lost goal. Furia scores again. 2-0 Furia in game three. Oh. That's going to go all the way through. First killer puts Gen G2 one up. G2... Caught on the counter. It looks like it was Atomic just not pathing straight back towards his goal there. By the time he started doing so, it was already too late. Put Magnus Carlsen in the chest that tourney on the side. <laughs> that was Biss. You guys liked it. First killer Biss. Chat, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for using Biss. Atomic puts it off to the side and the second touch to 50 now that forces a save out of Daniel and G2 are having issues moving forward and Beast Mode does the best that he can but he's got Jack and first killer all over him and Atomic and Daniel now have to rotate back now he's able at least sacrifice yourself to slow down the counter attack but Gen G depositing are Gen G going to be the 2-0 team? team are Gen G going to be the 2-0 team chat Furia still up 2-0. Yeah, Kronik's just gluing himself to the ball here, being as annoying as possible. G2 looking to create some chaos in the midfield, trying to get a touch that Genji can't read. Gen no, that, that's not the neighbor's dog. Well right now. That's our dog. To break down when they do this. The neighbor's dog goes, oh. And our dog goes, burp, burp, burp. That's the difference. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh low 50. Like where you're going with that, tries the same idea. Still 2-1 to Genji. Cats are Biss? Uh, I like cats. What did you teach me? I don't Dr. mind Fear's it. allergic is to cats. Is it a thing in British or something like that? That's <laughs> about, I, uh, yeah, similar something to like that. Brilliant. brilliant. Furia yeah, still up 2-0. Oh. You know, Looking the like they're on track to win. <laughs> in, uh, CJ, CJ's head. Well, D2 would love a second goal, and Daniel has a touch off the side wall, and now... Uh, or the back wall and Gen G kind of reorganized. Stop themselves. saying it's your dog, it's not Finder's oh, Keepers. <laughs> seconds, the ball was just left unattended. So Chat, it's looking like Furia is going up 2 1. Back. And Jack is just all up in beast mode. Space, Chronic adds to it. 
And G2 still down by one, work their way to the orange half. But maintaining possession is just different. Now goes to the Whoa. side. Beastmo, what's he up to? Jack just escorts it home. Three one, Genji. Oh well, Beastmo. I mean, he went for it. A really difficult ball here. He just didn't have time to get up there. The ball had far too much pace yeah. on it. He tried to get off the wall. 3-0. 3-0 Furia, by the way, chat. 3-0. It is now going to be a 2-1 and now Gen -G for that game. Got a two -goal lead for the first time and this the one series. is probably going to be over one here soon. Leads by two. Can G2 immediately get back to one? No, it's it. Gen G defending their net, defending the back corner boost, but still G G2 coming forward to so a nice overhead clear by first killer. Did anyone predict Gen G Furia? I don't know how many points were on Gen G Furia. Is that the least? It's the least, chat. We could see some serious payouts here. We could see some serious payouts. In apparently Jack fashion, he has missed the open net. Well, G2 owes salary to that post because uh, they need all the help they can get. G2 are down two, and they were leading. Because we know ball. I mean, I guess those of you who picked that know ball, but the majority of chat, I guess, doesn't know ball. G2, if they can come back, or can Gen G solidify this the same way they did in the last final of the regional? No longer a one team region. Beast mode and friends charge forward, but man, the midfield's been difficult. Double That's a good time. shot by Chronic, too. As G2's defense starts to be threatened or continues to be threatened, I should say, as Jack off the cross uh -oh. keeps G2 camped out. Uh oh, chat. I think the win condition for NA was for G2 to just look like they were clear. North America. And uh, so them not looking like they're clear is a bad sign. For this guy to wake up, he is a, a sleeper threat almost at times that could turn this team into something very scary for Fury to go up against. A small majority of the talent team looking for somebody from Team Vitality to wake up. They were the favorites, according to not a bad sign if they're both super cracked. Did have Fury Historically, that's not how it looks. Good, Historically, that has not how it's looked. Got it to the crossbar, he was bumped. Chaos in front. Are we going to get another game five? I love this. Zen goes. It's off the backboard. Alpha tries again. Are we getting another game five? But three times is the charm for Vitality. A full team effort to give themselves the early game lead. So for the first time in this series, Vitality gets the opening goal. Will it hold up? No, it will not. Lost. It was an awkward look. Very similar to Jan's. I want my I want my top four to be Falcons, Furia, KC, and uh, either G2 or Gen G. That's a that's a peak top four. Peak top four. And not having KC being playing G2. I think G2 Falcons, KC Furia, that matchup. And here comes Furia from the ceiling, lost, trying to carry this one down, and Vitality seems to keep going for the time being. What a save. That was a bang. Every time Yan is anywhere near the ball, maybe a little less... Trefino out there holding it down for the keyboard, keyboard Warriors. Can I get a uh, chatting in chat for our keyboard warrior, Trefino? Trying to get down to ground quickly. And then Zen kind of gets knocked into him, so it's really only Alpha at the back, and he makes the stop with almost all of Furia bearing down on him, and another one saved away. Follow up off the crossbar. Old Ironsides comes to the rescue, and Vitality are off the hook for now. It's not going to stop here, though. Furia still manages. Is there a save. chatting Alpha emote with two Ds? Turning around, takes this ball back, waiting for the second touch. Infield over to Yan. This I feel like that, that could be an actual emote. Down. Now I'm going to look and on 7TV to see if there is one. Oh, there is. Deep in that third, just waiting for anything. <laughs> there is. The fury away. We're adding it right now. On Quick Neither chat. Drop a chatting <laughs> for Jafinho. They've been bailed out by <laughs> the accuracy or lack thereof of Furia, and they've turned it into a 2 1 lead. They're them. Even you can Zen's never, him more like. Count them out. You Sheesh. Can never count out Zen. Times where it feels like they might be a little bit lost in a series. You've got a little bit lost? Wait a second. Put Herc in the Hall of Fame. Put Herc 
in the Hall of Fame. Vitality back in front, looking to expand their lead. Zen had a look. Now Redoso. Nice save, Yan. Still loose as Yan has to clean up the rebound. <laughs> Ban our VIP for Herc. <laughs> I'm not sure if she did it on purpose. I, I think she did it on accident. And that just goes to show how natural she is and why she needs to be in the Hall of Fame. time to go boost and ball. Very few manage boost better than him. He almost always seems to have more than half a tank when he starts to cook. But right now, he's watching his All I know is if Drafino scores and we don't see 90,000 chattings yeah, in the chat. Right. This one's felt a little bit closer, Ooh. Granted, Instead, it was the opposite. He got scared. I, like he needed said, to just dive. This one cleared up field. Like, obviously, you don't want to dive last man here, but I mean, once you're already up, you just dive and you just, you know, <laughs> try and avoid the long shot. of enjoying your content fear it dawned to me in the middle of the night you remind me of dr dot disrespect chad fear dr dot disrespect um is it because he has a mustache <laughs> like what I, I don't watch dr disrespect but so he tells me we don't have very similar demeanors but i think he does have a mustache all right we're getting game five Same personality. I, I can't imagine that's true, but I don't watch Doctor Disrespect. the distance, and this one barring a catastrophic failure, looking to do the same. Thank you, the primer, the two-month primer. By their standards, lost. Trying to bring it in. Doc is a really nice guy, unlike New Fear. Okay. The front running of Vitality. They don't blow leads like this very often. They could just kind of squeeze the game out and wait for game five. It'll have to be kind of Three a goal leads are not often mentally. thrown by really More much of anybody, I would say. Trying to get through the defense and just add to his impressive total. New Fear would never stream a public bat. Is that what he did? Now Alpha looking for more of his own. It's been mostly Zen today, but in this series, Alpha and Redosin have answered the call somebody else had to step up and help the youngster out they've each scored three yeah on the board three members of vitality but yan gets one back here with 31 seconds left Furious. somebody said something in chat that reminded me of this emote that exists in someone else's chat so i'm adding it here possible but it's going to feel that way you do have another chance though at the end of the day but i'm sure they would love to end it <laughs> <laughs> it's just so, such a funny emo. <laughs> it's too bad that it doesn't show up quickly under here. But yo, chain link fence, think of the prime. Remove this emo, you might be banned. No, I don't think I don't think this emo will get me banned. Wait a second, chat. <laughs> Are they gonna choke it? Nothing is safe in Rocket. Pause him. Sure looked like it was over until Yan got that challenge with Radosin brought it back. Hello, Chainlink Fence. That's a huge that's a great first time chat. And now two seconds left. Furia have been solid on kickoffs. Can they be great and break Vitality's hearts? Yan's gotta catch up to this. You got a lot of mechanical prowess over no. here, but not enough. Vitality for I missed the old fear straight from the go fear. Well, there you have they're gonna run ads so it doesn't happen on the next game. Chop up the soul fear, set on his goals fear. I hate the new fear, the bad mood fear, the always rude fear, spaz in the news fear. I miss the sweet fear. Wait, you missed some of the Kanye's. You said I'd like to meet Kanye. So you didn't replace them all. 
close to almost delusional. <laughs> I had to watch a non fear stream for the Gen G G2 game. A non fear stream? Wait, we had it, we had it up. We watched Gen G G2. You should have stuck around. We watched it for game five and everything. No, he just wants to meet Kanye, not you. Oh. <laughs> so that's why he kept that one specifically. <laughs> He still wants to meet Kanye. He just wants to talk about all the different fear, new fear, old fears. What are your thoughts on the Dendrick, the Kendrick and Drake beef? I don't know. I just see it on Twitter. That is, you you know that that is you getting kind of forced into a position that might feel a little bit uncomfortable, especially in moments like this. You might want to do some more, but you got to be allotted the opportunity to do so. And there you have it, Champions Field. Champions Field. A little Furia Vitality. Furia versus Europe in Game 5. Minute and a half or so of this game. And see if he does the worst thing you could possibly do. Try to do too much after a lackluster game. Grafino and Jan both jump up after that one. As a double commit from Furia costs them an opportunity. Rafinho diving in on this, but he can't stay with the play. And now Loss will try to take over from the midfield line. Intercepted by Alpha. Rafinho's over there, so already he's making his presence felt all over the field. Trying to set up Jan, but it went wide. Here comes Vitality. The counter. It's a bit awkward for Furia on this rotation back, but they handled it. My side, I'm just going to get you out of my way, and the bumps are coming in. My pal said you're just Johnny Boy Light. I, I prefer diet Johnny boy still pushing towards that net immediate counter though nice big clear Furia looking to slow things down just a little bit wonder if Furia maybe feels a little bit snake bitten and they hesitate just enough for vitality to take advantage Ooh, lost. lost he's not hesitating at all he has been diet dr go. thunder <laughs> uh. crucial opening goal for Furia here you got it Nice challenge there from Lost to keep this ball in the Vitality half. Yan just trying to redirect it towards that net. Take any and every shot you can up against the Vitality defense. Just I, wanna, I want your finger to score because I want to type chatting there. so bad. Try me the first you know? one on the board. You want the early game lead to make Vitality uncomfortable. And Rodosin's going to clear this one in the mid. Lost. Pass over to Yan. Oh, I couldn't dunk it through Zen. Zen's so good, man. He's so pesky. Yeah, delete him. Good call. No, he deleted someone else. Never mind. Don't let him go unchallenged. He's Zen. Don't let him go unchallenged. Oh, lost his pre-jump. That was crazy. Doctor, Doctor Ufinho. They aren't there. They aren't there. Doctor Ufinho clears those. Yeah, and bump. Ooh, this is a good game. This is a good game. Oh, it hurts me to see nobody challenging for so long. Nice dunk. Don't let Zen go to work. Yeah, and drop it down. Oh, Lost wasn't there in time. And now it's Dr. Yafinho having to turn back around. This time he was there. This time he was there. Instead of being in too deep. Yan. Fake. Oh. Just had everybody to beat. <laughs> so no matter what he did, it's going to be tough. Literally the entire team was on that back post. But it goes right to the back wall where it is, uh, Redosin's got it. Dr. Dr. Ufinho is quicker than Zen. You heard it here first. The one thing I will say that just feels insane is that Vitality have only had the opportunity for one registered shot in this series or in this series in this game so far. This game five, the maybe there's lost. an opportunity for another one here, but easy but this important. Is the most held back Vitality has been that was so crazy. <laughs> that, that, that player just came right from behind the angle. The camera was at. Dr. Rufino, dice him up. Oh, he didn't land. He didn't recover. That's a bucket. Bang! 
Ooh, Zen gave it away, dude. Listen, I thought I was neutral, but it's clear that I would prefer Furia winning in my soul. Lost? How did he escape that? Did someone DC? I swear there's someone just stood on the back wall forever on Vitality. Come on, Dr. Rufino. Yeah, and again? Dr. Rufino? Wait, what was that? That was a crazy passing play. It looks like he put it on Yan. Yan went back to him. Uh-oh, Yan just got demoed on the back line. Dr. Rufino bumped. Ooh, this should this should be okay because now Yan's respawned. Ooh, that's scary. Everyone's on zero. Fury has no boost. Yan just got a hundred. There it is. Oh, that that, that somebody yelled a curse word. <laughs> Seems like they had to mute that there in production a little bit. Furia Gen G. Ball knowers about to get rich, baby. Ball knowers about to get rich. Gen G Furia. Congrats, ball knowers. Oh, Yes, they can, and they have. They are one and one now here in the Swiss Yan, the man. Furia, the ever passionate South American representatives back home playing from Brazil. Yan, the absolute man. Representing their man. country and region incredibly well. Two and O, oh, and a shot to clinch the playoffs tomorrow. Such a gorgeous and respectful game of Rocket League between two high-level teams. We said it before the series even started. This is honestly almost like a simulation of what could have a potential grand final had been like. I wouldn't have expected anything less than a game five between these two squads. <laughs> and I love it. Again, it's just pure hype from this team. Completely warranted. Congratulations, Furia. Okay, we have BDS and Mates, right? In the other game, and we have and just their their chemistry, their togetherness. Falcons, KC. The fact that they are just getting the prediction ready. Phased, ever. All right, chat, start dumping those points in. That makes them, especially Yan, but it also lost Andrefino, major and maybe world championship contenders. Furia, take it on Champions Field. We'll send things off, and we'll see you in just a bit. Oh, they're going to send us off? No interview? But who you're going to see right now oh, is a Vitality There we go. We will see it. Slayer. Another Jorfino uh, interview. Jorfino go. It's Dr. <laughs> this is a great win, wasn't it? Yeah, a pretty great win, man. You know, being screens, bro. I played Vitality two times with Crew and Furia. With crew for, it was 6 0 for them, and with Furia was 6 0 for them. This is the first time I win against my team. What? That's and crazy. It's, that it's is pretty interesting. <laughs> oh my god. So, this is a massive personal win for you. Like, yeah. you must be shaking right now. Yeah, it's incredible. And when I won the first game that we win against them, I was, yeah, my first game against Vitality. And that was <laughs> the series. That's, That's pretty insane. wild. I, I was, it was funny because I was going to ask about scrims in between this. Um, you know, I tried to refresh the chat guys, to see if chatting will show up, but it probably won't. While you're scrimming, maybe uh, it in won't. Between leading Too bad. To this matchup. It'll like, show up tomorrow. Was this something on your mind, or were you trying to treat it like any other match? Yeah, we wanted to play them uh, because I think our coach, Mateus, said that we are going to play against or Genji or Vitality. 
So we wanted to play against Vitality because of the, right. yeah, you know, winning major and uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to. So that's that's what a good mentality is. is. A huge accomplishment, you know. That's amazing. Now I want to uh, try something out here. Actually, we got a, we got a monitor. You guys can see. It. We got a screen in front of us. Uh, I just want to look at a clip and can Doctor Fear write my doctor's note to excuse my absence from work today? Boss is pissed. <laughs> uh, and so yeah, maybe uh, I don't know. And, and if you walk me through, what I don't think so. Like Sorry. Like this, both Thank you for the prime to, uh, to for 14 here. months, JD. Yeah. I think it was like. Somebody check on Jorby. Yeah. <laughs> is he is he live? Is he doing a watch party? Cheering for me, you know, bumping. He's like, bump, 14 bump, bump, months of prime. I, I can bump, I can bump, and he scored. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I love. Uh, I'm coming into this thinking, okay, there's gonna be some structure. It's gonna be all right. I'm gonna get the bump, and you're gonna get the shot. It's just, just screaming. Yeah, yeah, just screaming. <laughs> That's it's really awesome to hear from that side, and and we saw right finally something the, like the went you unique with that win. I honestly believe you that the most of the comms are like that. Do you guys ever have you know, like calm, collective, even though, professional even though comms, it, or is I mean, most of it just emotional? Fury over vitality is, is unique, I guess, as he pointed out in the scrims. Like professional calls, normally we try to keep a marbles time. Calm, Probably you know, not. Not screen. Is this other time, one's gonna come back? Every time, but every time we score, he's like screaming, screaming, screaming. You know. And when the match is heated, like that one, so he's screaming, bum, 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 is normal, you know, it's normal. So, uh, question then for you before I let you go. You he plays you KBM, actually insane. On Chat. Does that target shift now to another team? Who is in your sights, Drew? Oh, we know. I think Carmine, you know, okay. winning against them is like winning against Vitality, you know, three regionals in a row. You put all your points on KC them. and BDS. Absolutely. Hey, you got one down and the rest probably, are to probably, go. It's and probably the uh, most ball-knowing answer. G2 will probably play Complexity. Oh, we got, do we have the odds over when here? Not, it, one I know, to go, oh yeah, he gave percent so chances of who will play who. This is wild. Versus Falcons is coming up next. Our last match of the day brings us All right, a chat. Some expect to see in the grand final. What do we have over Keep here? This one's coming back right in time. Welcome back, everyone, to the alternate stream. The coin knows too much. It, it predicted does. Gen G. It did, yes. And, and we I, saved the best matches for last. And actually. you've got it because I, I cannot flip this coin. It's uh, just not working for me. So we're going to give Lemon the responsibility to flip the coin. She's done some practice runs, and they were all much better than my pathetic attempts earlier. Um, but we'll we'll save that for now. We'll save it for <laughs> a bit. Um, it's going to be Gentle Mates BDS up next, and uh, this is to join. This is of course the less exciting match. But we got eight minutes. Eight minutes on the Falcons, KC. Don't worry. We'll be checking. Checking out Cat Falcons KC. Just a banger of a G2 Johnny is tall. I think Lemon Kiwi might be kind of short too. Of this stream, where uh, Genji came back from a 2-1 deficit and very low scoring games, a lot of open nets. Johnny you could totally outflip Johnny. But I love open What do we think, chat? This, this coaster kind of looks <laughs> like a they're, they're coin. What do we think, chat? They've moved on 2-0. They're just waiting to find out who they will play tomorrow. Um, it could be Gentlemates. It could be BDS. It's uh, G Genji and, and Furia who are sitting at 2-0 right now. Um, I don't know, chat. Have just all <laughs> I don't know. Furia. What, what it might be time. You guys probably saw it on the... Uh, Bro, that is a coin. <laughs> or, uh, over there in the A stream, but yeah, absolute, uh, you know, banger series. The milk Furia coaster. I don't, I don't put like milk on it. So all of the old fear. Wait, did you just say old fear because I did a coin Furia. flip? Looking phenomenal. That this, this and was old gotta, fear level. Kind of these mini grand finals such a good going flip. on. You had the G2 Gen G. Now you have K Corp versus Team Falcons. Everyone, a lot of people in their bracket had these two going up into the very end. And then here, of course, we have BDS Gentle Mage, which. Uh, uh, third and fourth seed of Europe going at it, which BDS has had the edge for a while. In your opinion, what's the best series so far? I think it's time to find out. Let's, let's flip the coin. So Anna, scared. I want to allow so your, your Falcon to ASCII wait, arts, wait, but I'm worried that if I which is, which is, tell the is, smart is, detection to allow ASCII art, it'll be a they mistake. They so I have to deny it. <laughs> the, the, the redder -y, you know, BDS is color. I think you got to do that now for VIP coin flips. Guys, it's not a coin. It's a coaster. Okay, let's see. BDS is orange and it's blue. We have got a blue pick by the coin that's gentlemates for the coin, <laughs> which it would be an upset. I'm going I'm going BDS personally. 
<laughs> You're like, yeah, the coin said that, but I'm going the other way. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you, you say that with confidence because BDS has been Benji, thank you for the prime. Yeah, Maybe the only yeah. time gentle mates have won was in the first top ten worst coin flips. That that was actually a really so good coin flip. That was one of the better coin flips like the that I've seen so far with those coins. Those coins must actually be hard to flip for some reason. Yeah, yeah, I, I got I got to get my reps in. For sure. So yeah. that's yeah, that's where I'm at. Why do I feel like this should win? Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Never mind. I take it back. It's actually hard. One of the top teams in EU. Uh, well, they're definitely one of the top teams. So, you know, if we're if we're going to top four, they're the very clearly top four. But um, they've kind of fallen away from the rest of the pack. BDS, Vitality, and then of course K Corp uh, seem to be just a bit a bit ahead of Gentlemates. And that's that's been reflected in predictions, fan votes, and I think just the the power rankings. Anything I've seen has Gentlemates going to that round five. Vitality lost. Oh, we know. We're watching it all BDS here. We talked about as one of the teams who could just go st you know straight through three zero. So this would be a massive win for gentlemates much like gen g over g2 they would you know love to get a win against their own region um and a team who have beaten them pretty comfortably the last time that they played and this guy all right chat we'll be right back beef all right seiko oh, yeah. leaving bds to join gentlemates facing his former team who have looked uh, very consistent this season as far as matching up against gentlemates goes yeah, so yeah, you've got, of course, the Itachi and Exotic uh, history there. They are, they've, of course, former teammates of Atira. And uh, Exotic has been, for me, the, the real surprise for BDS this season. Not because he's, I mean, I think he's a great player, but the way that he's playing has really been a pleasant surprise to me. He has really slotted in to, uh, you know, the, the Monkey Moon style of BDS. It always seems to be, you know, Monkey Moon's style of play. Just very, very volume focused offense, high pressure, very high defensive line, um, and giving the opponents no time and space. Really, the, you know, Monkey Moon and the original BDS of Mark and Extra back in the day kind of showed the world that that was the winning strategy. And now all of Europe's trying to do it, all the rest of the world's trying to do it. And they're, they're still out here doing it. But now with Drally, the uh, rookie, who's I think had a great split so far, but we'll see if he can keep that up um, now that he's online. Start, strong start earlier, but not, um, I think, the, the real test against Elevate there. This is the real mm -hmm. test for Drally um, and his, uh, in his rookie line event. Yeah, isn't that an amazing story, Drally going to France to play in EU and being known as this incredible ones player, got a tryout on a team like this and made it. And his stats speak for himself. He's number two in shots, number three in goals in the region. So he hit the ground running for sure, the split. And yeah, first regional, he's maybe a little timid, but he's been brilliant ever since. And this is his first RLCS LAN, as you said. Yeah, and uh, you've got actually exotic over there in the middle for the team. So it's interesting to see. Uh, oh, Monkey, Moon's Monkey Moon sleeping on him, dude. Off there on the side. Monkey Moon um, is sleeping on him. Corner. How do I get drops? But, uh, I you link him up to your account and you keep watching here. Gameplay, is Vitality out? Front and no. Center. He's, you know, stopping everything, just getting involved. For if, you know, if Gentlemen's are going to win this, we need to see a return to their uh, their regional one form. You must sacrifice an they, arm. You know, Chat, should we check out what my drops final, are? Taking down Vitality on the way, giving Vitality their first ever elimination from an RLCS event when it happened. And Juicy was for me the, the the real player who stepped up there we we know exactly we, we know what it's actually could do we know what seiko can do they are former lan champions and uh yeah it is, it's juicy who's really i think stepped up to that next level but they need all three if they're gonna take down bds we're getting into it right now gentlemates and bds both one zero wait but i was booting up the so game to see what drops i could get one can remain undefeated is that a fear beer it is not excited for this game Yes, Juicy looked incredible. Real quick chat, we just gotta see what sick drops I got. He, in my opinion, was the best offensive player there. Four screen pinwheel striker. In game four. And this Gray is bench warmers. The first season so where sick. Juicy has really proven so he is capable of being the big so man. Because you're gonna have to make some big plays going up against a team like BDS, who was bested uh, gentle mates uh, throughout the split. All right, chat. I think BS. Biss is going to be audio from the mainstream as soon as they're back very, talking about Falcons. Oh, sorry. Stop, yeah, Falcons exactly KC. Right and then Moon probably Moon full switch one. to full focus on Falcons KC. On that, and only coming back here whenever uh, something pressure. interesting is happening. Have to try to advance if they're going to have a chance to match up. Leak that preset, dude. I was just... Oh, this is a technical difficulty. I'm sure that will be sorted 
momentarily. Either that or this is the longest drawn out mind game <laughs> I've ever seen fake, in the nice history fake. of Rocket League. Nice <laughs> yeah, I was like, what yeah, the heck? Unsurprisingly. Um, yeah, so we, we need to see, uh, obviously uh, all three players connected, but we need to see that fight for the midfield here. I, I want to see um, Itachi, I want to see Juicy really pressing up, trying to get, uh, you know, every ball contested. And then you've got Seiko, obviously one of the best. Been watching your commentary time. for a few months. Crazy um, to catch you live, yo! Great to have you here. Together. And gentle mates, yes, they come in as that fourth piece out of your. Bobby lagged at a second for the beginning. Yeah, I guess so. Something BBS happened. Or maybe more mechanical or faster than them, but we're 23 seconds, chat. How comfortable they're going to look now in the second match, hoping to go up 2-0. And how do you, you link know, your you account? Exclamation point drops. Think, gentle mates. Uh, you have them in your top eight. Mm -hmm. How comfortably could take they you get there into that top through the link eight? Or will on they the Twitter up, uh, over their shoelaces uh, in this series or going forward? Well, you know, so far this is the, the yeah. I got the twelve. I, I got the insta I twelve at the beginning, and we looked at them all. Said, you know, winning that first round um, in a competitive series against Rule One, and then dropping down after this one. So this is, this would be the surprise if they can go one round. You going to Worlds here. if it's in the USA? Um, yeah, for sure. Because for sure. I think, yeah, everybody has. All been right, I think mainstream there. audio is now bis. Facts. While this is that technical pause, I think mainstream is just pure mainstream is just this. Does fear check YouTube chat? I do. I do. BDS over on the all stream. Welcome back. We got one more round of matches. I'm gonna regret doing this. Daz, how you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling off the moon, Wade Punch. <laughs> absolutely ecstatic, and you know exactly why. First things first, we were on this very desk here, and everybody picked Vitality sure. except for moi. And what happened? Of course, not only were they in the lead of the series, Vitality had to force the game five. They ended up winning that. <laughs> and that man there, I've been listening to him for God knows how long, talking about his G2 squad. And what happened? They lost to GG Mobile One Race. <laughs> GG Mobile One Race, always, race. always so good. About saying the whole thing. I'm sorry, where are we? Does fear check Twitch chat? No. CS Copenhagen Major. You don't get to have a bad day. You're lucky it's the Swiss stage right now. They got some more matches to play. This dude was sitting here before we came back on the break on his phone. I don't know what happened. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> how is this happening? I'm going through the cue card. You're done yet. You're done. Like, you're done. Your time's over, buddy. No, started, your time's baby. over, buddy. Nobody else wants to hear that right no more. Now. Congratulations. You ended up getting the, getting the W. And when G2 played the worst they've ever played the whole entire time. You think Daniel's going to have a .309 octane rating again? Daniel scored zero I would hope he didn't. It's the <laughs> he shouldn't be having that. All right. Well, do you know who didn't have a bad day today, Wave? Furia. Furia right. did not right. have a bad That's day right. whatsoever here. Coming out against the world champions. And Furia with a bigger question mark for me out of these great teams that, that made new rosters. I love Furia, Furia but I still had questions around Lost, and they all performed Even teammates thinks well. Daniel is Lost trash. <laughs> Are you the Daniel is trash guy? When he's popping off, oh gosh, the last time he said it. <laughs> anyone here taking down the world champs in the That's just unlucky, dude. He European says Daniel's trash. Daniel has a terrible series, unfortunately. Back. And then <laughs> he comes back with the receipts. <laughs> I wasn't even the one who timed him out. Swarl said out enough. He's also a Dan fan. All right, how's it going over here? Technical bra still. Now, unlike G2, this wasn't a situation of Zen. Teammates voice makes it. You, you guys have Same some crazy takes about everybody. You guys, is, I think you guys need to get your ears checked. Everybody's coming in here like one person says five things and like my ears are bleeding. I think you guys might be exaggerating. I think there's a small chance you're exaggerating. And if Furia just escaped with a <laughs> I will say that they did play great. And the more he got it this time around. He got it this time around. Hope he's feeling good. I know Jewelry's back at home. Jewelry's feeling good too. And all the South American region's feeling good right now. Congratulations. You beat the reigning world champions. But we'll see what you can do moving on. They are 2 and 0. Oh, they could possibly play one match tomorrow and be through to the bracket. We'll see if Furia can do it. That match. At least chat hasn't tomorrow, turned on New Fear. Since when, dude? Chat absolutely turns on New Fear. We close out day one in Copenhagen. On the alternate Chat hates new fear. Gentle mates taking on BDS currently in a pause, but they'll be getting that match started momentarily. But we've been spoiled by these 1 0 rounds. We were hoping that the top eight's going to be right. very competitive. We've had two 1 0 games already. Both went to Master game Baders. Five. We've seen a lot of sweeps. We've seen a lot of 3 1s. But finally, when the top eight are battling, do we even do distance. we even do a VIP or ban? Or is it just clear? We'll see if we get it, folks. Again, twitch.tv slash RL Esports if you want to watch that match. On the mainstream, though, we've gotten through 
three of our matches. We got one more to go, and it is the Goliaths. We have yet to see them on our stream. They were over on the B stream. To start. <laughs> Whoa, well, my we parents just walked in the room. Taken right when you said Falcons. that. Falcons, Falcons, congratulations. You got a good win. Now you get the big one. This is tough because I feel like Falcons, you know, obviously Mina, they dominated the entire time. There was no challenge against them. But also for K Corp, yes, they had a couple challenges here or there, but perfect. Their three qualifiers taking yeah. down Europe's best, including Vitality, of course. K Corp is Batira, your number one seed dude. for a reason. The Vatira mustache, the man. They are in that number one seed is the same if he wasn't just the best player in the world, the he you maybe could say he wasn't pulling right it off, but there's a gap. he but is the best player in the world, so he is pulling gap. it off. Yeah. Just training constantly in and out, and they understand that if they are complacent, teams are going to catch up. And I, this is exactly what I mean when you have this matchup here against Falcons in Swiss. This is the exact that time to show that you are that dominant squad. And Wave Funk, really quick, I made a video right after Vitality won, and I was like, what roster, what dream roster could be? Batira mustache makes me down. predict Falcons. My number one roster was these three Rise, wow. Adam, and Batira. And Chat I, does think I that know, BDS and Gentlemates uh, could go either way, way or, or more likely to go either way. Is, Rise is phenomenal, obviously. Whatever team he goes to, he looks exceptional. He's got experience with the Batira. But Let him borrow well. yours. He's been so good I've worked on mine too long to just year. give it away. And he's a great demo player, and I think you kind of need that in Europe at times where you need. It's looking to like this game is not going to start for so a bit, chat. Three members, and it's looking like this game is also not going to start for a bit. To every final day for what twenty-five tournaments. So, so a K Corp, unbeatable, but it's now. But left. human, we'll see. Well, but they human. are human, so we'll see. And on the other side, a team that's already also gotten a win today. Another team trying to be that unbeatable roster. And I, I think if there, there's there are teams that are scared to go up against Carmen Core right now, I think this is one of the few teams in Copenhagen that is Jeez. excited oh, to have this match right now, Bates. Yeah, they're not worried. They're not concerned. And honestly, they're and probably Mr. ready for them. They've, been, they've made a roster to go up against the Vitalities, the Kite Corps of the world. When you got the Twins plus TRK, you expect them to perform. Once Bro, again, these camera I'm angles looking, making them look 4 11. We had the I hate to reveal like something about the Falcon squad, but they so may just be 411. I will be a little worried because Furia has been looking great, and the Falcons power. TRK equals T for TRK, R for Ross, and K They're for Killiers. You see wow. these guys getting it was meant in. to be. I mean, it just feels like a recipe for success when you think about every single player Lisa on this team and of what all time. <laughs> TRK sitting in that middle seat exactly too is also a big factor in that because he's got a lot of energy and he's also been an all-around player who can make You're fairly certain that Vatira was pissed that Joyo won MVP? Again, we talked about it hey, with Furia can you do, and man? it did work versus Vitality. Falcons are the same way. Play so much offense. Just out, shoot your opponent, play that midfield game 100% of the time. Yeah, I think they, I think they still have the twins wrong on the overlay. End. But again, it's a different beast. It's K Corp. The like that. Team like, I think they still have the twins named this, wrong, again, which is just so funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm reading it, James. I think somebody powers. pointed out there too. They they had it wrong the last time they played. <laughs> the timer is going up. Back in 21 minutes. Oh okay winter yeah he's uh, 20, it's 21 he's guys i forgot chat yeah. i don't use so, i don't use that crazy 24-hour military time you know my my north american brain couldn't couldn't understand it chat um i think ads give you a better chance to get drops so i'm just doing this for everyone else and not just because there's an obvious delay in the stream Embarrassing fear. <laughs> okay, Dr. Fear. Dr. Fear, someone was asking earlier if you could write them a note to get them off work. Is that something you could do? Specifically, JT12 needs a note to get off work. I don't know if they're still here. For 200 subs! <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Fear is a farmer! <laughs> 
They're very wide. Oh my team, goodness, dude. Like so <laughs> well, wait a second. She's actually based. When you're playing against K Corp, you cannot do that. They will no. intercept all those plays. K Corp, though, they'll go for those aerial fakes and follow right behind it with a teammate. So they play closer to the ball. So even if you do go up for the challenge, there's still another member. 200 subs, chat. You heard it here. So we're we'll going to have, have to gift 200. Again. It's hard to tell. Marbles time? Wait, Indiana, is it Marbles time, chat? It. They just dominated. So. Now when they get up against True Test, maybe that gameplay will work. Maybe this stream is never game, resuming. But I think it's unlikely versus K4. I mean, I think that's part of why Falcons is so excited to play against Carmine Core. They have, you have Yo, hey, hey back seven, they give the tier one. Against their region, they've shown they know how skilled they are. But Zero looks really French, Rise looks really British. It's not just us playing in Mina, it's us That would make sense. Everyone, give us the top dogs, let us knock them down. They're going to be giving it their best here. They are sure, sure are going to be giving it their best here. I'm really what is that? to see how is that Vatira? Is that on Vatira's desk? Right now, dude, Vatira. Vatira's the goat. He's a goat, dude. And you could just, you could just have a plush toy on your desk when you're the goat. No questions asked. Yeah. Didn't you say they take their phones? Yeah, are they, do they still have their phones on them right now? You could see them go to the like bin. Uh, there's like a bin that a guy holds. This guy's okay. Oh, I thought his monitor is even plugged in. Yeah. All right, chat. It is. It is actually looking like marbles time. No joke. It's no joke. Kind of looking like marbles time. Right. Like you. One of you mentioned that. Like, oh, Vatira, you reloaded this roster. You went and picked up Rise. I kind of want to do the Splash Tastic C Venture again, chat. Do we hit the Splash Tastic C Venture again? Do we see if there's another cool one? About that roster what about on the felt? Ice, control, that one looks kind of cool. It didn't matter how difficult the match was. Didn't matter what situation. Chat's pre-jumping the exhibition point play. So Let's do on the felt. Collected. This roster to me is OG moist, but now with experience. Oh, absolutely. and that's terrifying. And that's where it comes All right, Chad, I just want to play. Plays where they go for these aerial fakes or you know the deal. Bump instead or any of that. Comes you know the deal. You have if you win so knows what to and you're already a sub, you get a chance at a. VIP with a coin flip. If you're not a sub, you get a sub. And if you get last, it doesn't matter who you are. We will see you in two weeks. Where they're yelling comms like crazy because they're getting too hyped about it. It did work out for him, but for the play style that K Corp brings with all the exclamation point play chat. have to be perfect. Yeah, These are both the streams. No, they came back on this one. Well, oh, no shot. No shot. Save him. Save him. Save him. The camera's on him. The camera's on him. You have to save him. You have to save him. Oh. How was that going to affect the gameplay? Oh my goodness, that was that was the most dramatic thing I've ever seen. Okay, chat. I think we need to start this marbles like right now, uh, because I think it might actually be starting. So quick, you have ten seconds. Exhibition point play. And at the same time, Falcons when they played against OG, OG should. Have won that game one, so that could have all right. What are we looking at here? Falcons didn't look their best as well. So, riding on the felt, they've had a little time to cool off Bendy, figure things out. Huge early lead. Here, Wait, but, Max Seuss yeah, shot right through 94. Like seven hours, That's a 29 a year old. Although they found some ways to stay warm, that is part of the uh, or the even a 30 year old, depending on when their birthday is. Yeah. That you have to develop figuring out how to keep yourself in the mentality when the competition doesn't quite time out the way you're expecting it to. Max uh, Seuss, easy lead, easy lead. Just started it's honestly free for a guy like Max Seuss. Unless he gets stopped up here. Who's going to shoot through? Chris Reaper? He's going to lead now. Oh my goodness. I'm called K? Or how, K? K? Kai? Kai. Kai's been chatting a bunch. Okay, now this is just a mix-up. Who's going to come out? It's impossible to tell. External use. External use. It's not an open shot, but it's pretty It's pretty free. Certainly external use doesn't choke. Get, right? Everyone knows K Corp versus the entire little booster. K Corp, I still think, is like a 40% chance. Nice. Not stopped by any blocks. External but use. Oh, that's all oh, the gates opened for you. It's, it's so free. It's a walk in the park. It's a walk in the park for external use. 
don't even know if the Falcon boys know that that happened. But like, if you think about like the added. Surely he doesn't choke. Just, like, Surely he doesn't choke. Surely he doesn't get sent to the moon by one of these. Able to take down Corn, like, prove nice win, South external America use. And yeah. Mina are the teams taking nice down win. The top dogs of Europe. Like, how nice win, external today use. Saying, like, who's the best third region, right? Sam or Mina, and possibly number two if you want to catch up to yeah. North America. But if these two take down. Now you don't want to finish last, chat. Teams, we're going to start having a lot more questions. We had a very long off season, so we were expect in Europe to just dominate the game because they're practicing versus one another all the time but now a lot of question marks all right you know okay okay KK8 is actually so far behind you know, that they might get killed by the fire which again getting killed by the fire is actually good okay. you just don't want to finish in the bucket last you don't want to finish in the bucket last does kind of come down to midfield I think for okay, me, K8. Definitely, especially in the series that we saw against oh, wait. OG, okay, K8. You got to slow down. OG you got to slow down. You're going too fast. Oh, no. Wait a second. Bendy? Bendy's choking? Oh. I think it's okay. OK. OK, K8. Chat, rip bozo. To OK, K8, who was not quite far enough behind. Here's the problem, though. Like we've said multiple times, Falcon have never really had to get out of first gear, maybe second gear in their own region. See you later. Wait, did OK? OG do beat the Falcons. If we're getting already, who OG away. beats? Not sure if they do, but I think also uh, the they so they won one in like the second round. I think they beat Elevate or something like that, right? For Coach Ferrer, because he has more time. Who did OG beat? No, they beat Limitless. They, beat Limitless. Because normally in Swiss, they almost lost. Have that much Is this one started? No, this one's back to break. Uh oh, chat. But they have like three hours. Uh oh, chat. So are they just farming? Goes back and looks at what Falcons are doing. He probably already had a game plan for every single team here because are they views maxing? But at least he can hone that down a little bit more and figure it out earlier. Trying to run. Guys, I would go for a instead of another marbles. One of round two where you don't let's have go for a clean game plan. But they had hours. Six star that. run. We're, we're talking about Carmen Core like they're this in six star run chat. Force. And so far results wise they have. All right. Been, but we know they're human. We know they can lose. This guy's fairly. Like, is there like what weaknesses are the coaches on other teams looking at to try and exploit? I'm, I'm feeling champ already. <laughs> My guts are telling me I'm watching a champ game. Goal line fake. Ooh, the double fake. I'm looking maybe a little bit lower, but I feel like it's just champ, right? Because we got a little wave dash. We got a little turn. Great touch on the wall. I don't think we're quite grand champ, but we could be grand champ. People are kind of like diagonal flipping. That's a double commit. A little fake. It feels champy, right, chat? No way, this is GC. I think I think we're just champ. I think that's I think it's a two star. I think it's actually pretty easy. This game's impossible, chat. This game's impossible. I used to be so good at this game. All right, perfect from here on out. All right, speed flip. Speed flip on the kickoff. In the Fennec. Ooh, but that's not great. Getting undercut. We'll see if Falcons can use that speed advantage to make the game run just a little bit quicker so there's no uh, opportunities to go for those fakes, to go for those What's the clip gonna be? team plays. So if Falcons can do that and get them on edge... Does he hit this? Is he dunk this? I mean, are we looking at a champ again? Or is that a diamond again? I think we're in the same exact range. It's just... It's not It's not how you play the game. It's how fast can you play the game at the top level. Yes, We got some champs. We got some diamonds. It's not about your actual car speed on the field, but it's more about... when That's a pretty clean touch. Pretty good control. I feel like it's just a champ again well, you look I feel like it's just a champ obviously we were wrong last time correct at all yeah, exactly just yeah. but I think we're just champ again there's a lot of things that go into the concept of speed here these are some all right best teams champ again in the world we'll see how they do chat let us know who you think is going to win. okay obviously didn't learn a lesson there obviously didn't learn a lesson yeah. certainly we don't lose yeah, a lesson right three times in a row certainly we don't forget to learn our lesson three times in a row I feel like I was going low in the past now I'm going high all of a sudden in store here for Carmen okay Cole. I mean are we not in the same the exact right skill range again Europe, they are, more are we still not in the same exact lose, skill range do we dare to champ like one more time with behind them. do we dare go for yet the another champ learning, and the word of the day is adaptability and I do believe that K Corp is probably one of the most adaptable teams you saw Fury they were playing nothing but offense but they had to adapt against Vitality Genji adapted against G2 GC first he, he touch the whole entire, nah I think we just go champ again dude I think we just champ it three times in a row straight down the center and at least this time we're right at least this time we're right a four star 
is not Carmen the worst result ever. Fact. Uh, each team has a but man, coefficient by the rules and Carmen Court will always that ever elusive six star run. The bluest team it's still not there yet. So uh, they're blue. We'll have Falcons in the orange here. Okay, let's look at this coin flip. Comes down, oh, I didn't see it. Coin. Sure? It lagged. The coin says it's sure. It says it's sure. It lagged right when you did the coin flip. orange a lot though. That's not nuts. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Hey, it's 3D. Who did you pick? I got I got Carmen Court on this one. I am not predicting against the blue wall until they lose here. Chat has them as well. They were they are fierce on the field. They are fierce in the stands as well. We'll see if they can continue and keep up that reputation here to close out day one. The Copenhagen Major. It is the big bad themselves, Carmen Core. Taking on the champions of the Middle East, Falcons versus Carmen Core to close out day one. All right. It looks like we're playing. Is the other game started too? Two nope, just our game. Titans of their respective regions. Only one will advance to 2-0 and oh and have a shot at the top seed. You bet tomorrow. one million dollar Falcons win. Again, we are being given an incredible matchup. Another, you know, simulated All right, grand chat. final, if you would say, right? Carmen Corp. A lot of people have this as their grand final. In the world right now. Rah, wow. Look at him go. Look at the big man go. Having that one fall right in front of him, diving in seven seconds in, and we'll see how K Corp responds. Ross didn't have to do much in their last series. Kaleers just did it all for them. Nothing but high praise to the name of Falcons throughout the week here in Denmark. I, I have been so excited to big see Big man, you just said he's 4'11". Big man on the field. That's all that matters. The hardest. This is some of our grand final predictions. Yeah, certainly was my grand final prediction. Won't we'll bother telling you who I think is going to win. I think everybody knows. This one <laughs> will be ricocheted away as Team Falcons repel another attempt from the blue wall and Otto and Rise are not on the same page so here goes TRK only Vati to beat and Otto will just come right in from behind to scoop that ball up Falcons not overextending at all not able to Ooh, kind of scary scary Army for the Falcons court. and we'll see if that continues TRK doubles those TRK I think be such a hard read and Rise will have it. Uh, Killiers actually experiments with his cars too, by the way, for those people who care about that. But again, Instead of just ripping the same exact Mina Fennec for the 954th time, yeah, he, he gives like it a little bit of flair. very valid to mention, and that should be talked about, is the amount of time that you have to wait in between your matches can affect you a lot. Killiers in the steak, you know, Fennec? You <laughs> or you rest, or you want to take a scrim on, or go play some ranked in the in-between. What you do matters and I, I feel like it's safe to say a carving court they like to keep themselves warmed up in the in-between but that is a long amount of time headed into this well and you look at what we saw at times look at the dashing matchup, right there were some technical issues Ross is so close to the screen series. he literally has to look up that's what that's how he likes it dude the, the full lean forward it's like it's almost like he needs the chest like hit the, the the desk touching his chest and rise will just kind of camp out by the corner. Like if there was no desk the there, way. would he continue to lean forward or does he want to like rest on the desk? Experienced squad doing right by the players here so far today. Game this is just calling Carmine. They are Carmine. Although Falcons are in a That's how you say it. I know it looks like it says Carmine. Uh but it is Carmine Corp. Kind of like uh Alpine. It's like it's Alpine or whatever instead of Alpine. Ooh, Rawas! Look at him go, man. Uh, this is, just a beautiful this is how he wins the MVP dream. awards. Little reset right touch, follow up, plane. top right double. Vati again, the one who gets and beat Ross out. Has a pair for Team Falcons, who are bringing the fight right to K Corp. They just look so confident coming into this matchup, which is what you need if you're going up at Look up Strat is Biss. <laughs> I used to do that, but that's because my chair was bad. I used to lean forward a bunch, and I thought it was because I thought that was comfortable, and as soon as I got a good chair, I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> no, I actually had to do that because my chair was broken. Look at Kaleers go, dude. If he scores this, he has no boost, but he's just dashing like a madman. <laughs> Two goal lead with 
He had like 15 dashes on the sidewall there. Quickly, Carmine Court can attack. But after nine goals from killers in, in round one, it is Ruas who's stealing the show, looking for a hat trick with about 90 seconds left. Dumped back in again, and K-Corp again pushed to their back line. And the blue wall has not found much success at all on the offensive end in... Look at the Falcons speed. Is that just in? This one Sheesh. And in Look at TRK, TRK go, dude. What a tap around the first challenge, around the second. That's actually nasty. The intentional touch off the back wall uh, instead of towards the challenger. And so it popped back off the wall and then back to himself. Of course, we can expect that these are maybe two of the best teams in the world. Maybe the two best. But to see it go 3 0, maybe 4. They're just, they're just crushing. <laughs> Sheesh. The spotlight on him right now. Please don't be a gentleman sweep. Already coach chat's already coping. Treads like please. <laughs> Nothing has been answered to, which feels almost impossible and weird to be saying right now. I feel like Carmen Court Chat was pretty hard on KCBBS. That has worked so well against so many. It's finally mixing up. So it's finally mixing up. If doing works Falcons are able to get the KC. win. And well, you just gotta keep it going for the next 50 seconds. We saw the last round mix up too with Furia over Vitality. Can NA beat you is the question. You still think G2 should be above Falcons? Dubbed as our main event for good reason. And of course, when you get to a, a moment nope. like this, and you're <laughs> Is that what, did I say that? Major, I had him in tier. I had him. I, I think my tier list had Boy, I what everybody in A with about, with Carmen Core and S. Well, you have it. And right now, it is the loss. Oh, Killers wants to get a goal too. To All right, that's a crazy final. game one. Scoreless is wild. Scoreless for KC. Dub. Is pretty wild. Falcons look in As the other round started, nope. Exactly the it is just in a way screen. I got to figure that out. They are dominant. This is a top team in the entire world. No argue about it. There are very, very few teams that have been able to put up a proper fight against Carmen Corp. The last time I would argue that we saw something like that would have been Su against KC back in the OQ. And that was in their home region. Once we start mixing these guys in, the fact that Falcons are coming in and really making Carmen work in this series is a huge statement to get that opening win is massive. And to head into game two with your head held high couldn't you think Falcons feeling. win the major regardless of the match result? I'd be stoked. I'd be stoked for a non-NAEU win. So far this season, and I do think it's probably, you know, Mina Falcons, who has that dominant. best chance for sure. Furia knows. A team They've looked good. So after all that hurt, Team Falcons dominant in game one as they've been dominant throughout their respective season. And I think the big question has been, okay, you did it in Mina, which isn't a very deep region. Can you do it against... Trust the fairer process? You think Twisted Minds so Nip could beat Kate LG OG? You saw what Falcons just did to them. Yeah. yeah. And, well, I don't expect anything less. I feel like Falcons have the capability to keep this level of consistency. You're saying if we gave two, Sam three and Mina three... And had NA only have two. Oh, Falcons are just them. Chat, does Chat just no ball? Chat has been huge on the Falcons. Look at that pre-flip bump, dude. That's so dirty. Pre-flip around the ball to snag the bump is actually insane. It was Ross in game one. It's Killers now adding his tenth goal of the day. 
And now K Corp looking for its first goal. KC are scoreless. Series and not scoreless. Oh man, I, the fact that Killers is getting in on the action too is actually very, very massive because in game number one, he was the one feeding the assists throughout everything. So you get him on it, and all three players are going crazy. Carmen Corp, they've got a, a world of challenges headed up against them in game number two. This one's headed to the backboard. A nice little carry out into the side by Ruas here. And Falcons just looking to float this one out of their own half. A, a little demo and a pinch. Achiro. Wait, where did Atto get? Was it a double back. demo? To take a shot Had to have been double demo because Atto should have still been over there. Corp at times maybe could be described as a sleeping giant, but it needs to wake up real soon. First minute, first six minutes of this series, dominated by Team Falcons. Ooh, no follow up. The kings of Mina, looking to just continue. Little passing play, no nope, denied. The Swiss stage. If they get to the finals, only the issue is temple. nerves. They have played in a ton of grand finals on on lands, not as intense as I think this land will be. Again. But I think the Mina teams have that buff and that they play a ton of lands in Saudi. So they're just a lot more used to it. Try to create more opportunities, but the rotations are there. This is a very good defensive squad. We know, of course, all about their offense. Averaging three and a half goals. Do you think a team's coach plays a huge role? Um, it plays a role. Answers so far through a game and a half. Absolutely yes. I think I think you should ask the players this how much they think coaches is, play a role. But it seems like they're they're starting to their role is increasing as time goes on. As far as they are concerned here, coaches are getting better. Major. And Falcon still up by one. Carmen Corp unable to answer to anything. Rise gonna take this ball away from the Falcons. Tries to get past TRK. Not quite able to do so though. It's how trying to just keep it going but they keep getting sent back is Ruas going to double this oh but Tira actually didn't have that read and what is that this one doesn't find its way through but again it's a Carmen Corp I don't even think Ruas like thought that that was possible I mean not a crisis when you've been as dominant as you have been but that drop down to killers really should have turned into a goal now Vatira from his own back wall very familiar position for K Corp collectively. Ooh. Got the bump. Now rise. He'll They're just double cringing. Double air dribble bump. Him, Bringing out all the cringe. The Brings it out. It was a great attempt from K Corp. The idea was there. Ruas was simply better. It, it just it looks like they came in with a game plan and they are just executing it to perfection. Ooh. It takes two players to keep this one out of your game. Killers aired it. Falcons. Got there a bit too quick. TRK, big whiff. Oh Wait a second. Is Carmen Corp probably sweating just a little bit after that? Minute 40 seconds, all three players from Carmen Corp kind of That's so dangerous, but they're going to chill. Corner, they're they're going to get out. The best sign as they start to what does drops bit, mean? It's in-game items. Net, just wide in their back corner, clear out into the mid, and here comes TRK. Bang. Oh. Oh. No Never mind, whiff, I mean. Made on it, but not too much to stress about when you're still in the lead. Couple of near misses, and you could argue K Corp are a little bit lucky that this isn't a three nothing game right now. Atto stuck on his back wall, but Tira waiting to follow. He's got to jump into action here, and all he can do is clear it away. Rise, a little slow on the challenge. Now killers. Ooh, bring just a little it down bit too much. Across, and it's a toe who is right there. But again, listen, there hasn't been a blitz on either side as we get to the final minute. Shots are 4-2 in favor of K-Corp, but the one that matters came from Killers. What, eight seconds into this game and a 1-0 lead for Falcons. Yep, it's been Falcons holding on to their extreme... Robos reads those, man. Robos reads those. As I say that, they said, no, you know what, let's extend it. Make it was Rise who hit it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's Blue Trail. Rise pinched it out. Robos was there, dude. He, he doesn't miss those. K -Corp Sweeping KC would be insane. The hands of Team Falcons. This main event has okay, well, there's their first goal. This is their only goal. How did they get it? Like a kickoff? A kickoff play. It was just a pinch from the and a miss from Ruas. On the attempt to make the save there. I think from Ruas, but okay, there, there's a glimmer of hope if you're Carmen Corp. Oh, the perfect sweep denied, yeah. Off, almost in your favor. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. You're talking about specifically when they never score. 
from Rise, but this ball goes back mid. The Here truly perfect sweep. Trying to send it forward, but if it gets denied by oh, that being the only goal, the just like a pinch off the ceiling. Look at Rawas go. Look at him go, chat. Are you kidding me? Rawas is just one step ahead. Look at the man go. Now you've had enough. Falcons Look at the smiles. Look at the smiles. I want to make sure it wasn't covering him. Smiles all around on the Falcon side. And K Corp left wondering what in the world Imagine that just rolls directly in the net. Maybe it might be easier to answer what's going right right now. It is all Team Falcons through the first 10 minutes. And it's Falcons who have three shots. Wow. 2-0. 2 could not be in the works from this team. We have heard it from numerous players. Whew, has the other match well even started? All right, it is started over here. Mates BDS is being played. But I think we're I think we're on this uh, Falcons KC match. They have just absolutely dominated. I would have expected something from KC at this point. I mean, granted, the series scoreline probably isn't an exact representation of how these games have been, but Falcons on the way to shut out KC. Seven to one. The Diaz Moxie the Madness match will be released Team later Falcons. today. The pride of Saudi Number Arabia three in predictions. Continue Falcons BDS. Bring it. Falcons BDS right is going to pay out pretty big. Wall, Honestly, Falcons one, winning it all either way is paying out pretty big. In game two. We've ended that submissions, right? Yeah, sheesh, dude. Got a legend behind the Carmine Corp squad. Farah. They brought him over for situations like this. Hey, you want a world championship? No timeouts, though. Do Best of five. 1-1 one, one in BDS. Is where Alpine. Like is gonna earn his money. Your throat hurts from I shouting to my brother about how Falcons is better than Carmine Corp. <laughs> hey. And argue that he is we can't deny it. We can't deny what we're seeing on the field. In the entire world in terms of coaching. You got Arizona this minus points. Nice. Plays to stop some of the worst situations you can be in. So I have no doubt that there's some sort of a, a, a plan of action headed into this game. Number three against Team Falcons. But you've only got five minutes in regulation to fix what has happened in games one and two. Otherwise, Falcons get to solidify themselves as a complete top dog here in day number one of the Swiss. So and our top, our 2-0 and teams are Gen G and no, Furia. And now we have two more. Oh, the, the Falcons are them. The Falcons are them. The Falcons are them. Chat, are we just fortunate that Mina joined late so... I'm oh, sorry, joined the RLCS so late? Like, if we had let them in the RLCS earlier, would it just be Mina domination? Mina would have six spots. Minions helping him out. To be fair, Mina's always been top heavy, but if you bring them in the RLCS early, then maybe the top heaviness, you know, gets a little bit deeper. Because so far in the couple seasons they've been in, it's already gotten a lot deeper. Gave everyone else a nine season head start. Yeah. Reuniting with his former Queso and Moist teammate. But it's not coming up all sunshine and roses here as game three. The only goal Falcons, that like KC have two. scored and it is a was that Atto kickoff, like That's bounce off the ceiling, basically and luck goal. Ooh, and what a flick towards that net there. Finally, Carmen Corp out of their own half and attempts at an infill, but the shot goes wide. And Falcons look to transition. Italians I mean, Falcons just Falcons are just half, keep taking shots at them. Vazzi, no connection they're peaking so I mean they're they're, they're crushing it so hard. Okay. Like Casey has nothing going. But I think it's credit to the Falcons for the most part. Three minutes left in game number three. It starts to become a little dangerous because you might need all three of those minutes just to be able to tie things off. Casey are luck merchants. Wait. <laughs> Did not say you know, that. That's for sure. They've got three, but as we yeah, Casey, do seem like they're playing scared, but I would be scared too. 
I would be scared too from what I've seen so far. I think I just heard some yells. Oh, what a save. Atto was trying to bump him. TRK says, you guys aren't getting any goals. You're not getting any goals. Oh, that's a legit goal. And just like that, it could turn around. Just like that. It's funny how quickly it's like, he gets one and it's like, oh, well, I can actually see KC winning now. But they, but they haven't scored yet. And not surprised we always see them to have the best ones players. Why should they not be able to be the best threes players? Yeah, I mean, there's a point to be made there. Saudi Arabia and French dominate ones. Maybe they just dominate Rocket League. Ophir wouldn't have jinx maxed. I think I've always jinxed Max. What's the best posture to play? It's a, it's a trade. A demos. Oh, we couldn't get it with speed. Killiers? Oh, he tried to go extra high, too, to avoid Rise. Look at S for his tweet. You, you are just number one in my books at that point. That is such an incredible power move and a power statement. But you got to get there first. This ball headed back towards the Carmine Corp half. Here comes the towel trying to slow things down. In the Wait. <laughs> but as soon as Wait, did he say Carmine Corp was going to win? Oh, oh, but he had Furia and Furia won. Well, that would have been a very loud response. And it might have been too much for K Corp to overcome, but now here they come. It's Rise looking for contact again, finding minimum. And look at all three. I can hear the other game in, in their audio. Facing virtually non-existent. Atta will at least bail them out here and play for possession. Everybody can get reset, but this ball given away, and Rise had to jump in front. I mean, this is what we've seen in games past, right? Carmen Corp kind of trying to get things together a little bit, but it feels like Falcons, the dude, they're putting it on right now. Team, that demo. We see something rare. It's Carmen Corp bunched up a little bit. And they got to kind of, like you said, reset themselves. But 14 seconds left here in game number three. The potential for somebody to steal this at the last second or end it all even. Oh, here we go. Seconds left. Oh, that'll get cleaned up. Surely, surely that gets cleaned up. OT, OT, some sweaty OT chat. The invincible blue wall might have a few holes in it now, but they've survived. No kickoff goal. Oh, wait. I take it back. It's pretty much a kickoff goal. Casey has done well in kickoffs. And they win it into the corner, and Vatira makes it work. Vatira and Rise, dude. They're not going out without a fight. They're not going out without a fight. Over here, we got Gentlemates. Gentlemates up 1 0. They realize, okay, that's one. There's a lot of work to do, and you can only get one at a time. But Farah has. You can't embarrass KC too hard. We let him have one game. A potential reverse sweep. They've done the first job, survived this onslaught from Falcons, and they limited the scoring opportunities. You see just the four shots there. Well, K G2, KC, and Falcons are the three strongest own. teams. I mean, you, you know, G2 back, lost today, though, right? Some quality opportunities but not many where you felt like k-corp really had to work hard to keep falcons off the scoreboard and they can continue to channel that no possible reverse a just little gentlemen's you know some people say the gentlemen's is to get two then let the other team have one so that you don't sweep them and then finish to be fair swiss means nothing it's a little bit of cope I think Swiss but means a good amount. <laughs> I think uh, Swiss at the major is definitely means something. Now, I, I think your point that it doesn't mean as much as you, know, you can you can always turn it around. You can always turn it around if you just get the last seed in Swiss and then just win out. But kind of i mean it really was 2-1 for a, a significant chunk at the end and then not for teams which are definitely going to clear swiss 
I guess, but you, you want to get yourself the best possible matchup. You don't want to have to play against another team that's super good in the first round because you just choked away Swiss because it didn't matter. But yeah, I would expect both these teams to make it out of Swiss. It's TRK waterfall down and he scores. There you have it. And they're coming out. Is this the one? They scored for us last game too. That's a big miss, dude. Purest level of early game aggression against KC. It works out once again. The question now is how quickly can Carmen Corp respond? And off the kickoff, this ball's gonna head towards that net. Great save there from TRK. This one off the backboard, out onto the other end of the field. But this time, Carmen Corp not sent back home as quickly as they have in the past. Now, finally able to keep the pressure on for a little bit longer. Very cleverly set out to midfield, too, by the collector. Ooh, what a s <laughs> not save. <laughs> like, what a save to not have this get muscled through. To get 50 by Rise. It is just pure non-stop pushing forward inch by Blood red wine. You have to try stuff in once, I would say. Exactly you have to go out of your comfort zone if you want to learn. Between KC and Falcons. Do you think you can cast better than Johnny? No hate, just to be honest. No. <laughs> I definitely don't think about it that way anyways. But Johnny's like award nominated uh Rocket League caster. So the previously or so far are you, are you saying do I think I'm better than all the award nominated captures who have worked on the broadcast for a long time probably not whoa was that clear just getting big time faked Driving this ball forward. Finally, a 50 going in favor of Falcons. And here comes Ruas. Ruas passed himself. Oh! Yeah, there's no, there's no finish angle. Everybody all in. Everybody dove. So now everybody has to recover. And they handled it. Oh, good intercept there as Ruas will send it all the way downfield. Ruas bounced that right towards Killers and maybe a little fortunate. That it wasn't That's very shootable. A few pixels closer. There's wow. Denied by nice Ruas. save. And a couple of near misses as we saw in the previous game, but nothing else breaking. I think 1v1's Ruas different though. I think that minutes. person was asking about threes. At least I'm assuming they're asking about threes. Oh, commentating. Eventful. I wouldn't have expected anything less from this team headed into this game number 4. I mean Again, Carmen Corp, they absolutely are favorites coming into this one. It's more about Falcons trying to take the favoritism away from them in the Swiss stage. And are we getting game five, Chad? Doing so right now. Are we getting Carmen game five? Corp, trying to level things out a little Falcons have been doing a lot of late recovering, a lot of bailing themselves out. Killers the still got the 50. Ruas, flick over Vatira. Ooh, we'll follow up. Tierke is actually kind of awkward, but no one's around. Do you think a high-level zero-goal game is more exciting? Whoa, I think it can be exciting. A ton of goals can be pretty boring. Oh, what a save. Wait a second. I missed something there. Um, I, I'd be down to... Probably I'd be down to do both, be an esports caster, Rocket League esports caster, and a streamer. But if you forced me to pick one or the other, it'd be a streamer. Has been very short lived. They were just being a lot more efficient with it in the previous games. Exactly. It's all about what you wow, that was ballsy. That How did he Even keep that? Like, just took it straight across the net, knowing he's gonna get dived and dunked, the game can and just fought it out. It in it only Such a, a Chad move. Nobody's on the back wall. Ooh, what a demo from Atto. That was actually a ridiculous chain dash into demo. Can there's bump? Ooh, what a save by Batira. That was about to be a banger. Batira guided it off. What's TRK got? Ooh. Luckily, Kadir just got demoed. Oh, we missed. Rise missed. Oh, TRK missed. Oh, the 
been so close, but close is not good enough. You've got to find a knockout blow. Atau now giving chase as Kaleers will have to get this away quickly. Rise up to meet him. Got I'm hearing so much yelling in the other game. I'm assuming since they yelled last time in Mates 1 that it must be the Gentle Mates. Could end it here. Or Carmen Corp can extend in game number four. Here comes Rise. Are we seeing a 3 1 Falcon shot? Oh no, BDS Alpine. And Vatira. Alpine. Slowing things down. Just one, one. pushing into the Falcon side. 10 seconds on the clock. Killers Another OT. Over to one. Into the corner. They stay. Falcons. Can they take this away at the last moment? Or it was an OT game three. You're right. Over to Vatira. Off the backboard. Double Ooh, down. that was. Very close. In game number four. Seen Vatira do it hundreds of times and just kind of assumed it was going to drop. But it hits the ground. And Carmi. They scored on kickoff, right? In, the, in overtime, overtime, quickly. Atau lost that one. So now it's killers. Nothing there. Infield pass, but Ramos almost took it. He tried to, like, defensive, defensive infield. Ooh, double demo. But they are it's all good. Falcons will spawn back. <laughs> Ramos spawned. He moved out of the spawn location, yeah, and the is, killers showed up right behind him. Level 10 aggression to start coming out from Carmen Corp, but a huge clear allows Falcons to go upfield on this one. Atau's going to take this to the sky. And a challenge still in the favor of Carmen Corp. Bati. Next, nope, nope, the denied. Board. Nice read there from Ruas out into the mid. This one. That was like their IRL birth. A challenge from killers is one. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> out of their half not once but twice and yet stay unsuccessful tense moments now as Falcon try to mount an attack but this will fall to Vatira he too made the same joke too he's the guy but it's not gonna happen this time he was going head hunting came up empty was a demo on the other side though and oh that's a huge touch to huge touch because that's what's gonna pass it in field clears is outplayed TRK and though get back in time. Killers yes, and TRK can. not Zato on the same page Amatira's got this. Had to avoid a teammate. Also had killers right there in his grill. And now it's Atto. No, thank you for the super chat. In support. He'll come up as well. Try to win it. No. Vatira the Boss ball. Boss pre-flip dunk. Still dangerous for K-Corp. Vati, center. And it's deflected away. And the back pass coming through over to Rise as he tries to clear this one to the back of the board. Benjamin Wanders. TRK over to one. Think of the hundred. The hands of Carmen whatever Carmen currency that is. You don't want if you are the Falcons. Stuck back in their own half. Another touch here in the corner. Can they break out? Or does Carmen Corp continue to just chop away at the defense of the Falcons? Atau getting met with a challenge in the mid here. Two minutes into OT. This has felt like Carmen Corp's overtime. And Falcons struggling to break out and stay out of their own half. They've had their chances. Uh, TRK. Sauce everybody up. Oh, dodge a demo. Atau goal line save. Wait, the follow up. The pump. Ooh, love that. Love that attempt. That was a great attempt. There's Vatira decoy and it almost fell right to a towel, but now it's rise, bringing it across. The Madness Grand Final will be live pretty much after this stream ends. Undeterred so far. Vatira more the additional super chat that time. Did not break through. DRK power clear he can follow it himself and rise gotta have it away and he does that was a huge clear allowing Falcons to be able nice to pass pass nice pass DRK. oh what a Shot save oh my goodness and Carmi Corp live to see another minute of OT why they watch the serious flash before their eyes and oh the double the jump same. to clear it out it's a towel Got the win on the 50, but it's That's in. Oh my goodness, what a save. Another one in. That one's in. Game five. Game five, chat. Game five. Mates looking like they're going to go win over against BDS. Just another day at the office for Vatira and company. By the way, this genuinely looks like a grand final. I mean, first it might be. Of the series. It could Only be a grand final teaser. To score in this epic confrontation between the best from Mina and the best from Now it's Europe. crazy to think that Falcons could go, be going 1 1. 
getting one of his own as well, leading the way. Falcons going 1-1 one, one and having the same record as like OG. So too have collectively just doesn't, just doesn't feel right. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Team Falcons are working together as such an incredible unit and they have done so well individually. What should Falcons do about the demo well, adjustments? Corp, you got to talk about it right, but Tira finally Dude, I don't know. I mean they've been playing well. Look, I mean they're so they had a ton of good opportunities. They're, they're a little bit scattered in defense. There's a ton of different times that they're like, like all in and kind of thrives, scattering right? back. If there's anybody who has created a team to work so incredibly well under pressure and to beat the odds, it is this squad right here. Two of these three have done it under the most immense pressure. Atau is the newest of the bunch. All right, here we go. Pressure, here we go, chat. For Wasp pose. For Wasp pose for the rest of the series. How could you not be? Brilliantly for K-Corp. And now he will start it off for the blue wall, trying to set up Vatira. And waiting for a mistake. That what might come out from Team Falcons. Rise, kind of a token challenge. We're off and running here on Champions Field between K Corp and Team Falcons as the Blue Wall tries to reverse sweep Mina's crown. They are looking good doing it too. It has been nothing but a drive of momentum for the last two games for the Ooh, Blue Ooh, the lead bump Wall. by Killiers. But Falcons still is there an angle? Still the shots Doesn't matter. Not, not if you're going to go to the ground. Down too bad. It's not going to end here. 30 seconds or so have gone by where Falcons get to hold on to the pressure. Carmen Corp though wanting to stop them in their tracks going to be a little bit harder than it has in the past bang the Ooh, he, 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 he did not pull back on that shot DRK up next to the back wall but Carmen Corp has them red uh, yeah he needed he needs to be a pass it's going to be so hard to shoot that he hasn't been burned yet but it's needed somebody close. around Ooh, demo. Like TRK has Vatira to beat. A little reset. A little wave dash. 50. Oh, the, the extra bump. Actually, was really smart. This is happening to the Falcons a ton, though. They, they have a lot of offensive pressure, and then they have to scatter back. Have to survive to scatter back when it doesn't work. Here comes Killers. Again, just trying to get past the midfield line. Falcons doing a much more consistent job of breaking out. What a save. Which is a good sign of life for them after losing two in the series. Here comes Batira, slowly starting to wake up as well here in game number five when it matters most. But you're going to get sent back in your own half. TRK looking to follow up this ball. Get it. No bump onto a towel. They're so it's good, okay. they're allowed to commit. I mean, they do get away with it a lot. Three minutes left in regulation and against KC, one. you're not just going to score by doing corner, nothing special. Any follow-ups? Oh no, it's a counter-attack. Double. Oh my goodness, they like team pinched it, it looks like. Alpine up 2-1 against BDS. Double bump from TRK. Killiers leaves it for Rawas. Look at the Twinergy. You can see K Corp trying to press the issue just a little bit. Try to force Falcons into a mistake. There's an Wow. Ricochets away. TRK did have a lot stronger TRK. save. Huge it was him or Rawas. TRK ended the possession. The Ooh, the they're just scrambling, though. It's a little bit of scrambling. Ooh, Rawas does not get air dribble bumps. Not even in threes. Not even in threes does Rawas get air dribble bumps. Does he read these? Double save with the follow-up. Oh, Killers! Look at the squad go. Falcons with the lead. Look at him muscle it through. It was never going to be easy. It was never going to be easy. What a save indeed. What is that kickoff? Just a trash tier kickoff saved by Rawas. Swept out. Batira neutral with TRK. And Falcons repel yet another Carmine Corp attack. Things just feeling not necessarily out of reach for Carmine Corp, but it is getting increasingly difficult as time goes on. We've got 90 seconds to answer to this one goal, and we've seen it to where it's taken them much longer to find that answer. 
Nice. Nice clear for the Falcons. Imagine having to play KC in the one and one round. Dude, nobody from KC's there. Now it's late recovering. TRK about to sauce you up. Nice, good speed. Fakes. Huge fakes. Oh, are they going to stay locked? Oh, they're, they're going to fall off. Ruas decided to leave. Interesting. They both they both were thinking about it, whether or not they felt good about their 2v2 team. <laughs> that's that's pretty interesting. I think you, you just stay in it if you think your team's pretty good in 2v2, but 2v2 has more scoring, so Falcons should not accept the 2v2. So not a bad idea to jump off. He's not in rule one anymore. Yeah, he's allowed to do it. Oh, this is going to be a bucket. Oh, 1-1, one, one, chat. Killier's last back had to hit the reverse to dodge Matira, and that, I mean, that was it. That was it. Chat. Neither one of these teams should be going 1-1, but someone has to. Ooh, that was scary. If Atira got a clean dunk. Rawas? Zero second magic? No. That's in ground. All right. OT. Game five OT. This is what we wanted. This is what all the fans wanted. They've been waiting for KC Falcons. Is that just in? Oh, what? Is that one in? Oh, my goodness. What is that? What is that? Dunk? Follow? Oh, he had to go high. Oh, my goodness. Relax 50. Goal line 50. Atto. Wow. If KC end up winning this, like, it's just ridiculous. Oh, but no one's home. Relax. Huge, huge, huge play. You have to be so intentional and careful with where you some of these players are headed towards this one. Saving the, the boost. Atto, air. air dribble cringe. Killer's got to make a reverse save. But as quickly as it starts, it ends. And the counter attack starts to come through a minute into this overtime. And it's Falcons pushing towards the KC net. This one in mid. Ooh, I mean, it's so risky, I feel like, to try and catch with Batira coming. And They are they are awkward in nets. They're so lucky there was not a shooter around in that moment. Okay, big clear. It's been KC for a bit now. Nice interception. Another dunk. Huge dunk, but they double committed on it. Ooh, what, a, what a demo dodge. Two minutes. Two minutes. Who's scoring when, chat? Who knows ball? Is it Kalir's at 220? Is it TRK right now? No, it's a fake. Rawas! Rawas 217! Let's go, Falcons! I can't understand them, but I'm hype. <laughs> Wow, what a hype round. Wow. What a hype round. Casey into the 1-1 one, one round, chat. Casey into the 1-1 one, one round. Please let the grand final be a rematch. That'd be crazy, man. That's a good that was a good series. That was a good series. We all climaxed in unison. No words can describe 
It's looking like Alpine just won over here. Alpine just won against BDS. So BDS and KC both lost. BDS, KC both lost. Let's see if uh, this is refreshed. All right, this is not fully refreshed yet. How has he not instantly done that seconds after it ended? Yeah, I see you, Dr. Fear. I see. International challenge comes in. And Falcons take Casey down. Team Falcons. What side is that? The, this is the uh, the rocket science site. As one side of the series as you could ask for. That first ten minutes was just a beating. Shoes, chat. Casey All right, here's the deal, chat. I actually have to run. I actually have to run. So series are over for today. Um. And then it goes to game five. But I have to run. The prophecy was about to be fulfilled. It was all scripted out. But I had a good and time today, chat. Give me your points. All right, I'll give you your points. For the gentle the mates. Falcons. Yeah, people are making some serious money. Oh, they did. They did. Somebody ended it. Mate, Falcons mates. Huge points. Chat, thanks for hanging out today. I had a great time. Hopefully, you guys did as well. I think tomorrow we'll be back. I think we're going to run it again, chat. I think I had a good time. So I'm expecting to be back tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out today, chat. I'll be heading out. We're going to watch some ads. We'll find somebody to raid. Farm out that last bit of drops. I had a great time. Hopefully you did as well. See you tomorrow, guys.
Rule One, but they picked it up in the next uh, in the second series. However, Falcons are looking great. يا ساتر يا عيال يا عيال وش ذا اليوم وش ذا الحلم وش ذا اللي قاعد نعيشه يا رب تكمل يا رب تكمل اوه فالكونز خلوها يا اخوان جيم خامس عشان كذا الحماس ما يقتلون الحماس للبطوله لازم يكون في تشويق ومين بيفوز اوه ممكن كارمن لو فاز سويد ما كان في تنافس اه يا رب والله يا عيال والله كنت مرتاح يوم بيفوزون سويد صراحة والله العظيم كنت منصدم مرة بس الحمد لله يعني السيناريو اهم شيء ان فزنا. المهم يا اخوان انا مرة متاخر والله العظيم مرة متاخر دوامي المفروض يا اخوان الساعة 12 فالان انا متاخر انا حاب اشكركم مرة 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 على دعمكم اليوم بكرة نفس موعدنا نفس موعدنا اليوم بكرة ان شاء الله بكرة الساعة كم يا اخوان بكرة الساعة كم؟ بكرة باذن الله تعالى الساعة اوه بكرة بكرة متى؟ نفس الوقت ستة خمسة أربعة أربعة بكرة نفس الموعد أربعة بكرة الساعة أربعة يا إخوان من ثلاثة ونص تقريبا راح أبث أشوفكم كلكم إن شاء الله بكرة فعلوا جرس التنبيهات ترى فولو بدون تفعيل جرس التنبيهات ما منه فائدة وإذا أنت ما أنت مسوي فولو إلى الآن فحرفيا أنت ما استفدت أي شيء لأن يمكن تنسى البث تنساني وبعد بكرة ما تدري إنك جيت بثي فيعطيكم ألف عافية لحضوركم الله يسعدكم جميعا استمتعت بهذا البث معكم كان بث أسطوري كان بث أسطوري شكرا مرة أنتم أساطير والحمد لله على اليوم الجميل هذا Uh, الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله وشكرا لكم جميعا دعمكم thanks so much for fear uh, to fear and joy for the raids uh, شكرا جميعا ونشوفكم ان شاء الله على خير البثوث الجايه الحين بنسوي ريد ونسعد احد على السريع والله ما عندي وقت بس نشوف لنا احد لانه والله صراحه مشاهدات ما شاء الله مره حلوه حرام انها يعني كذا تتبخر فنشوف انا بعد بقفل مشكلة اوفر واتش اوفر واتش نمبر روكت ابو الرفن بيقفل ولا بيكمل؟ اوه خلنا نسعد يقول انا قاطع رزقه وما ادري طبعا ما قال كذا بس يقول اني انا ماكل الجو عليه خلنا نسعد خلنا نسعد خلنا نسعد بالمشاهدات ينبسط اه اه اجحدها يا فيصل اجحدها 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 فيصل <تصفيق> نعطيه شوية جو نعطيه شوية جو ها يلا يا اخوان لا بس تويستد اوكي توني ادري حماس انا لابس هنا رول وين هو هناك طبعا انا بدلت عشان الدوام يلا يا اخوان نشوفكم على خير ان شاء الله دقيقة ما ضبط الريد ولا ايش السالفة يا عيال الريد معلق عندي ولا اوه شغال شغال يلا يا اخوان خليكم بالريد نروح عند ابو الرفن ولا تنسون تسوون يا اخوان ريتويت ولايكات للتغريده اللي بتويتر التفجير اللي صار بتويتر كلهم صوتوا ان احنا ما ان احنا ما بنحقق الجيم انه بيكون جيم سهل بالنسبه لي هذا هذه التغريده هذا الرابط شكرا شهود شكرا هذا الرابط برضو رابط اخر كلها تودي لنفس التغريده بس يا اخوان دعمكم التغريده هذه نبغاها تتفجر اليوم نبغاها تتفجر اليوم نبغاها توصل للكل شكرا 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 جميعا شكرا رول 1 شكرا فالكونز اقسم بالله استمتعنا استمتعنا بث جميل بث رائع متعه بصريه متعه سمعيه متعه كل شيء كل شيء كل شيء اشي يوم اشي ايام اشي متعه اشي كل شيء شكرا اشوفكم على خير ان شاء الله في امان الله تصبحون على خير يا حلوين و
نورين من طرف محسن